Chapter 1001 View Li Shiming searched the area at the mountain gate of Dalian Temple and found two soul crystal rings and two fifth-grade Buddhist spiritual treasures, although the destruction was caused by the collapse of the cave space. The fall of the two bodhisattvas was largely caused by the collapse of their own cave space. Therefore, some of the spiritual objects of the two bodhisattvas were preserved and were not destroyed with the fall of the bodhisattvas. Of course, neither the soul crystal ring nor the fifth-grade Buddhist spiritual treasure can be destroyed so easily. He was just a little regretful that Huin and Bodhisattva's inheritance cave had all the inheritance of the Great Lane Temple and a massive accumulation of resources. But now these may have been destroyed with the collapse of the cave. How greedy! He thought of this and couldn't help but shook his head and said to himself. One of his acts of revenge wiped out two Bodhisattvas. And this result was achieved without any damage to himself. With such a record, although he only received the soul crystal ring and the fifth grade natal spiritual treasure left by the two bodhisattvas. It was enough. The commotion here is so big. We can't stay here for a long time, he said in his heart without any other gains. Li Shiming's figure flashed and landed on the back of the golden winged Doping. The figure of the golden winged Doping disappeared, and he used space movement to take him towards the Dongchi continent. Shortly after Li Shiming left, seven powerful clones appeared at the ruins of the mountain gate of Dalian Temple. Yes, the current gate of Dalian Temple can be called a relic. The original appearance of the gate of Dalian Temple is not visible at all here. When the seven powerful clones sensed the shocking space fluctuations coming from the mountain gate of the Great Lane Temple, they did not rush over immediately, but waited for a while until there was no strong energy at the mountain gate of the Great Lane Temple. After the fluctuation spreads, they will come together together. The terror of the space fluctuations coming from the gate of the Great Lane Temple made the powerful people feel the danger. They hadn't reached the gate of the Great Lane Temple yet. And when they first entered the sphere of influence of the Great Lane Temple, they discovered something was wrong here. Jian Lao, why do I see something wrong with the situation here? The powerful clone of Meng Jun from Wanfeng Palace asked Jian Lao. Jian Lao knows the situation at Dalian Temple best. Who is called Jian Yi Chou Shao Pavilion often conflicts with Dalian Temple and Jian Lao is not a safe and powerful person. I sense the unique aura in the Buddha's cave. A Bodhisattva must have died. Jian Lao replied in a deep voice. His clone was on alert. And judging by the damage done here, even he couldn't do it. To kill a powerful person. Perhaps before the powerful person can enter the cave. It is still possible to kill him with one blow through extremely powerful means. But it is not that simple to destroy the cave. Even the old swordsman cannot destroy the cave without using the great weapon passed down from his ancestors. But the situation in front of me was a scene where the powerful Buddhist cave collapsed on the spot and the space in the cave was released. No! Two Bodhisattvas fell! Jian Lao said after flying a certain distance, overturning his previous words. He sensed the breath of the second Buddhist cave, and he couldn't go wrong on this point. Not only him, but the other powerful clones also discovered something was wrong. They all mobilized the energy in their bodies to prepare for possible battles. At the same time, they were extremely horrified. The two bodhisattvas had fallen. Doesn't that mean that Huin and Bodhisattva and Huiyu Bodhisattva, who had just returned, had all fallen? What kind of existence is there in the world of immortality that can kill two bodhisattvas? Even if they all joined forces before, they could only severely damage Lun Luo. Did Li Shurjin do it? Guyuan Zong Jiang Danning asked aloud. How could Li Shurjin have such a method? A powerful man shook his head and said in disbelief. Although he said this, his eyes were even more horrified. The powerful people here come from several superpowers in Zhongzhou continent, and their intelligence network is extremely strong. Li Shiming traveled all the way. But due to his speed, he did not prepare Dalian Temple in advance, but he did not hide his whereabouts. He is now considered a celebrity in the world of immortality. Whenever a monk sees him, he will recognize his identity. Therefore, all the major superpowers received the intelligence afterwards. And Li Shiming came to Zhongzhou Continent, thinking of what happened at the Great Lane Temple. Combined with Li Shiming's behavior when he came to the Zhongzhou Continent, it is very likely that what happened at the gate of the Great Lane Temple was Li Shiming's doing. But this powerful man couldn't believe this. What happened at the gate of the Great Thunder Sound Temple was really too shocking for him to accept. Huiyu Bodhisattva went to the Eastern Qi Continent to hunt down Li Shurjin before. This time it should be revenge. Jian Lao said in a deep voice. He was also extremely surprised in his heart. But he hoped that Li Shiming would be strong enough so that Li Shiming's friendly Yuan Ba would not be in trouble. At this time, all the powerful clones came to the gate of Dayin Temple. 
They looked at everything in front of them, and looked at each other from left to right. They have been able to confirm one thing. That is, Queen Anne Bodhisattva, the great inheritor of the Great Thunder Sound Temple, 100% died here. Before, they were just guessing. Although the guess based on the aura of the cave was quite accurate, now they can confirm it 100% after checking it at the gate of the Great Thunder Sound Temple. They didn't know about the fall of Lung Luo. In their view, Huin and Bodhisattva's death was the first inherited power to die in battle in the world of immortality in at least 10,000 years. The role of the inherited power is not to fight, but to protect and inherit. What the great powers of inheritance face are all low-level monks. These monks are just like ants to the great powers of inheritance. They can be destroyed easily. When facing other great powers of inheritance, they can be solved through negotiation. Question. Therefore, the great powers of inheritance rarely have much chance to fight. And the most common thing they use on weekdays is verbal threats. What do you think of the aura of hell-tired crystal? Jiang Danning asked calmly after checking the situation at the gate of the Great Thunder Sound Temple. Jade Qingzong. Several other great masters said a name in unison. The breath of hell-weary crystal is the breath of radiation pollution. The mountain gate of Dalian Temple is the place where the cave space was released after the explosion of Wrath of the Dragon. There is a lot of radiation pollution here. This kind of radiation pollution reminds the powerful men of the Yuching sect. And the smell of radiation pollution still remains in the Yuching sect's mountain gate. In addition, the Yuching sect was also the first superpower to have its gate destroyed and on the verge of extinction. Today, no force in the Yuching sect recognizes its status as a super force. I didn't expect that Dalian Temple would be even worse than Yuching Sect. At least Yuching Sect still retain the Inheritance Cave and the ability to recover. Look at the Great Lane Temple. The Inheritance Cave was destroyed and the Inheritance Bodhisattva was killed. These all caused the Great Lane Temple to lose its heritage. The most terrifying thing is that it was not a Bodhisattva who fell in Dalian Temple, but another Bodhisattva who fell here. Huiyu Bodhisattva was the Freedom Bodhisattva. And he was also the Freedom Bodhisattva that appeared in this era. In this way, there is no possibility of recovery of the Great Lane Temple. Even if there is still a Freedom Bodhisattva in the Great Lane Temple, such a free Bodhisattva cannot remember the Great Lane Temple, let alone return to the Great Lane Temple. Can you tell me what should be done? After looking around, Jiang Danning asked in a deep voice. He didn't say his words clearly, but all the powerful people present who were not human beings could hear the meaning of his words since entering the sphere of influence of the Great Lane Temple. Although all the previous resources have been destroyed, the space released by the cave has many resource production sites built in the Inheritance Cave, and now it has become part of the world of immortality. At present, these resources are in a state of ownerlessness. The Great Lane Temple is dead, and the six powerful clones are seen together. It happens that the seven powerful clones can represent all the super forces in Zhongzhou Continent. As long as the seven powerful clones agree, then the resource distribution here will be achieved. I propose to divide it into eight parts, one of which will be given to the 10,000 bees sect, and the rest will be divided equally between us. Ming Jun of Luanfeng Palace thought about it and said, I agree. Without any hesitation, Jian Lao agreed to Meng Jun Mai's proposal, although some of the other powerful clones still had opinions, considering the damage Li Shiming caused at the gate of Dalian Temple. They gave up the idea of raising objections. What needs to be done now is how to make friends with Li Shiming and no longer be Li Shiming's enemy. Li Shiming's method of dealing with the enemy was too terrible. Look at this time. Huiyu Bodhisattva of Dalian Temple went to hunt down Li Shiming. And Li Shiming wiped out Dalian Temple. Looking at Yuking Zong again. I think now that Yuking Zong and Li Shiming also had a grudge. At that time, Li Shiming's methods were not as fierce as they are now. And the harm caused was relatively weak. Of course, to say that the degree of destruction of the Yuching sect was weak. The great leader Luo Yuan of the Yuching sect was the first to refuse to accept it. But this needs to be compared. Compared with the situation of the mountain gate of Dalian Temple. The damage to the mountain gate of Yuching sect is indeed relatively light. At least the Yuching sect's inheritance cave is still there. Unlike the Great Lane Temple where even the inheritance cave was destroyed. Previously, when the powerful clones discovered that the mountain gate of Dalian Temple could not sense the space gate of the Inheritance Cave, they determined the fall of Huin and Bodhisattva. For Daning, the cave is the source of energy for Daning, and it is also the core of itself. The collapse of Dong Tian usually only occurs after the fall of Daning. But if Dong Tian is destroyed and collapses before Daning falls, then Daning will definitely die. In the following time, 
Seven powerful clones quickly divided up the resources left by the Great Thunder Sound Temple. Li Shiming returned to the East Qi Mainland 10,000 Beasts sect. He greeted Brother Hu and returned to his cave. As soon as he returned to the cave, he entered the Cave of Heaven and Man. Yin Shuruan is looking at the Jade Slips. There are a large number of classics stored in the Tianan Cave. Yin Shuruan likes to read the most, which gives her an excellent way to pass the time. Next to her is the Phantom Clone. Inside the Phantom Clone's body is a peak monk Yuanying. With a soul beads, the Phantom Clone is no different from the real person. During Li Shiming's busy time, Yin Shuruan was accompanied by his Phantom Clone. The Phantom Clone is also a part of Li Shiming. A clone separated from his soul. The Phantom Clone accompanying Yin Shuruan is equivalent to Li Shiming himself accompanying Yin Shuruan. After Yin Shuruan was promoted to the peak monk, the Phantom Clone often gave Yin Shuruan lectures using the teaching plan provided by Z15. Li Shiming did not disturb Yin Shirlan's interest in reading. He entered the Palace of Power and took out his harvest. There are two fifth-grade Buddhist spiritual treasures. One is a Buddhist vidra and the other is a Buddhist golden bowl. Although they are of extremely high quality, they do not match Li Shiming's attributes. So he is not very interested. He took out a soul crystal ring and entered it with his mind. His eyes almost dazzled at this sight. He saw a large number of resources, all of which were fourth-grade elixirs materials, etc. at all levels. The number was so large that even Li Shiming, a monk who had seen the world, was dazzled. What Li Shiming didn't know was that the owner of this soul crystal ring was Huinan Bodhisattva. Huinan Bodhisattva is an extremely careful Bodhisattva. He collected all the resources of the fourth grade himself and did not put them in the sex treasure house. The reputation of Dalian Temple had declined drastically some time ago. Huinan Bodhisattva was worried that something would happen. So he collected all the relatively precious resources. The inventory of Dalian Temple, which was the accumulation of a superpower, all fell into the hands of Li Shiming. He shook his head. These resources can only be regarded as the icing on the cake for him now. The effect of these resources on him is minimal. But investing these resources into the 10,000 B sect will definitely allow the 10,000 B sect to cultivate more disciples. Li Shiming then saw two fifth grade spiritual treasures, both of which were Buddhist spiritual treasures. Next is the weapons and equipment department, where a large number of fourth grade magic weapons are stored. In terms of quantity and quality, these fourth grade magic weapons are top notch. Some of them were refined by the master of the Great Lane Temple, and some were collections selected from the quality brought back by the sages of the past dynasties when they went out. Next to the weapons and equipment department, there are three Buddhist boats, including a super large fourth grade top level Buddha boat, a medium sized fourth grade top level Buddha boat, and a small 4th grade top level Buddha boat. Next to the Buddha boat are a large number of jade slips. Li Shiming never thought that he wanted to obtain the inheritance of Dalian Temple. And this was delivered to him. Of course, he only used the inheritance of Dalian Temple as a reference. And he was not a Buddhist. Although the path he was taking now was quite bumpy. Li Shiming looked at the jade slips very excitedly. And he quickly understood. It seems that the inheritance of the Great Lane Temple is not extinct. And the soul crystal ring contains the venerable level inheritance. Z15 kept collecting the knowledge in the jade slips. He used to think that these inheritances were destroyed by the attack. But he did not expect that he would obtain these inheritances. In the world of cultivating immortals. In any library. Except for the books on the surface. A copy of all the books will be placed in a safe place. If there is a problem with the inheritance. The copy of the book will be taken out. And a new copy will be made. Jade slips. The spare gong classics of Dalian Temple are naturally placed with Huin and Bodhisattva. These classics are the masterpieces of Dalian Temple and do not belong to any single person. Chapter 1002 Sent Back In the Soul Crystal Ring of Huin and Bodhisattva, Li Shiming found three more life-saving talismans. He took one of the life-saving talismans in his hand and observed it carefully. Three life-saving talismans, each with an ancient aura. The life-saving talisman, which can have a certain escape effect on powerful people, was attacked by Li Shiming. We and Bodhisattva fell without even having time to use the life-saving talisman. He took out another soul crystal ring, which was the soul crystal ring of Huiyu Bodhisattva. Li Shiming's mind entered Huiyu Bodhisattva's soul crystal ring, and his eyes fell directly on a pile of corpses. A total of 60 half-step high-level, boring god warriors, corpses, and three high-power level, boring god warriors, corpses. Li Shiming confirmed that these free powers are all fighting with the Boran Divine Warriors. Somewhere. Otherwise it would be impossible for Yuking Zong's Long Luo and Hui Bodhisattva. 
the two free powers. To have soul crystals, there are so many corpses of foreign god warriors stored in the ring. He smiled. So many half-step powerful corpses were the best harvest for him. Even if you try to find a half-step master in the world of immortality, you can't even find him, let alone kill him. His only source of half-step powerful corpses is the corpse of the foreign god warrior retained by the free powerful. If it weren't for his insufficient cultivation, he would have wanted to see the place where the free powers fought. He also discovered three crystals. The reason why he paid special attention to these three crystals among a bunch of spiritual objects was because these three crystals contained extremely high quality energy. If calculated in terms of quality, these three crystals are of fifth grade quality. Li Shiming didn't know what these three crystals were, but he could sense that the energy in the three crystals could be absorbed. He could sense a high quality energy that was both gentle and extremely pure from the three crystals. He instinctively felt that this energy was of great benefit to him. However, in terms of his current state, absorbing more of these high-quality energies does not have many practical benefits. The energy in his body has long reached its bottleneck limit, and after experiencing three half-step powerful catastrophes, there is no chance of improvement at all. His state is very strange. His body, soul and spiritual power have all reached the half-step great power level. He has also mastered the rules of the metal system. Sword will in space at the half-step great power level. But he is a peak monk. And his realm is limited by his own nascent soul. As long as there is nascent soul in his body, he will not be able to break through to the half-step realm of great power. Perhaps this is the reason why the ancient monks evolved the nascent soul into the cave heaven. The ancient monks found a way to go further. Li Shiming is now absorbing high-quality energy. But he is still unable to break through the half-step realm of great power. There are only three crystals containing high-quality energy. He wants to save the three crystals for use at the most critical moment. He just looked at the other spiritual objects. For his wealth, Huiyu Bodhisattva's soul crystal ring seemed shabby. How did he know that there were not many good spiritual objects in Huiyu Bodhisattva's soul crystal ring? The reason was that Huiyu Bodhisattva exchanged most of his wealth for resources during his cultivation. Li Shiming sensed that outside the cave of heaven and man, brother who sent a sound transmission method. He came out of the cave of heaven and man and received the sound transmission method. In addition, he could sense that brother who was standing outside the cave. And he also knew that brother who must be looking for him for something. With a wave of his hand, the cave formation was activated. And brother who was invited to come in directly. Master, what's the matter? He stepped forward and asked with a smile. I just received news from Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. Wanfeng Palace. Zhongzhou Trading Company. Wuliang Sect. Beidou Sect. Guiyuan Sect and Feiyu Sect. Our 10,000 B sect has a foundation in Zhongzhou Continent. Brother who replied excitedly, The 10,000 B sect is not a sect in Zhongzhou Continent. So why allocate the benefits to the 10,000 B sect? Li Shiming asked, slightly startled. I also feel strange, but it has been confirmed. It's just that the resources allocated to us are all near the gate of Delane Temple. Did something happen to Delane Temple? Brother who said a little strangely, Since it's been given to us, Let's accept it. Li Shiming thought about it and understood. This was because he destroyed the Great Lane Temple. The superpowers of Zhongzhou Continent shared his share of the credit and the benefits. Gave him a share. Regardless of this small amount. The amount obtained every year alone is a huge benefit. Sure, Jin. Do you know something? Brother who asked. Hearing the inexplicable meaning in Li Shiming's words. The Gate of Dalian Temple was destroyed. And even the two Bodhisattvas fell together. Li Shiming thought for a while, and finally said something valuable. Brother who let out a breath of air. It probably won't take long for such a big thing to happen. No matter what, our 10,000 B sect has established a foundation in Zhongzhou Continent. Brother who replied with a smile. This so-called foundation is the space that merged with the real world after the collapse of a large cave sky. This space has a large number of resource points, and produces a large amount of resources at all levels. Brother who came and left quickly. He had to deal with a lot of things. The news of the destruction of Dalian Temple spread extremely quickly throughout the world of immortality. This brought Li Shiming great fame. And this time, the world of immortality considered him to be on an equal footing with the great powers. The most obvious thing is that the trade of 10,000 beasts sect has increased again. And many superpowers, who had been waiting on the sidelines have begun to agree to do business with 10,000 beasts sect. Li Shiming didn't care about these things in the world of immortality. As long as no enemies found the Dong Chi continent, he didn't want to go out again. One day later, 
the Thunder Prison was blocked again, and his figure appeared in the Valley of the Thunder Prison. He began to refine the Holy Spirit again. With the experience of refining the 73 Holy Spirits before, he began to refine the Holy Spirit again. A few years later, he gained 60 more Holy Spirits and sent 60 more Holy Spirits into the Yuanba's cave, including more than 200 other half-step powers. After several years, Li Yuanba's cave became full of spiritual power. The amount of energy generated has reached a level that satisfies 263 half-step powers. After doing this, Li Shiming took back all the half-step powerful spiritual pets, leaving only two thunder gods, a red demon, the Golden Bodhisattva Protector, and the Thunder Beast for Li Yuanba. In fact, leading Li Yuanba with these half-step powers is a waste. Li Yuanba's cave energy output will not be reduced. This is the conclusion Li Shiming came to after a period of observation. As for Li Yuanba, who is in the cave? It is impossible for him to leave the cave, at least before he is promoted to great power. When he is promoted to a powerful person, the role of these half-step powerful powers will be extremely limited, and it will not matter much whether they are there or not. However, considering that Li Yuanba still needs some helpers, he may need to travel with the space stone that carries the cave sky, or he may need to deal with some external affairs. Both the Thunder God and the Red Devil can be controlled remotely. Although the speed of the Thunder Beast is a little slower than that of the Golden Winged Rock. After being promoted to the 5th level, its speed can be much faster than the Golden Winged Rock at the 4th level. Li Shiming rode the Golden Winged Rock and spent several hours arriving near the mountain gate of Jin Chongshao Pavilion. He released Lei Gong and transferred the Yuanba's cave-bearing space stone into Lei Gong's body. At this time, he looked in one direction, and a figure appeared in front of him. I've met Jian Lao. Li Shiming recognized this as Jian Lao's clone. He was not too nervous. Bowed slightly and said, Okay. It's Li Shurzhen. Are you here to send Yuan Bob back? Jian Lao's clone glanced at Lei Gong and nodded. Yes. Yuan Ba said he'd like to stay at Jian Chongshao Pavilion. So I sent him back? Li Shiming said casually. Thank you for taking care of Yuan Ba. Jian Lao's clone said with a smile. Then I'll take my leave. Li Shiming saw that Jian Lao's clone was a little wary, and he didn't want to cause too much tension with Jin Chongshao Pavilion. So he said goodbye. Jian Lao's clone waited for Li Shiming's figure to disappear, and waited for a while until it was confirmed that Li Shiming was gone. And then he breathed a sigh of relief. He glanced at Lei Gong and could sense that Li Yuanba's cave heaven carrying object was inside Lei Gong's body. He had no intention of asking anything about Li Yuanba meeting Li Shiming and staying there for such a long time. Li Yuanba and Li Shiming are close friends, which is a good thing. Li Yuanba received a lot of benefits from Li Shiming and achieved his current achievements. Otherwise, no matter how talented Li Yuanba is, he will not be able to advance to half-level power so quickly. Yuanba, if he has any contact with Li Shurzhen, tell him not to approach any superpowers mountain gate. It will cause unnecessary panic, Jian Lao's clone said in a deep voice. He knew that Li Yuanba could definitely hear it, and he just wanted to tell Li Shiming about it through Li Yuanba's mouth. If he told Li Shiming himself, it might cause Li Shiming to misunderstand. Even though he is a powerful swordsman, he does not want to be an enemy of a monk like Li Shiming who has inexplicable means and can wipe out the Great Thunder Sound Temple. Not just him. This is the consensus of the entire world of immortality. Before the destruction of Dalian Temple, there were still some powerful people who coveted Li Shiming's opportunity and wanted to get some benefits from Li Shiming. But with the lessons learned from the Great Lane Temple, these great powers lost their thoughts on Li Shiming. As long as Li Shiming did not take the initiative to find the superpowers, they were satisfied. Li Shiming heard what Jian Lao's clone said through Li Yuanba. And he finally understood the reason for the strange attitude of Jian Lao's clone today. Indeed, with the record of destroying the main gate of the Great Lane Temple, no superpower wants him to get close to their main gate. Lei Gong returned to the cave with Li Yuanba's cave sky bearing space stone, and placed the cave sky bearing space stone in a dedicated location in the cave. Then Lei Gong also entered the cave heaven. The world of cultivating immortals is becoming more and more stable and peaceful. At the level of the great monks, there are basically no conflicts in the world of cultivating immortals. The source of the previous conflict between the great monks came from Li Shiming's large amount of alchemy. Since Li Shiming entrusted the elixirs to be auctioned and continued to reduce the number of auctions, the elixirs of the great monks in the world of immortality have changed from being consumed in large quantities to being hoarded in large quantities. Li Shiming's alchemy ability is so strong that he has made all the great monks in the world of cultivators cunning. 
The great monks can use it if they are not used to the low-level spiritual elixirs of the great monks. This caused the great monks to save the great monks elixir after obtaining it, and prepare to send it to Li Shiming for elixir refinement. But as the chance of asking Li Shiming to make elixirs became smaller and smaller, the value of the monks elixirs also declined, and the unspoken rules of competing for the resource points of the monks were gradually abandoned. Without the conflict at the level of the great monks, the world of immortality has become increasingly peaceful. In the world of immortality, the 10,000 Beast sect has become a new star that has suddenly emerged. The 10,000 Beast sect's long-distance flying boats sail between various continents in the world of immortality. And all the superpowers were trying to save their face, making the 10,000 Beast sects trade very smooth. Of course, it is not that there are some who are short-sighted. When the two long-distance airships of the 10,000 Beast sect were heading to the southern Zhao continent, their cargo was robbed by the large force Blackwater Island. And even the two long-distance airships were not spared. The owner of Blackwater Island proudly greeted his men. The two long-distance flying ships they had robbed this time were a big gain. As for the reputation of the 10,000 Beast sect, the island owner didn't pay much attention to it. The main reason was that Li Shiming was exaggerated by the immortal cultivators. In the world of immortality, once a certain monk is rumored to be mysterious, it is most likely a rumor. Although Blackwater Island is a large force, it is actually a force established by a group of pirates who wash their hands. Since the island owner and the other eight deputy island owners are all great monks, Blackwater Island became the main continent of Nanjiao as soon as it was established. Large forces. Precisely because it has just been established and does not have a complete intelligence network, they have always been skeptical of rumors about the world of immortality. Boss! What should we do with the captured cultivators of the 10,000 Bees sect? The 7th Island Master asked. This 10,000 Bees sect is very rich. So let them use some resources in exchange for their monks. The island owner thought for a while and replied. But then he continued. Don't call me boss. Call me island owner. The title of the boss was still used when he was a pirate. He didn't want to mention the past again. The main reason is that he thinks that he has been cleansed and will become a serious monk from now on. Island Master. The 10,000 Beast sect is not simple. If they come to visit, wouldn't it be very troublesome? Another deputy island master asked worriedly. What are you afraid of? Do the 10,000 Beast sect have more great monks than we do on Blackwater Island? Are they stronger than us? The island owner said with a nonchalant laugh. Yes, although our Blackwater Island has only been established for a short time. Its strength is extremely strong. A deputy island owner laughed and reconsidered. Suddenly, Laughter continued in the Blackwater Island main hall. But they didn't know that from the gate of the 10,000 Bees sect. A huge figure disappeared as soon as it took off. That is Li Shiming's Golden Wing Doping. There is no one on the back of the Golden Wing Doping. This is the Golden Wing Doping going out alone. The direction is exactly Nanjiao Continent. If it is broken down, it is the direction of Blackwater Island. The Golden Wing Rock is heading towards Blackwater Island. Chapter 1003 Prestige there is a set of remote communication formations on the long-distance ships. When attacked, the remote communication formation can be turned on to send the message back. When the 10,000 Beasts sect received the news, brother who immediately approached Li Shiming, he has five late-stage golden corpses in his hands. Although five late-stage golden corpses are not a problem against nine great monks, it is a bit difficult for these late-stage golden corpses to attack the mountain gate formation of a large force. More importantly, brother who wanted to teach Blackwater Island a painful lesson. I believe that this time the 10,000 B sect's voyage ship was robbed. Many forces must be watching. If the 10,000 B sect fails to handle the matter well, there may be more forces that are greedy for the interests of the 10,000 B sect and want to snatch the benefits. So he still chose to find Li Shiming and let Li Shiming take action on Blackwater Island. So that the 10,000 B sect could show its muscles. Li Shiming asked about the origin of the matter. He didn't have much regard for such large forces. To be honest, large forces had not been taken into consideration by him for a long time. He didn't even want to deal with it himself. He just sent the Golden Winged Rock. Of course, in order to complete Brother Who's instructions, he still connected one of his brains to the Golden Winged Rock. Within a few hours, the Golden Winged Rock arrived at the outskirts of Blackwater Island. Blackwater Island does not have a cave which means that there is no cave space barrier on the periphery of Blackwater Island. This is the shortcoming of the emerging forces. Of course, regardless of whether there is a cave space barrier on Blackwater Island, the outcome will be the same. 
the Golden Winged Rock didn't stop at all. After the space movement appeared outside Blackwater Island, it flashed and used space movement to directly enter the formation of Blackwater Island. Lee Shimming's brain borrowed the perception of the Golden Winged Rock to find the two captured long distance ships and the imprisoned monks of the 10,000 Beast sect. Although Blackwater Island is a bit reckless, they are born pirates and still follow the pirates' code of conduct. After pirates seize the supplies, they will park the supplies and the people who seize them for a period of time. In the event that they encounter an extremely powerful being, or if there is a powerful force mediating between them, they will return the materials and the detained people conditionally. After confirming the locations of the two long-distance flying ships and the detained monks of the 10,000 Bees sect, the golden-winged rock let out a cry. At this time, the island owner, headed by the other eight deputy island owners, flew out of the hall to prepare for the enemy. They sensed the powerful aura. But when they faced the golden wing dopping, they were still shocked by the golden wing dopping. At this moment, the golden wing rock revealed the aura in his body. The reason why the aura was not displayed before was to prevent accidental injury to the detained 10,000 B sec monks. At this time, part of the golden wing rock's aura protected the detained monks of the 10,000 B sect, and the other part crushed the entire Blackwater Island. The half step fifth grade golden winged rock, wherever its aura passed, as long as they were not in the realm of great monks, were directly hit hard by this aura. And all those under the nascent soul fell. Nascent souls, who have not reached the level of great monks are also in a state of serious injury, with their souls severely damaged. I believe that it will not be long before these nascent soul monks will also fall together with the lower level monks. The island owner and the eight deputy island owners froze up. After discovering that the golden winged upping was not simple, they deployed the Nine Palace Formation to prepare to resist the attack of the Golden Winged Dopping. Unexpectedly, the first wave of attacks from the Golden Winged Dopping came from Realm Suppression. Even the Nine Palace Formation could not completely withstand this kind of Realm Suppression. Among the Nine Great Monks, only the island owner is a late-stage Great Monk, and has not even reached the peak. Even the island owner, under the pressure of the Golden Winged Rock, could barely hold on and still be able to speak. This is related to the fact that the Golden Winged Rock is not good at this kind of realm crushing. If a half-step powerful monk is here, under the realm crushing, the island owner will only be restrained by the whole body and will not talk. Even if it is I can't even move my eyelids. Why? The island owner only said three words. And these three words consumed a lot of his energy. After he sensed the realm suppression of the Golden Winged Rock, he understood that this half-step fifth-level spiritual beast was the spiritual pet of the monk. If it were a wild half-step fifth-level spirit beast, it would be impossible to perform such an action at this time. It would be a direct attack, and Blackwater Island would not be able to resist it. The Golden Winged Rock fired a ball of energy, and the energy transformed into the mark of the 10,000 beasts sect in the air. The island owner looked sad. He did not expect that the 10,000 beast sect was really strong. Even the spiritual pets were half-step to the fifth level. The 10,000 beasts sect sent out a spiritual pet, and destroyed Blackwater Island. The gap between Blackwater Island and the 10,000 Beasts sect was as big as the difference between clouds and mud. A five-color divine light emitted from the Golden Winged Rock swept over the island owner and the other eight deputy island owners. Even when the island owner and the eight deputy island owners are at their peak, they are unable to fight against the five-color divine light. Let alone they cannot even move. The aura on their bodies disappeared. And the death of the nine great monks did not cause much movement. In fact, the entire Blackwater Island is very quiet. Except for the detained monks of the 10,000 Beast sect. There are no living monks on the Blackwater Island. This time, Brother Chai was following the voyage ship. Brother Chai was not seriously injured. The main reason was that the enemy was too strong. He was besieged by five monks and was controlled as soon as the battle began. Monk Chai De and the other 400 or so cultivators from the 10,000 Beast sect were imprisoned in a trap. Awaiting their fate, restrictions were placed on them preventing them from using their spiritual power. My strength has been restored, Brother Chai suddenly said excitedly. He felt an external force acting on him, causing the restrictions on him to be broken. My strength has also been restored, the other monks also exclaimed. Brother Chai didn't know what happened, but the recovery of his strength gave him the strength to fight. He was unwilling to be trapped here, like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Just when he wanted to break through the trap, a force broke through the trap. Then he saw the huge golden winged rock in the sky, and he recognized it as Li Shimming's spiritual pet. He instantly understood that it was Li Shimming who came to save him. Clean up the loot on Blackwater Island! 
The golden winged rock sent a message to Brother Chai, conveying what he wanted to express. Then the golden winged rock disappeared. Returning first, Brother Chai to calm down. He released his spiritual consciousness and found that within the scope of his spiritual consciousness, all the Blackwater Island monks fell to the ground without any breath. He jumped into the air, and as he flew around the Blackwater Island, he became more and more frightened. There was no one alive on the entire Blackwater Island, and all the monks on the Blackwater Island died without any injuries. He even found the corpses of the island owner and eight deputy island owners of Blackwater Island, and the spiritual objects on the corpses were still there. All the monks take action immediately. The ancestor has killed the Blackwater Island monks. Next, we will remove all the valuable things on the Blackwater Island. Brother Chai issued an order to more than 400 of his monks. Thank you, ancestor. More than 400 monks cheered in unison. They were so excited that they almost rushed around while cheering. They burst out with unparalleled enthusiasm and dismantled all the spiritual objects they saw. These monks were also professionals. Everything from the large mountain gate formation on Blackwater Island to the floor of the monk's cave was torn down and taken away. As long as they saw it, no matter how newly built Blackwater Island is, it is still a large-scale sect. The nine island owners invested all their accumulation in the pirate period, and after many years of development, it has reached its current scale. Brother Chai is also collecting the trophies. The spiritual objects of the nine monks, the treasure house and library of Blackwater Island, etc. Anyway, when some monks came to Blackwater Island again, they found that it had become a wasteland. Even the spiritual veins on Blackwater Island were taken away, and there are still traces of the spiritual soil being dug away where the spiritual fields were originally located on the ground. Too cruel. Even the monk who discovered this place couldn't help but shook his head and sighed. The incident on Blackwater Island was just a small episode in the development of the 10,000 B sect. But every force that knew the inside story wisely warned their monks not to provoke the 10,000 B sect. They went from being robbed on the Wancho sect's voyage ship to being attacked on Blackwater Island. In such a short period of time, one would have thought that the Wancho sect was following a powerful team of monks behind the voyage ship. In addition, the 10,000 B sect's ruthlessness towards its enemies is the reason why all the forces are afraid of it. As long as there are monks at the mountain gate on Blackwater Island, not a single one has survived. After this incident, the 10,000 B sect developed faster and faster. Several decades later, the opportunity Li Shiming had been waiting for finally came. The teleportation coordinates of the temple appeared on the teleportation ring. He hesitated slightly because the last time he entered the temple was several years after the teleportation coordinates appeared. Now entering the temple, I wonder if the resources inside the temple can be collected. The most important thing is whether the God Sensing Monument is open. He knew that the time to enter the temple was limited. If the God Sensing Monument was not open yet, then even if he entered early, it would not be of any help, and it would be a waste of this rare opportunity. He thought about it for a while, but waited patiently for several years. During this period, he told Brother Who that he was going to try to break through, and told Brother Who that he needed to leave the 10,000 Bs sect. He announced to the outside world that he was practicing in seclusion. Anyway, he would go into seclusion for a period of time every once in a while. Regarding Li Shiming's departure, Brother Who was only concerned about Li Shiming's safety, and did not ask Li Shiming to stay because of the needs of the 10,000 B sect. Li Shiming has done enough for the 10,000 B sect. And besides, the 10,000 B sect is not that easy to deal with now. With the prestige left by Li Shiming and the five late stage golden corpses in the hands of the great monk Who, unless it is besieged by a large number of peak great monks, or a half-step powerful or powerful attack. The 10,000 B sect will not have anything dangerous. The probability of a superpower taking action against the 10,000 B sect is extremely low. Li Shiming left an example to all superpowers. The power of the example of Great Lane Temple can last for at least hundreds of years. After Li Shiming had finished explaining the affairs of the 10,000 B sect, he explained the operation to Yin Shirwan, and asked Yin Shirwan to stay in the Tianan cave and then activated the spatial coordinates in the teleportation ring. His body entered a certain space, and then the space was distorted. After an unknown period of time, he lost the perception of time in the space, and he was pushed out of the space. He appeared in the familiar temple, which was a safe area of the temple. Looking at the time, he found that the time he chose was carefully calculated by Z15. As long as the time in the temple is accurate, I believe that within 10 breaths of time, he will be able to see the six peak monks who entered this time.
But before that, his mind was recalling his previous space teleportation experience. In terms of the application of space rules, Thunder God and Holy Spirit are almost at the same level. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba made great progress after learning the use of space rules by Thunder God and Holy Spirit, combined with their own magical powers. It's just that Li Shiming and Li Yuanba's space rules are currently behind Lei Gong and Holy Spirit. Without a big chance, they can't catch up with Lei Gong and Holy Spirit. The space rules of Thunder God and Holy Spirit are an instinctive talent. But this time, during the process of using the teleportation ring, he felt the application of space rules at a higher level. The spatial movement triggered by the teleportation ring is an application of spatial rules that is much higher than that of Thunder God and Holy Spirit. When Li Shiming didn't understand much about the rules of space, even if he experienced using the teleportation ring many times to move in ultra-long distance space, he didn't feel much. This time was different. He sensed a mysterious application of space rules. He believes that as long as he understands a very small part of it, his space rules can grow a lot again. Just as he was thinking about it, White lights appeared around him, and then six figures appeared. The six peak monks held tokens, and all showed surprise when they saw Li Shiming. They knew that when the temple opened last time, there was a monk who accidentally joined. This time when they saw Li Shiming, they found that Li Shiming was the same as the monk described. And most importantly, Li Shiming actually entered the temple again. They looked at each other and exchanged opinions. Although this is a safe area, the safe area only guarantees that there are no restrictions and no active attacks by spiritual beasts. It does not guarantee conflicts between monks. The six peak monks discovered that Li Shiming could enter the temple again. This ability made them very greedy. With this ability, wouldn't it mean that they could enter the temple without restrictions? As long as they master this ability, their chances of being promoted to half-step power will be greatly improved. And they can also make great contributions to their own sect. As for how to distribute it after it is obtained, it is to see whether this ability can be shared, or whether it can be competed in some way. All of this will have to wait until Li Shiming is solved, and what they want from Li Shiming is obtained. The six peak monks moved gently, and quickly arranged a formation to trap Li Shiming faintly. Chapter 1004 Feeling Spiritual Li Shiming did not move. He looked at the six peak monks calmly. For him now, the little peak monk has long been out of his sight. Suppression! With the top monk of Xingxiu's sect as the center, the six peak monks formed a whole and came to oppress Li Shiming. Although these six peak monks compete, in order to explore the temple faster, they have to cooperate more. Therefore, the sect where the six peak monks belong deliberately cultivates their cooperation, especially the cooperation with Xingxiu's sect's formation as the core. Of course, there are even smaller methods of cooperation between the three peak monks of the righteous path and the three great monks of the peak demonic path. Li Shiming smiled slightly. And as his mind moved slightly, the phantom of the Beidou formation appeared above his head. The six peak monks who were pressing him felt as if the space was changing. And Li Shiming's figure was lost in front of them. Be careful. This is a big formation. We must guard the formation and don't act alone. The top monk of Xingxiu's sect reminded loudly. He took out a compass and moved his fingers on the compass. This is calculating the formation created by the Beidou formation diagram and finding a way to leave the formation. For the formation master, the formations arranged in the Beidou formation diagram are almost equivalent to the formations of large sects, and even exceed the superpower formations in terms of power due to their smaller scope. Even if one of the six peak monks is a formation master, they are unable to break through the formation formed by the Beidou formation diagram. The Beidou formation diagram is not a formation treasure at the level of a great monk but a treasure at the powerful level, especially in the hands of Li Shiming. If a great monk falls into it, there is basically no possibility of leaving. Li Shiming did this just to prevent these six peak monks from using any special means. They might be able to escape before he could deal with all the enemies. After restraining six peak monks, he no longer held back, and his figure flashed to the side of a peak monk. The formation with the top monk of Xingxiu's sect as its core was full of flaws in his eyes. Li Shiming used spatial movement to directly enter the formation and came to the side of a peak monk. He lightly slapped the peak monk's body and the terrifying half-step high energy chaos spiritual power entered the peak monk's body, sealing his nascent soul. Then he flashed again, came to the side of another peak monk and slapped the peak monk again with his palm. The defensive methods used by the peak monks were like nothing in front of him. This cannot be blamed on the defense of the peak monk. But that Li Shiming's attack was at the half-step high level. 
which was not something that the peak monk could resist. In just a few short breaths, all six peak monks were banned from nascent soul. The reason why he did not kill the six peak monks was not because of his kindness, but because he did not know whether killing the six peak monks at this time would affect the operation of the temple. If the six peak monks died, and the temple was closed directly, the gain would outweigh the loss. The six peak monks were banned from the nascent soul, and they could not display their strength at all. A sense of powerlessness arose in the hearts of the six peak monks. They never thought that Li Shiming's strength would be so abnormal. If they knew that Li Shiming had a record of killing powerful people, they would probably feel a lot better. Although the powerful man who was killed was a seriously injured powerful man. This kind of record was enough to frighten all the monks. Another achievement of his, he did not rest on himself. The wrath of the dragon detonated the cave of death, causing the death of two great powers and the annihilation of a super force. In fact, from the beginning of the battle, Li Shiming was standing on another level, watching the six peak monks. This battle was as easy as an adult beating a child. Li Shiming didn't let the six peak monks talk much. He didn't want to get to know these dying people. Yes, no matter what happens afterwards, he will kill these six peak monks and keep their mouths shut. The powerful powers of the six superpowers will definitely find him afterwards. He controlled the six peak monks beside him. The six peak monks were suspended in the air and moved with his movements. Despair flashed in the eyes of the six peak monks. This is a temple. If you leave the safe area, you will encounter restrictions. Restrictions can kill people when their whole bodies are imprisoned. As long as they encounter a restriction, they will die. Li Shiming didn't care what they thought. He walked to the edge of the safe area. His eyes looked outside. I don't know if it was because of his improved strength or because he had a deeper understanding of the rules of space. When his eyes were observing, he could faintly sense the energy hidden in the space. However, the restrictions here did not feel dangerous to him. He stretched out his hand towards one place. His hand seemed to come into contact with something. And then a wind blade suddenly appeared and cut towards his hand. Seeing that his hand was unable to dodge. And even without taking any measures. He was about to be struck by the wind blade. A look of gloating flashed through the eyes of the six peak monks. Who were suspended in midair. Unfortunately. This look turned into dullness as soon as it appeared. They saw the wind blade slashing at Li Shiming's hand. But it was bounced away. As the top monks. They are very aware of how terrifying the restrictions in the temple are. Moreover because there are too many restrictions in the temple. It is impossible to prepare many high-level defense talismans when exploring here, because it really can't be consumed. Every time you travel a certain distance, you need to fight against a restriction. The restrictions in the temple are aimed at the realm of great monks. Its attack power is stronger than that of the peak great monks, but it does not reach the half-step high level. If you really want to reach the half-step high level, then the temple will not be a place of trial, but a place of death. Li Shiming's current physical body is at the half-step high energy level. He has even endured three half-step high power level heavenly tribulations and received three half-step high power level heaven and earth rewards, making his physical body even more powerful than an ordinary half-step high power level. Stronger, the temple's restrictions failed to break through his physical body's defense, which put a smile on his face, which showed that his judgment was correct. His eyes looked towards the temple, full of greed. Li Shiming tried to release an immortal tardigrade, but he was well prepared. Once the temple launched an attack on the immortal tardigrade, he would take back the immortal tardigrade. The feared thing did not happen, perhaps because the temple has a method of self-judgment. The eternal tardigrade is indeed a half-step fifth-level realm, but its owner is Li Shiming, a monk who is only a peak monk in the nascent soul realm. With this discovery, Li Shiming no longer hesitated and released another holy spirit. When the six peak monks saw the Eternal Tardigrade, they were shocked by the aura revealed by the Eternal Tardigrade. After Li Shiming released the Holy Spirit again, the shock remained. Li Shiming found that the six peak monks showed no other emotions after seeing the Holy Spirit. This shows that the six peak monks do not know the Holy Spirit. Perhaps the six peak monks have not yet been exposed to the knowledge related to foreign divine warriors. Li Shiming was completely relieved when he discovered that the temple had not made any attack on the Holy Spirit. With a wave of his hand, all 133 holy spirits appeared, followed by 108 immortal tardigrades. And he summoned the Golden Winged Rock, Golden Winged Dapeng, found out that this place was a temple and was extremely excited. It was born here. Although it is greatly restricted here, it still has feelings for it. Li Shiming took six peak monks and sat on the back of the Golden Winged Rock. 
The six peak monks were stunned. They just felt that their brains were not enough. The six peak monks all wanted to slap themselves a few times. How confident were they that they dared to surround and kill Li Shiming? The half-step powerful spiritual pets in front of me have a combined half-step powerful combat power that is many times that of all the half-step powerful souls in Yun Daohai combined. Being able to see the monks who were carrying more than 200 half-step fifth grade spiritual pets with them. They just felt that they had died without regrets. Li Shiming issued an order to all the holy spirits and eternal tardigrades to collect all the resources of the great monks. He himself was sitting on the back of the golden winged rock, advancing forward in the air. Anyway, there was plenty of time. The golden winged rock knew the restrictions of the temple very well and flew slowly in the air without disturbing any restrictions. In fact, even if the ban is triggered, it is not a big deal. The temple's ban can no longer harm Li Shiming and the golden winged Doping. Li Shiming looked down. A large number of holy spirits and eternal tardigrades spread out and moved forward in a straight line. The holy spirit and the immortal tardigrade are constantly triggering restrictions. And these restrictions cannot harm them at the half-step fifth level. Their existence is a bug. Even the creator of the temple did not expect that a monk would be able to sign a contract with a half-step fifth grade spiritual pet at the peak of the great monk realm. In fact, if Li Shiming hadn't accidentally achieved part of the half-step almighty power, he would never have had a half-step fifth grade spiritual pet. And the most critical thing is that the probability of a half-step fifth grade spiritual pet passing through the heavenly tribulation is too low. Outrageously low. Not to mention that the spiritual pet of a peak monk can force a breakthrough, which makes the chance of breakthrough even smaller. Although there are many talents in the world of cultivating immortals, and there are many opportunities for monks. There has never been a situation like Li Shiming's. The creator of the temple did not consider such a situation. So Li Shiming took advantage of it. Wherever the large amounts of holy spirits and eternal tardigrades passed, restrictions were constantly being triggered. But more importantly, a large number of great monk resources were collected. Especially some great monk level spiritual free trees and spiritual tea trees. These are species reserved only for temples. And most of them are extinct species in the world of immortality. Li Shiming's collection of resources this time can be said to be the cleanest and most thorough collection in the temple's countless thousands of years of history. All elixirs and minerals that have reached the level of a great monk have been collected. Fortunately, he was not too greedy and did not collect all the resources. Otherwise, the temple might not be able to produce much resources when it is open next time. But one thing is certain, that is, the resources that the peak monks who enter next time will be greatly reduced. The growth of the resources of a great monk takes time, and it cannot be fully grown in 200 years. Every 200 years, the temple can only produce part of the high monk resources. The remaining high monk resources are the parts that were not collected after the previous exploration by the monks. Li Shiming kept pushing forward, keeping in line with the collection team below. If something really happens, he can handle it in a timely manner. It took half a day for the team to advance to a position close to the God Sensing Monument. Li Shiming gently patted the Golden Winged Doping. And the Golden Winged Doping took him down to the ground. Looking at the stone tablet in front of him, he felt a little excited. This stone tablet carries his hope. After Z15 simulated the virtualized God Conscious Monument, he at least knew that the God Sense Monument had the ability to help him. When he came to the God Sensing Monument, again, he adjusted his mood and sat cross legged in front of the God Sensing Monument, facing the God Sensing Monument. His spirit is connected to the God Sensing Monument. The God Sensing Monument put his main brain into a strange state, and his main brain had illusions. His heaven art was activated, and a large amount of spiritual energy entered his body. Five elements of heavenly treasures, namely gold, wood, water, fire, and earth appeared in front of him. Each of his five nascent souls picked up a five-element secret treasure. The five nascent souls each represented one of the five elements and built five caves. All the five nascent souls turned into cave heavens. And the five cave heavens had the same attributes as the five elements treasures in them. Each of which was the five elements of gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. What's strange is that the five caves are arranged in a way that is very familiar to him. They are the Five elements chi receiving formation. The five elements chi receiving formation is the root of all his cultivation. It is precisely because of the five elements receiving chi formation that he has surpassed other monks since the chi chaining stage and has become stronger step by step. 
but it was the five elements she receiving formation that led him to another path of cultivation. Five golden elixirs and five nascent souls made his strength far beyond the same level and also made his cultivation process full of unknowns. No one thought that this five elements she receiving formation turned out to be the key to being promoted to half-step to great power. He built five caves and arranged them in a five elements receiving chi array. The five elements receiving chi array kept the energy of the five caves in balance until one day the five caves reached an extreme and he had an inexplicable feeling. But at this moment, his main brain broke away from the illusion. This illusion will not leave much memory after waking up. It will only give the monk a faint reminder at the critical moment. But Li Shiming does not have only one brain. In addition to the main brain, there are 190 brains that are paying attention to the illusion of the main brain. And there is also Z15 to record everything in the illusion. A smile appeared on his face. No matter what, he found his own path of cultivation. Chapter 1005 Bai Chao Li Shiming looked at the God Sensing Monument. He was extremely shocked by the ability of the God Sensing Monument. Of course, he also discovered that the God Sensing Monument is not omnipotent. The God Sensing Monument should have some ability to sense the monk's situation and make deductions based on the monk's situation. The content deduced by God Sensing Monument is based on the situation that can be discovered in the illusion of the God sensing monument. There was no such thing as allowing more than 200 half step fifth grade spiritual pets to enter the cave to increase the energy output of the cave. In Li Shiming's clone Li Yuanba's cave, he has already practiced the conclusion that more than 200 half step fifth grade spiritual pets can enter the cave to increase the energy output of the cave. Therefore, the conclusion deduced by the God sensing monument can only be used as a reference and does not need to be copied completely. Li Shiming had the idea of leaving the temple immediately and finding a quiet place to retreat and advance to half-step power. But he also knew that he needed a more stable mentality and could not be too anxious. It just took me these days of exploring the temple to slowly adjust my mentality. He did not stay at the Sense of God Monument for long. Although he asked C-15 to scan the Sense of God Monument many times, he knew that the virtual Sense of God Monument created by Z-15 was far from the real Sense of God Monument Monument Li Shiming returned to the back of the Golden Wing Daping. He gave orders to the Golden Wing Daping. The Golden Wing Daping adjusted its direction and flew slowly towards the Tianji Garden. The large number of Holy Spirits and Immortal Tardigrades below also changed directions and piled up towards the Tianji Garden. A few more hours passed. Since there was no need to pay attention to the restrictions, most of the time was spent on collecting. Whether it is the Holy Spirit or the Eternal Tardigrade, their wisdom is not low. This timely shimming prepared a large number of jade boxes, and all the collected resources were properly stored. He came to the Tianji Garden. Again, with the experience of the last time, he collected five five elements of Tianji treasures in the Tianji Garden. Then he moved towards the Bai Chao Garden. He still had some ideas about the elixirs in the Bai Chao Garden. As for the Sacred Beast Garden, he didn't have much idea and he didn't even plan to go there this time. The mythical beasts in the mythical beast garden are all fourth grade mythical beasts. And there are even late fourth grade mythical beasts. If he had not obtained the Holy Spirit and the immortal tardigrade, he would still have some thoughts about the mythical beast. But now that he has 133 Holy Spirits and 108 eternal tardigrades, he has no interest in the late fourth level mythical beasts. The main reason is that each kind of mythical beast requires specialized training methods. If you want to promote it to the fifth level, you need to conduct in death research on the mythical beast. Li Shiming's most important task from now on is to practice and advance to half level power. He doesn't have time to cultivate divine beasts and spiritual pets. One or two divine beasts would not be of much help to him. There were too many divine beasts, and he did not have time to cultivate them. So it was better to give up. Arriving outside the Bai Chao Garden. This is indeed a garden. When approaching the Bai Chao Garden, a portal appeared on the wall of the Bai Chao Garden. He brought the teleportation ring closer and the door to the portal opened. He walked into the Bai Chao Garden. If there are a large number of great monk resources outside, then this is a more professional medicine shop. Although it is the same great monk elixir, the elixir here is taken care of more carefully. Li Shiming checked carefully and found that there were a total of 136 kinds of elixirs here, each of which was a major monk-level elixir. 
as a master of alchemy, and with the assistance of Z15, he has unparalleled talent in alchemy. When he saw these 136 kinds of great month level elixirs, he discovered that there seemed to be some kind of connection between these 136 kinds of great month level elixirs. He felt that these 136 great month elixirs were the ingredients of some kind of elixir. It's just that with his ability in alchemy, he has never heard of elixirs refined using 136 kinds of elixirs from great monks. You must know that normal high monk elixirs are mostly composed of one high monk elixir as the main medicine, and the remaining low quality elixirs are refined as auxiliary medicines. After staying here for a long time, he vaguely felt that he would be rejected by the Bai Chao Garden soon and would be sent out of the Bai Chao Garden. When the time was up, every major monk's elixir in the Bai Chao Garden as a defensive method. After he comes in, the defense on every major monk's elixir disappears. In other words, he can collect one of each of the 136 great month elixirs in the Bai Chao Garden. No wonder neither the good or evil team took the Herb Garden as their target when they explored the temple before. It is estimated that they spent a lot of time and energy to enter the Bai Chao Garden and only obtained 136 kinds of great monk elixirs. It would be better to go to a place with higher value. He had just collected 136 cultivator elixirs when he felt the spatial energy fluctuations in the Bai Chao Garden and was sent out of the Bai Chao Garden. He was extremely curious about the 136 great monk elixirs with the 136 great cultivator elixirs he obtained in his hand. Even if he wanted to study some content, he would only have one set of materials to practice, which was really too harsh. Li Shiming looked at the six peak monks he had placed outside the Bai Chao Garden, and an idea flashed in his eyes. He uncovered a secret method of magic and used his spirit to forcibly give orders to the monks, and the monks would act according to the orders. It's just that this magical secret method can only be used on monks whose souls are weaker than your own, whose spirit is far inferior to your own, and whose realm is one level lower than your own. This makes this magical secret method of little practical value and is mostly used to control low-level monks. Needless to say, the strength of Li Shiming's soul now goes without saying, not to mention the soul of 191 brains combined. Even the soul of a half-step high-energy level far exceeds the soul of a peak monk. The same is true for the spirit. The combined spirit of 191 brains is enough to bully people. In terms of realm, due to the restrictions of nascent soul, Li Shiming's realm is suppressed to the realm of the peak monk. But where his strength is, he can always suppress other peak monks. He used the magic secret method on a peak monk and lifted some of the restrictions in the peak monk's body, allowing the peak monk to exert some spiritual power. The magic secret method was extremely successful. After receiving the order, the peak monk took out his jade token and placed it on the entrance of the Bai Chao Garden. The gate of the Bai Chao Garden opened and the peak monk walked inside. After collecting 136 cultivator elixirs, he was sent out by the Bai Chao Garden. This is the second portion, Li Shiming said to himself with a smile as he took the Great Monk Elixir from the Peak Monk. Next, he asked the other Peak Monks to enter the Herb Garden, one by one to collect the magic medicine for him. Finally, adding the ones he collected himself, he had seven elixirs consisting of 136 Great Monk Elixirs. Just when he was about to leave, he saw the Golden Winged Rock, and he couldn't help but pat his head the Golden Winged Rock is a rule breaker. It can enter and leave the Divine Beast Garden freely. Now the Golden Winged Doping has been promoted to the fifth level, and its spatial ability has been greatly enhanced. It is not difficult to break through the restrictions of the Bai Chao Garden and enter it. Whatever he wanted to do, he jumped on the back of the Golden Winged Doping and gave orders to the Golden Winged Doping. The figure of the Golden Winged Rock disappeared from the place, and when it appeared again, Li Shiming saw the familiar Yapu. The most important thing is that it seems that he did not enter through normal channels, which made him not feel rejected by the Bai Chao Garden. Of course, it was because of his abnormal way of entering that the Great Monk's elixir in the Bai Chao Garden was in a state of undefended state. Li Shiming activated the Traceless Magic Sword, and with the Traceless Magic Sword flying, the defense of the Great Monk's elixir was forcibly broken. There is no way. All the restrictions in the temple are based on the Great Monk in line with the principle of not sparing anyone. He collected all the elixirs of the great monks in the Bai Chao Garden. When he put away the last great cultivator's elixir, the space in the Bai Chao Garden suddenly shook, and then the ground cracked, and an alchemy furnace appeared. 
Li Shiming was suddenly startled, and a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. The alchemy furnace is a fifth grade alchemy furnace, and he himself has a fifth grade alchemy furnace. Although the fifth grade alchemy furnace is precious, it can only be regarded as a surprise to him. What he looked at was an elixir engraved on the surface of the fifth grade elixir furnace. It was an elixir called by Chao Dan. Take 136 great monk elixirs. Use the properties of different great monk elixirs and combine them to refine the Bai Chao pill. The refining process of Bai Chao pill is extremely complicated, and it may be regarded as the most complicated elixir in the world of immortality. Li Shiming couldn't help but secretly smack his tongue. He even doubted whether there was an alchemy master in the world of immortality who could refine this elixir. Of course, this does not put him among them. Although this elixir recipe is extremely complicated, he is still confident that it can be refined. After writing down the recipe for the Bai Chao pill, he played a master recognition formula into the fifth grade pill furnace. The master recognition technique was successful, but he got a feedback from the fifth grade pill furnace. That is, he only got the right to use the fifth grade pill furnace once. He had to refine a Bai Chao pill before he could truly become the master of the fifth grade alchemy furnace. Li Shiming shook his head. This was a completely impossible task, at least for other alchemy masters. Because if you want to refine a great monk's elixir, Ordinary alchemy masters don't have dozens of days to refine it successfully. The opening time of the temple is limited, and it is impossible to have enough time for the monks to refine elixirs here. Once sent out by the temple, the fifth grade alchemy furnace will be taken back. Li Shiming waved his hand and put the fifth grade pill furnace into the computer room. He also inspired the fifth grade, infinite immortal fire, and sent it into the fifth grade alchemy furnace. And then he started to use the fifth grade, infinite immortal fire, to make elixirs. The recipe of Bai Chao pill is too complex, and the refining time is several times that of a normal monk's elixir. Li Shiming used the fifth grade, infinite immortal fire, and he deliberately accelerated the speed of alchemy. He constantly used chaos spiritual power to strengthen the power of infinite immortal fire to make the alchemy faster. The faster the alchemy speed, the greater the chance of making mistakes. But in the computer room space, with the control of 0.5 nanometer precision, he refined the Bai Chao pill in a few days. Just when the refining was successful and was about to come out of the furnace, he played the 110% pill Ju and moved the 5th grade pill furnace outside the machine room. The light on the 5th grade elixir furnace flashed, and 6 Bai Chao pills flew out of the elixir furnace. Li Shiming took out the jade bottle and put away the Bai Chao pill. He felt that the original barrier between the 5th grade pill furnace and him disappeared, and he became the master of the 5th grade pill furnace. Although the refining was completed, the light on the 5th grade pill furnace did not stop, but became stronger and stronger. The Bai Chao garden gradually shrank under the light, and finally turned into a small model-like object. Of course, this vision was seen from the eyes of a holy spirit outside. Li Shiming was inside the Bai Chao garden, and only felt the Bai Chao garden vibrating. He was shocked and quickly asked the golden winged rock to take him out. But before the golden winged rock could take him out, as soon as he had this idea, he left the herb garden. Li Shiming stared blankly at the Bai Chao garden model in his hand, feeling the connection between himself and the Bai Chao garden model. Only then did he realize that for some unknown reason, he recognized the Bai Chao garden host. Although the Bai Chao garden has only cultivated 136 kinds of elixirs for great monks, in fact, as long as Li Shiming plants the elixirs in the Bai Chao Garden, the Bai Chao Garden can cultivate the elixirs on its own. Cultivate the elixir into the Great Monk Elixir. This is not the limit of the Bai Chao Garden. Li Shiming left the temple with the Bai Chao Garden. Without the restrictions of the temple, the Bai Chao Garden can even cultivate 5th grade elixirs. It's just that the growth period of 5th grade elixirs is a bit long. Even if the Bai Chao Garden can shorten the growth period, it will still be measured in hundreds of years. Another benefit of being recognized as the owner of the Bai Chao Garden is that he obtained the alchemy inheritance of the temple from the Bai Chao Garden. This is not the alchemy inheritance of today's immortal world, but the ancient alchemy inheritance. It has great reference value for the processing of various elixirs and alchemy methods. The most important thing is that its alchemy concept is more complex and comprehensive. With this alchemy inheritance, Li Shiming's alchemy is more diverse. He looked at the Great Monk's Elixir that he had harvested this time, and found that the value of the Great Monk's Elixir that he had obtained from the temple before could not be fully utilized at all. 
These great monks' elixirs were deeply studied by the superpowers of Yundahai and formed corresponding elixir recipes. But these elixir recipes are only those developed by the alchemy masters of various superpowers based on their own understandings. Many of these great monk elixirs are extinct ancient elixirs. They had special elixir recipes in ancient times. If Li Shiming could use ancient elixirs to refine these great monk elixirs, the effect of the great monk elixirs obtained would be much improved. He played with a model of the Bai Chao Garden in his hand. He did not expect that there would be an unexpected surprise during this trip to the temple. The role of the Bai Chao Garden is not small, especially with the ability to cultivate fifth grade elixirs. The Herb Garden is enough to make any powerful man go crazy. Chapter 1006 Half Step Just when Li Shiming put away the Bai Chao Garden, he felt the rejection of the temple, and then the space energy enveloped him, and he was about to be sent out of the temple. After calculating the time, it was time to open the temple this time. The moment he was about to be sent out of the temple, the traceless phantom sword swept across and six peak monks were killed by him. Originally, the six peak monks were happy because they felt that the temple was about to send them away. The way the temple sends out the inner monks is a random way. Although the random range is not very large, it can always give them a little more chance of survival. But they never expected that Li Shiming didn't give them a chance and kill them the moment they were about to be sent out by the temple. After their death, the space energy gathered by the temple on them also disappeared. Li Shiming collected their bodies before being sent away. After the space transformation, Li Shiming appeared again, standing in the void, which was the periphery of the temple. He could sense that multiple teams of monks were approaching this area in the distance, and they were coming to meet the peak monks who were exploring the temple. You must know that every peak monk who can leave the temple alive will carry a large amount of monk resources. These great monk resources play an extremely important role for each superpower, and are also one of the main resources for the superpower to cultivate disciples. Li Shiming had no intention of meeting them. He summoned the Golden Winged Daping, sat on the back of the Golden Winged Daipak, and issued orders to the Golden Winged Daipak. The Golden Winged Rock took him and disappeared on the spot, moving far away from the temple after several spatial movements. Shortly after he left, each of the response teams received news from the sect that the peak monk who was exploring the temple had died. And he died just before the temple was about to close. Due to time constraints, the six superpowers did not have time to exchange information. This caused each responding team to think that it was a sneak attack by the peak monks of other superpowers. Before getting more information, each responding team fought in this area several times and suffered losses from each other. None of this has anything to do with Li Shiming, who is already inside the Cloud Island Sea at this time. With the map of Yudao Sea, he was looking for a remote place to retreat this time. And he was promoted to half-step to great power on this side of Yundao Sea. Besides, the teleportation ring had just been used, and it would take at least 20 years to recover. He would not take risks in this state. He found an uninhabited island and took the golden-winged rock into the cave of heaven and man. Li Shiming's figure flashed to the uninhabited island, and the traceless magic sword flew out and dug down along the rocks on the island. After digging to a depth of 50 meters, a cave was opened here. The reason why we chose the interior of Yandao Sea instead of the outer sea where there are fewer monks is because there are less disturbances from spiritual beasts inside the Yandao Sea. However, if we go to the outer sea, we may be disturbed by spiritual beasts to practice. He took out the black and white chess pieces and arranged a formation around the temporary cave. The formation can lock all the aura within the formation. And even the spiritual energy inside will not leak out. After setting up the formation, he transferred the spiritual veins from the Tianan cave, except for the spiritual veins left for Yin Shirlan to practice. He moved the rest of the spiritual veins to the temporary cave, although he had a way to break through. He was not in a hurry to break through, but was waiting for the increase in spiritual energy. Over the years, he and his clone Yuan Ba had broken down so many sects, killed so many powerful monks, and the number of spiritual veins he had obtained was terrifying especially monks, who come from the realm of super-powerful monks and above. Each such monk carries with him enough spiritual veins for his own cultivation. After he obtained these spiritual veins before, he would casually send them into the Heavenly Man's Cave to increase the supply of spiritual energy in the Heavenly Man's Cave. Now that it was time to need spiritual energy, his previous random behavior provided the spiritual energy foundation for him to advance to half-step to great power. In fact, for example, when a peak monk is promoted to a half-step to become a powerful person, 
Various forces specially provide the spiritual energy of the sect master's spiritual veins, so that the promotion process will not be affected by the lack of energy. The risk of being promoted to half-step to great power is too high, and every mistake in this process may be fatal. It's a pity that Li Shiming is not a disciple of a superpower, and there is no retreat environment specially designed for promotion to half-step to great power. At this point, he is not as good as his clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba was promoted to half-level power in retreat. The retreat environment was prepared by Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. However, the resources Li Shiming has in his hands are so large that although he cannot be said to be able to defeat a superpower by himself, he definitely exceeds that of large sects. Just like spiritual veins, by comparing the number of great monks killed by him and his clone Li Yuanba, one can calculate how many great monks' spiritual veins he has. Anyway, after two months of this temporary spiritual vein, the spiritual energy was tightly locked in the formation due to the formation, and the spiritual energy condensed into mist in the air. In the past two months, Li Shiming has been observing the records of the illusion of the God Sensing Monument in Z15. In the 500th year since he entered the world of immortality, he finally set out to advance to half level power. He was in the mist like spiritual energy, took a long breath, and activated the heavenly art, the method of celestial art to break through the realm of a great monk. Combined with the experience he gained from the God Sensing Monument, gradually immersed his main brain into a state of cultivation. A Bai Chao pill flew in and fell into his mouth. Since the Bai Chao pill was refined by his own hands and he received the ancient alchemy inheritance, he was very clear about the role of the Bai Chao pill. So he took the Bai Chao pill at such a critical moment. In fact, there are many elixirs he can choose from. Just like the breakthrough elixirs prepared by the superpowers in the world of immortality for their own monks. He has many of them in his hands because no matter which superpower it is, in order to allow its peak monks to achieve better breakthroughs, they will spend a lot of money to ask Li Shiming to refine higher quality breakthrough elixirs. After refining the elixir with Li Shiming's hands, under the influence of the 110-point elixir formula, he could obtain more elixirs than the client. But in his opinion, the breakthrough elixirs prepared by these superpowers for the peak monks are far less effective than the Bai Chao pill. Just a moment after the Bai Chao pill entered the abdomen, a large amount of pure energy continuously flowed out from the Bai Chao pill in the abdomen. This pure energy was even greater than the energy generated by the spiritual energy accumulated through a large number of spiritual veins in two months. Many times more. It is unimaginable that a small Bai Chao pill contains so much energy. But considering that the Bai Chao pill requires up to 136 types of monk's elixirs, not to mention the extremely complicated refining process, even if 136 types of monk's elixirs are handed over to other alchemy masters in his hands. It is estimated that no alchemy master in the current world of immortality can successfully refine it. A large amount of pure energy entered the bodies of the five yuanings. And the heavenly art technique was also frantically swallowing the spiritual energy in the temporary cave, causing the energy in the five yuanings to continue to increase. His main brain has entered a breakthrough state. The opportunity for such a breakthrough lies with other peak monks and they need to go out to find opportunities for breakthroughs. But Li Shiming is different here. Not only does he have the breakthrough opportunity insights shared by his clone Li Yuanba, but he has also experienced three half-step high-level catastrophes. In the past, because he was unable to solve the method of the five nascent souls breaking through the half-step power, he had been suppressing his own feeling of breakthrough. Now there was finally no need to suppress it. He entered a breakthrough state as soon as he activated the heavenly art. The five nascent souls that had reached their limit were all forcibly absorbed into the nascent soul body. No matter how much energy flowed in from the outside, the spiritual energy in the temporary cave and the energy transformed by a Bai Chao pill were not enough to meet his breakthrough needs, and his five nascent souls did not reach the ultimate level of energy. Fortunately, he still had a lot of hundred herb pills. He took one hundred herb pills first this time, and the rest of the hundred herb pills were ready at any time. It wasn't until he took five more hundred herb pills and consumed all the hundred herb pills he refined that his five nascent souls felt the ultimate sense of energy. The secret method was operating and the five nascent souls shrank together under the influence of massive energy. The five nascent souls turned into nothingness and five small caves appeared where the five nascent souls disappeared. These five small caves are very strange. They are arranged in the position of the Five elements Nai Chi Ray and are connected to each other. 
Li Shiming felt the rejection from heaven and earth. Without any hesitation, he entered a cave in a flash. The cave he was in was very small, but he could sense the other four connected caves. There was a barrier between the five caves where they touched. But for him, these barriers were of no use. He felt that he could appear anywhere in any cave at any time. The five cave heavens are all his cave heavens. He is the master of the five cave heavens and the god of the five cave heavens. As his mind moved slightly, five five element heavenly treasures flew out. These were all obtained from the temple. They were pure heavenly treasures that had never been used by any monks. The five secret treasures entered the five caves according to the arrangement of the five elements and became the core of each cave. With the core of Dong Tian, it is like the creation of the world. Energy is generated from the core and Dong Tian comes to life. Li Shiming looked at the core of the cave. He was surprised to find that the cave he was in was a fire cave. Theoretically, the core of the cave should generate fire rules in its initial state. However, due to the five elements receiving qi formation and the fact that the five caves are actually from the same source in the core of the fire cave, not only the rules of the fire system appear, but also the rest of the metal, the four rules of wood, water and earth. Li Shiming sent the other four cave heavens and found that at the core of the four cave heavens, there were complete rules of the five elements. He smiled. It was a good thing to have multiple rules. It would make him more powerful. He then imported all his sword intention rules, space rules, and thunder and lightning rules into the core of the fire cave. When he was about to repeat this process and import the several rules he controlled into the remaining four caves, he discovered that this time the four caves synchronized themselves again. The five elements receiving chi formation seems simple, but you must know that this five elements receiving chi formation has been cultivated by him for hundreds of years, forming a unique way of existence in his body. Now the five caves coexist in the five elements Nai Chi formation, allowing the five caves to grow together, which saves him a lot of trouble. One year later, the five caves have grown into a cave with a radius of 50 meters. This is faster than the growth rate of the cave that is separated from Li Yuanba. I think that in addition to the reason why Li Shiming is stronger than Li Yuanba, there is also the Five Elements Chi Collection Formation Reason Li Shiming took more than 200 half-step fifth-level spiritual pets into the fire cave. Since he left two thunder lords, a red demon, the golden-bodied bodhisattva protector, and the thunder beast Li Yuanba, he had fewer than Li Yuanba. Five half-step fifth-level spiritual pets entered the cave. It doesn't matter. One year after more than 200 half-step fifth-grade spiritual pets entered the fire element cave, the energy output of the fire element cave reached the amount sufficient to satisfy the survival of more than 200 half-step fifth-grade spiritual pets. These energies were shared by the five elements Nai Chi formation to four of the caves, allowing the five caves to grow in a balanced manner. However, the energy output of the remaining four caves did not increase, which affected the growth rate of the fire cave. The growth of the fire cave was slowed down by the other four caves. After Li Shiming reached saturation in the energy output of Wishing Cave, he brought all the half-step fifth-grade spiritual pets to Jinxing Cave. Just like this, several years passed, and he rotated among the five caves, allowing the energy output of each cave to reach the extreme level that could satisfy the survival of more than 200 and a half-step fifth-level spiritual pets. The five caves are expanding almost every moment, which is the effect of a large amount of energy. He also chose the cave heaven-bearing object. Instead of choosing the space stone like his clone Li Yuanba, he had a better choice, which was the Daoyan Golden Lotus. Li Shiming chose the treasure. Daoyan Golden Lotus. As the cave heaven bearer, his five cave heaven bearers are all Daoyan Golden Lotus. And the entrance is at the center of Daoyan Golden Lotus. The advantage of this is that with the defense power of Daoyan Golden Lotus, as long as there is sufficient energy supply, the defense power of Daoyan Golden Lotus can effectively protect the entrance. Most importantly, with the current energy output of the five caves, even if the Daoyan Golden Lotus is attacked, the five caves can still provide enough energy. Based on previous experience, Daoyan Golden Lotus can at least withstand the attack of the powerful clone with a sufficient supply of half-step high-level energy. As for whether it can resist the attack of the powerful body, it is unknown. The attack power of each powerful body is different and Li Shiming cannot analyze the ultimate attack power of the powerful body. Of course, as Li Shiming continues to strengthen and the energy quality provided for Daoyan Golden Lotus becomes higher and higher, 
the defense power of Daoyuan Golden Lotus will also increase. Chapter 1007 Cave Heaven Li Shiming hopes that one day Daoyuan Golden Lotus can withstand attacks from the powerful body. In that case, even if he is discovered by the powerful body, he will still have the ability to escape. Another point of Daoyuan Golden Lotus is that you only need to separate one brain to control Daoyuan Golden Lotus to fly and even move in space. He doesn't need the help of his spiritual pet. And his cave heaven carrier can move on its own. Which is a great convenience. In the Tianan cave, the Phantom Clone and Yin Shirlan finished their lessons. Yin Shirlan learned the knowledge of rules from the Phantom Clone. Although Yin Shirlan actually absorbed very few parts for her own use. Long-term teaching has allowed her to master more profound knowledge of rules than the peak monks of the same level. Even in a superpower. Even if it is a core cultivator that is focused on training. It is impossible for a half-step master to explain his understanding of the rules every day. You must know that the monk's understanding of the rules is obtained through hard work of cultivation. It is difficult to express it in words. Every time he explains his rules, it is a mental drain. No monk will waste his time and energy for other monks. Just so that the other monk can gain 1% or even 1 10 million understanding of what he explains. But Li Shiming is different here. The Phantom Clone does not have to worry about mental exhaustion or the difficulty of the explanation. With the summary of Z15, the Phantom Clone's explanation of the rules will make it easier for Yin Shirlan to accept it, with the original body's 191 brains as the foundation. The Phantom Clone can replenish mental consumption at any time. It is precisely because of this that Yin Shirlan has an understanding of rules that exceeds her own talent. If Li Shiming hopes to be with Yin Shirlan for a longer time, he needs to improve Yin Shirlan's level. Lord, I invite you to the cave I've built, the Phantom Clone said with a smile. Juan, is Shiming's cave heaven stable? I won't have any influence in the past. Right. Yin Shirlan's eyes flashed with curiosity. But after studying for so long, her understanding of cave heaven is not as good as before. She knew half of it. How dangerous it is to step into the powerful realm. Don't worry. The Phantom Clone replied with a smile. After leaving Tianan Cave, Yin Shirlan came to the temporary cave. She did not pay attention to the situation in the temporary cave, but was attracted by the Daoyuan Golden Lotus. In the center of the cave, the most precious treasure, Golden Lotus of Taoyuan, was previously a Buddhist treasure. But after Li Shiming's intentional changes, and through his instilling Taoist knowledge into the spirit of Golden Lotus of Daoyuan, the spirit of the Golden Lotus of Daoyuan, now can be said to be a combination of Taoism and Buddhism. Refined? This makes the Daoyuan Golden Lotus carry a Taoist specific aura of transcendence when it transforms into a Dao Lotus. And monks who practice Taoism will feel emotional when they see it. Daoyuan has a lofty status in Taoism. Not to mention that it is a powerful treasure. The Taoist aura it exudes has a great influence on Taoist monks. At this moment, the petals of the Daoyuan Golden Lotus opened, revealing the space door inside. Yin Shirlan had absolute trust in Li Shiming. She stepped into the space door and then appeared in the cave. Shiming, this place is so beautiful! She couldn't help but exclaimed after entering the cave. The first impression of Dong Tian is that it is gorgeous. This was not intentional by Li Shiming. The five elements rules are complete. Plus the sword intention rules, thunder and lightning rules, and space rules. Although Dong Tian is still in the initial construction period, its rules are far superior to the initial construction state in terms of quantity and quality. Even a monk at the peak of half-step power cannot have such a comprehensive rule system. The rules of the five elements produce the five energies of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, plus the thunderclouds caused by the rules of thunder and lightning, making the cave sky form a relatively complete recyclable small world. In the recyclable small world, even if Li Shiming doesn't manage it, the energy in the cave will balance itself without his intervention. Most half-step masters need to be extremely careful about energy stability issues. But here it is extremely easy. Although it is not difficult for him to adjust the energy in the cave. The current situation is better. The energy of the five elements separates the heaven and the earth in the cave sky. The big sun in the sky is fire. The rocks and soil on the ground are gold and soil. The spiritual plants are wood. And the spiritual springs are water. From time to time. There are thunderclouds and a spiritual rain. Adjust the humidity of the cave air. Today's cave has a radius of 10,000 meters in size alone. 
The reason why it accurately reaches a radius of 10,000 meters is because this is the maximum limit of the half-step powerful cave. In many classics, Li Shiming has never seen the description of the limit of the size of the half-step almighty cave. Perhaps it is because other half-step powers have not been able to reach the ultimate level of their own caves. Even the Klaumi Yuanba, who has mastered the rules of space and has more than 200 half-step fifth-grade spiritual pets, has strengthened the energy output of the caves, but it has not made the caves smaller. Reach the limit. The reason why Li Shiming's cave can reach the limit of the size of the half-step powerful cave is not only due to the rules of space and the more than 200 and half-step fifth-level spiritual pets, but also because there are five caves arranged in the form of the five elements she receiving formation to promote each other. The effect of mutual influence. He has accomplished something unprecedented in the world of immortal cultivation. Of course, the risks involved are huge. If it were not for the help of the illusion of the God sensing monument. He might have stopped at the peak of the realm of a great monk in his life. The splendor of the cave's sky is also the scenery that Ian Sherlon is attracted to. It is the five color light in the sky. This five color light was not caused by Li Shiming, but an unintentional act of the golden winged Doping. The five color light is actually the five color divine light. When the golden winged Doping first entered the cave, it could only stand on the ground because the cave was too small. This was too uncomfortable for it to soar in the sky. After the cave sky continued to expand, it finally had room to fly into the sky. Although space still doesn't allow it to fully enjoy itself, its ability to fly is much better than before. In the extra time, the golden winged rock kept trying to convert energy in the air. The energy in the cave is the energy of the five elements, which is the basic energy of the five color divine light. Under the continuous transformation of the golden winged rock, part of the five element energy is transformed into the five color divine light. Later, Li Shiming unexpectedly discovered that among the five cave cores, there was an additional five color divine light rune. This was not a regular rune, but it was a high level application of the five elements rules. It was more powerful than ordinary regular runes. Profound. The golden winged Doping was Li Shiming's spiritual pet, and he had no defense against him. In addition, he was really bored in the cave. So he began to study his own five color divine light. He never thought that during the growth of this cave, some operations the memory will be absorbed by Dantian. Now in the sky of the five caves, apart from the thunderclouds that appear from time to time, the brilliant light of the five-color divine light is particularly eye-catching. Lord, welcome to my world. Li Shiming came to Yin Shirlan with a smile and gestured to everything in the cave with his hand. I feel that the knowledge I learned in Wanfeng Palace is wrong. It doesn't match the knowledge I learned here. Only then did Yin Shirlan begin to observe the cave's sky carefully. She discovered the size of the cave's sky and also discovered that there were spirits in the cave's sky. Such life as plant exists. Everything here was breaking her cognition. The half-step powerful knowledge passed down to her by Luanfeng Palace was in strong conflict with everything in front of her. My cave is a little special, Li Shiming explained with a smile. He held Yin Shirlan with one hand and then appeared in another cave and then came to the third, fourth, and fifth cave. Yin Shirlan opened her mouth wide unable to accept what she saw in front of her. Li Shiming didn't explain too much. After Z15 calculations, he found that there were too many contingencies in the five elements receiving chi formation. Even if he has walked the path of the five elements receiving chi formation, the possibility of repeating this path is too low. This makes the practice of the five elements receiving chi formation not worth promoting. Even though the five elements receiving chi formation will bring many benefits to monks. Even if a monk is extremely lucky and forms a five elements chi receiving array in his body, the resources required for each promotion to a major realm will be five times that of a normal monk. Not to mention the resources that exist during the promotion to a major realm. Risky. Without Li Shiming's alchemy ability and his ability to obtain resources, practicing the five elements chi receiving formation would be self-destructive. Lord, you can learn the rules here. Li Shiming said the reason why Yin Shirlan entered the cave. He intentionally revealed the rules of the cave. During the construction of the cave, the rules and runes in the cave were easier to observe. It just so happened that Yin Shirlan had some understanding of the rules. And understanding the rules in Dantian was just an improvement. It won't affect your cultivation. Right. Yin Shirlan asked a little worriedly. That's not true. There is a balance of the five elements in my cave. So there is no need to worry. Li Shiming said with a smile and waved his hand. He waved his hand, and the ground rose. 
The rocks and soil turned into bricks. First the walls, then the roof. After the walls were formed, they turned into stone. The stone on the surface wriggled, and exquisite reliefs appeared one after another. It didn't take long for him to build a palace. In his cave, he is a god, and he can control the cave to do many incredible things. Building a palace is just a basic operation. In fact, the most difficult part is not the construction, but the conversion of materials. Soil turns into rock, and rock turns into soft matter, all of which require an understanding of matter. Li Shiming is best at these aspects, and this is the research direction of past life science. Because of this, he can do things that are extremely difficult for many other half-step powers. With the ability to control everything in the cave, he can do much more than other half-step powers. Yin Shiroan moved into the palace, and Li Shiming studied the rules with Yin Shiroan every day, most of which Li Shiming was guiding Yin Shiroan. If Li Shiming's cultivation method were seen by other half-step masters, they would definitely be envious. Whoever is sealed in the cave will be accompanied by a Taoist companion while he carefully passes the half-step to the realm of great power every day. Taoist couples living in the cave will increase the energy consumption of the cave. It would be okay if the Taoist couple was half-step to the realm of great power, and it would be able to increase the energy output of the cave. But if the Taoist couple was really half-step to the realm of great power, they would only stay in their own cave. As the days passed like this, Yin Sherlon's understanding of the rules became deeper and deeper. Li Shiming also used his time to refine several batches of Bai Chao Pill, which was prepared for Yin Sherlon. He even prepared a copy of the secret treasure for Yin Sherlon. Perhaps Luanfeng Palace will prepare some resources for Yin Sherlon. But the secret treasures prepared by Luanfeng Palace are unknown to many hands and have passed through the hands of countless half-step experts. With Yin Sherlon's low talent, any adverse impact may have irreparable consequences. So Li Shiming provided her with the best resources. Anyway, Li Shiming had enough resources in this area, and it would be a waste to leave them alone. Yin Shirlan did not propose to be promoted to half-step almighty. She was very clear about her own conditions. She thought that she would increase her accumulation and be promoted to half-step almighty in the strongest state so that she could be worthy of Li Shiming's efforts. In the blink of an eye, more than 20 years later, the energy in Li Shiming's teleportation ring was restored and he could use the teleportation ring for ultra-long-distance teleportation again. This makes him unable to calm down in his heart. If he is unable to calm down in his other half-step powers, he can calm himself down through practice. Li Shiming was different. He chose to walk out of the cave. Yes, he wanted to break the rules in the world of immortality about whether a half-step master could leave the cave. He wanted to get out of his own cave. If the half-step power left the cave, he knew the consequences he would encounter the half-step power level heavenly tribulation. Li Shiming is very curious now. If he passes the half-step high-level calamity, will he get a reward from heaven and earth? If you can get rewards from heaven and earth, can you get them repeatedly? With this curiosity, he asked the phantom clone to accompany Yin Shirlan and walked out of the cave. Of course, before walking out of the cave, he summoned 108 immortal tardigrades to form an armor. This was the confidence he had to dare to walk out of the cave and face the catastrophe. After walking out of the cave, he felt the lack of the rules of the cave. Although the five elements rules formed a complete system for the transformation of the five elements, compared with the more comprehensive circulation system of the outside world, his five element system was too thin. But if you want to achieve the same system as the outside world, it can only be achieved by the realm of great power. And it is not something that can be accessed by the half-step realm of great power. Just as he was thinking, he felt thunderclouds gathering above his head. Li Shiming quickly put away the spiritual veins in the temporary cave. These spiritual veins have continued to provide energy to the cave for so many years. He didn't want to destroy his spiritual veins because of the catastrophe. Although the collection of spiritual veins was not specially done, it was not that easy to get so many spiritual veins. He took a step forward and his figure appeared in the sky. Above his head, the thunderclouds had intensified to the point where the sky and the earth changed color. Li Shiming looked at the immortal tardigrade armor on his body and couldn't help but shook his head. As long as he had this armor composed of 108 immortal tardigrades, the disaster he faced would be half a step away. Can achieve the ultimate disaster. Chapter 1008 Thunder What Li Shiming felt in his heart. He looked at the thundercloud above his head and found that it was not an ordinary thundercloud although he didn't know what this thundercloud was like. He knew very well that this thundercloud was not a normal tribulation thundercloud. 
If anyone in this world has experienced the most catastrophes, it is definitely him. In the nascent soul stage, he had refined many corpses. And when he was in the peak monk realm, he had refined more than two hundred and a half step fifth grade spiritual pets. After experiencing so many heavenly tribulations, and with the addition of Z15 through calculation and analysis, he could identify the power and scale of the catastrophe just by looking at it. But the thunderclouds above his head were different from the catastrophes he had seen. Due to the participation of 108 immortal tardigrades, its power has naturally reached the extreme of a half-step high-energy level catastrophe. But the energy contained in the thunderclouds was constantly being replenished, giving him a feeling that the number of thunderclouds this time was far more than nine. With a boom sound, a thunderbolt fell from the sky. He stood in the void, feeling the thunder falling from outside his body, blocked by the armor composed of eternal tardigrades. This kind of opportunity to safely sense thunder at close range does not come often. He sensed the thunder falling from the sky, hitting the eternal tardigrade, and then turned into countless lightning flashes. He sensed the tyranny of the thunder and lightning rules contained in it. Faintly, his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning has improved. At the same time, the thunder and lightning rule runes in his five caves continue to shine. The first sky thunder failed to hurt him, and there was only a breath of time between the second sky thunder and the first sky thunder. If normal heavenly tribulations were like this, I am afraid that no monk would be able to survive the heavenly tribulation. As thunder fell one after another, Li Shiming was immersed in the rules of thunder and lightning contained in the thunder, and his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning continued to deepen. Unknowingly, the sky thunder fell to the tenth level, and the thunderclouds in the sky showed no signs of disappearing, or even changed much. Although Li Shiming's main brain was immersed in understanding the rules of thunder and lightning, the rest of his brain was very aware of the number of thunder. He finally understood why those half-step masters did not dare to leave the cave. What the half-step masters faced was not an ordinary catastrophe, but the obliteration of heaven and earth. The heavenly tribulation is the test of living beings from heaven and earth. This test only eliminates the living beings that do not meet the requirements. But the obliteration of heaven and earth is different. This is because there is no intention to let half-step power survive. Li Shiming didn't know that the human monk's half-step to the realm of great power was due to the construction of a cave to escape the rejection of heaven and earth. When his own cave was built, Bamboo Dongning took on the aura of another world. Since the cave is not yet stable, there is no way to hide the aura of another world in half-step powerful body. When the breath of another world enters the main world, it is naturally not tolerated by heaven and earth. This is no longer a matter of overcoming tribulation, but of excluding aliens who are not from this world. The half-step mastery in the world of immortality does not leave the cave. This is an experience formed by countless lessons of blood and tears in history. After enduring more than 90 thunders, Li Shiming no longer wanted to stay outside. In fact, thunder from the sky falls again and again, even if the eternal tardigrade can resist it. Under such endless attacks, the eternal tardigrade will have an upper limit to withstand. His figure flashed and returned to his cave. As he disappeared, only the Daoyan Golden Lotus was left in place. The thunderclouds in the sky also dissipated after the target disappeared. But the movement here still attracted the attention of many superpowers. The Daoyan Golden Lotus flashed with light, used space movement to disappear in place, and then entered the sea, and continued to use space movement in the sea to move towards the distance. He is too lazy to cause trouble. In his current state, it is best to just stay in the cave. Fighting with people under the thunder is not a good thing. Li Shiming glanced at In Shirlan, who was observing the rules. He could feel the fluctuations of the rules on Ian Sherlon's body. This made him chuckle. Although Ian Sherlon's talent was insufficient, with his full training, the chance of Ian Sherlon becoming a half-step master was not small. He was ready. When Ian Sherlon met the promotion conditions, he would use Ian Sherlon's spirit to face the God-sensing monument, virtualized by Z15. Although the virtual God-sensing monument was of little help to him, for the relatively ordinary Ian Sherlon, it was able to guide Yin Shirlan to a half-step to great power. Even if Yin Shirlan cannot remember the illusory experience gained from the virtual God-sensing monument, Z15 can, and having Yin Shirlan review it over and over will always increase her probability of promotion. Hey! When Li Shiming's eyes swept across the core of the cave, he discovered the changes in the Thunder and Lightning Rule Mark. He is very familiar with his own cave. Thunder and Lightning Rule Mark was still in the early stages of entering the half-step power level before he left. 
but now it is in the early stages of stabilizing the half-step power level. You must know that among these rules, the thunder and lightning rules are relatively weak, since the clone Li Yuanba did not practice the thunder and lightning rules. Li Shiming's thunder and lightning rules could not be shared with Li Yuanba, who was promoted to half-step power in one step. This made the thunder and lightning rules completely dependent on himself after he promoted to half-step power and built the cave heaven. High Energy Lightning Rules In a short time since leaving the cave, the rules of thunder and lightning have caught up with the rules of sword and metal. He naturally understands where this improvement came from. It is the result of more than 90 thunders he experienced in the outside world. He seems to have found a way to harvest the wool of the main world, which is to constantly enter the main world and experience the baptism of thunder. Understand the rules of thunder and lightning from the thunder, and constantly improve his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning. Li Shiming did whatever he wanted. He first used the magical power of Innate Emu. His five elements rules have all been upgraded to a half-step high level. Among them, the wood rules have enhanced the power of the Innate Wood magical power, increasing the effect of this healing magical power many times. In particular, the healing effect on half-step high level creatures has been improved to the point where it can heal almost instantly. He used the magical power of Innate Emu to treat all immortal tardigrades and replenish the vitality in their bodies. Although the resilience of Eternal Tardigrades is extremely powerful, their resilience is based on their vitality. The magical power of Sientianimu combined with the Eternal Tardigrade almost perfectly increases the endurance of the Eternal Tardigrade, allowing the Eternal Tardigrade to last longer under the thunder. After doing this, Daoyan Golden Lotus also moved to a 100,000 miles away. He flashed out of the cave sky again. As soon as he came out of the cave sky, Thunderclouds were densely packed above his head. Then one after another thunder fell. And this time, he withstood more than a hundred thunder before returning to the cave. In the days that followed, Li Shiming kept going in and out of the cave. And his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning also improved at an incredible speed. Of course, although the thunder and lightning rule runes in the core of Don Tian are enhanced very quickly, this speed is also relative. It will take at least several years for him to upgrade the thunder and lightning rules to the next small realm. And these few years are the time to continuously enter and exit the cave and endure the bombardment of thunder. In fact, this speed is already unimaginably fast. In the world of immortality, the progress of half-step to great power is the slowest process. Many half-step powers cannot improve to this small level until their lifespan is exhausted. The half-step powers that can be improved either have enough lifespan or have top-notch talents. Li Shiming didn't know that his operation caused chaos in the entire Yindao Sea. The death of the peak monk who was sent by the six superpowers to explore the temple first pitted the Taoist and demonic parties against each other. And then, there was suspicion among all the superpowers. The six superpowers jointly explored the temple. But it took thousands of years. It is precisely because of the massive resources of great monks that can be obtained from the temple that the six superpowers can suppress the forces of the entire Yundao Sea inside and fight against the spiritual beasts in the ocean outside. How can those forces that harvest the resources of great monks through normal means compare to the six superpowers that have the resources of great monks produced by temples? But this time during the exploration of the temple, not only were the great monks' resources not obtained, but even the peak great monks sent died. Coupled with the time 200 years ago, the superpowers had nothing to gain from opening the temple twice in a row which made the superpowers of Yundahai go crazy. Just when the six superpowers were investigating the death of their top monks and were suspicious of each other, a strange sky thunder incident occurred. Suddenly, catastrophes appear from time to time throughout the Cloud Island Sea. It's just that these catastrophes are different from normal catastrophes in terms of power and quantity. They also considered whether a certain half-step powerful person was causing the incident. But as long as they thought about the thunder falling more than a hundred times, even the powerful clone would not dare to do this. The six superpowers temporarily put aside their suspicions and began to investigate the Tianlei incident with all their strength. But no matter how much I investigated, there was no clue. Thinking about it, Li Shiming's whereabouts in Yundahai had no purpose. His whereabouts were random. In addition, he has experience in fighting against thunder. And he only appears for a short time each time. Usually within the time of a cup of tea, he will return to the cave. Even if the six superpowers had more energy in Yandahai, they would not be able to easily capture the scene of Li Shiming going through the catastrophe. And thus, they would not be able to investigate the truth of the matter. Finally, because the six superpowers were unable to produce results for a long time, 
and the impact of this matter was somewhat large. The six superpowers took action. Wuda's powerful clone stood at the place where Tian Lei disappeared not long ago. After she released her perception, she felt a familiar aura. Li Shiming, you appeared again! Wu Da's clone said to herself in a deep voice. A light flashed in her eyes. The last time Li Shiming appeared. It was the time when the temple was opened. At that time, Li Shiming entered the temple by unknown means and robbed a large number of great monk resources. She also took action that time. But Li Shiming escaped. But this time, Li Shiming appeared again during the opening time of the temple, which had to make her suspicious. Combined with the death of all the peak monks sent by the six superpowers to explore the temple, Wu Da's clone finally determined the truth of the matter. Wu Da's clone was almost 100% sure that Li Shiming was the murderer of the six peak monks. Otherwise, it would be impossible to explain the time of Li Shiming's appearance. It was such a coincidence. Most importantly, Wu Da's clone had long suspected that Li Shiming had another way to enter the temple. The last time she took action to arrest Li Shiming, it was to find out how Li Shiming entered the temple. Wu Da's clone took out a contact disc, and she activated the contact disc. Fairy Wu, why do you have time to contact me? A middle-aged man's voice came from the other side of the contact tray. Old monster Mao Gang, use the soul chasing guide. Wu Da's clone said directly, Great Master Mao Gang is the inherited great master of the righteous Xingxiu sect. Regardless of the fact that the six superpowers, Taoist demons and Taoists, are somewhat incompatible with each other. But at the powerful level, the relationship between the powerful powers of the six superpowers is still good. As for the conflict between the juniors, it was intentional by the powerful ones. If there were no constant conflicts between the three righteous superpowers and the three demonic superpowers, how could the younger generation of monks get enough training opportunities? A peaceful group cannot cultivate strong monks. Wuda is the only female power among the six inherited powers. This gives her a special status and is cared for by the other five male powers. Of course, Wuda Ning did not want such care. But after such a long period of time, she developed the habit of being rude. Just like the matter of borrowing the inherited treasure, it would be impossible for other powerful people to open their mouths. Not only did Wuda speak, but Mao Gang was not surprised. Should I send the soul chasing guide to you? Mao Gang and Wuda have known each other for many years. He still has great trust in Wuda. He did not refuse, but asked. I need to use my clone. Wuda's clone said. Okay, wait a moment. Mao Gang responded and disconnected the contact plate. Wuda's clone waited for a while. And a ray of light flew from the distance at extremely high speed. She stretched out her hand, and the light fell towards her. The great master Mao Gang used a secret method to send the unchasing guide over. That is to say, the unchasing guide has a special ability. If it were other treasures, it would not be able to deliver it like this. Chasing soul is a traceable treasure that can be traced in many ways. Just like now, Wu Da's clone captured a little bit of Li Shiming's breath and put it into the soul chasing guide. Chasing soul guide quickly made a move and pointed out a direction. Without any hesitation, Wu Da's clone flew in this direction with the soul chasing guide. She has great faith in Zuohanin. When it comes to tracking, Zuohanin is a unique existence in Yandahai. It has tracked targets with concealment methods countless times in history. Chapter 1009 Tracking Li Shiming didn't know that he was being followed. So here we have to talk about the horror of chasing souls. With the strength of his soul, any other tracking method would definitely be felt by him. However, the Soul Chasing Guide discovered his location, but did not disturb his soul. At least, his soul did not sense that he was being tracked. He was returning to the cave from the outside world and happened to see Ian Shirlon finishing her enlightenment. Lord, come and have a cup of spiritual tea. Li Shiming greeted Ian Shirlon. He poured a cup of fourth grade, one win tea, for himself and Ian Shirlon each. In the past, he would drink one win tea sparingly. The main reason is that one win tea only produces one copy a year. Even after such a long time, he has accumulated some one win tea, but it is far from the level of squandering it casually. But this time when he came to Yunda High and entered the temple, there were more than 94th grade women tea trees in Tianren Cave, which also allowed him to harvest more than 30 portions of 4th grade women tea every year. This prevented him from being stingy. Although it was not as much as a cup a day, it was not a problem to have a cup every other day. If other monks in the world of immortality knew his thoughts, they would definitely go crazy. 
known as the top spiritual tea in the world of cultivating immortals. Sipinwenwen tea is only known by its name, but not seen in the world of immortality. However, this does not affect the reputation of Sipinwenwen tea. This quality of spiritual tea is even many times more precious than the high-grade spiritual elixir of a great monk. Sure, Ming. I feel that in another hundred years, I can try to break through to the half-step realm of almighty power. Yin Shuan took a sip of the spiritual tea and felt the effect of the spiritual tea, making her brain clearer, and she was in a great mood said, In a hundred years, I should be able to be promoted to a powerful person, and then I can protect you. Li Shiming thought for a while and said, Are you sure? Yin Shuan did not doubt Li Shiming's talent, but she knew that it was hundreds of times more difficult to become a powerful person than to become a half-step powerful person. So she asked with concern. As for Li Shiming's talent, she is probably the one who knows best in the entire world of immortality cultivators. Don't talk about other things. Let's just say that Li Shiming was able to use various means to forcibly elevate her. A monk with mediocre talent. To the peak of a great monk in a short period of time. Not to mention, during these years, Li Shiming taught her about the rules and allowed her to touch the edge of half-step power. Yin Shirlan knew herself. She wasted a hundred years in the late stage of Jean Dan. And those were the most precious hundred years. Originally, her talent was pretty good. But after a hundred years of wasted time, her talent was greatly affected. But now, she is standing in the position she needed to look up to back then. These are Li Shiming's abilities. Yin Sherlon's trust in Li Shiming is unconditional. And she will believe whatever Li Shiming says. Don't worry. I will lead you to become a powerful person. Li Shiming's answer showed strong confidence. He did not have any doubts about his promotion to a powerful person. Instead, he believed that he could lead Yin Shirlan to become a powerful person. After a short rest, Yin Shirlan continued to learn the rules. While Li Shiming used the magical power of Innate Imu to raise the state of Immortal Water Bear to the highest level. After doing this, Li Shiming sensed the situation of Daoyan Golden Lotus. Daoyan Golden Lotus has arrived at a place 200,000 miles away from the area where the last thunder fell. His figure flashed out of the cave. When his figure appeared in the outside world, the Soul Chasing Guide and Wu Da's clone's hand moved slightly. Wu Da's clone also felt it. Because Li Shiming's aura needed to face the thunder, she did not hide it at all, allowing her to spot Li Shiming from a long distance. Li Shiming was struck by lightning. While he was comprehending the rules of lightning, he suddenly felt a throbbing in his heart. He woke up from his realization in an instant, opened his shin eyes, and maximized his perception. At this moment, Wu Da's clone appeared not far from him. Wu Da's clone stood in the void and looked at Li Shiming. She was a little surprised at Li Shiming's level. Li Shiming was only a great monk at the beginning, but now he has become a half step master. What surprised her even more was that Li Shiming, a half step master, dared to appear in the outside world. For a moment, she did not immediately step forward to arrest Li Shiming. She was also afraid of the thunder above Li Shiming's head. The power of the sky thunder is the ultimate half-step power level. For Wu Da's body, there is no need to worry about this power as long as the defense is proper. But the defensive power of the powerful clone is the weakest. Because it has no entity. And the body is the fusion of energy body and soul. It is extremely restrained against Jian attacks such as Tian Lei. Li Shiming recognized Wu Da Ning. And without any hesitation, he came close to Wuda's clone. When he appeared next to Wuda's clone, the thunderclouds in the sky suddenly changed, and the terrifying power of heaven and earth suppressed the minds of him and Wuda's clone. Damn it! Are you crazy? Wuda turned around and used space movement to leave. The thunderclouds in the sky are no longer half-step high energy level, but have turned into real high energy level catastrophes. Li Shiming also had a headache. He did not expect that his operation would cause such a change. In fact, Senior monks cannot participate in the process of overcoming the tribulation of low-level monks. Because the participation of high-level monks in the tribulation will transform the tribulation from a tribulation that matches the low-level monks to a tribulation that matches the high-level monks. Wu Da's clone was a little afraid of even the half-step powerful sky thunder just now. Let alone this powerful level of heavenly tribulation. If he really hits her once, she will definitely get hurt. If he hits her a few more times, the clone may not be safe. So Wuda turned around and ran away. How could Li Shiming let her go? Li Shiming's figure flashed and appeared next to Wuda's clone again. At the same time, the thunder that struck down from the sky should have struck the sky due to the space movement that he and Wuda's clones used. 
but just as he and Wu Da's clones moved in space and appeared in another place. The sky thunder disappeared from the original place, and then appeared above the heads of him and Wu Da's clones. With a boom, Li Shiming's figure flashed and came under Wu Da's clone, letting Wu Da's clone stand in front. The sky thunder bombarded Wu Da's clone, and a golden light erupted from Wu Da's clone, blocking the sky thunder. The remaining power fell on Li Shiming below, and was defended by the eternal tardigrade armor. However, Li Shiming clearly felt that many immortal tardigrades were seriously injured and were healing quickly, using the magical power of innate emu. He used 108 brains and stimulated 108 innate emu magical powers at the same time. In just one breath, he killed 108 eternal tardigrades, vitality restored. I'm going to kill you! Wu Da's clone couldn't maintain her emotions and roared angrily. Before the thunder came down, she still had hope of escaping from the catastrophe. But now that she has endured a thunderstorm, she can no longer escape and must survive the disaster together with Li Shiming. Of course, if Li Shiming died now, he might still be able to stop the catastrophe by returning to the cave. Wu Da's clone can no longer think about capturing Li Shiming alive, but consider killing Li Shiming to get rid of the trouble he encountered. In the past, Li Shiming couldn't even use his magical power in front of Wu Da's clone. Wu Da's clone has a much stronger sense of the rules of space than Li Shiming did before. But things are different now. The space rules that Li Shiming as master can completely move the space at will in front of Wu Da's clone. It is not easy for Wu Da's clone to catch him in a short time. Under the first thunder, it seemed that Li Shiming suffered a greater loss. But Wu Da's clone was fine at all. But only Wu Da's clone knew that she was indeed in big trouble. The way she used to resist the thunder before was to use the inheritance talisman to activate a powerful shield. It was considered that he had blocked the attack of the powerful sky thunder. Unfortunately, such a defensive talisman could only be used once. Wu Da's clone wanted to kill Li Shiming. But just when she was about to take action, another thunderbolt fell, leaving her with no time to think about it. This time she cast a defensive spell to resist the thunder. The sky thunder bombarded Wu Da's clone's magic shield. The magic shield only lasted for a moment before it was broken. The remaining power swept through her clone and struck towards Li Shiming. Wu Da's clone felt that at least one third of the energy in the clone's body had been lost. She could not withstand such thunder for a few times. Not to mention that the power of the sky thunder is increasing every time it falls. And her consumption will be even greater. The sky thunder struck Li Shiming. And the eternal tardigrade armor performed a new feat. Blocking the attack of the sky thunder. At the cost of more than 10 eternal tardigrades being injured. The injured eternal tardigrade recovered in just one breath. And then Li Shiming used the magical power of innate emu to fully recover the eternal tardigrade. The third thunderbolt fell and Wu Da's clone looked at the sky in despair. The intervals between thunders are also too short, leaving no time to rest. Wu Da's clone used the energy in her body to create a powerful defensive spell. The sky thunder intersected with the defensive spell shield. The defensive spell crumbled for a moment, but then exploded. Most of the energy of the sky thunder was consumed by Wu Da's clone. Li Shiming suffered the remaining power of the thunder, and lightning flashed all over his body. But it still did not break through the defense of the eternal tardigrade. But he was a little worried. The immortal tardigrade did not have an upper limit of defense. It really exceeded the upper level of defense. The self-recovery time of the eternal tardigrade was incomparable to the damage of the sky thunder. If the eternal tardigrade's armor were to be broken open, he would most likely be struck into nothingness by lightning. Wudaw's clone took out a jade bottle, poured out some elixirs, and drank them. The energy in her body was recovering rapidly. It's a pity that the interval between the Sky Thunder and the Sky Thunder is too short. And then the next round of Sky Thunder falls again after getting out of the threat of the Sky Thunder. Li Shiming, you return to your own cave. I will not pursue what happened today. Wu Da's clone wanted to end today's incident as soon as possible. Even if she gave up tracking Li Shiming, she didn't want to lose a clone. Senior Wu Da, tell me whether I lasted longer or you were killed by the Thunder first. Li Shiming said calmly. Wu Da's clone had no time to say any more. As another thunderbolt fell, no matter how she adjusts, Li Shiming will appear below her the moment the thunder falls, allowing her to resist the maximum power of the thunder. This thunder caused the energy in Wu Dafen's body to decrease again. She was shaking a little, and her body became transparent. She no longer felt as solid as before. Li Shiming's immortal tardigrade suffered more injuries, but these injuries could only be healed by the immortal tardigrade in an instant. 
Wida turned around and wanted to escape. But the horror of Tianlei was that once she participated in the tribulation, there would be no way to escape. If the main body is here, hiding directly in the cave, it can avoid being attacked. Wu Da's clone begged for mercy from time to time. But how could Li Shiming let Wu Da's clone go? Li Shiming's figure flashed and appeared close to Wu Da's clone. He punched Wu Da's clone. Wu Da's clone was trying to recover. The gap between Tian Lei's breath made it impossible for both sides to make full use of it. Wu Da's clone did not give way. In her opinion, Li Shiming was excellent even if he was the rest. But how could he hurt such a powerful person like her? Li Shiming got close and he punched. This punch had the power of half a step. But it could not stop Wu Da's clone. The true power of this punch is not the power gained through half-step almighty physical training, but the power derived from the gloves on the hand. The gloves on his hands are composed of eleven silver-winged spirit goo insects. This punch hit Wuda's clone, and Wuda's clone froze. She felt that although the clone was there, she was somewhat unable to control her own energy. That is to say, her realm is a big step higher than the half-step fifth level. Silver-winged spirit goo insect. So she can still escape the attack power of the Silver winged spirit goo insect. But as soon as she escaped from the spirit devouring ability of the silver winged spirit goo insect, and before she could fully control her body, a thunderbolt fell. This time Wuda's clone didn't even make any defense, and was struck from head to toe by a thunderbolt. Wuda's clone let out a scream. Her consumption this time was a bit too great. Even the clone's energy was almost empty, and her body was severely damaged. Only a breath of time passed before another thunderbolt fell. Wu Da's clone wanted to struggle to build a shield for herself. But her severely injured body could not respond correctly. Her movement was still a step too slow. And she was struck by lightning. Wu Da's clone's body became transparent after being hit by this thunder. And she could see that the next thunder could kill her. Li Shiming appeared next to Wu Da's clone again and punched her. The eating soul effect was triggered. And Wu Da's clone could not control the energy in her body. At the same time, a thunderbolt fell and Wu Da's clone exploded like a balloon from the inside out. Li Shiming saw a soul crystal ring and a fifth grade spiritual treasure feather fan. He put away the two spiritual objects left behind by Wu Da's clone, and the figure disappeared into the sky, while thunder struck the void. Chapter 1010 Inventory In the Feng Yimou Sex Inheritance Cave, the stunningly beautiful Wu Da lost her usual beauty. Her whole body burst out with aura, and the entire inheritance cave seemed to tremble. The destruction of the powerful clone is a big deal. What she lost along with the powerful clone was the most powerful treasure of Xingqiu Sect Mount Gang. Soul Chasing Guide As well as her own natal magic weapon. With the two treasures and the powerful clone, Wu Da's loss was too great. She didn't know how to face the powerful Mount Gang for a while. Li Shiming No matter where you hide, I will never let you go. Wu Da said angrily. She began to contact the other powerful people. To deal with Li Shiming a half-step powerful person. It was only possible to invite multiple powerful people to join forces. She had seen Li Shiming's terror. In addition to his calmness when facing thunder, he also had terrifying attack power. The Daoyan Golden Lotus keeps flashing in the air, and each flash is a long distance away. When the Daoyan Golden Lotus enters the water, its existence can no longer be seen. Li Shiming separated a brain and controlled the movement of Daoyan Golden Lotus. He himself was sitting cross-legged in the cave, thinking about the battle with Wuda. He has been in the limelight a bit recently, in order to enhance his understanding of the rules of space. He keeps leaving the cave to trigger thunder. If it happens once or twice, maybe the impact won't be too big. But he continued for many days, and the impact cause forced the six superpowers to pay attention, and finally led to the mighty power. In his battle with Wuda's powerful clone, Wuda's powerful clone actually had no chance to make a move and was completely affected by the thunder. He thought of his first encounter with Wu Da's powerful clone. This time he killed Wu Da's powerful clone, which was regarded as revenge for the last time. Li Shiming took out the two spiritual objects left by Wu Da's powerful clone. He first checked the fifth grade spiritual treasure feather fan. When he saw the fifth grade spiritual treasure feather fan, he discovered that it was the natal magic weapon of Wu Da, and the spiritual mark inside proved this. Under normal circumstances, Wuda can remotely retrieve his natal magic weapon. As long as her mind moves, the natal magic weapon can be transformed into an energy state. At that time, unless some confinement methods are used, the natal magic weapon will automatically return to her. 
But after Li Shiming discovered that the fifth grade Lingbao Feather Fan was his natal magic weapon, he threw the fifth grade Lingbao Feather Fan and the Soul Crystal Ring into the computer room space. In his opinion, no matter whether there is a spiritual object like a natal magic weapon in the Soul Crystal Ring, it will stay honest in the computer room space. He could sense the strong power of the wind rules from inside the fifth grade Lingbao Feather Fan. He thought that this was the natal magic weapon of the powerful Feng Mo sect. Although he could not re-acknowledge its owner for the time being, he could guess that the 5th grade Lingbao Feather Fan should be a first-class magic weapon. A wind spiritual treasure. The wind spiritual treasure has very little effect on him. Although the chaos spiritual power produced by the heaven art he cultivates can be transformed into any five elements at any time. And the five elements can transform spiritual power. The wind spiritual power can it is one of the spiritual powers of transformation. But without the top secret method of wind, even if there is a fifth grade spiritual treasure feather fan, the power it can exert is extremely limited. Li Shiming summoned the heavenly ghost, who swallowed the fifth grade Ling Bao feather fan into his belly in one gulp, and the heavenly ghost cleaned the spiritual mark inside the fifth grade Ling Bao feather fan. He himself entered the soul crystal ring with his mind. There were very few spiritual objects in the soul crystal ring. The first thing he saw was the crystal containing a large amount of high quality spiritual power. This should be a unique spiritual creature of Yunda High. He didn't recognize its origin for a moment. But judging from the large amount of high quality spiritual power contained in the crystal, this should be prepared for powerful clones. If the powerful clone wants to exist, it needs to maintain the energy in the body to reach a certain standard. If it is below a certain standard, the powerful clone cannot be maintained. In an emergency, this crystal can allow the powerful clone to recover enough energy to maintain its own existence. The rest were a few bottles of elixirs. After Li Shiming checked, most of them were healing elixirs, which were considered standing elixirs. In the end, his mind was focused on a needle. He could not accurately judge the grade of the needle. There was only one possibility in this case, and that was that the needle was a treasure. His mind moved, and Tian Gui opened his mouth and swallowed the needle again. In the days that followed, Li Shiming did not leave the cave again. He knew that there must be a large number of monks outside looking for him. And even powerful people were looking for him. Half a month later, Wu Da, who was in the Feng Mo sect, and Mao Gang, who was in the Xingxiu sect, both felt a stabbing pain in their brains. The two great masters all looked ugly. If they had lost the treasure before, and it was possible to recover it, now the mark of recognition in the treasure has been removed. And the only connection between the two great masters and their respective treasures has also been severed. In the past half month, the six superpowers have mobilized all their abilities and sent countless monks to search for any abnormalities within the Cloud Island Sea. However, there was no result in the past half month, and even Li Shiming's possible location was not found. In the huge Cloud Island Sea, as long as Li Shiming doesn't take the initiative to cause trouble, even if the six superpowers are in the Cloud Island Sea, they will not be able to find Li Shiming's whereabouts. Li Shiming finally waited for the news that the spiritual imprints in the two treasures had been cleared. When his mind entered the computer room space, he saw that the ghosts were comfortably digesting the spiritual energy they had swallowed. This is the spiritual energy of the two powerful men. Although the quantity is small, the quality is extremely high, and it is of great benefit to the ghosts. Li Shiming did not disturb Tian Gui. He looked at the 5th grade Ling Bao Feather Fan and played a master recognition tactic toward the 5th grade Ling Bao Feather Fan. The master recognition technique entered the 5th grade Lingbao Feather Fan. He established contact with the 5th grade Lingbao Feather Fan and obtained information about the 5th grade Lingbao Feather Fan. Baju Treasure Fan is the name of the 5th grade spiritual treasure Feather Fan. It is a spiritual treasure that enhances the power of wind spells. The wind spells stimulated by the Panana Treasure Fan have a very strong effect on the fire system. Although it does not have a very strong effect on other systems, its own power is not weak. Li Shiming's heart moved, and he discovered the true purpose of the Panana Treasure Fan. Banago Treasure Fan is not just a wind-based attack spirit treasure. In fact, using Banago Treasure Fan for attack is a waste. The Baju Fan can not only suppress the flames, but also increase the power of the flames. It depends on how to use the Baju Fan. This ability can increase the flame power of the alchemy or weapon refining by one level for use during the process of refining elixirs or refining weapons. In other words, when using the fifth grade, infinite immortal fire, to refine elixirs, it would take dozens of hours to refine the great monk's elixir. 
With the addition of the Baju Treasure Fan, it is possible to complete the Great Monk's Elixir within a few hours. Refining? If he refines a 5th grade elixir in the future, the effect of the Panana Treasure Fan will be even more obvious. Li Shiming waved his hand and put away the Panana Treasure Fan. Although the spiritual treasure was not intended to be a natal magic weapon, it was a good auxiliary spiritual treasure for daily alchemy and weapon refining. He then took out the needle and inserted the master recognition formula. After successfully recognizing the master, he understood how he was tracked by Wu Da's powerful clone. This needle is the treasure. Soul Chasing Guide, which can achieve the tracking effect based on the breath or the real name. Of course, tracking based on real names is far less effective than tracking based on breath. The function of chasing soul seems to be ordinary. In the world of immortal cultivation, there are many magic weapons with similar functions. But considering that Soul Chasing Guide is a high-level treasure, not to mention ordinary monks, even powerful ones can be tracked. Not to mention that the many treasures that hide oneself are ineffective against. Soul Chasing Guide. This is the truly terrifying thing about. Soul Chasing Guide. Li Shiming took a breath of cold air. If he hadn't got the. Unchasing Yin. In his hands. The great masters in Yundahai would have been able to continuously track his location with the. Unchasing Yin. However. He was unable to sense that he was being tracked. He could only sense the arrival of the great power when he was approached. This is too dangerous for him. Even though he can kill powerful clones. If there are many powerful clones, the result will be completely different. After knowing how the power of Yun Dao Hai discovered him, he became bolder again. And he once again went back to the process of leaving the cave when he found an opportunity and being baptized by the Sky Thunder. After he did this, the six superpowers became angry. They think this is Li Shiming's provocation. Just to show you what you can do to me. Li Shiming didn't care about this. He used the mobility of Daoyan Golden Lotus to travel around Yu Dao Sea. As long as the Eternal Tardigrade recovered, he would come out of the cave to bear the thunder. Since the time to withstand the thunder is very short each time, even if a powerful clone is dispatched, it is impossible to sense the breath of thunder in a distant place and intercept Li Shiming in time before Li Shiming returns to the cave. You must know that the interval between each thunderbolt is only one breath. And even if you endure 200 thunderbolts, it will only last for a short period of time. Unless he is so unlucky that there happens to be a powerful clone nearby. It is impossible for the powerful clone to find him. Besides, as long as he is not surrounded by multiple powerful clones, he is not afraid of the battle of individual powerful clones. Even if a separate powerful clone really comes over, he can just kill it, based on his understanding of the inherited power. After killing its powerful clone, the inherited power will no longer be able to stay away from the inheritance cave for hundreds of years and will no longer pose a threat to him. Five years have passed like this and the Lei Xiao aura on Li Shiming even suppressed the five elements aura. When he stood in the void, thunder and lightning continued to spread outward from his body. In the past two years, Yin Shuruan did not dare to get too close to him. This is because his understanding of the thunder and lightning rules exceeds other aspects of himself making the thunder and lightning rules somewhat irrepressible. His thunder and lightning rules have reached the peak of the half-step power level. The thunder and lightning he displays are blessed by the thunder and lightning rules of the half-step power level. And their power is as powerful as the thunder he has endured in the past few years. The lightning technique he released, if he can withstand it in half a step, he will most likely lose his soul. Even a powerful clone needs to be careful to deal with it. And when the lightning technique he released was strengthened by the Shishou Thunder Bead. The thunder and lightning he cast was truly close to the power of a powerful spell for the first time. On the core of the cave sky, the thunder and lightning rule runes dominate the middle position. And the five element rule runes, space rule runes, and sword intention rule runes can only surround it. Of course, the power of the thunder and lightning rules speeds up the improvement of the other rules during the transformation of the five elements chi array through the five caves. This is the result of his five years of training for which the resilience of 108 immortal tardigrades has been greatly improved. The immortal tardigrade has been continuously injured and recovered over the years. This process has made great progress in the recovery ability of the immortal tardigrade. It's a pity that Li Shiming's major is not the thunder and lightning rules. Otherwise, with his achievements in the thunder and lightning rules, he would be promoted to great power many years earlier. Now Li Shiming no longer leaves Dong Tian. 
because the external sky thunder had no effect on improving his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning. He improved his understanding of the rules of thunder and lightning to the ultimate experience that he could learn from the sky thunder. This is thanks to Z-15. It is with Z-15's help that he was able to achieve many heights in five years that a half-step master of Lei Xiao could not reach in his lifetime. However, the experience in thunder and lightning rules cannot be applied to other rules, especially the five elements rules. In fact, his understanding of the five elements rules has improved quite well. But this is without comparing it to the thunder and lightning rules. The transformation cycle of the five elements rules in the five caves form five sealed cave world circulation systems. By observing and studying the five cave world circulation systems, his understanding of the five elements rules was naturally improved. His current cultivation progress far exceeds what he experienced in the illusion of the God Sensing Monument. Li Shiming is progressing at an unimaginable speed, whether in terms of energy or rule understanding. His improvement far exceeds the records in all classics. Z15 This natal magic weapon plays a role in the half-step almighty realm many times greater than before. The understanding of extremely complex rules through Z15's analysis can always make Li Shiming easier to understand and master faster. After five years, Li Shiming no longer appeared in Yundahai. And Yundahai, which had been bustling for several years, returned to calm. No matter what the six superpowers did, they could not find any trace of Li Shiming. No matter how angry Wuda was, she could only endure it when Li Shiming couldn't be found. Li Shiming's deeds have become a legend in Yundahai. Of course, the legend was only circulated in private. And no monk would tell Li Shiming's deeds publicly mainly because they were afraid of the influence of the six superpowers. But it is precisely because of the mystery circulated in private that Li Shiming's deeds have not disappeared over time, but have made Li Shiming more and more famous. There are even rumors that as long as Li Shiming is found, he can get the massive resources that he took from the temple back then. Chapter 10-11 Fighting Shuangji Island is where the mountain gate of Shuangji Sect is located, and Shuangji Sect is a large sect in Yandahai. There is no cave sky space barrier on Shuangji Island. There are not many large-scale sects that actually have cave sky space barriers. They are all lucky enough to get the powerful inheritance cave sky. There are not many powerful people who are willing to leave the cave to inherit the cave. Most of the powerful people will change the cave into their own tomb before they die and be buried with them. On this day, Shuangji Island was extremely lively. This was a grand event being held on Shuangji Island. The meeting was attended by monks from various forces all of whom came for the discovery of the bipolar island sea. Decades ago, a monk from Shuangji sect discovered a fourth-grade elixir on the seabed of Shuangji Island. This miraculous thing immediately attracted the attention of the senior officials of Shuangji sect. In the following time, fourth-grade elixirs continued to appear. Many fourth-grade elixirs could not grow in seawater. But strangely, the fourth-grade elixirs were wrapped in bubbles and actually survived and grew in the sea. The monks of the bipolar sect collected these fourth-grade elixirs but they could not collect them completely. As long as a period of time passed, new fourth grade elixirs would appear. Originally, this matter was a top secret of Shuangji sect, but this big secret was not kept for long before it was spread out. Some forces began to test, and there were more and more investigations into the Shuangji sect, because there are too many forces that want to benefit from the Shuangji sect. The Shuangji sect does not dare to take too drastic actions. In the end, we had no choice but to disclose the resources in the sea. Of course, the Shuangji sect took advantage of this to hold a grand meeting and auctioned off the fourth grade elixirs in the sea, allowing the participating forces to barter, which actually resulted in a lot of benefits. As for the production area of the fourth grade elixir in the sea, it can only be made public, and the Shuangji sect plans to gain another profit from it. Fellow Taoists, after the auction, I will lead you to the resource point in the sea. Due to the limited scale of the resource point in the sea, the Shuangji sect has released 50 pass orders this time. These 50 pass orders are also the last auction items. Great monk Shang Ho of Shuangji sect said with a smile. A shrewd light flashed in his eyes. And 50 passes were enough for the Shuangji sect to make a lot of money. You can continue to sell the passes after that. Anyway, the resource points in the sea cannot be defended. So it is better to make them public in this way. 50 passes were simply not enough to distribute and even some great monks came to compete for the passes. A strange resource point continuously produces fourth-grade elixirs, which makes the great monks extremely curious, feeling that this is most likely their chance. For the sake of opportunity, the great monks went crazy. In fact, 
The idea of chance was deliberately revealed by Shuangji sect in order to raise the auction price of the pass order. Just as the Shuangji sect thought, only a few of the pass orders at the beginning of the auction were bought by ordinary monks. And most of the rest of the pass orders were obtained by major monks. This also made the ordinary monks, who took the pass order temporarily confused as to what to do. Ordinary monks compete with a group of great monks for resources. Isn't that looking for death? The great monk would not care about the thoughts of ordinary monks. Under the leadership of the great monk Zhang Ho, he headed towards the resource points in the sea. Because it is extremely close to the formation on Bipolar Island, this area falls within the coverage area of the formation. Only monks holding a pass order can reach here and enter the sea. Those ordinary monks who took photos of the access orders eventually fell into the hands of the great monks. Therefore, the last ones who entered the resource point in the sea, except for the great monk Shang Ho of the Shuangji sect, were the 50 great monks who held the passage order. Fellow Taoists, the formation in front is the location of the resource point in the sea. When collecting resources, you must not destroy the environment of the resource point. The great monk Shang Ho was in the sea and used his spiritual power to stir up his voice to transmit the content of his words. In the ears of every great monk, the great monks in the sea are all surrounded by magic shields. Their magic shields are not only to block the sea water, but also to prevent sneak attacks. There are all great monks around. If they really find precious resources in the sea, it may be a big battle. Senior monk Zhang Ho was a little frightened. Once the 50 senior monks started a full-scale war, he was worried that the Shuangji sect's formation would not be able to restrain them at all, and it would most likely cause damage to Shuangji Island. He now regrets why he spread the word that there is a great monk in the sea. It was indeed auctioned for a little more value. But the situation in front of him was beyond the control of the Shuangji sect. If there are only a few high monks here, high monk Zhang Ho can completely rely on the sect formation and cooperate with the other brothers to suppress the high monk who is causing trouble. But the destructive power caused by the 50 great monks cannot be affected by the great monks of Shuangji sect. Just as more than 50 monks entered the sea, passed through the formation arranged by the Shuangji sect, and came to the resource point area. They saw the scene in front of them. In the seawater, there were bubbles suspended one after another, and the fourth grade elixir in the bubbles flashed with spiritual light. If they hadn't heard about it before, they would have thought that this was a scene created by the Shuangji sect. Great monk's elixir! A great monk reacted the fastest. He appeared in front of a bubble, reached out and grabbed the elixir inside, and exclaimed, the other great monks also saw clearly that the elixir in the bubble was indeed the great monk's elixir. The eyes of all the great monks lit up. This was an opportunity. They began to search for every bubble in the sea. They collected all the elixirs in the bubbles regardless of whether they contained the elixir of the great monks. Two high monks discovered the high monk elixir in a bubble at the same time. And a battle broke out between them. At the beginning, the battle was still restrained. With only small movements. However, as more monks discovered the magic elixir in the bubbles. In order to collect the magic elixir faster, the two monks made more and more moves. Soon, more and more great monks joined the fight for the third and fourth place. These are not the only great monks' elixirs. From time to time, great monks discover the great monks' elixirs. And each time, they cause conflicts. The great monk Zhang Ho was dumbfounded. He never thought that the great monks' elixir would appear in this resource point in the sea after not paying attention for a while. If he had known that there were great monk elixirs in the resource points in the sea, he would never have disclosed the resource points in the sea. Even if he was under pressure, it was worth it for the great monk resources. In the past hundred years, the resources of the great monks in Yandahai have been extremely tight. The six superpowers used their own strength to constantly snatch the resources of the great monks in any place, and did not give other powers a way to survive. The main reason for this still comes from Li Shiming. During the two openings of the temple, Li Shiming took most of the resources into his hands, causing the six superpowers that originally relied on the temple's resources to produce great monks to be in short supply. Middle. In order to meet the needs of their own great monks, the six superpowers started from the resource points of great monks in Yundao Si. This also makes the great monks of ordinary forces able to obtain fewer and fewer great monks' resources, and the value of the great monks' resources becomes higher and higher. At the sea resource point of Bipolar Island, the appearance of high monk resources was an unexpected surprise. The high monks who paid the price to obtain the pass this time were all overjoyed. The auction price of the pass order would be far exceeded by just harvesting a great cultivator's elixir. Fifty great monks fell into a crazy scramble. The eyes of the great monk Shang Ho of the Shuangji sect were red. 
He wanted to kill all these great monks. These great monks' elixir belonged to the Shuangji sect. Fifth grade! A scream made all the great monks look in the direction of the sound involuntarily. I saw a great monk looking excitedly at the bubbles in front of him. In the bubbles was a Dao Lotus. The aura on the Dao Lotus is of the fifth grade. So the great monk is not wrong in thinking that this is a fifth grade Dao Lotus. Fifth grade Dalian. If you get this treasure, you will have enough resources to practice even half step to great power. A great monk couldn't help but say. In fact, he doesn't need to say it. Who doesn't know the value of the fifth grade Dalian? All the great monks, including the great monk Zhang Ho, put down their goals and rushed towards the fifth grade Dalian. Due to the large number of monks, the battle was triggered in an instant. This battle was completely different from the previous battles. For the fifth grade Dalian, the great monk sacrificed their most powerful magic weapons and launched attacks on every great monk around them. In the chaos of more than 50 monks, in just a few breaths, less than half of the monks were injured and retired from the battlefield. There were also several unlucky monks who died on the spot because they were besieged by many monks. A great monk who is injured and withdraws from the battlefield is equivalent to giving up the competition. The rest of the great monks still fought with all their strength. The terrifying aftermath of the battle made the Shuangji sect's mountain gate formation unable to support itself, and each formation node exploded. Even if all the Jin and Yuanying monks of the Shuangji sect enter the formation, they will not be able to maintain the safety of the sect's formation. At most, they can only slow down the destruction of the sect's formation. After several hours of fighting, a great monk successfully approached the bubble, stretched out his hand into the bubble, and was about to collect the fifth grade Dao Lotus. Just when his hand was about to touch the fifth grade Dalian, a five-color light emitted from the fifth grade Dalian, making the great monk's whole body numb, and his body flew out involuntarily. What's even more frightening is that the two magic weapons he used, one for attack and one for defense, all lost their spirituality under the attack of this five-color light. He spat out a mouthful of blood, and the nascent soul in his body was extremely sluggish. The two magic weapons, especially the life magic weapon, were destroyed, causing considerable damage to his soul. He shook his body and looked at the fifth grade Dalian unwillingly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit short of being able to collect the fifth grade Dalian. His failure calmed the mood of the fighting monks. And they carefully retreated to end the battle. At this time, there were only eight great monks left on the battlefield. And great monk Zhang Ho was among them. The great monk Zhang Ho made it to the end safely, with the help of the sex formation. Fellow Taoists, should we break through the defense of the 5th grade Dao Lotus first, and then consider who will finally get the 5th grade Dao Lotus? Brother Zhang Ho suggested. Fellow Taoist Zhang is right. If the fight continues like this, even if someone wins, they will not be able to take away the 5th grade Dalian. Another great monk agreed. Soon several great monks agreed to this proposal. And none of the great monks who can remain today is simple. Let's take action together to break the defense of the 5th grade Dalian. Great Monk Zhang Ho continued. Under his instigation, the eight great monks all used their own attack methods to attack the 5th grade Dalian. However, just when the attack was launched, the great Monk Zhang Ho was deliberately slow. The attacks of the seven great monks fell on the 5th grade Dalian. The surface of the 5th grade Dalian once again emitted five-color light. The bodies of the seven great monks froze. And then, they were knocked away. The magic weapons they used were all swept away by the five-color light and the magic weapons lost their spirituality and fell to the ground. Ha ha ha! The only one standing on the battlefield. The great monk Zhang Ho laughed wildly. This group of great monks who destroyed the Shuangji sect's mountain gate formation finally suffered their retribution. And he will get the final victory. And the fifth grade Dalian will be his. When he came to the fifth grade Dao Lotus, he did not take action to collect the fifth grade Dao Lotus. Instead, he mobilized the power of the mountain gate formation to suppress the 5th grade Dao Lotus. Get out! A voice sounded from the 5th grade Dao Lotus. This sound came out. And the terrifying sound waves were like thunder, ringing in the ears of every great monk, causing all the great monks to spit out a mouthful of blood. The same goes for the great monk Wang Ho. In front of this voice, he felt as helpless as a baby. The great monk who was the first to touch the fifth grade Dalian with his hands had his soul shattered and died on the spot due to the previous trauma to his soul under the attack of this voice. The remaining great monks were still alive, but all of them were seriously injured and their lives were in danger. Great monk Zhang Ho suppressed the injuries in his body and looked hard at the fifth grade Dalian. He wanted to know what the fifth grade Dalian was. 
If there is a superpower core monk here, or a peak monk here, he will recognize that this fifth grade dalian is not a spiritual plant at all, but a treasure. This is Lee Shimming's Dalian Golden Lotus. He wandered around Yun Dao Sea a hundred years ago, until he came to Shuangji Island and found that the environment on the bottom of Shuangji Island was excellent, suitable for the Five Elements Cave to absorb energy. After that, he stayed on the bottom of Bipolar Island, because the Five Caves grew so fast and produced so much energy. Some of the energy would overflow from the caves from time to time decades ago. This part of the overflowing energy is half-step of the Five Elements energy of a large energy level. Li Shiming's feeling for the rules of the Wood system has just reached a level. He is trying to use Z15 to control the spiritual power of the Wood system and convert it into elixirs. The process is very smooth. It went so well that the energy that overflowed from the cave's sky was turned into elixir in the outside world. And then the Shuangji sex resource point in the sea was established. It is precisely because of the extremely large energy output of the five caves that the overflow of energy continues for a long time. And many elixirs appear in the sea. Chapter 1012 Heavenly Man In 100 years, Li Shiming's cave reached the peak of half-step power. In other words, as early as 20 years ago, his cave could no longer go any further. In the past 20 years, he has been simulating promotion to a powerful person. He no longer tried to deduce the process of promotion to great power through the illusion of the God-sensing monument. He knew from the last time that the temple only accepts peak monks to enter. And he realized that the God-sensing monument is only a half-step illusion of great power. It is impossible to deduce the illusion of promotion to great power. Therefore, he needs to explore on his own to be promoted to a powerful person. Fortunately, with the help of Z15, he has greater confidence in being promoted to a powerful person. Li Shiming stood on the ground. After a hundred years of development, although the radius of the cave is still 10,000 meters and has not expanded, the interior of the cave with a radius of 10,000 meters has undergone earth-shaking changes. On the ground of the cave, the soil was nourished by rich energy and transformed into the top spiritual soil. In the core area, the fourth grade top grade spiritual tea trees harvested by Li Shiming from the temple are planted. And to the outside are various great monks elixirs. Only a few of these great monk elixirs were transplanted by him. And the rest were elixirs that he transformed through with energy. As the god of the cave, he can create almost any material in the cave, including spiritual objects. But there is a prerequisite, and that is to have a strong research on the manufactured substances and in-depth study of the structure of the substances. Elephant spiritual objects cannot be created by ordinary half-step powers, because the structure of spiritual objects is extremely complex. Li Shiming had the assistance of Z15. He had done in-depth research on various elixirs before he was able to use wood energy to create elixirs. Of course, Making elixirs is actually uneconomical for half-step experts. The energy produced by elixirs is far less than the energy consumed in making elixirs. That is to say, Li Shiming's cave energy output was astonishing, exceeding the normal half-step power by more than 200 times, which gave him the confidence to do this kind of experiment. Under the surface, there are invisible rocks. These rocks are mixed with fourth-grade ore. This was not created by him, but bred by the rich energy. His cave energy is too abundant, and the first thing to be bred in this environment is the spiritual ore. The cave where Li Shiming is located is the one where he always lives among the five caves. At the deepest point of the ground, there is a space about a hundred meters long, wide, and three meters high. This space seems to be incompatible with the style of the world of immortality. He arranged it according to the computer room in his previous life. There is a Z-15 standing in the space, which is his magic weapon Z-15. He embodied Z-15 and placed it in this space. Since the cave sky and him are one, there is no difference between Z-15 being placed here and being inside his body. After Z-15 is realized, its running speed will be greatly improved. This is the conclusion he reached after many experiments. Today's Z-15 is 10 times larger than the original Z-15 after its realization, because he was recognized by Li Shiming and became his natal magic weapon. He also experienced promotions again and again and enjoyed the baptism of energy rewarded by heaven and earth, which made Z-15 very different from the original Z-15. Standing in space, Z-15 uses the energy of the cave to work. Since he was promoted to half-step power, Z-15's computing power has increased to an incredible level. Li Shiming can't even describe the computing speed of the current Z-15. He was able to improve the five elements rules, thunder and lightning rules, 
space rules, and sword intent rules to the peak of half-step power in decades. The biggest reason is the computing power of the Z15. You must know the rules of each half-step power level. It requires a half-step power to devote thousands of years to achieve something. If you want to reach the peak of half-step power, most half-step power will spend a lifetime. Unreachable. However, Li Shiming relied on Z15. But he successfully reached the level of half-step power for all eight rules. This shows how terrifying the computing power of Z15 is. Li Shiming no longer has lightning flashes on his body. After reaching the peak of half-step power, he can fully control the power of rules. Now, there is no trace of power in his every move. This is not a step back. But that he has reached the point where he can control his power at will. But today is a bit special. The energy in his body is a little active. Or too active. This is also the reason why the originally hidden Daoyan Golden Lotus suddenly appeared. His strength is too strong. And a little overflow will have a very strong impact. Li Shiming had a feeling that he would be promoted to great power today. Lord, I'll let my clone protect you. I'm going to be promoted to a powerful person. Li Shiming said to Yin Shiruan, who was in the palace. The phantom clone stood next to Yin Shiruan. After the redifferentiation of the main body, the phantom clone's strength was half a step high. But it was much stronger than Yin Shiruan. A peak monk. Sure, Ming. I'll make some spiritual tea and wait for you. Yin Shirlan said with a smile. She didn't put any pressure on Li Shiming because she had too much confidence in Li Shiming. Li Shiming started from a small island next to the Beishu continent. After 600 years of practice, he reached a height that other monks took more than a thousand years or even longer to reach. And he has not yet joined the super force. The 10,000 B sect seems to be very strong. But the strength of the 10,000 B sect is due to his existence. He relied entirely on himself to get to this point, which was more talented than those super powerful monks. Li Shiming smiled and nodded. He took one step forward and was already outside the cave. The changes in the space within the cave separated Z15, the palace where Yin Shirlan was located, and the core of the cave into one space. The remaining four caves separate the core of the caves, while the other spaces remain the same. Li Shiming appeared in the outside world, and he felt the rejection from heaven and earth. If he accepts the heavenly calamity like this, it will be the same as before. And the thunderbolt he endures will continue to fall until he returns to the cave. Or until he falls. But this is different. He wants to be promoted to a powerful person. He stood in the sea. Due to the previous harassment from the Shuangji sect, he did not want to move to another place for promotion. As his mind moved slightly, the Daoyan Golden Lotus blew in front of him. The Daoyan Golden Lotus opened its petals, and the five cave space doors were opened. The Daoyan Golden Lotus was transformed into energy and flew into Li Shiming's body, leaving behind five cave space gates. The auras of the five cave sky space doors were detected by heaven and earth without any cover. The auras of the five caves and Li Shiming had the same source. The five caves plus Li Shiming were considered a whole. This is also the reason why before Li Shiming left the cave alone, he would only be bombarded by thunder and unable to survive the catastrophe. Now, the space doors of the five caves are opened, and Li Shiming appears in the outside world, making heaven and earth think that Li Shiming is a whole, and the real disaster will come. Thunderclouds quickly gathered in the sky above the Shuangji sect. The monks of the Shuangji sect were suppressed by the terrifying thundercloud aura, and even a few big monks could not move at all, not to mention the low-level monks, who had already died in large numbers during the gathering of thunderclouds. The Shuangji sect is over! A great monk muttered to himself. The monks who participated in the Shuangji sect's grand gathering were the real disaster. Some of them were killed by the aura of powerful thunderclouds without even knowing what happened. Li Shiming didn't care about this. All his attention was devoted to facing the disaster. Unlike before where he could easily face the catastrophe. This time he had to face a high-level catastrophe. He did not summon 108 immortal tardigrades. As long as he did not want to be killed on the spot. He could not summon 108 immortal tardigrades. If you really want to summon the eternal tardigrade, it may be able to enhance his defense, but it will also increase the power of this disaster to an extremely strong level. A high-level calamity will cause exponential damage with every increase in power. Perhaps 108 immortal tardigrade armors can withstand high-level ordinary attacks, but compared with the enhanced power of the eternal tardigrade armor, this defense is not enough. Li Shiming needs to face the catastrophe alone. But he is still very confident in surviving the catastrophe. He has five caves. And the energy in each cave is extremely sufficient. 
What he practiced was the Heavenly Man Art. After reaching the high energy level, the power of Heavenly Man Art was truly revealed. The thunder cloud was still strengthening. At this time, the great monks of the Shuangji sect were also suppressed and killed. And there was no longer any life in the entire Shuangji sect. Finally, the thunder cloud brewed enough power. And a thunderbolt fell from the sky and struck Li Shiming's body. Behind Li Shiming were five cave sky space doors. The space doors were open. And thunder struck him. While the rest of the power entered the five cave sky spaces. Just when the sky thunder struck him. Thunder and lightning rule runes appeared everywhere on his body. And his body was transformed into thunder and lightning in an instant. The power of the sky thunder is indeed extremely terrifying. But its effect on the lightning body is reduced. The power of the sky thunder that entered the five caves was suppressed by the caves. At the expense of the caves consuming part of the energy. The sky thunders that entered the caves did not cause any damage. The power of the second sky thunder increased by 50%. Which he could still accept. Not to mention the five caves. In a normal powerful heavenly catastrophe. Dong Tian can bear all the residual power of the thunder. Li Shiming's five caves share the residual power of the thunder. Each cave can only withstand one-fifth of the residual power of the thunder. Not to mention that his cave has sufficient energy. The energy accumulated in a hundred years far exceeds that of other half-step almighty pinnacles. With the energy accumulated over the past few years, he has five caves like this. The third, fourth, and fifth thunders fell one after another. The power of the thunder would increase each time. During this process, Li Shiming did not dare to make any provocative moves. He accepted the attack of Tianlei very carefully. Because he has experienced too many catastrophes, he knows very well the temper of heaven and earth when they inflict catastrophes. If one really dares to act provocatively, then the power of the tribulation will not increase by a few percent, but by ten times. In the process of being promoted to a powerful person, committing provocative behavior is almost a life or death situation. This is also recorded in the classics of various superpowers. Many arrogant top geniuses made provocative behaviors at critical moments and fell under the care of stronger tribulations. The reason why Li Shiming did not let go of the thunder and lightning rules was because of this disaster. The thunder and lightning rules he has mastered. And the understanding of the thunder and lightning rules are half steps of learning powerful natural tribulations. Making him better at resisting natural tribulations. Coupled with the blessing of Jishao Thunder Beads. The lightning resistance secret method he has used has reached a great level. Performance level. But just like this, after surviving seven heavenly tribulations, his body reached its ultimate level. He felt that if the eighth heavenly tribulation was strengthened by several levels, he would not be able to withstand it intact. Now, he no longer dares to have any reservations. Heaven! Li Shiming shouted. His body expanded rapidly and reached a height of 100 meters. This is not an energized body but a real body. The heavenly being in the heavenly man art is in this state. His body reached a height of 100 meters. And similarly, his physique also increased to the same level as his body size. Theoretically, the heavenly and human state of heavenly man art will have some mental flaws. Because even in the heavenly and human state of heavenly man art, the effect of enhancing the soul is limited. And the mental aspect is at most five times that of usual cannot be compared with physical fitness. But Li Shiming has 191 brains. When he performed the heavenly art, he injected the spirit of a hundred brains into the heavenly and human state, making the heavenly and human state flawless. The eighth thunderbolt fell and hit Li Shiming hard in his heavenly state. Li Shiming's body swayed slightly, leaving only a little black mark on his body. Although he survived the eighth thunderstorm, he was not very happy. He sensed the anger of heaven and earth because he exerted the heavenly state his body turned into a 100-meter heavenly being, which made heaven and earth feel provoked. Therefore, the interval between the ninth thunderstorms has obviously increased, and the thunderclouds in the sky continue to expand. Li Shiming smiled helplessly. He had known that the state of heaven and man would trigger the anger of heaven and earth. Even if one does nothing in the state of heaven and man, it is still a provocation to heaven and earth. Li Shiming took advantage of this time to continuously display multiple magical powers of innate Mu and the thunder resistant secret method blessed with Jishao Thunder Beads. The moment the ninth thunderbolt fell, he cursed secretly in his heart. The ninth thunder was at least 15 times more powerful than the eighth thunder. In his opinion, this was because the world did not want him to pass the heavenly tribulation. The sky thunder, which was even thicker than his celestial state, fell, and the surface of the skin of the celestial body was vaporized. 
followed by the muscles inside. His terrifying physique and the powerful vitality blessed by the magical power of Anatimu made his recovery power reach an unimaginable level. As soon as the thunder destroyed his body, the vitality in his body was repairing the injured body. Of course, Tianlei's destructive power is stronger. But his strong recovery power also slows down Tianlei's destructive power. Chapter 1013 Powerful After Li Shiming's skin was destroyed, less than half of his muscles were also destroyed. Under the strong recovery power, the muscles continued to grow. But the newly grown muscles were destroyed by thunder, and the degree of muscle destruction became more and more. Just as the muscles were being destroyed and disappearing, chaos sword intent appeared in the remaining muscles, and every muscle was blessed with chaos sword intent. With the addition of chaos sword intention, the invasion of Tianlei was contained in a short time. That is to say, he has displayed the state of heaven. Otherwise, he really would not be able to bless the chaos sword intent. At this time, he was extremely miserable. The skin all over his body was destroyed by thunder, exposing his broken muscles, and bones could be seen in some places. The huge heartbeats, transporting energy to every part of the body, driving the body to recover faster. Li Shiming felt that the duration of the ninth thunder was extremely long, as if it would never end. If the damage he suffered were placed on the body of an ordinary half-step powerful person, he would probably have died hundreds of times. He didn't know that because of his five caves and the heaven art he practiced, the power of the heavenly tribulation he suffered far exceeded that of other monks. With the calamity he faced, almost no monk could survive it. Li Shiming's celestial body suddenly disappeared from the place, and when it reappeared, it was already in the thundercloud. The lighting on his body has not diminished and is still causing damage to his body. He turned the pain in his body into anger against Lei Yun. With a punch, five colors of light flashed and a thundercloud turned into nothingness. He then punched out with another fist and another thundercloud disappeared under the five-color light. The ability of five-color divine light was obtained passively by him. Thundercloud also belongs to the scope of the five elements but it is derived from the five elements. The five-color divine light is still very effective for it. Before the power of the ninth thunderbolt ended, the thunderclouds in the sky were cleared by him. With his huge body of a hundred meters, the attack power he exerted, and the speed of using space to move, he was able to eliminate Lei Yuan in just a few breaths of time. Huh? He breathed a long sigh of relief, feeling that the thunder and lightning on his body was weakening. As the thunder and lightning subsided, his body was recovering quickly. Li Shiming mobilized 50 brains and simultaneously used 50 Inatimu magical powers on his body. His body was shrouded in the rich magical light of Inatimu, and the injuries all over his body recovered at an extremely fast speed. At this time, he had enough energy to check the situation of the five caves. When he saw that in the cave, except for the spiritual tea tree at the core, all the spiritual plants on the periphery were destroyed. Fortunately, the power was dispersed. Apart from the destruction of spiritual plants and damage to the spiritual soil, the five caves did not suffer too much damage. The palace where Yin Shiruan is located is in an isolated space. As long as the other space is not completely destroyed, the attack will not enter the isolated space. So she was not harmed. But the terrifying powerful thunder had some impact on her mind. It only takes a while for these effects to weaken until they are completely eliminated. Li Shiming stood in the void. He maintained a celestial state of 100 meters, and his eyes radiated dazzling light even under the sun. The skin on his body reappeared, and it only took a few breaths for all the superficial injuries on his body to heal. His injuries were healed before the energy rewarded by heaven and earth arrived. This was also his intention. He didn't want that precious heaven and earth reward energy to be wasted on treatment. He felt the difference in his state at this time. Both his body and spirit were upgraded to a high energy level. In fact, the improvement of physical body and spirit is only enhanced several times based on the original half-step power. The real difference between great power and half-step power is the change in the cave. It's just that it will take some time for the changes in the cave to appear. Inexplicably, Li Shiming felt a strange energy appear in his body and in his five caves. The energy in his body is nourishing his body and spirit. He was in the state of heaven and man at this time. And the energy nourished the body of heaven and man. He felt that his body and spirit were undergoing qualitative changes, and his body was transforming in an unknown direction at this time. In The Art of Heaven and Man, it is specifically mentioned that after surviving the powerful heavenly tribulation, one needs to use the body of heaven and man to receive rewards from heaven and earth. 
and one will get unexpected benefits. Li Shiming didn't know that the great power who created the heaven and man art relied on many ancient books and his own guesses for the heaven and man art. He is the first monk to reach the great level of practicing heavenly art without any previous reference. Among the five caves, the reward energy of heaven and earth brings various rules from the outside world. Under the influence of energy, these rules are perfectly integrated into the caves. Under the influence of this energy, the radius of the cave's sky exceeds 10,000 meters, and it is still expanding. The reward energy from heaven and earth disappeared after an hour, and he regained his heavenly state. His body shrank rapidly from 100 meters, but something strange happened. Although he shrunk his body, his body's constitution did not weaken. The state of the enhanced state of heaven and man was all retained after shrinking. In other words, even if he is currently in a normal state, he still has the effect of the heavenly state. The celestial state increased his strength dozens of times. Of course, this only improves the physical body and spirit, and has no impact on the cave where power is the most important. Li Shiming was about to enter the cave to check the changes in the cave for himself. But he suddenly stopped. He looked into the distance and sensed that a powerful being was approaching quickly. Huh? He snorted coldly. Although he was just promoted, his combat power has increased more than a hundred times. When he was still half powerful, he dared to fight against powerful clones and killed them many times. Now he has no scruples. Li Shiming waved his hand. And the Daoyan Golden Lotus in his body appeared. And the five space gates of the cave shrank into five light points, which fell back to the center of the Daoyan Golden Lotus. He stood in the void, feeling his own changes. There is still the aura of the cave in his body. Even though he has just survived the catastrophe, he can feel that if he really needs to stay in the outside world for a while, when the aura of the cave in his body weakens to a certain level, the world will not destroy him. As a whole, he will be targeted by the thunder again. In the future, if he wants to act in the outside world, he will need to return to the cave from time to time to stay for a while, so that the aura of the cave continues to exist. Before Li Shiming went through the catastrophe, Mao Gang suddenly felt something in his heart. And the Soul Chasing Guide was nearby. This is a special effect possessed by Xingxiu's sex inherited technique. But if the opponent's strength is too strong, it will not be able to sense it. Li Shiming reached the opportunity to be promoted to a powerful person. After he left Don Tian, the rejection of him by heaven and earth reached its strongest. And everything about him was completely exposed to the world. Only then did Mount Gang feel something in his heart and sense the location of Chasing Soul. Mao Gang originally wanted to invite several powerful people to act together, but he was worried about Li Shiming leaving. So he notified the other powerful people while heading in the direction of Li Shiming on his own. Li Shiming chose to retreat in the sea of Bipolar Island. In addition to environmental reasons, there is also the fact that Bipolar Island is quite far away from the six superpowers. When Mao Gang's powerful clone rushed over, Li Shiming completed the tribulation. After Li Shiming's tribulation, Bipolar Island was no longer visible and completely disappeared from this world. With the power of the high-level thunder, Bipolar Island, which is at the center of the catastrophe, will bear the brunt of it. It is normal for it to be destroyed by the thunder. Li Shiming stood in the sky above the ruins of Shuangji Island, quietly waiting for the powerful clone of Mao Gang to approach. When Mao Gang's powerful clone approached Li Shiming at a certain distance, he stopped involuntarily, feeling the powerful aura on Li Shiming's body. He almost couldn't believe it. Just 400 years ago, Li Shiming was just a great monk. Just 200 years ago, Li Shiming was just a monk who had just been promoted to half-step to great power. But now only a hundred years have passed. And Li Shiming is already a powerful person. And he is also a free power. Even if Mao Gang has seen countless geniuses, he can't help but admire Li Shiming's talent. He also understood that the previous catastrophe was the catastrophe for Li Shiming to become a powerful person. Judging from Li Shiming's appearance, this was a successful promotion. Mao Gang's powerful clone hesitated slightly. But he knew that the powerful person would be weak for a period of time just after being promoted to a powerful person. Although the energy rewarded by heaven and earth can heal injuries and restore spirit, the energy consumed during the tribulation cannot be replenished. There is also a large amount of cave energy lost, which will take time to make up for. In addition, the newly promoted great power's understanding of the rules has not really reached the great power level. If you want to fully exert the power of the great power level, you need to go through a period of retreat to master it. 
It is for this reason that Mao Gang's powerful clone wanted to take advantage of Li Shiming's early promotion to a powerful person to kill Li Shiming. If you miss this time, it will not be easy to deal with Li Shiming. Mao Gang's powerful clone did it as soon as he thought of it and flew towards Li Shiming without hesitation. Li Shiming's whole body felt like there was no way to vent the monster's power. This was the idea that the state of heaven and man were compressed into a small body. It also has something to do with the fact that he has not fully mastered himself. After he has fully adapted to this strength, he will no longer feel this way. He sensed the situation in the five caves, accumulated a hundred years of energy, and consumed most of it. The remaining energy is restoring the cave sky, mainly because the cave sky is rapidly expanding. Even if all the remaining energy is invested in the cave sky, it will not be enough. That is to say, his five caves produce a lot of energy. As long as they accumulate over a period of time, it will be enough for the expansion of the caves. Li Shiming now has the realm of great power, but he cannot use much cave energy. If you really want to use too much Dongtian energy, it will cause Dongtian's energy shortage. This period is the best growth period of Dongtian. Although it can be made up for in the future, it is far less than the current period after the breakthrough, when it is digesting the rewards of heaven and earth. Li Shiming understood that it was best not to use the cave energy. Li Shiming, I didn't expect you to be promoted to a powerful person. It's a pity that you offended me. The powerful clone of Mao Gang came to Li Shiming and said in a deep voice. As Mao Gang's powerful clone spoke, he secretly activated the treasure. Nine Heaven Star Formation The Xingqiu sect was originally a sect that was good at formations. And it's Nine Heavens Constellation Formation Diagram was the sect's inherited treasure. The activation of the Nine Heaven Star Ray is more secretive. Once activated, 108 star nodes will appear, forming a large star array. Trapping the enemy in the constellation formation allows Mao Gang's powerful clone to gain an absolute advantage. After Li Shiming's perception became a powerful one, especially the blessing effect of maintaining the state of heaven in man, his perception was enhanced many times compared to before. Just when Mao Gang's powerful clone activated the Nine Heavens constellation formation, he sensed it. He smiled faintly, and the Beidou Formation in his body was activated. The two formation treasures of the Beidou Formation and the Nine Heavens Constellation Formation were activated simultaneously. The two formations merged with each other and influenced each other. Mao Gang was distracted and his head sank. He felt that the formation inspired by his Nine Heavens Constellation Formation was divided into pieces by the formation inspired by the Beidou Formation. This made it impossible for the Nine Heaven Star Formation to exert even 10% of its usual power. And he could sense how powerful the formation inspired by the Beidou Formation was. In fact, the Big Dipper Formation and the Nine Heavens Constellations Formation are not much different in grade. If inspired by the same monk, the Nine Heavens Constellations Formation is even more powerful than the Beidou Formation. But the reason why the Beidou Formation suppressed the Nine Heavens Constellation Formation was because of the gap in their own formation abilities between the two powerful people who used the formation. When it comes to formations, Li Shiming said he was second, and absolutely no monk dared to say he was first. After he was promoted to powerful, the performance of the Z-15 increased many times again. Even the original Z-15. The enhancement effect on the formation was beyond imagination, let alone the current Z-15. The moment Mao Gang's powerful clone activated the Nine Heaven Stars Formation, Z-15 calculated all the arrangements for the Nine Heaven Stars Formation to activate the formation. Only when Li Shiming activated the Beidou Formation did he have a target sexual restraint. After Mao Gang's powerful clone failed in the formation, he did not launch an attack immediately, but tried to break the formation laid out by the Beidou Formation Diagram. Li Shiming was still familiar with his own strength and did not take the initiative to attack. When he saw Mao Gang's powerful clone trying to break the formation, he couldn't help but smile. He controlled the Beidou formation with his mind, and the formation surrounding Mao Gang's powerful clone kept changing. Mao Gang's powerful clone had just calculated part of the calculation, but found that the formation had changed. It was completely different from the previous formation, and he needed to recalculate. But just when he calculated part of the formation layout again, he found that the formation had changed again. Chapter 1014 Test Li Shiming looked at Mao Gang's powerful clone. Now he no longer feels the same way about the powerful clone. 
Perhaps Mao Gang was able to divide the energy in his body and exert one or two attacks from Mao Gang's body. But these energies no longer posed any threat to him. This does not require fighting. At their level. As long as they face each other at close range. The difference in strength can be clearly felt. Mao Gang's powerful clone was also helpless. He originally wanted to defeat Li Shiming by taking advantage of Li Shiming's recent promotion and failure to control his own strength. But he never expected that before he took action with Li Shiming. He, a great expert in formations, would be trapped by Li Shiming's formations. At least in terms of formation. He lost to Li Shiming. Now, he must attack with all his strength and use a powerful method to break through the large formation inspired by the A formation diagram. Li Shiming is not without weaknesses now. He has just been promoted to the realm of great power, which makes Li Shiming's ability to control his own energy far less than that of Mount Gang. In addition, the quality of the energy in Li Shiming's cave is far inferior to that of Mount Gang's powerful clone. This is the opportunity for Mount Gang's powerful clone. The powerful clone of Mount Gang came out this time and did not bring many magic weapons with him. In battles between the two realms of Half-Step Almighty and Almighty, magic weapons of 4th grade and below have no effect at all. Because the 4th grade magic weapon is not even as strong as the Half-Step powerful physical body. If you want to carry a magic weapon, you must at least have a 5th grade spiritual treasure. But the 5th grade spiritual treasure is not so easy to obtain. Even the sex inherited spiritual treasure is not easy to obtain. If you can't sense the inherited spirit treasure, even a powerful person can't use the sex inherited spirit treasure. The only thing Mao Gang's powerful clone brought this time was the Nine Heaven Stars Formation Diagram. Under normal circumstances, the Nine Heaven Stars Formation Diagram is used in conjunction with his control over the formation. With the cooperation of the two phases, he can get the upper hand in a fight. But there is a prerequisite. That is, his formation ability must exceed that of the enemy. Li Shiming's formation ability almost crushed Mao Gang's powerful clone, which made it impossible for Mao Gang's powerful clone to suppress Li Shiming in the formation. But was suppressed by Li Shiming, Mao Gang's powerful clones. Nine Heavens Constellation Formation was also suppressed by Li Shiming's Beidou Formation. Mao Gang's powerful clone had no other means of fighting except the energy release spell. He mobilized most of the energy in his body and a terrifying aura rose from his body. Affected by this breath, the sea surface concave downwards, and the sea water was discharged to all sides. The large formation inspired by the Beidou Formation Diagram could not help but shake under the impact of this aura. Li Shiming waved his hand, and he took over the control of the Beidou Formation. The shadow of the Beidou Formation continued to change, and the surrounding formations also changed accordingly. Mao Gang's powerful clone swung a burst of energy in the direction of Li Shiming, and the thick energy pillar struck towards Li Shiming. He planned to use force to break the formation, which was the most direct way to break the complex formation. Almighty is the most powerful being in the world. If they really want to break through the formation with their strength, there really aren't many formations that can stop them. Li Shiming still did not take action. He continued to control the Beidou formation and changed the formation inspired by the Beidou formation. He didn't even think of dodging the attack from Mao Gang's powerful clone. In fact, the attack direction of Mao Gang's powerful clone was wrong. And what Mao Gang's powerful clone saw was just Li Shiming's illusion. The real Li Shiming is hidden in the formation. Mao Gang's powerful clone cannot accurately find Li Shiming without breaking the formation. However, even if the attack of Mao Gang's powerful clone cannot hit Li Shiming, it can still cause extremely serious damage to the formation. Li Shiming just wanted to test the limits of the Beidou formation. It was not easy for a powerful person like Mao Gang's powerful clone to be willing to cooperate. Under the attack of Mao Gang's powerful clone, the large formation inspired by the Beidou Formation Diagram destroyed the nodes along the way. But even if the nodes were destroyed, new nodes would soon appear on the side. The newly emerged nodes maintained the existence of the original formation. The powerful clone of Mao Gang stared ahead with an ugly expression. The energy attack he released only passed through Li Shiming's shadow. He knew very well that the figure was not Li Shiming's true body, but a phantom transformed by the formation. What made him even more helpless was that not only did the energy attack fail to do anything to Li Shiming, but the formation was not even destroyed. Li Shiming's formation ability was too terrifying, and some of his exquisite manipulations made it impossible for Mao Gang's clone to imagine that there were really monks in the world who could control formations to such an extent. Li Shiming, as a powerful man, you dare to fight me. Don't hide behind the formation. 
Mao Gang's powerful clone gave up the attack on the formation. And he shouted in a deep voice. The energy in the powerful body is limited. So attacks like this will only come a few times. If he really wastes most of his energy on breaking the formation. When he faces Li Shiming later, he is afraid that he will not have enough energy to fight Li Shiming. Satisfy you. Li Shiming had already tested the power of the Beidou formation, and he replied with a laugh. Under the control of the great power, the power of the Beidou formation is many times stronger than that of the half-step great power. As long as he can continue to provide energy for the Beidou formation, he can limit the actions of the powerful to a certain extent. When he cooperates with Z15 to control the Beidou formation, he can even truly trap the powerful. Of course, the powers mentioned here are relatively weak powers, such as powerful clones with high-level combat power. If he encounters a free power, he carries the cave with him and can draw energy from the cave at any time. No matter how Li Shiming controls the Beidou formation, he cannot trap the free power only through the formation. After Li Shiming spoke, his figure flashed to the side of Mao Gang's powerful clone. A punch was thrown at the body of Mao Gang's powerful clone. He did not use any cave energy, but relied on the terrifying power of his physical body. When the punch was punched, cracks appeared in the void. Mao Gang's powerful clone felt that the space in the entire area was shaking, and he did not even dare to use space movement. If you really want to use space movement, you may be affected by the unstable space. If you are not careful, you may be inexplicably teleported to other places. Or at worst, you may be cut by space, and your clone may die on the spot. He could only move his body to dodge the attack. But Li Shiming's movements were really too fast. Even though Mao Gang's powerful clone had no body and moved extremely fast, Li Shiming's current physical body was equivalent to being blessed by the heavenly state of heaven and man art and he had all aspects of it. Dozens of times improvement. Among them is the improvement in speed. Even without the blessing of the speed rules. The bonus of dozens of times, the physical speed of the great power makes his speed incomparable to that of the great power blessed by the speed rules. His punch hit Mount Gang's powerful clone. And Mount Gang's powerful clone could only dodge slightly. Leaving an important position in his body. The fist hit the right shoulder of Mount Gang's powerful clone. And with a bang. His right shoulder was reduced to nothingness by the punch. If Deneng's true form were here, this punch would probably severely injure Deneng. The clone is an energy body. Although a piece of flesh and blood on the right shoulder is missing, the real damage caused is only a partial loss of energy. Li Shiming frowned slightly. And he also discovered the shortcomings of physical strength. The attack of physical power acts directly on the target and has no subsequent effect. Against a flesh and blood entity, this blow is enough to make the opponent lose combat effectiveness. But against an energy body, the power is much lower. However, this attack was also a test of his own combat power, allowing him to understand the level of his own combat power in the high energy level. He turned his body and gave up attacking directly with physical force. A sword base appeared in his hand, and the sword base now reached infinitely close to the fifth level. The reason why it is infinitely close to the fifth level is because the Sword Demon's secret manual has reached its limit and cannot raise the sword base to the real fifth level. The secret code of Sword Demon is a technique extracted from the fragments of ancient melee sword cultivation techniques and modified. Li Shiming was able to cultivate this skill to the current level, which even the creator of the Sword Demon's secret book did not expect. In fact, the quality of the sword base, if it were not for the continuous auxiliary reinforcement of Z15, it would not even be able to reach the fifth level, let alone the current level that is infinitely close to the fifth level. Li Shiming is still very satisfied with the current Jinji, although it cannot reach the fifth level. In the battle with the powerful, in close combat, the threat posed by the sword base that is infinitely close to the fifth level is no weaker than the Ling Bao. He added the chaos sword intent to the sword base, and combined with the rules of the sword intent, the power of the chaos sword intent can be fully exerted in close combat. He summoned the sword base at the moment he turned around. Using the momentum of turning around, the sword base swept towards Mao Gang's powerful clone. The powerful clone of Mao Gang is not used to close combat. When will such a close situation occur in a battle between powerful people? If there is a conflict between powerful powers, they will distance themselves from each other and blast each other with energy and spells. Li Shiming's fighting style is obviously alien. But it was this kind of alien that made Mao Gang's powerful clone extremely uncomfortable. Mao Gang's powerful clone had extremely rich combat experience. When Li Shiming turned around, he sensed a change in Li Shiming's aura. 
Li Shiming had the aura of a powerful body refiner before. But the moment Li Shiming turned around, Li Shiming turned into a sword cultivator. Mao Gang's powerful clone immediately wanted to stay away from Li Shiming. And fighting a sword cultivator at close range was not a wise choice. But his speed can't be compared with Li Shiming at all. And even Li Shiming's melee combat ability is the best in the world of immortality. Li Shiming has practiced the art of close combat sword cultivation. This melee sword cultivation method, which has almost lost its inheritance, has achieved incredible results under the influence of his heavenly state blessing his body. During the process of sweeping out the sword base, the powerful clone of Mount Gang felt the chaos sword intent, but the clone had no time to dodge. The sword base flexibly swept across the body of Mount Gang's powerful clone, cutting off the energy connection in the body of Mount Gang's powerful clone. The sword base is like a scalpel. The Shinai is like a magnifying glass. And the Z-15 is a precise controller. The Shin Mutong observed the energy flow of Mao Gang's powerful clone. And under the control of Z-15, the sword base cut the main energy channel of Mao Gang's powerful clone. The cut energy channel was completely blocked due to the existence of Chaos Sword Intent. Li Shiming deliberately left him alive. If he really wanted to kill the powerful clone of Mao Gang, he could kill the powerful clone of Mao Gang with this sword. He had his own thoughts. And with a slight movement of his mind, the Beidou formation transformed the formation into a formation that isolated soul induction. At this time, Mao Gang's powerful clone wanted to mobilize the remaining energy. Even if he couldn't do anything else, he could at least die together with Li Shiming. But he couldn't do it. The Chaos Sword Intent cut off the energy channels in his body, leaving him empty of energy. But he couldn't mobilize much. He didn't know what Li Shiming wanted to do. But Li Shiming would definitely not let him go. Just as he was thinking about it, Li Shiming released the ghost. As soon as the half-step fifth-level heavenly ghost came out, he looked greedily at Mao Gang's powerful clone. In the eyes of Tian Gui, Mao Gang's powerful clone was like a big piece of fat in front of him. The reason why it didn't pounce immediately was that it was waiting for Li Shiming's order. Swallow him! Li Shiming ordered. The heavenly ghost made a sound of soul, opened its mouth wide, and swallowed the powerful clone of Mao Gang in one bite. From Tian Gui's transparent body, the figure of Mao Gang's powerful clone could be faintly seen. However, Mao Gang's clone did not last long. The energy in Mao Gang's clone was expelled from the body by the ghosts, leaving only the spirit and soul. The powerful clone of Mao Gang also completely perished after his spirit and soul were separated. The heavenly ghost spit out a soul crystal ring. But the Nine Heavens Constellations Formation was still in its belly, waiting for it to break the master recognition mark in the Nine Heavens Constellations Formation. Li Shiming felt the energy in Tiangue's body increase. The soul and spiritual energy of a powerful clone made the energy in Tiangue's body increase a lot. When the heavenly ghost completely swallows up the spiritual energy of the powerful clone, although it cannot promote it to the fifth level, it can at least bring it closer to the fifth level. Li Shiming couldn't help but be envious of Tiangue's situation. To improve the strength and realm of Heavenly Ghost, you only need to have enough soul and spiritual energy to continuously improve. In nature, although ghosts can also increase their strength through devouring, ghosts have too many enemies. The energy of the sun, Buddhist techniques, or spiritual magic weapons can all cause harm to ghosts. Even the environment will affect the ghost's survival, which makes it difficult for the ghost to upgrade to the fourth level. And he has never heard of a ghost that has been promoted to the fifth level. From the fourth to the fifth level, it is necessary to devour the soul of the powerful level. However, when an existence reaches the powerful realm, its random attack will have the power to attack the soul. Yes, there is no chance of being swallowed by it. Chapter 1015 Planning Li Shiming is still very optimistic about Tiangui's future. If Tiangui really wants to be promoted to the fifth level, it will be a great help to him. There are also more than 200 half-step fifth grade spiritual pets and he wants to upgrade them to 5th grade. It's a pity that the half-step from 5th level to 5th level is like a natural chasm, which is not so easy to cross. He had no way of obtaining the 5th grade spiritual objects needed to advance to 5th grade in at least half a step. The time for him to be promoted to Almighty Power was too short, and he needed a longer time to be exposed to the world of Almighty Power. Li Shiming took out the soul crystal ring of Mao Gang's powerful clone, glanced at it, and put it away. There are no good things in the soul crystal ring just some commonly used elixirs. He did not stay where he was. His mind was locked in one direction, and his figure disappeared from the place. When he reappeared, he appeared thousands of miles away. 
In fact, the distance that his spatial movement can move is not only this far, but the safe spatial movement is thousands of miles. Not long after he left, a monk rushed over. And further away, two powerful clones were observing from a distance and did not pass by. The great power of Yun Daohai was shocked. Two powerful clones fell in succession. And the impact was not small. The two powerful clones who came for reinforcement stopped advancing after receiving the news that the clone of Mount Gang had died. They will not take risks until they understand Li Shiming's situation. The death of the Avatar of the Great Power brought about the inheritance of great power. But hundreds of years of hard work were in vain. After discovering that Li Shiming had left, the two powerful clones went to the previous battlefield to investigate. And then two more powerful clones arrived. Li Shiming didn't know what happened after he left. At this time, he had entered his own cave, leaving only Daoyan Golden Lotus. In the outside world, the changes in the cave were quite big. After entering the cave, the first thing he felt was the changes in the rules. In the past, the rules in the cave were the five elements rules, thunder and lightning rules, sword intent rules and space rules. But now there are many more rules in the cave. These rules do not appear in the core of Dong Tian, but they are integrated with Dong Tian in another way and act on Dong Tian. Just like the rules of wind, there was no wind in the cave sky originally, but now there is a breeze blowing. There are also many rules, the function of which is to make Dong Tian closer to the outside world. Li Shiming, the master of Dong Tian, can observe these rules, but it is impossible to control these rules as he masters the rules of the core records of Dong Tian. These rules are more like an additional auxiliary. He can choose whether to take effect and the size of the effect of the rules, but he cannot accurately control these rules. Of course, as long as he conducts in death research on these rules, he will be able to control them one day. Li Shiming thought of the space rules that many great masters habitually use. Among the monks in the world of cultivating immortals, very few monks practice space rules. Even if you have practiced the rules of space, it is even rarer to be promoted to a high energy level. But look at all the great powers. Which one cannot use space movement? This is the rule of space among the various rules that Dong Tian obtains through heaven and earth rewards when he is promoted to great power. In order to be able to move in a more comprehensive way, Da Ning usually manipulates the rules of space in the cave to allow himself to move in space. When the power masters spatial movement to a certain extent, it can perform spatial movement in the outside world. Li Shiming sensed these rules. He saw familiar rules, such as speed rules, power rules, etc. He had already studied these rules. Now these rules were in front of him, giving him the opportunity to study them more deeply. Normal powerful people, even if they have this idea, can only choose one or a few rules that are useful to them from many rules to study. There are even some powerful people who, in order to strengthen their own strength, choose to abandon these rules and close them, causing the cave to form some kind of extreme environment. Li Shiming didn't have that kind of idea. This was related to the heavenly art technique he practiced. The art of heaven and humanity emphasizes comprehensiveness, which can be seen from the state of heaven and humanity. Celestial art cultivates the body soul, and energy, in the state of heaven and human. It is to significantly improve these aspects as a whole. If you want to take a further step forward in the art of heaven and humanity, you need to persist in all-round growth. At least there must be rules of the five elements in the cave. With the rules of the five elements, the derivative rules of the five elements will naturally arise. This makes it impossible for him to focus on a certain rule for in-death study. The more rules he masters, the more smoothly he can practice the Art of Heaven and Man, turning his attention away from the rules of the cave. Li Shiming noticed the size of the cave. He is in one of the five caves. The size of this cave has now reached a radius of 400,000 meters. And it is still growing. This growth rate is very fast. I believe that in the next period of time, before reaching the bottleneck of Dong Tian's growth, Dong Tian will still have a large spatial change. The reason why it is growing so fast is because of the energy output of Dong Tian. Before, when I was half-stepping to great power. I couldn't see the greatest benefit of Dong Tian's energy output. At that time, Dong Tian could only have a maximum radius of 10,000 meters. After breaking through to the realm of great power, the limitations of Dong Tian's space were broken, and Dong Tian entered high-speed growth stage. The more energy produced, the faster the cave will grow. Li Shiming's Dong Tian energy output is more than 200 times that of the normal powerful Dong Tian which also means that his Dongtian's growth rate is more than 200 times 
than of other powerful powers. The space in the cave sky becomes larger, and the energy inside it rises instead of falling. You must know that before. The energy produced by Dong Tian was still at a half-step high energy level. Now the energy produced by Dong Tian has become a large energy level. Even though the Dong Tian continues to grow larger, the quality of the energy in Dong Tian is completely different. If his accumulation time in the cave was not too short. In a few more years, the environment in the cave would be better than any other cave he had ever seen. Due to the addition of external rules, the environment in the cave is richer. As long as Li Shiming is willing, he can turn Dong Tian into a spiritual plant planting base. Or he can turn Dong Tian into a place of cultivation. Li Shiming wanted it all. And he changed the interior layout of one of the five caves according to his wishes. The soil on the ground is fused with high-level energy and transformed into high-quality spiritual soil. The elixir was planted in the spiritual field. A rain cloud formed. And the spiritual rain fell to water the spiritual field. The biggest advantage of the spiritual field in the cave is that it is easy to manage. And there is no possibility of insect pests in the cave. Even if spiritual insects harm the spiritual field. As the master of the cave, he can find all the spiritual insects with just one thought. In another cave, the environment is also changing. Stone tablets rose up one after another, and each stone tablet was a formation node. A total of 10,000 stone tablets rose up in the cave sky, forming a super spirit gathering formation. This super spirit gathering array will change the effect of the super spirit gathering array according to the nature of the stone tablet. For example, when 10,000 stone tablets are transformed into sword intention tablets, then the super spirit gathering formation composed of 10,000 sword intent tablets will form a training environment focused on sword cultivation. Li Shiming believes that practicing in this environment is a paradise-like existence for monks. Even as powerful as he is, he can enhance a certain part of his strength in this environment. For the rest of the caves, he focused on natural changes. One of the three caves was transformed into an underwater world. And the entire cave was completely filled with water. One of the other two caves completely simulated the external environment and contained the most beautiful scenery he had ever seen. The other cave was transformed into a fantasy environment by him. There was no land here, but only suspended peaks in the sky. The suspended peaks were floating in the clouds, forming a dreamlike world. These are still preliminary designs, and his practice is still in the exploratory stage. Li Shiming also sensed a hint of mystery from the cave sky. This mystery is the key to the cave heaven giving birth to the fifth grade weapon refining spirit. At present, this mystery has not specified a direction. He needs to give the direction. This mystery will continue to absorb energy and give birth to the fifth grade weapon refining spirit in the cave. Things. A cave can only give birth to a fifth grade weapon refining spiritual object once. And a normal power will choose the fifth grade weapon refining spiritual object that best suits its own attributes. After Li Shiming thought about it, one cave chose to breed fifth grade weapon refining spirits with all five elements. Two caves chose to breed pure fifth grade gold metals. One cave chose to breed fifth grade thunder materials. And one cave chose to breed fifth grade materials. Space materials. The reason why he needs to breed two fifth grade gold metals is because in addition to his natal flying sword, he also has a sword base that needs to be improved. Since he could not upgrade the sword base to the fifth level through the Sword Demon Secret Book, he directly absorbed a piece of fifth grade gold metal to upgrade the sword base to the fifth level. Needless to say, the fifth grade thunder type materials were prepared for the Jade Pure Thunder Code. He even confirmed the refined spiritual treasure, which was the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, which was truly made from fifth grade thunder type materials. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer made. In fact, he had received a fifth grade thunder type weapon refining material before. But after he truly advanced to the realm of almighty power, he realized that the best weapon refining material for him still came from the fifth grade material bred in his own cave. Since he had this condition, he would give priority to nurturing fifth grade materials in his own cave. As for the fifth grade materials in hand, they can be used in the transitional period. In addition to the fifth grade thunder type material, he also has a copy of Jewetch and Glaze Light Black Gold, which is a fifth grade gold type material. In this way, before Dong Tian gave birth to fifth grade materials, he had two fifth grade materials, thunder and gold, and could refine two fifth grade spiritual treasures at least ensuring his combat power during this period. A cave heaven breeds 5th grade space materials, which is to cooperate with the application of space rules. In the past, he did not need the assistance of Lingbao to use his spatial abilities, 
But with the assistance of Ling Bao, his spatial abilities have become more powerful. Don't think that space rules are just about space movement. Space rules can be used to attack, defend, and move. It is an extremely comprehensive ability. If Li Shiming wants to make full use of the space rules, he needs the assistance of Ling Bao. In addition, he chose a fifth grade weapon refining material that contained all five elements in a cave, which was prepared for the heavenly art. Until now, heavenly man art has only been regarded as a training method to improve strength. He has not deeply explored the combat methods of heavenly man art. That's because he has various fighting methods. And before the heavenly art reaches the realm of great power, its greater role is to provide him with a solid foundation. In the realm of great power, if you want to fight against many great powers, you need to bring your greatest advantages into play. After Li Shiming had done this, he waved his hand, and Yin Shirlan's palace, which had been isolated, fell into the cultivation cave. Shiming, have you been promoted to a powerful person? After Yin Shirlan sensed the changes in the cave sky, she looked at Li Shiming and asked in surprise. She had confidence in Li Shiming, but she did not expect that Li Shiming would be promoted so quickly. When Li Shiming released the isolation space from the palace, because the time was too short. She thought that Li Shiming had failed for promotion. So she was ready with words of comfort. But after coming out of the palace, she discovered the vastness of the cave. There is no way that such a large cave can be owned by half-step power. I promise you that you will definitely be promoted to great power in a hundred years. And I succeeded? Li Shiming replied with a smile. I didn't expect you to be promoted to a powerful person so quickly. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yin Shirlan said in a daze. Great Nim, a realm that she had only heard of after leaving Beishu Continent, was the existence that stood at the top of the world of immortality. One powerful person can support a super force. When she joined Wanfeng Palace, she only saw the powerful clone of Meng Jun. That was because of Li Shiming's face. Now that Li Shiming has become a powerful man, how can he not let her feel like she is in a dream? No need to dream. I believe you will be promoted soon, Li Shiming said with a smile. Yin Shirlan's conditions are so good that they are unparalleled in the entire world of immortality. She comprehended the rules mastered by Li Shiming in the cave. And at the peak monk level, she raised her understanding of the rules to a level beyond the reach of other peak monks. The key to being promoted to half-step power is that she doesn't need to worry about the rules. In terms of energy, Li Shiming has refined the Bai Chao pill, which allows her to not worry about energy. There is no need to worry about the secret treasures. The number of secret treasures in Li Shiming's hands is enough for 10 monks to advance to half-step to great power. How come the spiritual energy here is so strong? Yin Shirlan noticed the change in the environment and asked involuntarily. Although the super spirit gathering formation here has only been set up not long ago, the palace located in the center of the formation and Yin Shirlan's location are both within the training space of the super spirit gathering formation. A huge super spirit gathering array with a radius of 400,000 meters. It is impossible for the outside world to arrange such a spirit gathering array. The array materials alone are an astronomical figure. Not to mention the impact of such a large spirit gathering array on the surrounding environment. Enough to put the surrounding forces in a state of having their spiritual energy drawn away. Chapter 1016 Return to the Clan In the past 10 years, Li Shiming's five caves have accumulated a certain amount of energy. And his combat power has been greatly enhanced due to the increase in energy in the five caves and his control over his own abilities. After testing, it was found that he had to leave the cave for two days. After two days, he would be rejected by heaven and earth, and thunder would come. He stayed in the outside world for two days. When he sensed the power of the sky thunder, he did not dare to test it himself, but returned to the cave. Fortunately, the cave is right next to you, and you can enter it at any time. He finally understood why the powerful did not dare to face the sky thunder. The power of the sky thunder was so strong that even under the blessing of the heavenly state of the heavenly art, he did not dare to withstand the attack of the sky thunder. The power of the high-level thunder was far beyond his imagination. At least for now, he doesn't have the ability to fight against the thunder at this moment. Of course, the power of the sky thunder is also related to himself. He has five caves. So the power of the sky thunder he withstands is also five times that of ordinary powers. In the past ten years, Li Shiming's understanding of the rules has improved, which made him ready to refine two temporary fifth-grade spiritual treasures for himself at the appropriate time. The most important thing for him now is to go home. Ten years of accumulation gave him the confidence to face any powerful person. 
even if he was besieged by multiple powerful people. It would not be a problem to protect himself with his own methods. It has been 110 years since he left the Eastern Chi continent, although a hundred years is not a long time for monks, especially high-level monks. For the 10,000 Bees sect, after losing his pillar, they will still there is less trouble, since the clone Li Yuanba is in the half-step state of great power. Although he can obtain information from Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion through some means, he still knows too little about the outside world. The reason why Li Shiming wanted to return to the 10,000 Beasts sect was because Li Yuanba saw in the intelligence that the 10,000 Beasts sect was in big trouble. His mind entered the teleportation ring and activated the spatial coordinates of Donchi Continent. After activating the spatial coordinates, he immediately mobilized all his brains and Z-15 to participate in the analysis and research of this ultra-long-distance space transmission. These will become an important reference for his improvement in space rules. He recorded some data last time, since it takes a long time to activate the teleportation ring. And he regards the teleportation ring as a life-saving trump card. He wants to record the teleportation ring. Sending data is not easy. Li Shiming emerged from the space and felt the familiar atmosphere. He knew that this was Dong Chi Continent. Lord, we're going home. Li Shiming invited Yin Shiruan out of the Tianren cave and pointed to the faint land in the distance. Going home! Yin Shiruan also felt excited. And she responded happily. She had always felt unsteady in Yandahai these years. And now that she was back in the familiar Dongchi continent, she was in a great mood. Hey! The gate of 10,000 Bees sect is actually blocked! Li Shiming's expression suddenly changed slightly. And he said to himself in a deep voice. Back in Dongchi continent, Z-15 was connected to the drone satellite system. The drone satellite system of Dongchi Continent has been upgraded several times and its service life has been greatly increased. Even if he has been away for 110 years, the drone satellite system still maintains its working condition. The UV satellite system has actually been issuing warnings. But Li Shiming, who received the warning, was not within the coverage of the UAV satellite system. He returned to the eastern Chi Continent and Z-15 naturally received the warning from the drone satellite system. Then he saw the surveillance screen through Z-15. A large number of great monks appeared near the gate of the 10,000 B sect. Even these great monks have broken through the cave space barrier with a radius of thousands of miles, which is already considered an invasion. Li Shiming shook his head. With a slight movement of his mind, he sensed the late-stage golden corpses of the previous contract. The five late-stage golden corpses were all in combat status guarding the five directions of the gate of the 10,000 B sect, seeing that a big war was about to break out. Even if Li Shiming strengthened the formation at the gate of 10,000 B sect, without Li Shiming's control, it would not be able to withstand the siege of so many great monks for long. Lord, I'll take you back to the 10,000 B sect quickly. Something happened to the 10,000 B sect, Li Shiming said in a deep voice to Yin Shiruan. Yin Shiruan nodded and reached out to grab Li Shiming's arm. Li Shiming's figure flashed, and he appeared 200,000 miles away. In almost a moment, he saw the mountain gate of the 10,000 bees sect. He did not speak, and as soon as the figure appeared, he suppressed the powerful aura downwards. He avoided the range of the 10,000 bees sect's mountain gate, but covered all the monks around him. These monks suspended in the air were suppressed by the sudden terrifying aura, and fell to the ground one by one. The weak ones were killed in the air, while the stronger ones, like the great monks, were pressed to the ground by the terrifying aura after landing. Unable to move at all, the entire battlefield fell into deathly silence. The monks who besieged the mountain gate of the 10,000 beasts sect were suppressed and could not make a sound, while the monks of the 10,000 beasts sect were stunned. A battle to destroy the sect ended just as it was about to begin, and it ended inexplicably. See you, ancestor! A monk shouted loudly when he saw Lee shimming in the air above his head, and fell to the ground with a look of admiration on his face. More monks then saluted Li Shiming and called their ancestors. After seeing Li Shiming, all the monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect felt relieved. Even the monks who have joined the sect in the past hundred years have heard rumors about Li Shiming. The ancestor, although they have never met Li Shiming, they admire Li Shiming a lot. What happened? Where is my master? Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. His perception covered the entire area, but no figure of brother who was found, which made him worried. Senior brother, who was seriously injured and is currently training in the Taichu branch. A newly promoted monk from the 10,000 B sect bowed and replied, Catch these monks for interrogation and ask the intelligence department to sort out the matter and send it to me. 
I will go see the master. Li Shiming used a little force to restrain all the monks, who were still alive outside the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect. Commanded, before the monks from the 10,000 beasts sect could take action, he disappeared. It only took Li Shiming a cup of tea to reach the Taichu branch gate. He has extremely high authority over this place. As soon as he entered the Taichu branch sect mountain gate, he found the great monk Hu, brother who had only one leg left on his limbs. Both arms and left leg were gone, and only his right leg was left. This was still a physical injury, and the injury to his nascent soul was also extremely serious. As soon as Li Shiming sensed brother whose injury, his face turned extremely ugly. Brother whose injuries were extremely serious. Judging from brother whose condition, it seemed that he had taken the advanced healing elixir he left behind. But even so, brother whose injuries were still so serious. If it weren't for the high-level monk's high-level healing elixir he left behind, I'm afraid that monk who would have died. At this time, brother who was in a formation of the Tai Chu branch, this formation was a special formation used by the Tai Chu sect to heal injuries. It could generate some life energy and nourish the injured body. Unfortunately, brother whose injuries were too serious, and this formation could only slow down the loss of his vitality. Shurjin, you are finally back. I almost lost the foundation of 10,000 beasts sect. Even if brother, who was seriously injured, the first thing he said when he saw Li Shiming was not about his injuries, but about his injuries. The foundation of the 10,000 beast sect. The 10,000 beast sect is fine. Anyone who dares to show their teeth to the 10,000 beast sect, I will turn around and break all their teeth. Li Shiming waved his hand and said, For the 10,000 beast sect, I have brought you too much trouble. Brother who shook his head and said, Although he didn't want Li Shiming to take risks, the inheritance of the 10,000 beast sect was too important. And he was even more reluctant to part with the 10,000 beast sect. This conflicting mentality made him a little overwhelmed. This time when the 10,000 beasts sect fought against foreign enemies, it was almost a one-sided battle, which made him understand the gap between the 10,000 beasts sect and the real superpower. The monks of the 10,000 beasts sect have been growing up in the East Chi continent. After there are no enemies in the East Chi continent, the monks of the 10,000 beasts sect are rarely encountered in battles, let alone being brought back by Li Shiming to supplement the strength of the 10,000 beasts sect. The inheritance time is too short. The new generation of monks has not yet fully grown up. This makes the 10,000 beast sex combat power far inferior to that of the super force. Monk who was seriously injured in the blocking battle. After the other party knew his identity, he deliberately chopped off his arms and left leg in this humiliating way. And left energy in the wounds. Making it impossible for him to recover even with the elixir of rebirth from severed limbs. Master, let me treat your injury first. Li Shiming pressed his hand and said, he raised his hand and set out a magical power of innate emu. With his current state, a ray of light from the magical power of innate emu fell on brother whose body, and the severed limbs of brother who grew out at a speed visible to the naked eye. At the same time, the injuries in brother whose body were also healing rapidly. It only took a few breaths for brother who to return to full strength. Li Shiming secretly sighed in his heart. Although he had cured brother whose injury, after this injury, brother who was basically injured, with brother whose age, the chance of thinking further is almost zero. If he had not been injured, it would still be possible for brother who to be promoted to a higher level with the help of Li Shiming. Li Shiming suppressed the anger in his heart. He checked the situation of brother who again, and then withdrew his hand. Shurjin, how come your Xiantiani Mu magical power is so effective? No, your realm? Brother who felt the injuries on his body disappear, and was praising Li Shiming's ability. But he discovered something amazing. Matter. Master, I have been promoted to a powerful one. Li Shiming knew brother whose wish and said with a smile, Great Nung, if you have really been promoted to Great Nung, then the 10,000 B sect will become a superpower. Brother who excitedly grabbed Li Shiming's hand and said, Yes, the 10,000 B sect will soon be promoted to a superpower. Li Shiming confirmed with a smile and nod. It's hard for you. You have paid too much. Brother who murmured. He thought of Li Shiming back then. When he accepted Li Shiming, he didn't expect that Li Shiming could grow to this extent. Great power. The common dream of all the monks of the 10,000 beasts sect for many years has finally been realized in their generation of monks. Brother who knows how difficult this is. A powerful person who is not a superpower is extremely rare in the history of the world of immortality. The inheritance of great power has always been in the hands of superpowers. The risks for monks from other powers, 
who want to be promoted to great powers are many times higher than those of monks from superpowers. At this time, news came from Li Shiming's identity jade disc. His mind entered the identity jade disc. It was a message from the intelligence department of the 10,000 B sect. The message described what happened to the 10,000 B sect, letting Li Shiming know who the enemy was. The one who attacked the 10,000 B sect was the Feiyu sect from the Zhongzhou continent. But the Feiyu sect was only at the front. Behind them, there were the Wuyang sect, the Beidou sect, and the Guiyuan sect, who all worked together to mobilize Luanfeng Palace to fight Wuyuan sect. The support of the B sect. Under normal circumstances, Luanfeng Palace would send three great monks to take charge of the 10,000 B sect. But in the past hundred years, the number of great monks trained by the 10,000 B sect has been increasing. In addition, Wuyuan sect, Beidou sect and Guiyuan sect have caused some troubles in Zhongzhou continent. So Luanfeng Palace has mobilized a large number of great monks. The monks also summoned the three great monks stationed in the 10,000 B sect. Feiyu sect is seeking death, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. How did he know that Feiyu sect was fast? If he really had to delay his return for a few years. I'm afraid more superpowers would rush to the eastern Qi continent to take a bite of the big piece of meat of the 10,000 B sect. There are too many things in the 10,000 B sect that attract other superpowers such as the Great Monk's Elixir in the 10,000 B Sect's warehouse. This is because the 10,000 B Sect has eight more Great Monks in a short period of time. Training eight Great Monks requires a lot of resources. If the 10,000 B Sect didn't have a rich family, it would be impossible to do this. The Great Monk's spiritual pill in the 10,000 B Sect's warehouse is just one of them, and the rest are inherited in the 10,000 B Sect's library. There are also intelligence personnel from other superpowers in the 10,000 B Sect and one of them has entered a relatively core position and has come into contact with some secrets of the 10,000 B sect. I also discovered that the 10,000 B sect has various top inheritances, but it is extremely difficult to obtain the inheritance, and it is also bound by oaths. The four inheritance caves of the 10,000 B sect are also the source of disasters. The inheritance caves can cultivate inheritance powers. Although the four inheritance caves of the 10,000 beasts sect in the eastern Qi mainland have never produced inheritance powers. What kind of power should the inheritance caves be placed in? In your hands. You can rely on the inheritance cave to cultivate the power of inheritance. In addition, the 10,000 beasts sect has cultivated top geniuses like Li Shiming. Outsiders would not believe that the 10,000 beasts sect does not have the skills practiced by Li Shiming. They even believe that Li Shiming was trained by the 10,000 beasts sect. But Li Shiming's inheritance was very special and had certain limitations. There are so many sources of covetousness for the superpowers in the 10,000 B sect. In addition, the original balance of the 10,000 B sect has been broken. And there is only one dominant 10,000 B sect. In addition to Li Shiming, the 10,000 B sect was supported by Luanfeng Palace. Chapter 1017 Attacking the Sect In the Eastern Qi Continent before Li Shiming joined the 10,000 B sect, four major sects stood side by side. And behind each major sect there was the shadow of a superpower. Even if there is any superpower that covets the Dongtian of Dongchi continent, the influence of the four superpowers must be taken into consideration. The four superpowers restrained each other, keeping the eastern Qi continent in a state of balance. When the 10,000 Beasts sect became the dominant family, although the 10,000 Beasts sect was more powerful, the balance of the eastern Qi continent was broken. When Li Shiming was originally there, Li Shiming's strength made all the superpowers worry. However, Li Shiming has been missing for more than a hundred years. And the key inherited powers of the superpowers unanimously believe that Li Shiming has taken the wrong path of cultivation. It is impossible for him to be promoted to a great power. And he will eventually die. After being missing for more than a hundred years, many superpowers made wrong judgments. That is, he fell because of a force breakthrough. The Feiyu sect was the first among the many superpowers to make a test. The Feiyu sect first tried a little bit, and continued to provoke the 10,000 Beasts sect. Since the 10,000 Beasts sect did not have Li Shiming's support, they gave in step by step. The Feiyu sect continued to increase its oppression, and eventually even sent a group of monks to invade the eastern Qi continent, and prepared to take down the entire 10,000 Beasts sect in one go. Feiyu sect did this with consideration. If it were too late, it would give other superpowers a chance. The Feiyu sect is reluctant to share the benefits of such a fat sheep from the 10,000 Beasts sect. If Li Shiming hadn't come back in time, Feiyu sect might have succeeded. Once Feiyu sect swallowed up all the interests of 10,000 B sect, it would be difficult for other superpowers to want Feiyu sect to spit it out. 
Master, I'm going to Zhongzhou Continent to solve the problem with Fei Yu's sect. Li Shiming said to Brother Hu. Shurjin, we are not in a hurry to seek revenge now. We should wait until your strength improves. We are not in a hurry at this moment. Brother Hu quickly stopped him. The Fei Yu sect is a super force with great power. Monk who believed that no matter how talented Li Shiming was, the time he had just been promoted to great power was too short. And he could not compare with those great powers who had been immersed in the realm of great power for more than a thousand years. Li Shiming went to Fei Yu sect. If the powerful master of Fei Yu sect took action, Li Shiming would be in danger. Don't worry. I'm prepared. Li Shiming waved his hand. He didn't stay any longer. And after leaving the Taichu branch, his figure disappeared. He did not summon the Golden Winged Rock or the Thunder Beast, but used space movement himself. He has his own characteristics in mastering the rules of space and using space movement. In terms of space movement, he surpasses the Golden Winged Rock. His figure appeared at a distance of 200,000 miles, then disappeared again, and appeared again 200,000 miles away. Without using multiple brains, its speed has exceeded any previous movement method. If you really want to use multiple brains to move in space, the speed will be improved to a certain extent. When Li Shiming approached Zhongzhou Continent, all the great masters in Zhongzhou Continent felt Li Shiming's approach. Many powerful clones left the sect and came towards Li Shiming. Li Shiming didn't deliberately avoid it. His speed made it impossible for all the powerful players to do anything. There were some smart people among them. They discovered that Li Shiming was heading towards the Feiyu sect. Thinking of what the Feiyu sect had done before, they thought that this should be a powerful person invited by the 10,000 Beast sect, the clone of Jian Lao Che's Feiyu sect. The reason for the invasion of powerful foreign powers must be found out. The superpowers of Zhongzhou Continent are one with the outside world. Li Shiming ignored the impact he caused. He maintained the distance of spatial movement and quickly approached the direction of Feiyu sect. Thousands of miles away from Feiyu sect, a cave space barrier separates the inside and outside. Li Shiming appeared in front of the cave space barrier and then punched out. The terrifying destructive power rushed against the cave sky space barrier, and the cave sky space barrier cracked inch by inch starting from the point where he hit it. A formation in the Feiyu sect's inheritance cave suddenly exploded with a bang. The piercing alarm sounded in the Feiyu sect. The younger monks were scurrying around like headless flies. The experienced monks had already gathered on the spot, and a war could break out at any time. After breaking through Feiyu sect's cave space barrier, Li Shiming stepped out in one step and arrived in front of Feiyu sect's mountain gate. When Chao first sensed that a powerful person had entered Zhongzhou continent, he was still looking for him. But he didn't expect him to be outside his mountain gate. When Chao Dunning did not send out the clone, but directly sent out the main body, facing a powerful person. When Chao did not dare to send out powerful clones to fight, the powerful clones could not stop the powerful person. And they could not even hold on for long. He knew very well that if such a big thing happened to Feiyu sect, the powerful powers from other superpowers would definitely come to reinforce it. As long as he can persist until the arrival of powerful reinforcements from various superpowers, he will not only be able to repel the invading enemies, but may also be able to keep this powerful person. Just when Li Shiming came to Feiyu sect, when Chao Dunning also appeared above the mountain gate of Feiyu sect, when Kea Duning looked at Li Shiming, but he did not dare to take it lightly. A power that can move freely is a free power and in many aspects, it surpasses the power of inheritance. Inherited power can be forcibly improved through some secret methods at a huge cost. But there is only one possibility for free power, which is that it has extremely high talent and has built a cave through its own efforts and survived the catastrophe of power. Even in the entire world of immortality, every super force may not cultivate a free power for thousands of years. Therefore, when Chao Dongning clearly recognized his position before the battle and placed himself on the weaker side, he did not go out to fight with Li Shiming, but stood in the sex formation. Even though the sex formation had little bonus to the battle between powerful men, he did not want to let go of the slightest advantage. Are you Li Shurjin? When Wen Chao was looking at Li Shiming, he finally recognized Li Shiming's identity and asked in disbelief. He had many guesses about the identity of the powerful person who came to his door, but he never expected that it would be Li Shiming. Li Shiming cannot be promoted to a powerful person. This is the common understanding of all powerful people in the entire world of immortality. Li Shiming took the wrong path of cultivation. When he was at the peak of the monk realm, he survived half a step of powerful heavenly tribulation. This is obviously a sign that you have taken the wrong path of cultivation. One wrong step on the path to immortality will lead to an abyss. Are you the inherited power of the Feiyu sect? 
Do you want to seize the 10,000 bees sect? Li Shiming's voice was very loud. And he asked without any politeness. After hearing Li Shiming's question, even if Mr. Wen Chao wanted to seek peace, he would not be able to save face in front of the entire Feiyu sect monks. Most importantly, after learning about Li Shiming's identity, Wen Chao's confidence in himself returned. Li Shiming's talent in becoming a free power is indeed amazing. But Li Shiming's disappearance only lasts for more than a hundred years. And the time it takes to become a power must be deducted from these more than a hundred years. Then Li Shiming's stay in the realm of almighty power would be even shorter. In his opinion, it would only take decades of practice at most. The great power of Wen Dynasty has been in the realm of great power for nearly 3,000 years. Compared with 3,000 years and several decades. No matter how powerful the free power is. It cannot have such a big gap with the inherited power. Li Shurjin. The world of immortality is a place where the weak prey on the strong. Do you think that if you are promoted to a powerful person, you can't compare with us? Wen Chao, the powerful person, replied in a deep voice. Needless to say, the strong will get everything, and the weak will die. Li Shiming's eyes flashed with sternness, and he replied loudly. After saying this, he appeared next to Wen Chao in a flash, and the sword base in his hand swept towards Wen Chao. Although Wen Chao Dagong didn't know that Li Shiming had such means and could ignore the Feiyu sect's mountain gate formation, this was his territory after all, with the mountain gate formation and the inheritance cave sky nearby. When Li Shiming mobilized the space rules, he discovered something is wrong. Although he had confidence in himself, he did not dare to underestimate Li Shiming's power. Before Li Shiming became a powerful man, he killed two Bodhisattvas in Dalian Temple. Later, it was believed that Li Shiming had mastered some kind of highly destructive treasure, which caused his power. However, Li Shiming's method still made Wen Chao great, can be extremely vigilant. So as soon as Li Shiming made a move, Wen Chao made use of the mountain gate formation to move aside. Wen Chao was able to dodge. But those monks from Feiyu sect were in dire straits. Without the mountain gate formation to separate them, Li Shiming's powerful aura fell on them without any obstruction. In just an instant, all the souls of the low-level monks were wiped out, and even the high-level monks were severely injured. This is the great power, the great power that stands at the top of the world of immortality. Even a breath is enough to kill ordinary monks. Get me sleepy. When Chao Dangneng was so worried that he shouted loudly, Fei Yusek's mountain gate formation tightened towards Li Shiming, trying to trap Li Shiming. Hurry up and enter the cave! When Chao was able to use this little time to shout to the monks who were still alive, the great monks dragged their injured bodies into the inheritance cave one by one. Li Shiming did not stop him. As long as he killed the powerful Wen Chao in front of him, it was useless no matter how hard the monks hid. The sword base in his hand swept across, and a streak of swords flashed past. After the chaos sword intent reached the great power level, it was blessed by the sword intent rules. Its power was extremely powerful even among the great powers. Feiyusek's mountain gate formation had gone through more than 10,000 years of construction. But under this sword, it made a sound of shattering. In a large area where the sword light was emitted, all formation nodes and formation bases were destroyed. Feiyusek's mountain gate formation was also damaged too severely, and the light gradually dimmed. At this time, there was no longer a barrier between Li Shiming and Wen Chao. And the two powerful men looked at each other. This is impossible! How can you have such strength? When Chao Dongning felt his scalp numb, and he exclaimed, Although Li Shiming only sent out a sword, the power of this sword made Wen Chao Dongning feel that his life was in danger. Li Shiming has only been a powerful person for a long time, and his strength has reached this level. To be honest, Wen Chao was regretful. He regretted having a great feud with the 10,000 Beasts sect. So what if the 10,000 Beasts sect occupies four inheritance caves? Each of those inheritance caves has its own characteristics. Even if it is occupied, it is still not possible to cultivate great power through those four inheritance caves. The benefits that the 10,000 Beasts sect provides to the Feiyu sect and other aspects are definitely extremely uneconomical compared to being an enemy of a supreme genius like Li Shiming. Sleepy! Li Shiming said calmly without answering Wen Chao. Above his head, two shadows of formations appeared. One is the Beidou Array, and the other is the Nine Heavens Constellations Array. A normal powerful person even if he obtains these two formations, can only control one of them at most. Because the control of each formation requires a lot of effort. But for Li Shiming, controlling two formations at the same time is really nothing. Even if there are hundreds more, he can control them at the same time. 
to control the Beidou formation, and 9 Heavens Constellations formation. He only invested two brains. The power of the Beidou formation, and 9 Heavens Constellations formation. In his hands is not that 1 plus 1 equals 2, but multiplied many times. When Kadaini only felt that the surrounding environment suddenly changed. He was in countless starlights, and could no longer perceive the mountain gate of Feiyu sect. Fortunately, the connection between him and the heritage cave heaven was not interrupted. But it was also severely isolated. He can call upon the energy in the heritage cave, but cannot easily return to the heritage cave. The connection between the heritage cave and him is at the soul level. And the transmission of energy is not a problem. But if you want to return to the heritage cave, you need to enter through the space door. And then you need to find the location of the space door. Being in the joint formation of the Beidou Array and Nine Heavens Constellations Array. Even if he could sense the location of the space gate, he could not easily cross the barrier of the joint formation. Thunder is coming! Li Shiming's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and he shouted softly. As he spoke, streaks of thunder and lightning struck at Wen Chao. Before Wen Chao could attack first, the thunder and lightning attack fell. In terms of attack speed, Thunderbolt is the fastest among the same level. Helpless, Wen Chao could only mobilize his energy and turn it into a huge energy shield to protect himself. What surprised him was that Li Shiming's thunder and lightning did not mobilize the energy of the cave sky, but only used the power of the thunder and lightning spell to attack. However, the power of this thunder and lightning spell was so powerful that it was not even worse than the power of the spell cast by mobilizing the energy of the cave sky. How did he know that the thunder and lightning spells performed by Li Shiming were blessed by the Jishao thunder beads? And each thunder and lightning spell was one level higher than the normal powerful thunder and lightning spells. When Chao Dunning only felt that the space energy he had mobilized was rapidly decreasing under the attack of thunder and lightning spells. Every thunder and lightning spell that falls can reduce the energy accumulation of the cave for nearly a hundred years. Even if he has thousands of years of energy accumulation, he will not be able to last long under such continuous thunder and lightning attacks. Li Shiming only cast thunder and lightning spells. This consumption was very small. Even if he attacked continuously for a month, it would not have any impact. Chapter 1018 Meeting The thunder and lightning released by Li Shiming kept hitting Wen Chao Dongning's energy shield. Although the target of the thunder and lightning attack was Wen Chao Dongning, thunder and lightning splashed aside from time to time. No object in Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate could withstand the power of such thunder and lightning. Soon the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate became dilapidated, and many buildings were reduced to charcoal. Wen Chao could no longer care about this. Or it could be said that he was in the joint formation of the Beidou Formation and Nine Heaven Star Formation, and he could not sense the scene of the mountain gate being attacked. Now he can only continue to extract the energy from the cave sky to fight against the continuous thunder and lightning attacks. When will you be able to arrive? When Chao Dongning struggled to support him and thought to himself, it's not that he doesn't want to take the initiative to contact several powerful people in Zhongzhou Continent. It's because he is in a joint formation, let alone contact the outside world. He can't even find a position to contact the formation. Under normal circumstances, the powerful ones are all in the inheritance cave, so they need special contact formations to get in touch. Li Shiming was in a very good mood. Even though he had killed powerful clones and powerful people in the past, he had never had the strength to crush them head-on. He had always used various external objects to achieve this. It's different now. He doesn't need to summon a spiritual pet or use any special means. He can suppress Wen Chao's power with just his thunder method. Under his lightning attack, Wen Chao was unable to even fight back. Here comes the powerful clone! Li Shiming suddenly felt something in his heart. And he looked in one direction. He did not stop the thunder and lightning attack. But as soon as his mind moved slightly, the phantom clone appeared next to him. He summoned another 108 eternal tardigrades to form armor and equip it on the phantom clone. He left space rules and thunder rules on the phantom clone's body. He also gave the phantom clone the spiritual treasure. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer that was previously refined with 4th grade materials. He himself is using the 5th grade spiritual treasure. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer obtained from the powerful Yuching sect. This spiritual treasure is also for temporary use. The phantom clone uses space movement and the figure disappears next to the main body. Li Shurjin has met Mr. Jian. The phantom clone appeared thousands of miles away from the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate. He also saw the first powerful clone who came over. He stepped forward, bowed and said, Okay. His! Jian Lao's clone couldn't help but gasped after seeing the phantom clone. 
although Li Shiming's phantom clone was in front of him. He could tell from the aura of the phantom clone that Li Shiming's realm was powerful, and that the phantom clone in front of him was a powerful clone. Even though he knew that Li Shiming had amazing talents, and was ranked as a monster of the same era as Li Yuanba, he never thought that Li Shiming would be promoted to a powerful person. Thinking about the previous discussions between several powerful people, they all believed that it was impossible for Li Shiming to be promoted to a powerful person, and he would only go crazy and die. Jian Lao's clone couldn't help but shook his head. All the powerful men were wrong. And they were so wrong. Li Shiming's talent is far beyond the expectations of all powerful people. It turns out to be fellow Daoist Li. Congratulations to fellow Daoist Li for being promoted to the Mahayana stage. Jian Lao's clone recovered his emotions and returned the gift with a smile. Then he asked, Can fellow Daoist Li stop the attack on Fei Yu's sect? Mr. Jian, it's not that I don't give you face. It's that Fei Yu's sect almost killed my master and wanted to invade my sect. One Shou's sect, if I hadn't come back in time, one show sect and my master would have been captured by the Fei Yu sect has been destroyed. The phantom clone replied with a bitter smile. Jian Lao couldn't help but be startled when he heard this. He also understood that the feud was serious. The relationship between master and disciple in the world of immortality is the closest. The revenge for killing the master is almost equal to the revenge for killing the father. And the same is true for the master sect. Fei Yu sect's actions prompted Li Shiming to take revenge, which was understandable. However, the problem was that several superpowers in Zhengzhou continent were allies to the outside world. And Jian Lao was a little confused about whether to intervene. You must know that Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion is also an alliance with the 10,000 Beast Sect. And the 10,000 Beast Sect has a deep relationship with the Zhengzhou continent. Wanfeng Palace is also an ally of the 10,000 Beast Sect. In addition, there are some business cooperation with the Zhengzhou continent. Without Fei before the Yuzong incident. The 10,000 Beast sect could be said to be the best partner in Zhongzhou continent. It is precisely because of the alliance between 10,000 Beast sect and Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion that Jian Lao cannot identify Li Shiming as an outsider. And the joint external agreement of the superpowers of Zhongzhou continent is only aimed at outsiders. I wonder which step you want to take. Jian Lao thought for a while and asked. Just kill Wen Chao. I have no intention of destroying the Feiyu sect. The phantom clone replied in a deep voice. Fellow Daoist Li. The Feiyu sect also has great freedom and power. In addition, every superpower is the backbone of the world of immortality. You have reached the Mahayana stage. So the 10,000 Beast sect has also been promoted to a superpower. Some of the secrets of the world of immortality will also be open to you. How about this? You stop attacking Wen Chao first. And then you make a decision after I tell you the secrets of the world of immortality. Jian Lao advised. Jian Lao, you're too late. The phantom clone paused slightly when he heard the words, then shook his head and said helplessly. Jian Lao understood the meaning of the phantom clone's words, and he sighed heavily. I have been with Wen Chao for nearly 2,000 years, but I didn't expect that Wen Chao would fall first. On the other side, after Jian Lao appeared, Li Shiming knew that he didn't have much time and he needed to make a decision. In fact, from the beginning of the battle, he did not try his best. He needed a lot of battles to test his combat power. When Kaidating did not put much pressure on him. So he had no motivation to fight with all his strength. Under this situation, if he were to use stronger power, the battle would end in an instant. Until Jian Lao appeared, Li Shiming decided to end the battle and began to use his real combat power. He mobilized a hundred brains and activated a hundred lightning techniques, spells at the same time. All lightning techniques would be empowered by the Jishao Thunder Beads. A hundred lightning techniques were fired together, and a hundred thunderbolts hit Wen Chao Dongming's body. After Wen Chao's protective energy was hit by a hundred lightnings at the same time, the protective energy was instantly broken, and he was also overwhelmed by the lightning. Li Shiming looked at Wen Chao and knew that this would be the result. Even though it was very easy for him to kill Wen Chao, there was a prerequisite for this, and that was that Wen Chao could not return to his inheritance cave. Otherwise, Li Shiming will need to enter the Inheritance Cave and have a battle with Wen Chao. In the Inheritance Cave, the Great Master Wen Chao will control the opportunity. And everything in the entire Inheritance Cave is controlled by the Great Master Wen Chao. The main reason why this battle can be so easy is the Joint Formation of the Beidou Formation and the Nine Heaven Star Formation. The Beidou Formation and the Nine Heavens Constellations Formation are both powerful level formation treasures. 
Any one of these treasures placed in the hands of a powerful person can limit the effect of a powerful person of the same level. In Li Shiming's hands, the combined power of the Beidou formation and the Nine Heavens Constellations formation can completely trap the powerful. This prevents De Nung from escaping, which is very critical in battle and is also the biggest obstacle to killing De Ning. When Chao Duning's body fell from the air and was put away by him, he did not enter the inheritance cave. This step was enough. The 10,000 B sect still had to hang out in the world of immortality. It was best not to go too far. His figure left the Feiyu sect's mountain gate in a flash and appeared next to the phantom clone. Jian Lao, for your sake, I have not touched Feiyu sect's inheritance of Dongtian. As long as Feiyu sect's monks work hard enough, I believe that Feiyu sect will have new powers in the near future, Li Shiming said with a smile. As soon as he appeared, the phantom clone turned into a ray of light and disappeared into the cave of heaven and man. Fellow Daoisley, thank you very much. Jian Lao's clone could only nod his head. Li Shiming said that he had given him face and he had to continue, which allowed him to explain to the Feiyu sect and other superpowers. Let's chat. I'll tell you the secrets of the world of immortality. Jian Lao looked around, took out an object and said, what he took out was a small platform, which quickly grew in size and floated in the air. On the platform is a set of tables and chairs, just like a place to entertain guests. Jian Lao's clone made an invitation. And Li Shiming bowed and motioned for Jian Lao to take a seat first. With humility from both sides, the guests and hosts took their seats. With Jian Lao's clone sitting in the main seat and Li Shiming sitting in the guest seat. Li Shiming didn't wait for Jian Lao's clone to take out the hospitality. He took out the fourth grade top grade spiritual tea leaves and then took out a fifth grade alchemy furnace of spiritual spring water, ready to brew a pot of spiritual tea. Jian Lao's clone looked at Li Shiming's actions with some pity. He came here as a clone. Although the clone can also drink tea. Drinking tea with the clone absorbs the energy in it, which is different from the feeling of drinking tea with the main body. He didn't say anything. Anyway, Feiyusek's affairs had reached this point. So there was no shortage of time. While Li Shiming was making tea, several powerful clones arrived one after another. They did not disturb Li Shiming's tea-making work, but just nodded to Jin Lao's clone and found a place to sit down. Li Shiming poured the brewed spiritual tea from the 5th grade alchemy furnace into the 4th grade top-level spiritual pot. He had already noticed several powerful clones coming, so he poured the spiritual tea for the powerful clones one by one. Fellow Daoisley, I still remember the last time we met. You gave me a surprise, but this time I was shocked. You have successfully promoted to the Mahayana stage. Meng Jun of Wanfeng Palace sighed and said. Li Shirzhen pays homage to Meng Jun. Li Shiming bowed and bowed to Meng Jun. And then continued. I would also like to thank Wanfeng Palace for opening the classics to me. Which has benefited me a lot. In fact, based on his level, he should be on equal terms with Meng Jun. But the problem is that in terms of titles among the powerful, Meng Jun and Dang Neng are all called Meng Fairy. This is a bit inappropriate for Li Shiming. The Taoist monk named Li Shiming is a descendant of Meng Jun Dongming. So Li Shiming paid special attention to the title. I don't think that a few half-step powerful books can help you to become a powerful person. It's all about your own efforts. Meng Jun said with a smile as he shook his head. Li Shirzhen has met a few powerful people. Li Shiming bowed to the other powerful clones. Fellow Daoist Li is truly amazingly talented. He was promoted to the Mahayana stage at such a young age. When I was your age, I was just a nascent soul monk. A powerful clone returned the favor with a smile. The other powerful clones all had good attitudes. All the powerful clones seemed to have forgotten Fei Yu's sect and the powerful Wen Chao. The powerful people here are not fools. They saw Li Shiming and Jian Lao getting along with each other when they came. If he really wanted to take action, at least Jian Lao would not help. The relationship between the 10,000 Bees sect and Wanfeng Palace has lasted for thousands of years which means that there are at least two superpowers in Zhongzhou continent standing on the side of the 10,000 B sect. In addition, judging from the situation on Fei Yusek's side, Fei Yusek suffered huge losses this time, no matter what the situation is. Now that there is no fighting, it is enough for these powerful people to fulfill their duty of reinforcement. Several powerful clones sip tea, each of them showing an intoxicated look. Fellow Daoisley, when you have time, Come to Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion and sit down and have tea together. Jian Lao's clone was the first to send out the invitation. He had drank the spiritual tea fried by Li Shiming himself. Although the quality of the spiritual tea had reached an extremely high level, 
The spiritual tea fried by Li Shiming himself and brewed by himself were the real spiritual tea of the highest quality. Jian Lao, I will definitely visit you when you have time. Li Shiming would never refuse to establish a good relationship with Jianyi Chou Pavilion. He agreed with a smile. When you have time, take Sherlong back to Luanfeng Palace with you. I also want to taste the spiritual tea you brewed with my own lips. Meng Jun, the mighty master, was not willing to lag behind others and followed the invitation. It's natural. Lanor will be promoted to half-level power in the near future and needs to go back to Luanfeng Palace. Li Shiming replied with a smile. The remaining powerful clones did not send out invitations, mainly because their relationship had not reached that stage and they could not send out invitations. More importantly, Li Shiming's strength was somewhat unexpected, and they did not want Li Shiming to enter the mountain gate. Fellow Daoist Li, fellow Taoists, the Feiyu sect needs to be rebuilt. Please contribute according to the covenant of the year. Jian Lao's clone changed the topic back to the topic and said, Fellow Daoist one? Meng Jun asked with some uncertainty. Fellow Daoist one and Daoist Li had a fair fight and have fallen. Jian Lao's clone replied in a deep voice. As soon as his words came out, the atmosphere on the scene became tense. Although the powerful people had some guesses, they were still shocked when they actually heard the result. They looked at Li Shiming with awe in their eyes. Li Shiming attacked the Feiyu sect's mountain gate and beheaded Wen Chao's powerful leader in a head-on battle. This kind of achievement was definitely real. However, it is not so easy to kill the Great Nung himself. Even though the two Bodhisattvas in the Great Lane Temple were killed, the Great Nung who visited the gate of the Great Lane Temple at that time also made a judgment. The fall of the two Bodhisattvas was due to the power of some kind of self-destruction, which caused the collapse of space. This is not a normal ability of the Almighty. Li Shiming killed Wen Chao. But there was no trace of moisture in the real frontal battle. Chapter 1019 Communication Is mighty freedom really that powerful? Ming Jun Mighty's sigh made all the mighty men present come back to their senses. It's because fellow Daoist Li is very strong. Jian Lao replied with certainty. Although he did not personally see the battle between Li Shiming and Wen Chao, it was only a thousand miles away from the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate. In addition, the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate's formation was broken and there was no isolation barrier from the cave sky. So he could easily sense it. The situation at Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate. The remaining traces of the battle at Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate all prove that this was a fierce battle. The traces left by Li Shiming's thunder and lightning spells are almost everywhere in the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate. As for Li Shiming, the Great Master, taking action personally. The Great Master here did not say anything against the rules of the world of immortality. Although a powerful person cannot intervene in the conflicts between sects, Feiyu sect took the action of destroying the sect. And it was reasonable for Li Shiming, a powerful person, to take action. The most important thing is that Li Shiming is not a powerful person trained by a superpower. And he does not know the rules about powerful people. This is why Jian Lao pulled Li Shiming and wanted to explain to Li Shiming some secrets about the world of immortality. If Li Shiming has not explained some rules, Li Shiming will do something against the rules next time. Fellow Daoist Li, and fellow Taoists, I will explain some of the secrets of the world of immortality to friend Daoist Li. If there are any inaccuracies, please help me fill them in, Jian Lao's clone said in a deep voice. Excuse me, the sword is old. Li Shiming stood up and bowed. In the world of immortality, powerful people are not able to act without scruples and act at will. Our power is too strong. Just like the Feiyu Sex Mountain Gate. The remaining energy there cannot disappear for at least 3,000 miles, which makes large areas of the mountain gate no longer usable. Almighty has some rules that need to be followed in the world of immortality. I also ask fellow Daoist Li to read the contents of this jade slip when you have time. Jian Lao's clone took out a jade slip and handed it to Li Shiming and said. Li Shiming took the jade slip and scanned it with his mind. And he knew all the contents inside. Jian Lao, please wait a moment. He glanced in the direction of Feiyu sect turn around and said to Jian Lao's clone. Then his figure disappeared from the spot and appeared again at the mountain gate of Feiyu sect. Since the battle with Wen Chao was a one-sided crushing, Wen Chao did not leave any traces of the battle at the scene. He let go of his senses and cleared away the aura he had left behind. This work is not easy for other powerful people. The main reason is that this work requires extremely fine control. Although he is operating in the realm of immortality, he is not as capable as 0.5 nanometers of control in the computer room space. But with the help of divine vision, his control over the outside world is also extremely strong. He also used more than a hundred brains to operate together. 
in just one cup of tea. He cleared away the traces of the battle he left behind. His figure returned to his original sitting position and motioned to Jian Lao's clone. All the powerful clones were silent. They had been paying attention to Li Shiming's every move since he used his space ability. Trying to see Li Shiming's strength. Li Shiming didn't hide anything. So the powerful clone saw some clues. The first is spatial ability. The spatial movement performed by Li Shiming reveals the level of spatial rules. It is definitely a powerful ability that comes from deep study of spatial rules. The second is the ability to control. Being able to clean up the traces of one's own battles in a short time. Control is related to the mental aspect. Which means that Li Shiming's spirit is extremely strong. Although Li Shiming did not show more strength. His spatial ability and strong spirit can ensure the foundation of Li Shiming's strength. Li Shiming's spatial ability. Let alone the powerful clones on the scene. Even if the main body is here. Cannot compare with Li Shiming's spatial ability. Everyone. I will abide by the rules that powerful people should abide by. But the premise is that no powerful person takes the initiative to provoke me. And I am not someone who likes to cause trouble. Li Shiming said in a deep voice. I believe in fellow Daoist Li. Ming Jun replied with a smile. Li Shiming is considered a member of his family. And Ming Jun Dongning supports Li Shiming. The 10,000 B sect has the great power Dao Yu Li. And then the 10,000 B sect will be promoted to a superpower. All superpowers need to be notified of this matter. Jian Lao's clone continued. Actually, we regard the 10,000 B sect as a superpower. A powerful clone said with a smile. This was agreed upon by the rest of the powers. And so it was. Li Shiming was too powerful before. So that during the development period of the 10,000 B sect, it did not face much difficulty from the superpowers, but instead regarded it as an equal existence. If Li Shiming hadn't suddenly disappeared for more than a hundred years, it would have been impossible for the Feiyu sect to launch an attack on the 10,000 Beasts sect. Fellow Daoist Li is a powerful man of freedom. I wonder if Friendly will stay here or go out to look for opportunities. Jian Lao's clone looked at Li Shiming and asked, I should stay for a while. On the one hand, I will strengthen my own strength. And on the other hand, I will prepare to protect the 10,000 B sect for a while. Li Shiming replied after thinking about it. What he didn't say was that the clone Li Yuanba was not promoted to a powerful person. And the Taoist companion Yin Shirlan was not promoted to a half-step powerful person. These things made it impossible for him to just leave. Then it would be best for fellow Daoist Li to cultivate a powerful inheritor in the 10,000 B sect and let him guard the 10,000 B sect. You can move freely. With your talent, you cannot give up on improving yourself. I look forward to the news of your ascension. Jian Lao's clone suggested. Li Shiming's talent is unique in the history of the world of immortality. Jian Lao's clone is a man who loves talent. Seeing that Li Shiming has such talent, he naturally hopes that Li Shiming can go further. Based on the relationship between Li Yuanba and Li Shiming, Li Shiming's strength will increase, and he will be more helpful to Li Yuanba. Mr. Jian, I always hear about free powers and inherited powers. What is the difference between them? Where have those free powers gone? Li Shiming asked his question. The great masters of inheritance are just like us, who use some means to take over the inheritance cave and forcibly upgrade themselves to the Mahayana realm. Our potential is limited, and there is almost no possibility of going further. Free powers refer to those powers who have built the cave heaven through their own efforts. Such powers are not restricted by the cave heaven and can freely move around the world of immortality within the prescribed time. As for where the free power is gone, we have to talk about the potential of the free power. Those who can become the free power have the best talents, which also gives them the possibility to go further. The free power has found a space where there are opportunities and dangers. But monks who have ascended through the generations have all had this experience. If you need to go and look for opportunities, I have a map here. Once you have confidence in your own strength, you can go and look for opportunities. Jian Lao's clone took out another jade slip and handed it to Li Shiming and said, before you leave. You should train a powerful inheritor for the 10,000 beasts sect before you leave. Otherwise, it will be difficult to guarantee whether the 10,000 beasts sect can maintain the title of superpower after you leave. Mighty Meng Jun interrupted at this time. Due to the relationship between Wanfeng Palace and the 10,000 beasts sect, the strength of the 10,000 beasts sect has increased, giving Wanfeng Palace an additional powerful ally. Wanfeng Palace has paid a lot for the 10,000 beasts sect. After the 10,000 B sect has gained sufficient strength, if Luanfeng Palace is in trouble, the 10,000 B sect will never stand idly by. Li Shiming took the jade slip, which contained a simple map, 
It has to be simple. The area marked on this map is too large. If every place is clear, the map will be too cumbersome. He discovered the line that left the world of immortality. It was an ultra-long distance line that led directly outside the sphere of influence of human monks and into the very depths of the ocean. Li Shiming was overjoyed that he finally found a place where he could improve himself. Although Li Shiming's strength has grown rapidly, this growth in strength is just a process of accumulation. No matter how much energy is accumulated, it is only in the early stage of Mahayana. If you want to further reach the middle stage of Mahayana, you need to add cores to Dantian. But the cores needed are not ordinary heavenly treasures, but higher quality heavenly treasures. Such higher quality heavenly treasures do not exist in the world of immortality. Only in that space where danger and opportunity coexist can such higher quality heavenly treasures exist. Therefore, if Li Shiming wants to improve his realm, he needs to go to that space. This is what he must do. He is not satisfied with becoming a powerful person. His goal is to ascend and see the world after ascension. This was the first time that Li Shiming sat down and chatted with several powerful people. At first, Jian Lao explained to him the secrets of the world of immortality. And then it became a chat between the powerful people. Although the great powers have long lives, it is not easy for the great powers to get together. It is only because of the troubled times recently that the powerful ones remain vigilant. When the Lane Temple was attacked and killed by Li Yuan by using a long-range flying sword, it was because Ning did not react in time. This is a wake-up call for the powerful powers of other superpowers. The powerful powers must at least spare some energy and contact the powerful powers if anything happens. It also allows the powerful to react immediately when something happens to the sect. Finally, after several hours, the powerful clones ended their exchange. Li Shiming has a clearer understanding of many things in the world of immortality. In the past, he would not view things from the perspective of great power. The powerful exchanges made him understand a lot of things. For example, conflicts between two or several superpowers are actually intentional. Just like the relationship between Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion and Baidi Sect is like natural enemies. The monks of the two sects continue to conflict with each other and suffer losses from each other. However, the White Emperor Sect Xianyi Dagong and Jian Lao are also old friends. They will not interfere in the conflict between the two super forces. Even if some monks fall, they will not interfere. It is precisely through the natural enemy-like relationship between Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion and Baidi Sect that the two super powerful monks can always find opportunities to fight. Li Shiming returned to the eastern Qi continent, and several powerful monks were sent to take over the matters of Feiyu's sect. Taking over the affairs of Feiyu's sect really made the other superpowers aware of Feiyu's sect's heavy losses. Except for the big monk. All the other monks died. The great monks were injured and hid in the inheritance cave. Fortunately, the half-step masters of Feiyu's sect were not affected. Next, the super forces will help Feiyu's sect control everything within their sphere of influence. As for Feiyu's sect's control of interests outside the sphere of influence, it has become the reward for the actions of the superpowers. Li Shiming spent some time returning to the 10,000 beast sect and entered his own cave as soon as he came back. He took out the corpse of Wen Chao and found a 5th grade spiritual treasure fan and a soul crystal ring from the corpse. The 5th grade Lingbao fan is of no use to Li Shiming. This is different from the treasure. Panana treasure fan. This fifth grade Lingbao fan is completely a spiritual treasure that matches the Feiyu sect's skills. When Li Shiming put his mind into the soul crystal ring, he was stunned. This could be said to be the richest soul crystal ring he had ever seen. The number of spiritual objects inside and its high quality made him unbelievable. A large number of jade slips are placed in different categories. This is the backup of all inheritances of Feiyu sect. It is a preparation made to prevent Feiyu sect from accidents and the inheritance power can rebuild Feiyu sect. These jade slips will also enrich Li Shiming's knowledge, add a large number of classics to him, and allow Z15 to better understand the world of immortality. After that, there are a large number of great monk elixirs, most of which are from Li Shiming's hands. Li Shiming then saw a 4th grade top flying boat. Now he had no scruples. So after seeing the 4th grade top flying boat, he immediately claimed the flying boat. Feiyu wind boat, this is the name of the 4th grade top flying boat. The biggest advantage of this airship is that it uses the rules of the wind system to accelerate the airship. Making the airship about 30 to 40% faster than a normal 4th grade top airship. Li Shiming shook his head. Fei Yu Tiao Feng Zhou made him a little disappointed. However, as a top level 4th grade flying boat, the performance of the flying feather wind boat is what normal monks desire. In addition, 
Fei Yu riding on the wind boat was beautiful enough. So he decided to give Fei Yu riding on the wind boat to Yin Shirlan. He has always been quite stingy towards Yin Shirlan. This is because he does not want Yin Shirlan to be coveted by other monks. His stinginess is only shown in spiritual objects. He is not stingy at all when it comes to Yin Shirlan's cultivation resources. Yin Shirlan's promotion to the pinnacle of the great cultivator is all due to him. Without a large amount of training resources provided to Yin Shirlan, and without the help of the most precious Tianling Jade Bead, how could Yin Shirlan become the pinnacle of the great cultivator? Li Shiming found piles of resources from the Soul Crystal Ring, all of which were fourth grade resources, and the quantity was extremely large. These should be the resources accumulated by Fei Yu sect. But for some reason, they are stored in Wen Chao's Soul Crystal Ring. You must know that these resources should be placed in the sex treasury. Finally, he found another treasure. After identifying the owner of this treasure, he learned its name and function. The treasure is called Wind Suppressing Pearl, and its only function is to ignore any wind attacks. Chapter 1020 Weapon Refining The 10,000 Beast Sect has recovered from the state of war. The mountain gate is decorated with lights and colorful decorations everywhere, and every monk has a smile on his face. Because Li Shiming, the ancestor of the 10,000 Beast sect has returned, and he has returned as a powerful person. From today on, the 10,000 Beast sect has become a superpower. Some old monks had tears in their eyes. After so many years, the 10,000 Beast sect finally became a superpower. The efforts of the monks over the years were not in vain. The recovered monk who has returned to the mountain gate of the 10,000 Beast sect, he will preside over the ceremony for the 10,000 Beasts sect to be promoted to a super sect. At that time, all the superpowers in the entire world of immortality will send representatives, and it will be a grand gathering. But these have nothing to do with Li Shiming. After reaching the Mahayana stage, he no longer has to worry about these ordinary matters. As long as no powerful man comes to visit, the rest of the monks are not worthy of his presence. Li Shiming has his own affairs. He is currently cooperating with Z15 to refine his own fifth grade spiritual treasure. His five elements rules, thunder and lightning rules, Space rules and sword intention rules have all reached the powerful level, which gives him the ability to refine fifth grade spiritual treasures. He didn't want to use fifth grade weapon refining materials and use his previous weapon refining ability. Although the final product was a spiritual treasure, it was not a powerful level spiritual treasure. Just like the several spiritual treasures he is using now, they will be gradually eliminated after better substitutes are available. The power of the spiritual treasures that were refined from fourth grade materials before was almost the weakest among the spiritual treasures, and gradually could not keep up with his strength. If he was still living in this world of immortality, then the original spiritual treasure would still be enough. But his vision has long been gone. He thought that after cultivating the inheritance power for the 10,000 Beasts sect, he would leave the 10,000 Beasts sect to find his own opportunities. The first thing Li Shiming wanted to refine was the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. The refining of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer was extremely familiar to him. The natal magic weapon. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. He refined change twice. From the spiritual treasure. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. Refined from fourth grade materials to the natal spiritual treasure. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. Seized from the powerful master of Yuching sect. Hammer. Plus he also practiced the. Jade Clear Thunder Code. So the. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. Is the magic weapon he is most familiar with. In the computer room space. The fifth grade alchemy furnace. Bai Chao Furnace is placed in the center of the computer room because this alchemy furnace needs to be refining. The size of the Bai Chao Furnace needs to be enlarged to a certain extent, which makes the Bai Chao Furnace occupy most of the machine room. He popped out a flame, which was the fifth grade Infinite Immortal Fire. This was also his strongest flame. A little flame rose from the Bai Chao stove. It looked extremely weak and seemed to be extinguished at any time. But don't underestimate this. Infinite Fairy Fire. The fifth grade fairy fire possesses terrifying power. Li Shiming took a long breath and mobilized the energy of the cave. He converted the energy of the cave into fire energy and introduced it into the Infinite Fairy Fire in the Baichao Furnace. Almost at the moment when the fire energy entered the Infinite Immortal Fire, the Infinite Immortal Fire suddenly burst out from the flame state. Li Shiming put the Baju Fan into the computer room and controlled the Baju fan, with his mind to fan down the Baichao stove. The quality of the Infinite Immortal Fire 
was forcibly upgraded by a small level by the Panana Treasure Fan. And it was easier to control due to the influence of the Panana Treasure Fan. Only then did he take out the fifth grade Thunder Weapon refining materials and put them into the Baichao Furnace. The Infinite Immortal Fire burned the fifth grade Thunder Weapon refining materials. And he kept injecting the fire energy into the Infinite Immortal Fire. Time passed like this day by day. And the fifth grade Thunder type weapon refining materials were softened at an extremely slow speed. There is no way around this. The fifth grade material is already the strongest material in this world. It needs the essence of a world to breed it. And each small world can only breed one fifth grade material. Fifth grade materials are extremely precious. Because each grade master can only cultivate one copy of fifth grade materials. Most powerful people will use this fifth grade material to refine their own natal spiritual treasures. And will not keep the fifth grade material. There are only very few fifth grade materials leaking out from the outside world. They are all inherited by great masters who have inherited spiritual treasures to use. So they will keep the fifth grade materials they have cultivated. But a truly powerful power would never do this. Only the fifth grade materials cultivated by oneself can be 100% compatible with the owner. And the power of refining them into natal spiritual treasures will be stronger. In addition, natal spiritual treasures can increase the speed of cultivation to a certain extent. The more powerful the natal spiritual treasures, the better the effect. Li Shiming used the fifth grade thunder weapon refining materials to refine the Ling Bao. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, which was actually a waste. He has his own plan to cultivate fifth grade materials. But he doesn't want to wait that long. But for normal power, hundreds of years are not a long time. You must know that in order to refine a fifth grade spiritual treasure, not to mention the time it takes to cultivate fifth grade materials, even refining a fifth grade spiritual treasure takes an extremely long time. It is normal for a powerful person to be willing to spend hundreds of years for a natal spiritual treasure. Li Shiming used the fifth grade thunder type weapon refining materials to refine the temporary Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. The process of softening the fifth grade thunder type material alone took half a year. This is extremely fast. There is a top notch dual purpose alchemy and weapon refining furnace such as the Baichao Furnace and the fifth grade Immortal Fire. Together with the Baju fan, the immeasurable immortal fire has been upgraded. A minor grade. These many conditions shorten the softening time, which took decades to half a year, maintaining the temperature of infinite immortal fire. The fifth grade thunder type weapon refining material remained in a softened state in the Baichao furnace. And he began to use his spirit to shape the fifth grade thunder type weapon refining material. His spirit kept hitting the fifth grade thunder weapon refining materials. Even the softened 5th grade thunder weapon refining materials were not easy to change their shape. His spirit turned into a hammer and struck the 5th grade thunder weapon refining material. The shape of the 5th grade thunder weapon refining material gradually changed. This time it didn't take long. His strong spirit made the process only take an hour. And the appearance of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer appeared. This is the initial step. And the next step is the key operation. Engraving runes can give Ling Bao special effects. Li Shiming had already asked Z15 to design the best solution based on the quality and characteristics of the 5th grade thunder weapon refining materials. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer only requires one kind of rune, which is the Thunder Rule Rune. Arranging the Thunder Rule Runes in a specific way can produce the effect of enhancing thunder. This is also the reason why Li Shiming chose the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer as the first 5th grade spiritual treasure to refine. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer is the simplest to refine. Of course, this simplicity is also relative. If he handed over the design of his Sky Strike Thunder Hammer to the hands of any other powerful lightning repairman, the powerful lightning repairman would definitely be stunned and not know how to proceed. On the small Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, he planned to engrave 30 billion lightning rule runes on it. And for every thunder and lightning rule rune, he wants to completely integrate the thunder and lightning rule he currently masters into the Thunder and Lightning Rule Rune. This work is more complicated than the previous use of 4th grade materials to refine spiritual treasures. Rule runes are not ordinary enchanted runes. And their level of trouble is countless times that of enchanted runes. Li Shiming used 170 brains, controlled by Z15, to begin the work of inscribing Thunder and Lightning Rule Runes. These Thunder and Lightning Rule Runes not only need to be engraved with an accuracy of 0.5 nanometers, but also cannot make the slightest mistake. As long as there is a slight mistake, the Thunder and Lightning Rule Runes 
will lose their effect. If a lightning rule rune loses its effect, it will affect the energy balance of the entire Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Perhaps because his Sky Strike Thunder Hammer contains 30 billion Thunder and Lightning Rule runes. The invalidation of one Thunder and Lightning Rule rune will not have much impact. But it is very likely that this Thunder and Lightning Rule rune will be used at a critical moment. At this time, it affected his Thunder method, causing irreparable results. Fortunately, with the Z15, it is impossible for the Z15 to make mistakes. Especially in this highly repetitive work. It can achieve 100% accuracy. Another two years have passed. And on this day the last. Lightning rule rune. Of. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Was engraved. The Thunder Prison. Next to the 10,000 B sect. Had already received the news. And was cleared in advance. Lee Shimming's figure flashed. And he appeared in the Thunder Prison. As long as he has the conditions. He will not waste the energy of heavenly tribulations. The Thunder Prison was formed after experiencing heavenly tribulations again and again. Thunder Prison has the effect of preserving the power of the heavenly tribulation. Although very little of the power of the heavenly tribulation can be preserved. The Thunder and Lightning Rules contained in it can help Thunder Cultivators practice. In addition, Li Shiming left a complete Jade Qing sect cultivation inheritance in the 10,000 Beasts sect. The 10,000 Beasts sect now has nearly a thousand Thunder Cultivators making it the sect with the most thunder cultivators in the entire world of immortality cultivation. This is the accumulation of the 10,000 beasts sect over a hundred years. And the advantage of occupying a continent is fully demonstrated. The East Chi continent may not be as rich in resources as other continents. But there are many disciples with thunder-type talents in the East Chi continent. The 10,000 beasts sect also uses the convenience of transactions with other continents to absorb thunder-type talented disciples from other continents. Li Shiming knew this so he wanted to continuously strengthen the Thunder Prison, so that more powerful Thunder Cultivators would appear in the 10,000 B sect. He stood in the midair of the Thunder Prison, and summoned the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, with a wave of his hand. As soon as the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer left the computer room space, it was noticed by the world, and a strong sense of rejection arose. Lee Shimming smiled slightly, holding the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, and looking at the sky. 30 billion. Thunder and Lightning Rule Runes were inscribed. After the last Thunder and Lightning Rule Rune was inscribed, he felt the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer trembling. And when the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer came to the outside world, the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer sensed the repulsion of heaven and earth and trembled even more violently. Lee Shimming's mind controlled the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer to display the secret method of thunder resistance. The secret method of thunder resistance was blessed by 30 billion lightning rule runes and Jishao thunder beads, which made him feel that the secret method of thunder resistance was far away. The effect is beyond what his state can release. He blessed himself and the heaven strike thunder hammer with the secret method of lightning resistance. At this time, thunder clouds gathered in the sky. He sensed the power of the catastrophe and made analysis and judgment. Z15 gives a 90% chance of successfully overcoming the tribulation. The 10% chance of failure does not come from normal tribulation, but is affected by accidents. Li Shiming smiled slightly. The biggest advantage of the free cave is that when he can't bear the thunder, he can completely hide in the cave so that the thunder can't hurt him. He is extremely experienced in overcoming tribulations. With a boom, the first thunder fell. He raised the thunder hammer in his hand and welcomed the first thunder. The sky lightning struck the sky strike hammer, causing the sky strike hammer to withstand the strongest attack. However, the sky strike thunder hammer itself is made from fifth grade thunder weapon refining materials, and it is blessed with the secret method of lightning resistance, making the sky strike thunder hammer extremely strong in lightning resistance. It is not easy to destroy fifth grade materials, at least not what the first sky thunder can do. After the power of the Sky Thunder hit the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, less than half of the remaining power fell on Li Shiming. Li Shiming withstood the residual power of the Sky Thunder very easily. His heavenly state was always blessed, which gave him dozens of times the normal power. If this was not possible, he would not be able to withstand the ordinary high-level Sky Thunder. Then no great master would dare to refine a fifth-grade spiritual treasure. Of course, no great master can refine a fifth-grade spiritual treasure like the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, in front of him. The power of this first Sky Thunder 
is even greater than that of a normal fifth grade spiritual treasure during the tribulation. The fifth thunder struck. Several more thunderbolts fell. And the thunder hammer glowed more and more as it was struck. And the lightning rule rune inside was extremely active. Lee Shimming was not affected much. He didn't even suffer the slightest damage. And he didn't need to use the innate Emu magical power. When the seventh sky thunder fell, he frowned slightly. The power this time had the power to seriously injure him. He calculated that the remaining power of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, after withstanding most of the power of the Sky Thunder, would still be able to seriously injure him. Thunder and Lightning Body! He shouted in a deep voice. Lightning flashed on his body, and his body was transformed into energy, completely composed of thunder and lightning. This is a high-level secret method in the Jade Pure Thunder Code, which allows the monk's whole body to become thunderous. In this state, he can be immune to most physical attacks, reduce the impact of energy attacks, and enhance the power of thunder. After the Mahayana stage, the effect of the thunder and lightning body secret method is stronger. In this state, he feels like he has merged into the thunder and lightning and become a part of it. He tried hard to stay awake, which was also the drawback of the secret method of thunder body. When the cultivation level is weak, it is not obvious. The influence of the secret method of thunder and lightning body on monks is still very small. However, after using thunder and lightning body in the Mahayana period, the powerful ones are affected by thunder and lightning. The transformed thunder and lightning body completely became a part of the thunder and lightning. If he cannot wake up from this influence, then the powerful person will always remain in the state of thunder and lightning body, lose his intelligence, and eventually merge into the thunder and lightning, which is no different from his death. Chapter 1021 Ling Bao. The seventh and eighth thunderbolts were all overcome by Li Shiming after he used the thunder and lightning body. The disadvantages of the thunder and lightning body secret method have very little impact on him. He doesn't only have one brain. The affected brain is the one that used the thunder body. The other 190 brains remain clear. How could he be affected? Before the last thunderbolt fell, he finally used his strongest strength. The reason why Den Ning is the most terrifying monk is not because he can cast powerful spells and control the most powerful spiritual treasures. The strongest point of Almighty is to control everything in the cave and mobilize the energy of the cave. The energy of Dong Tian is equal to the energy of a small world. Using the energy of a small world to launch an attack, coupled with the influence of the rules of the small world, the power generated is far beyond what the great power itself can exert. Power. According to Z15's analysis, Li Shiming cannot take this last thunder lightly. He must mobilize the energy of the cave to get through it. His mind entered the cave and mobilized part of the energy in the five caves. The energy in his cave is calculated differently from the energy in other powerful caves. The rest of the great powers calculate the energy of the cave based on the daily output of their own cave. Although there are some differences in the daily output of each great, the difference is not big. However, the daily energy output of Li Shiming's cave is completely different from other powerful caves. The daily energy output of his cave is more than 200 times that of a normal powerful cave. The energy he uses for one year is equivalent to the energy of other powerful caves that last for more than 200 years. And the energy of the cave for more than 200 years is enough for a great power to exert its power to destroy the heaven and the earth. Li Shiming mobilized the energy output of the cave for one year and divided it among five caves. Each cave had less energy mobilized. In fact, it only takes him more than two months to recover this energy. He controlled the cave energy to form a line of defense above his head. In fact, if he wanted a stronger defense effect, he could use the Beidou formation and Nine Heaven Star formation. But considering that this is a tribulation, using one more treasure may cause the greater power of the tribulation. He does not want to fail to overcome the tribulation because of this. The higher the level of monks, the less likely they are to use too many magic weapons to overcome the tribulation because using too many magic weapons will trigger stronger thunder. Boom! Thick thunder and lightning struck straight down from the 33rd sky, forming a straight line of white light in the sky. The lightning beam hit the Dong Tian energy shield above Li Shiming's head. The Dong Tian energy shield quickly became thinner. This was the result of a large amount of the Dong Tian energy inside being consumed. Li Shiming was observing the situation of the Dong Tian energy shield and was ready to replenish Dong Tian energy at any time. Z15's calculation was accurate. Just when the cave energy shield above his head was about to be penetrated, the power of the ninth sky thunder was also exhausted. 
The last remaining power of the Sky Thunder shattered the cave's sky energy shield. And the Sky Thunder turned into a small lightning bolt, falling powerlessly on the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. The thunder and lightning on the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer swallowed up the small lightning in one go. Only then did the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer as weapon calamity end. The thunderclouds in the sky dissipated, and the sun fell on him again, dying him golden. The monks watching this tribulation from a distance all looked at Lee shimming with admiration. That was their ancestor. Even though they were far away, the aura of the catastrophe still frightened them. This was not a catastrophe they could face at all. Li Shiming stood in the void, waiting quietly. Not long after, the reward from heaven and earth arrived. But the reward from heaven and earth was not given to him. But the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, the 30 billion Thunder Rule runes engraved on the surface of Sky Strike Thunder Hammer are all integrated into the interior of Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and countless Thunder Rule marks are faintly visible on the surface. At the core of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, a weapon spirit was born. As soon as the weapon spirit of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer was conceived, its intelligence was extremely high. Li Shiming was holding the Thunder Hammer and was about to perform a lightning technique. However, after looking at the environment, he found that although this was a thunder prison, it was very possible to perform a lightning technique. Here, destroyed the energy left by the sky thunder. The reason why the thunder prison is formed is the bombardment of pure sky thunder. If the rest of the high-level thunder spells are really used here, it will cause chaos in the lightning energy and affect the training effect of thunder prison on thunder cultivators. His figure flashed, and he came to an uninhabited area. He held the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and tried to perform a Lightning Strike Technique. Compared with the power of the Thunder Technique he used before, the Thunder Technique he used while holding this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer has been upgraded by a small level in power. Today's Sky Strike Thunder Hammer has almost the same effect on Thunder Magic as the Chishou Thunder Bead. This is still the basic holding effect of Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Once Sky Strike Thunder Hammer is refined into a natal spiritual treasure. As time goes by, the basic holding effect of Sky Strike Thunder Hammer will still become double growth. It took Li Shimming nearly three years to successfully refine a fifth grade spiritual treasure. But this speed was already extremely fast in the world of immortality. He did not stop. And next he was going to refine a natal flying sword. His current natal flying sword is the Traceless Fantasy Sword which is made from top-grade fourth-grade materials and is fairly powerful. But he didn't want his natal flying sword to be merely powerful. What he needed was the most powerful natal flying sword. Sword cultivators can defeat all kinds of magic with one sword by relying on their natal flying sword. Sword cultivators of the same level can completely suppress all the swordsmen of the same level. But Li Shiming holds the Traceless Magic Sword. If he really wants to face the powerful power of freedom, he will never be able to suppress it. He did not know how powerful the mighty power of freedom was. And he used his imagination to set a powerful goal for himself. He needs to prepare the strongest weapons for this. And cooperate with the state of heaven and man that has been blessed. So that he can fight against the powerful power of freedom. The fifth grade. Kuech and Glaze Black Gold. Was the material he was going to use to refine a new natal flying sword. Before refining. He took out the fifth grade natal magic weapon. Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer which was the powerful natal magic weapon of Yuching sect. But its spiritual imprint was cleared by the heavenly ghost. Now this fifth grade spiritual treasure, Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, has lost its effect again and has been eliminated by him. He took the initiative to terminate his ownership relationship with the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and then took out the newly refined Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Even if this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer has not been recognized as the owner, as long as the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer he refined has not been refined and recognized by others. He is the natural owner of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. He hit the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer with the Master Recognition Technique. And the Master Recognition Technique was absorbed into the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and soon connected with his soul. The new Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer became his natal magic weapon. And then it turned into a beam of energy and entered his body, falling into a cave. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer is suspended above the core of the cave sky, echoing the thunder and lightning rule rune. In the core of the cave sky, the energy in the cave requires Li Shiming to separate his brain, convert the cave energy into thunder energy, transport it to the sky strike thunder hammer, 
and continuously nourish the sky strike thunder hammer in the future. As his understanding of the thunder and lightning rules increases, the thunder and lightning rule runes in the core of the cave will continue to affect the thunder and lightning rule runes in the sky strike thunder hammer, raising them to a level consistent with his own. Li Shiming looked at the fourth grade spiritual treasure. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer that he had refined with fourth grade top grade thunder type materials. He decided to put this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer into the sex treasure house and set the first promotion thunder cultivators who are top monks can obtain this fourth grade spiritual treasure. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. Now, some secrets no longer need to be hidden. His ability to refine weapons is known to only a handful of monks in the world of immortality. In fact, his weapon refining ability, like his alchemy refining ability, far exceeds that of other monks. Even the second rank monk is far behind his level. Li Shiming then went into seclusion and began to refine the Juech and Glaze Black Gold. However, the 10,000 Beast sect has become lively. The ceremony for promotion to the Super Sect, which has been prepared for several years, is being held at the mountain gate of the 10,000 Beast sect. This is also a rare opportunity for the 10,000 B sect to open its mountain gate. Not only all the superpowers, but also most of the large sects have sent representatives, making the number of monks who come to the 10,000 B sect's mountain gate reach an astonishing level. But among all the monks, no matter how powerful they were, none of them dared to cause trouble, especially some of the monks who came in advance. They felt the terrifying aura of heavenly calamity outside the gate of the 10,000 B sect, which made them deeply understand that there was a super powerful person in the 10,000 Beast sect, even before he became a powerful man. Li Shiming's record was brilliant enough to suppress the inherited powers of other superpowers. Not to mention that after he became a great master and returned to the sect, the first thing he did was to rush into the mountain gate of Feiyu sect and kill the inherited great master of Feiyu sect, shocking the entire world of immortality with his overwhelming strength. Although Li Shiming does not have much background, his strong strength makes him his own background. No superpower is willing to offend him. His ability to rush into the superpower's gate at any time is more terrifying than the combat power he displays. Originally, Li Shiming's impact due to the weapon calamity gradually subsided. But the appearance of a fourth grade spiritual treasure, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, in the treasure house made the monks go crazy again. The 10,000 beasts sect opened the mountain gate, and many representatives from various forces entered the mountain gate. Some matters that were not too confidential were not worried about being watched by these representatives, including the sex treasure house. The sex treasure house is the foundation of a power. This treasure house is not the core treasure house. All the important spiritual objects are included in the core treasure house. However, the 10,000 Beast sect never expected that Li Shiming would casually put a fourth grade spiritual treasure, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, into the sex treasury, and set conditions for obtaining this fourth grade spiritual treasure. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, Ling Mao, a spiritual treasure that can be used by great monks, has almost shocked the entire world of immortality. No one thought that Li Shiming had such achievements in weapon refining. All the forces thought of one thing. Since Li Shiming could refine the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer with fourth grade materials, he would have the ability to refine other spiritual treasures. But the problem is that Li Shiming is powerful enough to make any force speak well. Even if there is a force that wants Li Shiming to help refine spiritual treasures. They can only discuss it carefully. Among all the monks. Lay cultivators are the most crazy group of monks. After learning about the conditions for obtaining the fourth grade spiritual treasure. Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer. In a short period of time. A large number of Lay Shio wanted to join the 10,000 Beast sect. These monks expressed their intention to join through the 10,000 Beast sect's business points on various continents. Originally. The 10,000 Beast sect was extremely attractive to Lei Xiao, because the 10,000 B sect had all the inheritance of the original Lei Xiao super sect, the Yuching sect. By joining the 10,000 B sect, one could get the most comprehensive Lei Xiao inheritance. However, because the 10,000 B sect was only a large sect before, some Lei Xiao disciples were still in the wait and see stage. Now there is no need to wait and see anymore. The 10,000 B sect has become a super sect. Li Shiming took out the fourth grade spiritual treasure. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. As a reward, this makes the 10,000 Bees sect the place that all Thunder cultivators yearn for. Li Shiming is still in seclusion, and things from the outside world cannot affect him. Although information was sent to him every day, he just glanced at it casually to let himself know the major events happening in the world of immortality. After another three years, 
he refined a Lingbao flying sword because it used Juechen Glaze Black Gold as the material. He named it Juechen Sword. Juechen Sword is engraved with 20 billion sword intent rule runes and 10 billion space rule runes. The biggest feature of this Lingbao flying sword is that it can travel through the void compared with his previous Markless Fantasy Sword. The attack method of Juechen Sword is even weirder. Under the influence of the Space Rules Rune, the Juechen Sword can use space movement to appear directly in front of the enemy, which is more effective than increasing the flying speed of a flying sword. No matter how fast the speed is, it is not as fast as moving in space without the flying process. Although the flying sword also lacks the accumulation of force during the flight, under the action of 20 billion Sword Intention Rule Runes, the Juechen Sword has the Chaos Sword Intent. Contained in it is enough to deliver a devastating blow to the enemy. Of course, the reason for using the Space Rule Rune is actually a helpless move. If he could inscribe the Rule of Speed, he would rather inscribe the Rod of Speed. The effect of the Space Rules Rune is indeed extremely powerful, but it also prevents many of the Flying Sword Attack secrets of the Sword Intent to the Sky from being used in his cave. There is currently no Rule of Speed recorded in the core of the cave. Even if he wants to inscribe the Rule of Speed, he cannot do it. This is the biggest limitation of the fifth grade spiritual treasure. Only the rules mastered by oneself can be engraved on the spiritual treasure. With Z15's calculations and Li Shiming's cooperation, the Juechen Sword successfully survived the catastrophe. However, this time the high-level weapon tribulation was carried out after the grand ceremony of the 10,000 B sex promotion to the super sect. And it did not have any impact on the monks of other forces. Chapter 1022 Opportunity Two brand new 5th grade spiritual treasures refined using Li Shiming's unique weapon refining method have once again increased his combat power. Especially in terms of cultivation. He did not expect that these two 5th grade natal magic weapons would bring him more than twice the speed bonus of cultivation. In fact, each monk can only possess one natal magic weapon. His random practice during the Qi Chain stage allowed him to condense the five elements Qi receiving formation in his body. After that, five golden elixirs to five nascent souls. Finally, he reached the five caves, allowing him to possess five natal magic weapons at the same time. Only when he cultivates fifth grade materials from his five caves and uses the fifth grade materials, he cultivated to refine his natal spiritual treasure can he increase his cultivation speed to the extreme. For some reason, Ian Sherlon's understanding of the rules has reached a very high level. But she has never felt the opportunity for promotion. With Li Shiming as a comparison, even if her mind was calm, she couldn't help but feel a little anxious. When Li Shiming saw her situation, even though Li Shiming himself was already powerful, he had no good solution to her situation. The opportunity for promotion is indescribable and every monk's opportunity for promotion is different. Some monks will get promotion opportunities when they see clouds in the sky. Some monks will get promotion opportunities when they have an epiphany. And some monks will get promotion opportunities through fighting. There are many ways to obtain promotion opportunities. But there is no trace. Searching. Lon, let me accompany you to Luanfeng Palace. Li Shiming said to Yin Shiro on that day, I haven't been to Luanfeng Palace for a long time. But will it have any impact on you? Yin Shirlan really wanted to go to Luanfeng Palace, but she still prioritized Li Shiming. With her cultivation level, which was already at the peak of a great monk, not even her master could do anything to help her. The person who can help her the most is Luanfeng Palace, the most suitable person to guide her in the Bongwu Nine Heavens. She practiced with Luanfeng Palace. Whether it was the master of Feng Palace or Ming Jun, they were both better instructors than Li Shiming. With my strength, there will be no danger here. Li Shiming smiled confidently. Of course he is confident. Not to mention having a teleportation ring. Even if he does not use the teleportation ring, his strength is enough to fight against the current inheritance power. He left the Phantom Clone in the 10,000 Beasts sect and went to Zhongzhou Continent with Yin Shirlan. Of course, before heading to Zhongzhou Continent, Luofeng Palace and the other superpowers need to be notified. In the world of cultivating immortals, few great masters go out to take action. Because the great masters who stay here in the world of cultivating immortals are the great masters of inheritance. If Li Shiming, a free power, really moves around at will, especially to various continents, it will make the superpowers of that continent feel uneasy. This trip was not so anxious. Yin Shirlan took out the fourth grade top notch. Fei Yuan boat. 
given by Li Shiming, and headed towards the Zhongzhou continent with Li Shiming. What Li Shiming didn't know was that his trip this time made many superpowers nervous. The Wuyang sect, Beidou sect, and Guiyuan sect had an ordinary relationship with Li Shiming, and even had some conflicts because of Li Yuanba. After hearing that Li Shiming would come to Zhongzhou continent, these three families hurriedly contacted the other major families. Abel, they didn't want to do anything to Li Shiming, but wanted to protect themselves. In particular, they approached the powerful Ming Jun, hoping that the powerful Ming Jun could mediate and prevent Li Shiming from taking action against the three of them. Li Shiming's threat was too great, and in the Zhongzhou continent, Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion and Luanfeng Palace were allies. So the three superpowers did not dare to propose a joint deal with Li Shiming. In addition, although Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is not an ally with Li Shiming, the interest relationship is closer. Li Shiming didn't know this. Feiyu Wind Boat, the fourth grade top flying boat of Feiyu Sect, represented the great power of Wen Chao of Feiyu Sect every time he traveled in the past. Now this flying boat belongs to Yin Shirlan, but it is more powerful than the previous deterrent power of Wen Chao. When Feiyu Tiao Feng Zhou approached the Zhongzhou continent, Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion, Zhongzhou Trading Company, Luanfeng Palace, Wuliang Sect, Beidou Sect, and Guiyuan Sect all sent great monks to escort it. Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion and Luanfeng Palace are allies. Zhongzhou Trading Company is a friend, while Wuliang Sect, Beidou Sect and Guiyuan Sect are trying to show their goodwill to Li Shiming. No matter what, the superpowers of Zhongzhou Continent are expressing their highest respect to Li Shiming. At the same time, these superpowers also prevent there being blind monks in Zhongzhou Continent who accidentally offend Li Shiming and give Li Shiming a bad impression of Zhongzhou Continent. Li Shiming did not come forward to thank him. As a powerful man, there was a huge identity difference between him and these great monks. Of course, these great monks would not complain because of his ignorance. Being able to escort a free power, who is also a free power of their generation, is not an honor that comes easily, especially when these great monks saw they you riding the wind boat. They were even more in awe of Li Shiming. The great monks escorted they you wind boat to the outside of the cave space barrier of Wanfeng Palace. At this time, Ming Jun's powerful clone was already waiting here in person. I bet fellow Taoist Ming. But I'm going to bother you this time because of Lanner's matter. Li Shiming said with a smile and a Okay. Salute to the mighty Ming Jun. We are all a family. If I feel good, Sherlan is about to be promoted. I have some experience here. I hope I can give Sherlan some help. Ming Jun said with a smile and returned the gift. She then said, I'll still call you Junior Brotherly. And you can call me Senior Sister Ming. She was naturally happy. Li Shiming was half a member of Wanfeng Palace. If Wanfeng Palace really encountered something big, please come to Li Shiming's side. Even for Ian Sherlan's sake, Li Shiming would help. Thinking about Li Shiming's age and his talent, he has at least thousands of years in the Mahayana realm. Moreover, his combat power is simply too terrifying, something several powerful experts unanimously agreed on during private exchanges. Li Shiming was young and had a shorter time to be promoted to a powerful person, but the combat power that Li Shiming showed was enough to easily kill the powerful person of Wen Chao, making no powerful person dare to underestimate him. If he was given another hundred and thousand years, how powerful would his fighting power be? The more they communicate and study, the more fearful the powerful people become. Without being able to pin Li Shiming to death at once, no powerful man would dare to take action against him in the future. Senior Sister Lao Ming is here. Li Shiming changed his words. Mighty Ming Jun took Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan into Luanfeng Palace and directly entered the Inheritance Cave. With Li Shiming's strength, he has no objections to entering the Inheritance Cave of the Inheritance Power. If there is an Inheritance Power that really wants to suppress him in this way, it is overthinking. After he had the Juchen Sword and the new Heaven Strike Hammer, he hoped that someone might come forward and let him try the two newly refined spiritual treasures. He was overthinking it. His refining of the spiritual treasure had already been guessed by powerful experts. The Thunder Prison in Dongchi Continent, no matter how strictly controlled, is still monitored by the Superpowers Situation Network. Although more detailed information cannot be obtained, Ling Mao Weapon Jia will never admit his mistake. Two spiritual treasure tribulations let the powerful men know that Li Shiming had refined two spiritual treasures. Li Shiming himself has a spiritual treasure, but it is made from top-grade fourth-grade materials. So its power is naturally a bit inferior. 
Therefore, the powerful people generally believe that Li Shiming's current strength has been greatly improved, which makes the powerful people more scrupulous about Li Shiming. The great master Ming Jun hosted Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan in his cave. After some exchanges, the great master Ming Jun and Li Shiming exchanged their cultivation experience in the Mahayana period. Ming Jun's powerful clone took Yin Shirlan aside to explain to Yin Shirlan the experience of being promoted to a half-step powerful person and gave the most pertinent opinions on Yin Shirlan's situation. Junior Brotherly After my clone talked with Shirlan, he came up with some suggestions on how Shirlan can get the chance to be promoted. This is based on Wanfeng Palace's more than 10,000 years of experience in being promoted to a half-step great power. But there is no guarantee that there will be a chance. Effect Mighty Ming Jun said to Li Shiming after a slight hesitation. As for the promotion of female cultivators, Luanfeng Palace has the most experience. I will listen to senior sister Ming's opinion. Li Shiming said with a smile. They are all powerful. And they all know that opportunities for promotion are rare but not sought. And no one can guarantee that they will succeed. Female cultivators are a special group. They are somewhat different from male cultivators in various aspects such as state of mind, mind, body, and spirit. This is also the reason why Li Shiming brought Yin Shirlan to Luanfeng Palace. Luanfeng Palace has been cultivating female cultivators for more than 10,000 years and has more experience in the cultivation of female cultivators. Shirlan has an indifferent nature with her temperament and talent. If it weren't for your help, I'm afraid she would have reached the level of a great monk and would never have progressed again. Ming Jun shook his head and sighed. Monks in the world of cultivating immortals need to have a competitive spirit competing for opportunities, resources, luck, and everything that is beneficial to themselves. With Yin Shirlan's indifferent mentality, resources alone will block her and prevent her from making progress. In addition, her talent is not very good. At least, she does not have much advantage over the core monks of Wanfeng Palace. If it hadn't been for Li Shiming, a Taoist monk with ample resources, it would have been extremely difficult for Yin Shirlan to advance to the nascent soul stage. Ming Jun's claim to the realm of a great monk is an exaggeration. I met Lanner when I was in the Qi Chain period, and she had such a temper. Li Shiming nodded in agreement. He didn't care at all about his own efforts, let alone Yin Shirlan. His resources are more than enough even if he trains dozens more great monks. So if Shirlan wants to get promotion opportunities, she must focus on things she likes. Ming Jun continued. Li Shiming's eyes lit up. And from Ming Jun's powerful words, he thought of the feasibility. Thank you, Senior Sister Ming, he said sincerely. After that, he and Yin Shirlan lived in Luanfeng Palace for another month. During this period, Yin Shirlan would receive guidance from Ming Jun's powerful clone every day, which was a rare opportunity. Ming Jun Dunning and Yin Shirlan practiced the same skill. Phoenix Dance in Nine Heavens With Ming Jun Dunning's guidance, Yin Shirlan's understanding of this skill has been strengthened many times. This month has benefited Yin Shirlan a lot. A month later, Li Shiming left with Yin Shirlan. When he left Zhongzhou Continent, many inheritance experts breathed a sigh of relief. The Bei Wind Boat headed towards the Beishu Continent with a fourth grade top level flying boat and Li Shiming's control. The Bei Wind Boat entered the territory of the Beishu Continent in more than 20 days. It's just that the Bei Wind Boat turned around and bypassed the Beishu Continent and passed through the North Sea to Tianhai Island. When Bei Yu Tiao Feng Zhou came to Tianhai Island. Yin Shirlan became lively. She has lived here since she was a child and holds many of her memories here. Bei Yu Tiao Feng Zhou flew slowly and arrived outside the original mountain gate of Tianhai Sect. Tianhai Island was taken over by Bei Shu Sect. And Tianhai Sect was rebuilt. Shimming, where is Ying Zui Island? Yin Shirlan asked with some pity when they came to the place where Li Shimming and Yin Shirlan met. Li Shimming smiled slightly and waved his hand in the air. All of a sudden, rocks continued to fly out of the sea and landed on the cornerstone of Ingzue Island in the sea. Under the influence of large energy levels, the reef melted into part of Eagle Beak Island. In Yin Shirlan's eyes, only the remaining part of Ingzue Island in the sea is growing upward at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just one stick of incense, Eagle's Mouth Island was rebuilt. Then he used wood energy to construct the low-level spiritual plants from his cave, and planted them on Eagle's Mouth Island. Lord, I invite you to visit my cave. Li Shiming smiled and made an invitation gesture to Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan smiled lightly and bowed in return. And the two landed on Eagle Beak Island together. 
Yin Shiruan touched every plant and tree here. Although the plants, trees, mountains and rocks here were all rebuilt by Li Shiming. Li Shiming retrieved the previous scenes from the Z15 database. So everything here is exactly the same as before. Without any difference. Yin Shiruan thought of that year. And thought of the hundred years she had waited for. And then the happy days when she became a Taoist couple with Li Shiming. At this moment, her mind felt particularly peaceful. And a strange aura rose from her body. Li Shiming felt the aura on her body, and couldn't help but be overjoyed. This was the aura of opportunity for promotion. He didn't hesitate at all. With a wave of his hand, 108 pulse discs containing the spiritual veins of the great monks flew out and landed on Eagle Beak Island, forming a formation. This is Tianhai Island further north than the Beishu continent. With the aura here, even if you take time off Tianhai Island, you can't make Yin Shirlan advance to half a level of power. Fortunately, Li Shiming has a lot of spiritual veins. He killed too many super powerful monks and got a lot of spiritual veins from the great monks. As the 108 pulse locking discs fell, spiritual energy flowed out like a gush. The formation formed by the pulse locking disc locks the spiritual energy within the scope of Eagle Beak Island. However, a strong pillar of spiritual energy extended upwards, emitting a faint spiritual light. Chapter 1023 Promotion Lord, the time has come, and you haven't even been promoted to a powerful one yet. Li Shiming shouted softly, reminding Yin Shirlan, who was intoxicated by the opportunity of promotion. Qi Ming flashed in Yin Shirlan's eyes, and she had already made great preparations for the promotion to half-step power. She first received the inheritance of being promoted to a half-step power from Wanfeng Palace, coupled with Li Shiming's explanation of the rules for more than a hundred years. And finally, the power of Meng Jun personally preached to her. In terms of material preparation, Li Shiming prepared secret treasures and corresponding elixirs for her. Li Shiming has prepared everything for her. And the rest can only be looked at by herself. Which Li Shiming cannot help. Yin Shirlan absorbed the spiritual energy emanating from the spiritual veins of 108 great monks. At the same time, Xiao Huang was summoned and kept chirping above her head. She started to operate. Bone Wu Nine Heavens and she was connected with Xiao Huang's qi. Li Shiming felt at ease. He could observe subtle changes in energy through his spiritual eyes and found that there were no problems with Yin Shirlan's promotion process. This is the advantage of having the experience of passing down the half-step power. The experience of the seniors who practice the same technique, even the experience of failure, can teach the younger generations. Unlike Li Shiming's promotion process, there is no experience of seniors for reference. If he hadn't had the opportunity to comprehend the God sensing monument. His promotion would never have gone so smoothly. Yin Shirlan's promotion process was very easy. She followed it step by step based on Wanfen Palace's experience. Her talent is not good, but she has the top elixir, especially after taking a Bai Chao pill. The huge energy means that she does not need to absorb other energy at all. Just relying on the energy of Bai Chao pill, she can let the energy in Yuaning reach its extreme and finally enter the step of building the cave. The Dongtian inheritance item she chose was the same spiritual item as Li Shiming. The Daoyan Golden Lotus. Qi and Li Shiming were Taoist couples. And the Daoyan Golden Lotus was also the safest. Li Shiming can take her with him when she is in the cave. Seeing Yin Shirlan's figure disappearing into the void, leaving only a spot of light on the Daoyan Golden Lotus, Li Shiming couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. As long as Yin Shirlan reaches this step, he can step in to help Yin Shirlan through the process of controlling Dong Tian. Interfering with the control of other monks' cave energy is not an easy task even for ordinary powerful people. But Li Shiming had the help of Z15 and Yin Shirlan's understanding of the rules. He learned from him. He did not physically enter Yin Shirlan's cave. This newly constructed cave cannot withstand his great power. He chose to let an eternal tardigrade enter Yin Shirlan's cave. Control the eternal tardigrade through a brain and used the perception of the eternal tardigrade to help Yin Shirlan. He did not send all the more than 200 half-step powers into Yin Shirlan's cave at once. Yin Shirlan was not him. Once the energy exceeded the limit of Yin Shirlan's control, big trouble awaited Yin Shirlan. The eternal tardigrade entered Yin Shirlan's cave, and Li Shiming saw the situation in the cave through shared perception. In the cave, Xiao Huang shrank and lay on Yin Shirlan's shoulders. Xiao Huang did not dare to move. The fragile cave could not withstand Xiao Huang's movements. After Yin Shiruan practiced Dancing Phoenix Nine Heavens technique, her main energy major was the fire system. Therefore, 
The core of her cave is a ball of flame. And the entire cave is densely filled with fire energy. Yin Shirwan and Xiao Wang were surrounded by fire energy and did not feel any discomfort. This place was equivalent to a part of Yin Shirwan's body. The entry of the Eternal Tardigrade, no matter how careful you are, makes the fire energy in the cave agitate. Li Shiming quickly asked Z15 to analyze the cave and control the energy in the cave through the Eternal Tardigrade. It is extremely difficult for non-owners to control the energy of the cave. But he does not control it forcibly. But induces the energy to restrain each other. So that even if he is not the master of the cave, he can induce the energy of the cave to reach a balanced state. Li Shiming is slightly complacent. With the powerful computing power of Z15, and his previous experience in building a cave with Li Yuanba, he has rich experience in controlling the energy of the cave. After that, he sent the second, Eternal Tardigrade, into the cave and calm the energy fluctuations in the cave caused by the entry of the new eternal tardigrade. It can be said that Yin Shiruan trusted Li Shiming 100%. She gave up controlling the energy of the cave and let Li Shiming operate it entirely. It is estimated that even a slightly ambitious half-step master would not be able to let other monks do this. This is putting his life in the hands of the other party. She trusted Li Shiming. And the establishment of this trust started from the first time they met. One by one, the Eternal Tardigrades entered the cave. When all 108 Eternal Tardigrades entered the cave, Li Shiming did not allow the Holy Spirit to enter the cave again. It wasn't that he was reluctant to give up, but that Yin Shirlan's cave couldn't bear it. This has to mention Yin Shirlan's talent. Her talent makes her cave heaven relatively weak. This is the cave heaven she and Xiao Wang built together. If she had built the cave alone, she would probably be able to withstand even less of the half-step of power. Time passes day by day, and ten years fly by in the blink of an eye. The monks of Tianhai sect had long discovered something was wrong with Eagle Beak Island. But there were formations around Eagle Beak Island to protect them, preventing them from getting close. Just when they were about to forcefully attack the formation, a trace of breath came out of the formation. Although this breath did not have the slightest sense of attack, the power of this breath made all the monks present freeze on the spot. Don't disturb this place! Then a voice came out. The strongest monks in the rebuilt Tianhai sect were only in the early stage of the Golden Core. The early Golden Core monks were no different from the other monks. They were also stiff for a long time. And they could not regain control of their bodies until the breath disappeared. This is Li Shiming's hometown. And he doesn't want to cause any trouble. He sent a message to Beishu sect. More than ten days later, a team consisting of three nascent soul monks and hundreds of Jin Dan monks came to Tianhai sect and took over the defense of Tianhai Island. In 10 years, Yin Shirlan's cave has completely adapted to the existence of 108 eternal tardigrades. The energy produced by the cave every day is based on the 108 eternal tardigrades. Plus Yin Shirlan and Xiao Huang came to calculate. Most importantly, Xiao Huang, the red golden phoenix, took over the energy control of Dong Tian. Only then did Li Shiming understand that no superpower should be underestimated. In the early stage, Xiao Huang might increase his half-step power to control the cave sky. But after Xiao Huang adapts to the environment of the cave sky, Xiao Huang's instinct can control the cave sky. Fire energy obeys its control. Of course, this premise is that Yin Shirlan's cave only has a single fire energy, which is relatively simple to control. Li Shiming took back the Eternal Tardigrades. And the departure of 108 Eternal Tardigrades allowed a large amount of energy to be accumulated in the cave. At this step, Li Shiming no longer stayed. He also entered his own cave. Only the Daoyan Golden Lotus remained. Daoyan Golden Lotus used space movement and disappeared on Eagle Beak Island. After he left, the restrictions on Eagle Beak Island disappeared. The monks of Beishu sect evacuated Tianhai Island. But Ingzue Island was regarded as a holy place by the monks of Tianhai Island. Countless monks came from all over Tianhai Island just to visit this powerful former residence. The monks also discovered that even though Eagle Beak Island is made of ordinary rocks, its solidity is so strong that even the Golden Core monks' full-strength attack using magic weapons cannot harm Eagle Beak Island in the slightest. In addition, the spiritual plants on Eagle Beak Island seem to be completely still, neither growing nor withering. If a spiritual planter hadn't confirmed that these spiritual plants were normal spiritual plants, the monks would have thought that these were dead things. The magic of Eagle's Mouth Island is caused by the low-level monks' incomprehension of the senior monks. When Li Shiming rebuilt Eagle's Mouth Island, in order to make Eagle's Mouth Island able to withstand the stay of his powerful men, Li Shiming added in when rebuilding the rocks of Eagle's Mouth Island. 
a trace of earth-based rules was incorporated into the spirit plant, and a trace of wood-based rules was included in the creation of the spiritual plant, which is why it is as strange as it is now. The speed of returning was very fast. It only took a few days to return to the eastern Qi continent under the spatial movement of Daoyan Golden Lotus. After Yin Shirlan's cave heaven stabilized, Li Shiming began to think about promoting a half-step fifth-grade spiritual pet. The half-step promotion of a fifth-grade spiritual pet to fifth-grade requires corresponding fifth-grade resources, which stumped him. In his planting cave, he can cultivate fifth-grade elixirs, but neither the eternal tardigrade, the Holy Spirit, or other spiritual pets have any experience in cultivating them into fifth-grade elixirs. There is no previous experience for reference in this regard. If he really wants to operate it, he will need to study it all again. This is an extremely complex and difficult process. And he has little chance to study the fifth grade elixir. This makes Z15 unable to perform corresponding calculations because there is no corresponding data support. Li Shiming patted his head. He had forgotten his old profession. The fifth grade elixir is indeed extremely precious. Even if the inherited power is cultivated in his own cave, the yield is extremely impressive. It's not that he doesn't have data on the fifth grade elixir. As long as he publicly refines the fifth grade elixir, he can definitely obtain the fifth grade elixir from other powerful sources. Although these fifth grade elixirs need to be refined into elixirs, as long as they pass through his hands, the data of the fifth grade elixirs can be scanned into the Z15 database. In addition, he has the opportunity to refine fifth grade elixirs for powerful people. And he can even accumulate fifth grade elixirs for himself. He has tried it. In the planting cave, he specially built. If he wants to cultivate a mature fifth grade elixir, it will take at least 300 years to mature. The most important thing is that there is a limit to the number of fifth grade elixirs that a cave can cultivate at the same time. Like his caves, each cave can only grow three fifth grade elixirs at the same time. After 300 years of maturity, the five caves will only be 15 fifth grade elixirs. Putting it on the rest of the great powers, 300 years is just three fifth grade elixirs. So how can they be used for cultivation? No wonder it is necessary to venture outside when the cave can grow fifth grade elixirs. Of course, Li Shiming's time to become a powerful person was too short. He is still in a state of energy accumulation. He doesn't know much about the later cultivation of powerful people. He needs to wait until the state is reached before he can know more information. He still speculates on matters related to almighty cultivation. Just when Li Shiming was thinking about how to express his idea of refining the fifth grade elixir to the great masters of inheritance, the sword master of Zhongzhou continent, and the great master Ming Jun sent him an invitation. This time he did not go there in person, but sent a phantom clone. The current phantom clone should be said to be a powerful clone. The Yuanying in his body is still there, but the Yuanying remains at the peak monk level and cannot advance any further. Instead, the energy that makes up the body has been replaced by cave energy by Li Shiming. This makes the phantom clone strength truly reach a powerful level. Before the cave energy is consumed, the Phantom Clone can use the Cave Energy to achieve powerful combat power. In order to enhance the strength of the Phantom Clone, Li Shiming also prepared a 5th grade Sky Strike Thunder Hammer for the Phantom Clone. This is the natal magic weapon of Yuking Zonlun Luo. It's a pity that the nascent soul in the Phantom Clone's body is now useless. The energy generated by its running skills is only the energy of a peak monk, which cannot be integrated into this body at all, let alone replenish energy. Li Shiming sometimes looked at the phantom clone of the nascent soul and wondered whether he could use the phantom clone to try to advance half a step to great power like a normal monk and build the nascent soul into a cave. This idea rises in my heart and I can't stop it. But before that, he still needs the phantom clone to go to Zhongzhou continent and meet with Jian Lao and Ming Jun. In order to save energy, the phantom clone took a golden winged rock for this trip. Jian Lao and Ming Jun made an appointment to meet in Luanfeng Palace. Jian Lao and Meng Jun both appeared in their avatars, which was normal. Li Shiming's phantom clone arrived, and the two powerful clones of Jian Lao and Meng Jun met the phantom clone outside the mountain gate. After some polite greetings, three powerful clones came to the hall. Although it is a powerful clone, Luanfeng Palace still prepared the best spiritual fruits and spiritual tea. The powerful clone can still taste spiritual fruits and spiritual tea, and even the energy contained in them can be absorbed into the body. Junior Brotherly, inviting you here this time is a private matter between Jin Lao and I, Ming Jun said with some embarrassment. She originally planned to send a clone to the Eastern Qi continent to ask for help. But the situation in the Zhongzhou continent has not been good recently. 
The decline of the Great Lane Temple and the Feiyu sect has made the other superpowers, who have peaked at the Zhongzhou continent, want to the idea of entering Zhongzhou continent. Zhongzhou continent is the continent with the most resources in the world of immortality. The previous Zhongzhou continent had eight superpowers, who shared the resources of Zhongzhou continent. In the absence of two superpowers, the superpowers that consider themselves powerful are all thinking of replacing the Great Lane Temple and the Feiyu sect and settling in Zhongzhou continent. The Great Lane Temple was completely destroyed. After losing most of the monks and powerful officials, there was no possibility of rebuilding the Great Lane Temple. On the other hand, the Feiyu sect, because of the contract, the remaining superpowers in Zhongzhou continent are looking for ways to rebuild the Feiyu sect. This process is very long. Chapter 10 24 5th grade. Senior Sister Ming. Elder Jian. I have a deep connection with Luanfeng Palace and Jianyi Chengxiao Pavilion. If you have any questions, just tell me. Li Shiming said with a smile. On the Luanfeng Palace side, Yin Shirwan is a disciple of Luanfeng Palace. And Luanfeng Palace also helped Yin Shirwan advance to half level power. This favor must be repaid. As for Jianyi Chengxiao Pavilion, Externally he and Li Yuanba are close friends. So Jianyi Chou Pavilion is also a member of his family. Not to mention that Luanfeng Palace and Jianyi Chou Pavilion are all allies of the 10,000 B sect. With multiple relationships. He can help with anything as long as it is not particularly difficult. Junior Brother Li. You're welcome. Ming Jun heard what he said and continued without hesitation. Jian Lao and I invite you here just to ask you to make elixirs. Li Shiming was slightly startled when he heard the news. Although he has not refined elixirs for the world of immortality for more than a hundred years. If Luanfeng Palace and Jianyi Chengxiao Pavilion really came to them with elixir refining needs, he would not refuse. Anyway, with his current state, even a great monk's elixir is just like an ordinary elixir to him and does not require much time. As for refining the elixir, please contact the 10,000 Bs sect. I will take the time to refine it. Li Shiming said with a smile and waved his hand. It's not a great monk's elixir. Mr. Jian and I want to ask you to refine a fifth grade elixir. Meng Jun saw that Li Shiming had misunderstood and explained quickly. Fifth grade elixir. Li Shiming did not expect that a powerful person would come to him to refine the fifth grade elixir without contacting him. Only then did he understand why the two powerful men invited him over instead of coming to the door to deliver the materials. This is a fifth grade alchemy material. Even if it is negotiated with him through remote contact. He can't trust the monks to send the fifth grade alchemy material to him. During this period of time, their powerful clones had no time to take care of him. So they had no choice but to invite Li Shiming over. We also know that refining the fifth grade elixir takes a long time. So you can bring up the reward, Jian Lao said from the side. I do have the conditions to refine a fifth grade elixir, but I have never refined a fifth grade elixir before. So I can't guarantee the quality of the fifth grade elixir. Li Shiming thought about it and said, when Jian Lao and Meng Jun heard his words, they were not surprised but overjoyed. Listening to what Li Shiming said, the quality of the fifth grade elixir cannot be guaranteed, which means that Li Shiming is extremely confident that he can refine the fifth grade elixir. It's not that these powerful people have never learned alchemy, but alchemy is a very talent intensive skill, even if the powerful person is in the cave and can do almost anything. When refining the elixir, the low level elixir is better but the quality of the high-level elixir is difficult to guarantee. When it comes to the fifth-grade elixir of the same level, you will be lucky if one of the three furnaces can succeed. Think about it. Only three fifth-grade elixirs were obtained in 300 years, which means that on average, one was obtained every 100 years. These fifth-grade elixirs are sent to the hands of ordinary powerful people for refining. It takes about 300 years to refine one batch, and the quality of this batch cannot be guaranteed. But if Li Shiming really has the ability to refine the fifth grade elixir, then at least the success rate of the elixir can be guaranteed. Meng Jun De Nung and Jian Lao did not believe in Li Shiming out of thin air. Before Li Shiming became a De Nung, he was the number one alchemy master in the world of immortality. Even the world of immortality regards Li Shiming's alchemy ability as a separate level that is far higher than that of other alchemy masters. If the world of cultivating immortals hadn't added another realm above the master, perhaps Li Shiming would have been classified as a higher realm. With Li Shiming's alchemy level, even if the fifth grade elixir is more troublesome, both powerful men believe in Li Shiming's alchemy ability. If Li Shiming couldn't guarantee the success rate of the fifth grade elixir, then it would be impossible to find a higher level alchemy master in the world of immortality. I need some half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials as a reward for alchemy. 
Li Shiming was not polite and made his request. How troublesome it is to refine a fifth grade spiritual elixir. Just look at how he refined a fifth grade spiritual treasure. Although refining a fifth grade spiritual elixir is simpler than refining a fifth grade spiritual treasure. Once any spiritual object reaches the fifth grade, its refining difficulty will be greatly increased. He met the prerequisites for refining the fifth grade elixir, the fifth grade elixir furnace, and the fifth grade spiritual fire. With half a step of fifth grade corpse refining materials, it seems you are planning to refine the fifth grade flying yiksha, Jin Lao said with a smile. He and Ming Jun were not surprised by the conditions proposed by Li Shiming. Li Shiming had studied corpse refining very well, and even developed a half-step fifth grade corpse refining. His research on corpse refining alone is enough to create another sect. You must know that the strongest monks normally deployed in the world of cultivating immortals are only the top monks in strength. But Li Shiming's refining of the half-step fifth grade corpse raised the normal combat power to a higher level. If his current strength hadn't made all the great masters in the world of immortal cultivation extremely wary, the ability he showed might have brought disaster to him. Currently, I am only half a step short of 5th grade corpse refining materials. And there is no need for the other spiritual items for the time being. Li Shiming knew how terrifying the background of these superpowers was. On him, it is not easy to find half-step 5th grade corpse refining materials. But if you put it in a superpower, there is always a way to get half-step 5th grade corpse refining materials. Junior Brother Li, this is a bit difficult for me. Wanfeng Palace does not have the materials for half-step fifth-grade corpse refining, Ming Jun said helplessly. Li Shiming glanced at Ming Jun Dang Nung. He couldn't tell whether Ming Jun Dang Ning really didn't have it or was trying to evade it. He frowned slightly. Refining the fifth-grade elixir had little impact on him. It only took up his brain and computer room space for at least three years. During this period, the brain must monitor the alchemy furnace all the time and cannot make any mistakes for three years. Otherwise the alchemy will fail. Although his consumption was not large, he did not want to be busy in vain. For an ordinary powerful person, the consumption of refining a fifth grade elixir is not small. Which is why Jian Lao said that the reward is casual. It's really hard to get half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials. But I know where there are half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials. At the cost of this news, I hope you will take action to refine the fifth grade five furnace elixir. What do you think? Jian Lao said in a deep voice at this time. After listening to Jian Lao's words, Li Shiming began to make calculations in his mind. From Jian Lao's words, that place with half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials is definitely very dangerous. Otherwise, Jian Lao can go there by himself. Although Jian Lao's body cannot go, the strength of the powerful clone is not weak. Okay, news about refining five furnaces and fifth grade elixirs in exchange for half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials. Li Shiming agreed to this condition without much time to think. For him, refining the fifth grade elixir is something that is beneficial to him. He is willing to do it even if he doesn't receive the reward for alchemy. But as an alchemy master, it is impossible not to receive the reward for alchemy. This is the rule of alchemy. Even if he is a powerful person, as long as he is an alchemy master, he must abide by this rule. This is the location of an ancient ruin. A sword cultivator from Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion discovered it. He did not leave there alive and only spread a little bit of news. Later, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion sent another several sword cultivators went there and suffered huge losses. They finally determined the situation of the ancient ruins and sealed the news. The old swordman took out a jade slip and handed it to Li Shiming and explained. Li Shiming took the jade slip. He glanced at Meng Jun Dang Nung and found that there was nothing strange about Meng Jun Dang Ning's expression. On the contrary, he seemed to be in a good mood after learning that Li Shiming agreed to make alchemy. In his opinion, there should be some agreement between Meng Jun and Mr. Jian. This agreement has nothing to do with him. Anyway, the opportunity to refine the five furnace and fifth grade elixir is allocated by themselves. That ancient ruins became the land of the dead for some reason. And after a long time, high-level corpses and ghosts were born in it, including a large number of half-step fifth-level corpses and ghosts. Sword Lao recalled the scene in the ancient ruins and said with a lingering look of fear on his face. Li Shiming was also shocked. Li Shiming refined a large number of half-step fifth-grade corpse refining, especially the refined Holy Spirit, which reached 133. Does he know how powerful the half-step fifth-level zombie refining is? As long as it reaches the half-step fifth-level realm, the zombie refining will have extremely powerful abilities in one or even multiple aspects. As a corpse refiner, its abilities are largely destructive. 
a half-step fifth-grade corpse refining corpse is okay. But if there are more than half-step fifth-grade corpse refining corpses, plus the cooperation of half-step fifth-grade ghosts, then even a powerful person would be in trouble. As for the inherited power of the world of immortality, it is impossible for its body to leave the cave. The cave is tied to the mountain gate of the sect. So the power can only travel far away in its clone. The powerful clones cannot deal with a large number of half-step fifth-grade corpses and half-step fifth-grade ghosts. Especially the half-step fifth-grade ghosts. Which pose a greater threat to the powerful clones. Is there a flying yiksha there? Li Shiming asked. If there really is a fifth-grade flying yiksha, then he needs to be careful when entering the ancient ruins. We did not find the flying yiksha after investigation. But one thing is certain. In that ancient ruins, the powerful cannot open the cave, or even call upon the energy of the cave. Jian Lao continued. Even Li Shiming could imagine that there must be a certain free power and sword in Tent Chong Shao Pavilion, who entered the ancient ruins and suffered a loss. Thank you, Mr. Jian. I will pay attention. Li Shiming nodded and said, I don't want anything to happen to you. As long as nothing can be done. Withdraw immediately. Jian Lao reminded with a smile. Jian Lao nodded to Mighty Ming Jun. And the two powerful clones each took out a piece of material. The main material was a fifth grade elixir contained in a top grade fourth grade jade box. The value of this top grade fourth grade jade box alone is huge. But to the Ning, a top grade fourth grade spiritual object is really not that important. In addition to the main materials, the rest are some auxiliary materials, plus a prescription. The fifth grade elixirs taken out by the two powerful clones were not the same, and the elixir prescriptions were also different. In fact, the fifth grade elixir prescriptions are the top secrets of their respective sects, but any quality of elixir prescriptions are open to the alchemy masters who make alchemy. Of course, the alchemy master also has his own professional ethics and must not leak the alchemy recipe. Here are two materials. Let's refine two batches of fifth grade elixir first. Jian Lao said with a smile. Li Shiming nodded. He understood what the two powerful men meant. If the two copies of the fifth grade elixir failed, there would be no need for them to ask Li Shiming to refine the elixir. Is there anything else? He put away the two materials and asked. It's okay. The two powerful clones shook their heads and said. Then I'll go back. The materials are too precious. Li Shiming stood up and said goodbye. This time he came here using a phantom clone. These two pieces of fifth grade materials were delivered to him. And safety was his responsibility. He left Wanfeng Palace. And in a flash, he landed on the back of the Golden Winged Rock. Returning to the Eastern Qi Continent as quickly as possible. On the other side, Li Shiming's body is thinking about the elixir formulas in the two jade slips. Z15 has calculated the contents of the two fifth grade elixir formulas and analyzed the problems that may be encountered in the alchemy process. The fifth grade elixir is in the hands of the Phantom Clone. After the first scan, Z15 got some data about the fifth grade elixir. With the pill recipe, he can analyze the process of refining the fifth grade elixir. Research. Li Shiming separated another brain and began to think about the map in another jade slip. He knew that he had something to do next, and he had to go to the ancient ruins marked on the map. Ancient ruins with a large number of half-step fifth-level corpse refining materials will inevitably have half-step fifth-level corpse refining materials. As long as he has enough half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials, he can take all the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials he possesses and turn them into a true flying yiksha. After waiting for a while, the phantom clone came back, and there was no trouble along the way. Even if there is trouble, the speed of the golden winged rock can leave the trouble behind. Li Shiming took the fifth grade materials and put the two fifth grade pill furnaces into the computer room. He got two fifth grade alchemy furnaces, one from the ancient ruins he explored, and the other from the herb garden in the temple. The temple is also considered an ancient ruin. So the two fifth grade pill furnaces were obtained from ancient ruins. The fifth grade immortal fire, infinite immortal fire, was sent into the two fifth grade elixir furnaces in the computer room space. And then the Baju fan was fanned, raising the level of infinite immortal fire by a small level. He also needs to input cave energy into the infinite immortal fire to ensure the power of the infinite immortal fire. The alchemy process is not too difficult for him. Two brains control two fifth grade alchemy furnaces respectively. Z15 participates in the monitoring, coupled with the ultrafine control in the computer room space. As long as his brain does not rest, 
He will not there may be a failure in alchemy. Time passed day by day. And Lee Shimming spent most of his time studying the methods of refining and improving the fifth grade corpse refining. The knowledge in the corpse refining book in his hand is obviously not enough. Fortunately, C-15 has unique abilities in research. Chapter 1025 Alchemy Five years later, Lee Shimming left the 10,000 Beast sect. But this time he still left the Phantom Clone in the 10,000 Beast sect. The time to refine the 5th grade elixir was faster than he imagined. It only took two years to refine the 5th grade elixir. Moreover, the quality of the 5th grade elixir he refined has reached a high level. After Li Shimming saw the 12 5th grade high level elixirs that he had refined, he knew that he might be in the limelight again this time. The 5th grade high level elixir will definitely make any powerful man go crazy. In fact, it had been spread a long time ago that Jian Lao and Meng Jun asked him to refine the 5th grade elixir. Jian Lao and Meng Jun Dongning very formally invited Li Shimming to meet, and they did not deliberately hide the matter. It was naturally noticed by interested people. As long as it is information related to Almighty Power, it is the most important information. So it didn't take long for some powerful people to know about it. The powerful officials, who had a good relationship with Jian Lao and Meng Jun, even directly contacted the two powerful officials to confirm that they would ask Li Shimming to refine the fifth grade elixir. The two powerful men did not hide it. And soon the news spread among the powerful men. Because Li Shimming's refining of the fifth grade elixir was related to the interests of all powerful people. They couldn't help but care about it. Li Shimming contacted Jian Lao and Meng Jun in advance. And this time, they still met at Wanfeng Palace. It's just that Li Shimming came in his true form, leaving Meng Jun and Jian Lao to come in their powerful clones. It's still the same hall, just five years apart. But five years is just a blink of an eye for the three powerful men in the hall. Junior Brother Li, what's going on? Meng Jun asked as soon as Li Shimming sat down. If she hadn't been afraid of being rude, she would have asked this question when she greeted Li Shimming. Senior Sister Meng, these are your two fifth grade elixirs. Li Shimming took out a jade bottle and handed it to Meng Jun. He saw that Jian Lao was hesitant to speak and couldn't help but smile at Jian Lao. Said, Mr. Jian, these are your two fifth grade elixirs. All successful, Jian Lao said in surprise. When he saw the jade bottle containing the fifth grade elixir, he couldn't help but show his heartache because this jade bottle was only a fourth grade low level jade bottle. Using such a jade bottle to hold a 5th grade elixir made him worry about whether the jade bottle could prevent the loss of the 5th grade elixir's power. He had thought about it, and when Li Shimming wasn't paying attention, he took out the 4th grade top jade bottle and changed the container for the 5th grade elixir inside. He opened the bottle, and when he sensed the elixir in the jade bottle, his whole body froze. The powerful Ming Jun next to him also had the same expression. He was also stunned when observing the 5th grade elixir in the jade bottle. High quality 5th grade elixir. Junior brother Li's elixir making ability is definitely the best in the world of immortality. Ming Jun said excitedly. Jian Lao also showed his approval. Both he and Ming Jun felt that the effort this time was worth it. Although the reward paid this time was extremely valuable. Both Jian Lao and Ming Jun felt that they had taken advantage of it. I still have two elixirs here. Jian Lao took out two elixirs and gave them to Li Shiming and said. This is my share. Ming Jun then took out a portion of the elixir and handed it to Li Shimming. I have something to do in the next period of time. And the elixir refining needs to be postponed. Li Shimming explained to the two powerful men. Don't be anxious. Just do it slowly. Ming Jun said with a wave of hands. Li Shimming put away three copies of the fifth grade elixir and left without staying any longer. Shortly after he left, several other great masters in Zhengzhou continent sent messages asking about Li Shimming's alchemy situation. How could Li Shimming not be discovered by the other great powers, when he came to Zhongzhou Continent, Li Shiming came to Zhongzhou Continent and entered Wanfeng Palace, where the clones of Jian Lao and Ming Jun were also present. Although it was almost time to refine two furnaces of fifth grade elixir, one of the furnaces of fifth grade elixir failed midway. Full elixir, high quality. Jian Lao found that there were a lot of messages that needed to be answered. So he responded to these inquiries in the simplest language. After receiving this news, almost all the powerful people added a question. Are you refining a 5th grade elixir? Not a 4th grade elixir? It's not that the powerful people are ignorant. But Li Shimming's alchemy this time is so amazing. How precious is the 5th grade elixir? Only 3 5th grade elixirs are produced every 300 years. Which will absorb a lot of cave energy. In the past, 1 out of 3 furnaces could be produced. But the quality could not be guaranteed at all. 
but lookedly shimming. Not only is the elixir full, but the quality of the fifth grade elixir has reached a high level. Some powerful experts nearby are already asking Jian Lao and Ming Jun about the taste of the fifth grade high level elixir. In a short period of time, the news that Li Shiming was able to refine a fifth grade high level elixir spread throughout all the powerful places. The powerful people showed their special powers. And some powerful people wanted to find Li Shiming. But at this time, Li Shiming only had a phantom clone left. And his body did not return to the 10,000 beasts sect after leaving Wanfeng Palace. This time he was going to the ancient ruins. He had been waiting for five years. And he couldn't wait to see the ancient ruins that Mr. Jian called the Land of Death. He handed over the matter of flying to the Golden Winged Rock and entered his own cave. There was only Daoyan Golden Lotus on the back of the Golden Winged Rock. After leaving Zhongzhou Continent, he went deep into the ocean. The ancient ruins are in the depths of the ocean. But with his strength, he is not afraid of any surprises. When he came to the ancient ruins, he found that the seawater here was much colder than other places. This kind of cold was not ordinary cold, but a kind of gloomy cold. According to the entry method given by Sword Intent Chengshao Pavilion, he played a spell, and a space gate appeared at the location of the ancient ruins. Li Shiming didn't hesitate at all, and entered the space door in a flash. As soon as he entered the space door, he found himself standing on the white ground. He soon discovered that the white ground here was not white at all, but was covered with a thick layer of bones. This space is not connected to the outside world, and he can make judgments based on the rules he perceives. The energy here is filled with cold air, and with so many dead bones. It is normal for this place to be filled with cold air. He was in a hilly area surrounded by mountains. He wanted to fly, but found that he couldn't fly. This is the effect of the forbidden air ban. It can only affect the powerful air forbidden ban. The power of the air forbidden ban is really beyond imagination. After Li Shiming found that he could not fly, he first observed the situation around him. Just when he was looking somewhere, his attention was attracted by a strange scene. Among the dead bones on the ground, a skeleton stood up, and the blue soul fire proved that the skeleton was alive. As soon as the skeleton stood upright, it immediately stepped aside carefully. Its body is like a black hole, constantly absorbing energy. Soon the skeleton was upgraded to a higher level. When it first stood up from the withered bones, it was still a first level skeleton. But just after absorbing the cold energy for a moment, the skeleton reached the second level, and its strength was still improving. Li Shiming saw the birth of an evil being. This birth method was too weird. The skeleton that had just grown into the second grade left its hiding place and walked outside. Just as the second grade skeleton took a few steps, a skeletal hand stretched out from the dead bones under its feet and grabbed the lower leg of the second grade skeleton. Only then did Li Shiming discover that underneath the withered bones was a third grade skeleton. You can't blame his senses for not discovering the third grade skeleton. The space here is filled with cold energy, hiding the breath of the third grade skeleton. The third grade skeleton pulled down the second grade skeleton. The third grade skeleton pulled out the soul fire from the second grade skeleton's head and swallowed it in one gulp. The aura of the third grade skeleton has become stronger. This time it is the third grade skeleton's turn to go out. Li Shiming missed his clone Li Yuanba a little. Li Yuanba's corpse refining body was absolutely at home here. He didn't care about the fight between the skeletons. He was just curious. He stepped on the dead bones and walked forward. After walking only a few steps, the dead bones around him began to shake, and then skeletons tried to attack him from all directions. This time it was a fourth grade skeleton who took the initiative to attack Li Shiming. With a casual blow, the head of the fourth grade skeleton flew away from the body. This fourth level skeleton, which was considered quite powerful in the world of immortality, fell to the ground with one blow from him. Seeing that the soul fire in the fourth grade skull was slowly extinguishing, Li Shiming summoned the heavenly ghost. Seeing the soul fire of the fourth grade skeleton, Tian Gui quickly stepped forward and swallowed the soul fire in one gulp. The half-step fifth level heavenly ghost. The soul fire that swallows the fourth level skeleton is not very useful. But if you look around, you can see how many fourth grade skeletons there are in this sea of bones that can't be forgotten at a glance. The soul fire of a fourth level skeleton is nothing, but a hundred or more soul fires can make the ghost go one step further. He not only summoned the heavenly ghosts, but also summoned all 133 holy spirits. These holy spirits are equivalent to half-step fifth level corpse refining. Unfortunately, after these holy spirits become half-step fifth level corpse refining, they convert the cold energy in the body into sacred energy. 
He didn't even know whether the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials would have an effect on the Holy Spirit. This was still unknown. With 133 Holy Spirits present, any skeletons that appear on the road will be dismissed by the Holy Spirit. The heavenly ghost is equally active. No matter whether the skeleton falls or not, as long as it pounces on it, it can quickly swallow up the fire of its soul. Li Shiming was not in a hurry now. He deliberately went around a few more circles to make the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Ghost more likely to absorb energy. Shortly after leaving the first valley, he finally saw other colors. Black tombstones stood among the white bones. Li Shiming's eyes lit up. He sensed the smell of corpse refining materials from the black tombstones. It's a pity that the grade of these black tombstones is only grade 4, which is far from the quality of grade 5. But with a direction, as long as he finds the 4th grade corpse refining materials here, the possibility of finding half-step 5th grade corpse refining materials is extremely high. He speeded up and came to the black tombstones. Suddenly, a figure flew out from under a black stone tablet and rushed towards Li Shiming. When the figure flew into the air, the sky ghost was very close. When it opened its mouth, it transformed into a huge form and swallowed the figure in one bite. Li Shiming could clearly see that the figure was a peak-level 4th grade corpse. There were zombies of this level here, which gave him an understanding of the corpses here. It's a pity that the 4th level peak level corpse refining met him. The 4th level peak level zombie refining couldn't hurt the half-step 5th level heavenly ghost. But the half-step 5th level heavenly ghost could devour the 4th level peak refining corpse. After a while, Tian Gui vomited out the 4th grade peak refined corpse. At this time, the 4th grade peak refined corpse had long lost the soul fire. Another mid-level 4th level zombie jumped out from under the black stone tablet. What it encountered was a half-step 5th level Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit emits a white light, and the mid-level 4th level corpse refining is bathed in the white light. The soul fire is extinguished in just one breath. These are all normal. With half-step 5th level strength, dealing with these 4th level zombies can be said to be as easy as an adult beating a child. Li Shiming continued to advance, and from time to time, refined corpses appeared from the ground. The strong breath of life on his body attracts the zombies here, and these zombies will not judge whether they can defeat him. Regarding human breath, Lianji has an instinctive desire to kill. Li Shiming traveled a certain distance. At this time, he was sure that ordinary peak monks came here to die. With so many fourth level corpses, as long as they fought in place for a little longer, more corpses would appear. A shrill howl sounded, and he sensed a half step fifth level corpse refining. This half-step fifth-level zombie emerged from under a black stone tablet and pounced on Li Shiming as soon as it came out. As for the other half-step fifth-grade ones, it simply ignores them in its eyes. The aura of the Holy Spirit makes it uncomfortable. The Heavenly Ghost is an integrated body of energy, and they are not its favorite attack targets. Li Shiming ignored the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining. As soon as he reached the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining, he was surrounded by three Holy Spirits. The three Holy Spirits move in space as if by instinct. The three Holy Spirits launched a wave of attacks on the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining, and soon controlled the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining. Tian Gui arrived in front of Ban Bu's fifth-grade refined corpse. This time, Tian Gui did not leave. Instead, he turned an arm into a needle shape and inserted it into the head of Ban Bu's fifth-grade refined corpse. The half-step fifth-level corpse refining struggled more and more fiercely but the three holy spirits were all half-step fifth-level strength, and they were the nemesis of the corpse refining. After five breaths, Tian Gui withdrew the needle form from his arm. Its aura improved somewhat, but the improvement was not obvious. Li Shiming came to the black stone tablet drilled out of the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining. His senses had discovered the exposed corpse refining materials beside the stone tablet, which were exactly the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials. Jian Lao did not deceive him. This place did produce half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials. And the process of collecting half-step fifth-level corpse refining materials is not complicated. You only need to walk with 133 holy spirits and a heavenly ghost. There is no need to fight specially. Chapter 1026 Exploration Li Shiming collected the half-step fifth-level corpse refining materials in the ancient ruins. With the help of 133 holy spirits and a heavenly ghost. He almost swept the situation. Under the level of combat power, it is impossible to hold on for long. Although he is very relaxed in the ancient ruins, it depends on who is here. Ordinary powers. Even if the powers themselves come here, if they cannot use the cave energy, it will still take some effort to continuously defeat the half-step fifth-level corpse refining. 
once you encounter multiple half-step fifth-level refined corpses. Even the powerful body must be careful when dealing with them. Not to mention the powerful clone. In this environment, the shortcoming of the powerful clone's low defense is too obvious. Even if the powerful clone has enough energy and cannot use space to move, it will not be able to last long under the attack of the half-step fifth-level corpse refining. Li Shiming is different. He doesn't even need to take action himself. 133 spatial movements of the Holy Spirit can be used here. The spatial movement of the Holy Spirit is an instinct. In addition, the Holy Spirit is not a creature of this world. There are restrictions here. The effect on it is very weak. 133 Holy Spirits alone can crush a half-step fifth-level corpse refining. Not to mention the special spiritual body of the Heavenly Ghost. The Heavenly Ghost in the ancient ruins is like a mouse falling into a rice vat. The soul fire of the half-step fifth-level corpse, refining, is a great supplement to it. As Li Shiming continued to go deeper, there were more and more black stone tablets. At first, only one out of ten black stone tablets appeared for the half-step fifth-level refining corpse. As he went deeper, the frequency of half-step fifth-grade refined corpses appearing under the black stone tablet became more and more frequent. Li Shiming was very satisfied. He found that he had taken a big advantage in the transaction with Jian Lao. It is estimated that Jian Lao did not expect that his ability could just restrain the situation in the ancient ruins. Just as he walked through two peaks and reached the foot of the third peak, more than 300 fourth grade ghosts flew out of the ground and swarmed towards him. More than 300 fourth grade ghosts were flying over while also performing soul howls, trying to use this attack to shock Li Shiming and his spiritual pets. But it was obvious that the soul howls of the fourth grade ghosts did not have any effect. Needless to say, Li Shiming's soul has 191 brains, which is equivalent to having 191 souls. At the same time, his soul has withstood three half-step powerful heavens when he was at the peak of the monk realm. He has been baptized by the reward energy of heaven and earth three times. This makes his soul strength far higher than that of the same level. When 191 souls come together, they form an unbreakable and solid defense line. Not to mention, he also has Z15 as a helper. Even if his soul is not enough to resist the attack, Z15 will help him. The rest of the two kinds of spiritual pets are the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Ghost. The Heavenly Ghost itself is a spiritual body and belongs to the same type of creature as the ghost to a certain extent. But the grade of the Heavenly Ghost is much higher than that of the ghost. Heavenly Ghost is a combination of Heavenly Demon and Ghost. He has been promoted again and again and received many energy enhancements as rewards from heaven and earth. This is completely different from the creatures who hide in special spaces and only improve their realm without accepting the catastrophe. As for the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is an extremely special creature. After being refined into a corpse, it is transformed into a divine creature independently. Although it is not a spiritual body, it has some characteristics related to the spiritual body. More than 300 fourth grade ghosts let out soul howls and rushed towards Li Shiming. Li Shiming did not move. The 133 Holy Spirits beside him formed multiple defenses. He did not believe that the 4th grade ghost could break through multiple defenses with this. The most important thing is that the Sky Ghost is the natural enemy of the ghost. The Heavenly Ghost let out an excited scream and charged back toward more than 300 4th grade ghosts. Perhaps in the eyes of Tian Gui. More than 300 4th grade ghosts are like more than 300 spiritual groups waiting for them to absorb. Its speed was faster than the 4th grade ghost and it came into contact with the fourth grade ghost first. Its body swelled up and turned into a huge body of 30 meters. At the same time, it opened its mouth so wide that it was as big as its body. The 30 meter long huge mouth emits amazing suction power. This suction has no effect on the physical body, but it is very effective on the mental body. It was like a vacuum cleaner, moving through more than 300 fourth grade ghosts. Wherever it passed, all the fourth grade ghosts 100 meters beside it were sucked into its mouth. When the fourth grade ghosts rushed to the Holy Spirit, less than ten were left. It was shattered into pieces by the holy light emitted by the Holy Spirit. Even if it was a fragment, the ghost would not let it go and rushed over to swallow them all. Li Shiming looked at Tian Gui and couldn't help but shook his head. The heavenly ghost devoured more than three hundred fourth grade ghosts. But this amount of spiritual energy was really not much to the heavenly ghost. At least, it was not able to improve the heavenly ghost's realm. The level of the fourth grade ghost is still a bit low. And he is somewhat looking forward to the appearance of a half-step fifth grade ghost. He was heading towards the third mountain peak. Under the black stone tablets on the third mountain peak. 
half a step of fifth grade refined corpses would fly out from each black stone tablet. In addition, the density of the black stone tablets was denser than before, which required him to face the problem at the same time. Refining corpses of at least five half step fifth grade corpses. Although the attacks were more frequent, he gained more. In the process of walking up the mountain to reach the top of the mountain, he harvested nearly a hundred half step fifth grade corpse refining materials. When he reached the top of the mountain, a half step fifth level ghost suddenly appeared and let out a soul howl at him. This is not the kind of soul howl that the fourth grade ghost made before. The half step fifth grade ghost is obviously more intelligent. It is a targeted one on one soul howl towards Li Shiming. One on one soul howling will make the attack points of the soul impact more concentrated and more powerful. Even if it is an ordinary powerful person, it is very easy to fall into its trap if you are not careful. After Li Shiming endured the soul howl of a half step fifth grade ghost, he looked at the half step fifth grade ghost. He opened his mouth and let out a heavenly demon enters the ear. The secret method of devil's ears is a secret method he created based on the devil sound secret method and the howl of the demon this secret method has produced unexpected effects in many battles after he reached the realm of great power and used this heavenly demon's ear its power was no longer a harassment effect the power of demon ears depends on the strength of the caster's soul and after being promoted to a great power his soul strength far exceeds all great powers this point is extremely certain no great power can possess the soul strength of more than 191 great powers combined. The devil enters the ear, was issued, and was also released by Li Shiming in a one-to-one -one manner. An invisible shock wave formed by heavenly demon ears hit the half-step fifth grade ghost. The half-step fifth grade ghost's body collapsed instantly. Maybe the half-step fifth grade ghost has a certain immunity to attacks. But the demon ear is an attack targeting the soul and cannot be immune. The heavenly ghost rushed over at this time, and swallowed half of the spiritual energy of the fifth grade ghost's collapse in one gulp. After swallowing the spiritual energy, Tian Gui conveyed a consciousness to Li Shiming that this kind of enemy did not require the master to take action. Li Shiming laughed. It seemed that Tian Gui didn't want to waste food. Even a half step fifth grade ghost was still food to Tian Gui. But the quality was higher. Then during the march, half step fifth grade ghosts appeared from time to time. But as soon as the half step fifth grade ghosts appeared, they would be swallowed up by the ghosts. The sky ghost is extremely fast, as if he is afraid that his master will snatch monsters. Li Shiming was enjoying his leisure time. After a day's march, he arrived at the 10th mountain peak. During this period, he killed hundreds of half-step 5th grade corpses and ghosts. As for the remaining 4th grade corpses and ghosts, the number was incalculable. The body size of Tian Gui has grown to 60 meters. This is not because it intentionally increased but because it swallowed too much spiritual energy and failed to absorb it. This place is simply a paradise for heavenly ghosts. If heavenly ghosts are really placed here, I am afraid that after a while, heavenly ghosts can be promoted to the fifth rank. Of course, being promoted to fifth rank here is not a good thing, because during the promotion process, it will not be noticed by heaven and earth. Once you leave here, the catastrophe will be much stronger than the normal promotion, and the chance of failure will increase many times. Just like all the half-step fifth grades here, if this ancient ruins are connected to the outside world, then all the half-step fifth grades here will cease to exist, and the heavenly tribulation will clean up all the half-step fifth grades here. Li Shiming does not want to cultivate the fifth grade that can only exist in a special space or cave. That makes no sense. He became more and more frightened by this ancient ruins. The deeper he explored, the more he became in awe of the ancient monks. He can cultivate a half-step fifth grade corpse by himself. But he is very aware of the abilities he possesses. Without Z15 and no computer room space, it is impossible for him to refine a half-step fifth grade corpse. But here, half-step fifth grade corpse refining and ghost souls are produced in batches. He even suspected that the half-step fifth level was not the limit. Because the deeper he went, the stronger the half-step fifth level zombies and ghosts he encountered. The half-step fifth level realm is also divided into strong and weak. The gap between the strongest half-step fifth level and the weakest half-step fifth level is as big as the gap between the early stage of nascent soul and the great monk. Of course, his gains here were huge. And the half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials he obtained had already exceeded his expectations. During this period, Z15 conducted a series of analysis and research on the half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials obtained. After calculation, a feasible solution was derived. 
which was to use 36 half-step fifth-grade corps refining materials to refine a fifth-grade corps. As for promoting the half-step fifth-level corps refining to the fifth level, after many calculations by Z15, it was found that the promotion of the half-step fifth-level corps refining always missed the most critical step. In fact, the key to advancing to the fifth level through half-step fifth-level corps refining is the mastery of the rules. The problem is that although the half-step fifth-level corpse refiner has wisdom, his wisdom is not enough to understand the rules. He can only control the rules based on his understanding of the rules when his predecessor was alive. Therefore, even though Lee Shimming inscribed 10 billion corpse refining runes, when refining these corpses, he still did not directly upgrade the corpses to the fifth level. A half-step powerful corpse could only be used to refine a half-step fifth-grade corpse. If he wanted to go one step further, it would be countless times more difficult than he imagined. This is the conclusion he reached after Z15 obtained the actual data of the half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials and analyzed them. This forced Lee Shimming to change his plan and first use powerful corpses and fifth-grade corpses to refine the fifth-grade corpse. As for raising the half-step fifth-grade corpse to fifth-grade, he should wait until he comes up with a practical improvement plan. Operate. However, the prerequisite for everything is to obtain more half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials. On the tenth day of traveling in the ancient ruins, his traveling speed was getting slower and slower these days. Not only has the strength of the half-step fifth-level corpse refining and go souls increased, but the environment has also become more unfavorable to him. Now he not only has to face the half-step fifth-level corpse refining and ghosts, but also has to fight against the influence of cold energy on himself. If he hadn't practiced the heaven art, perhaps he would have to activate the defensive shield to the maximum extent at all times to resist the erosion of the cold energy. Hey! As Lee Shimming was walking, he suddenly felt something in his heart. With a wave of his hand, 133 holy spirits flashed to the left. The holy spirit now emits holy light all over its body. And in this way, they fight against the cold energy. The heavenly ghost, on the other hand, has no effect on the enon energy and even enjoys the environment full of enon energy. The en and cold energy here has been equipped with the power of rules, which makes the corrosive effect of the en and cold energy many times stronger. The distance the Holy Spirit can move through space has also been shortened to 10 meters, and the restrictions here have also been strengthened a lot. Even if space movement is the Holy Spirit's instinct, it has been affected a lot. When the Holy Spirits use space movement, the space movement target of one Holy Spirit automatically deviated from its original position. There is only one possibility in this situation. There is something hidden there, occupying the original position. Sure enough, Li Shiming thought to himself. Although he was greatly restricted in the ancient ruins, his perception still felt a special aura. It was very difficult to search with perception here. So he adopted the most direct method, letting the Holy Spirit use space to move and trample all places. He was lucky, and he found the hidden location after just trying for a while. Li Shiming walked to that location and stretched out his hand to reach that location. His hand came into contact with a membrane. The membrane is a barrier that isolates everything. Although he can simulate it through an array, it is still difficult to achieve the effect of the membrane in front of him. Unless he is willing to use the Beidou array, or Nine Heavens Constellations array, he may be able to create a space with similar effects to the film. The biggest flaw in using the Beidou formation, and Nine Heavens Constellations formation, is that he did not refine the Beidou formation, and Nine Heavens Constellations formation. As long as he has some understanding of the two formations, the great powers can all perceive the array diagram through specific methods. Chapter 1027 Exit Li Shiming's perception cannot analyze the film. It seems that the film has an evasive effect on the perception of powerful energy. He can only feel the condition of the film through the touch of his hand. And Z15 analyzes the film based on the data obtained by touch. Of course, it would not be difficult for him to forcefully break the membrane. With his strength, it was just a matter of sword intent. But he didn't want to destroy the film. Anyway, he still had time. He was very interested in the film and the things inside it. It didn't take long for Z15 to come up with a cracking solution. He gently punched multiple magic formulas in succession on the film. And the effects produced by these magic formulas made the film that was originally invisible appear. A thin film like a transparent water curtain appeared in front of him. An elliptical sphere the size of a person. After the film appeared, Li Shiming's Shin Mutong came into use. Through the observation of Shin Mutong, Z15 obtained more data. Not long after, 
when he played multiple spells again. The film converged. Li Shiming reached out and caught a silver fish. The fish was not a living thing, but a treasure made of unknown materials. The thin film just now was transformed by this white bait. Another important reason why the white bait was able to be cracked by him is that the white bait is an ownerless thing. At this time, he had turned his attention away from the silver fish and focused on the hidden body of the silver fish. In the film is a corpse sitting cross-legged. Even after countless years, this corpse still has a terrifying sword power on it. Great sword cultivator! Li Shiming murmured with a slight sigh. He himself possesses the high-level sword rules, so he can feel the same kind of aura from this corpse. He guessed that this sword cultivator should be a senior master from Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion, who unfortunately died while exploring the ancient ruins. The ancient ruins here are extremely unfriendly to Da Neng. Da Neng's greatest way to save his life, returning to the cave to protect himself, is banned by the ancient ruins. This makes the powerful force only able to fight forcefully when encountering danger, and cannot even move in space. The consequence of losing is death. This is the fate of the sword cultivator in front of him. Li Shiming saluted to the corpse. Although he was not a disciple of Jenny Chong Shao Pavilion, his avatar was, and his salute was performed for Li Yuanba. Of course, after he performed the salute, he had no intention of leaving the body behind or returning it to Jenny Chong Shao Pavilion. Any powerful corpse is extremely valuable to him. The powerful corpse is in his hands now. One is that of Lung Luo, and the other is not sure whether it can be regarded as a corpse. It is the living dead powerful found in the ancient ruins that he has explored before. In addition, there are two high-level, boring god warriors, which are all the fifth-grade corpses he currently owns. After confirming that he would not be able to upgrade the half-step fifth-level corpse refining to the fifth level in the short term, the fifth-level corpse would be an important source of fifth-level corpse refining in the future. He was about to put the body away, but found that there was a soul crystal ring inside the body making it impossible for him to put it into his own soul crystal ring. If it were outside, with the corpse possessing the energy-transforming soul crystal ring, he would take it into the cave if time was urgent. But in this environment, he couldn't open the cave. His perception entered the corpse and found a soul crystal ring and a fifth-grade natal spiritual treasure flying sword. The fifth-grade natal flying sword has been refined for a long time by a powerful sword cultivator. It does not need to be controlled by a monk and has a terrifying power of its own. Li Shiming took a look and didn't have much interest in this natal flying sword. The main reason was that the sword intention he mastered was stronger than that of this powerful sword cultivator. When it comes to the high level, chaos sword intention, although it is still a little inferior to the sword intention contained in the sword intention monument, it is still far superior to the sword cultivator of the same level in the same realm. Under the same training conditions, with the help of Z15, his sword intention can reach a level that other sword cultivators cannot. Just like studying the sword intent monument, he was able to comprehend the chaos sword intent from the sword intent monument, while the best among the rest of the sword cultivators was to perceive the breaking void sword intent, even though these sword cultivators have greatly enhanced their void breaking sword intent. After being promoted to great powers, their foundation is still breaking void sword intent. The natal flying sword in his hand was refined using the high level. Void breaking sword intent. It did not match him, and was not even worth refining by Li Yuanba. So he just glanced at it, and threw the natal flying sword to Tian Gui. He decided that after returning, he would return this natal flying sword to Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion, as his reward for Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. After putting away the body, Li Shiming looked forward with some hesitation. The death of a powerful sword cultivator made him understand that there should be some dangers here that he didn't know about. After getting the natal flying sword from the great sword cultivator, I learned that this great sword cultivator was practicing. Breaking void sword intent. Even if the sword cultivator is unable to use the energy of the cave, he can still break out of the encirclement with the help of. Breaking void sword intent. Breaking the void sword intent. Can break almost everything. And has initially achieved the goal of breaking through 10,000 spells with one sword. Judging from the condition of the sword cultivator's corpse, the sword cultivator's soul should have been severely damaged and eventually died here. The one who can severely damage the soul of a sword cultivator must be a ghost. Li Shiming is worried that this ghost is not a half-step fifth-grade soul, but a real fifth-grade soul. Li Shiming checked his harvest and saw that there were nearly 400 half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials, which made him less interested in continuing to explore. After checking the body of the sword cultivator, he felt a sense of crisis. Get out of here! Li Shiming made a decisive decision. 
he turned around and left. After the ghosts were cut off, 133 holy spirits were surrounding him. The way back was extremely smooth. As we were returning along the same path we had traveled on. So we encountered almost no enemies. Without enemies, the speed of walking back increased a lot. And we returned to the entrance in one day. Just as he walked out of the ancient ruins, he felt a spiritual wave sweep through the ancient ruins. But at this time, half of his body had already left the ancient ruins. Fifth grade ghost, Lee Shimming, who was standing outside, couldn't help but said, he was almost certain that the mental fluctuations he felt before leaving were from the fifth grade ghost. Even if he doesn't have a fifth grade spiritual pet with him, he will not provoke a fifth grade ghost. He cannot fully display his strength in the ancient ruins. And the environment in the ancient ruins is the most suitable for ghosts. The combat power of fifth grade ghosts will be greatly enhanced in it. With this situation rising and falling, he had no confidence in dealing with fifth grade ghosts. In addition, he is even more worried that this fifth grade ghost may not be simple. The ancient ruins are a place of death. But such ancient ruins are not built casually. They must have some purpose. The appearance of the fifth grade ghost made him suspect that there was an unknown secret between this ancient ruins and the fifth grade ghost. Li Shiming shook his head and gave up guessing about ancient ruins. He summoned the golden winged Daypok and sat on the golden winged Daypok's back, keeping the golden winged Daypok away from the ancient ruins. After taking out the corpse of the powerful sword cultivator and coming to the outside world, he could study the corpse of the powerful sword cultivator in more depth. After repeatedly examining the corpse with his senses, he frowned slightly because he didn't find what he was most looking for. After a slight hesitation, he put the body into the computer room. He had ultra-fine control over the computer room space, allowing him to detect the corpse with sub-nanometer precision. Finally, he found a bit of energized abnormal material in the corpse. And this bit of energized abnormal material merged with the corpse. If it weren't for the detailed exploration of the organic room space and the inspection based on perception, I don't know how long it would have taken to discover this abnormality. Li Shiming released the corpse again, and his perception was focused on the energized abnormal material. Then a space stone appeared in front of him. It seemed that Li Yuanba was not the first monk to use the space stone as an anchor point in the cave. After the space stone is energized, its own special characteristics and the concealment method used by the sword cultivator make the space stone extremely difficult to discover. The important thing is not the space stone, but the cave anchor bound to the space stone. Through the cave heaven anchor point, you can enter the cave heaven of this great sword cultivator. The premise is that the powerful cave heaven has not collapsed before he can enter the cave heaven through the cave heaven anchor point. Li Shiming couldn't open the cave anchor in the air. It would be too unsafe. He patted the neck of the golden winged Doping. And the golden winged Doping understood what he meant. Soon after, the golden winged rock stopped on a small island. Li Shiming's Juechen sword flew out and dug a temporary cave on the island. He activated the Beidou formation and Nine Heaven Star Formation to protect the temporary cave. At this time, he cast a spell on the space stone. The magic formula fell on the space stone. And the cave anchor point on the space stone slowly increased and transformed into a space door. Li Shiming did not enter the space gate first. He summoned a Holy Spirit and controlled the Holy Spirit to enter the cave. Through the contractual connection with the Holy Spirit, he can share the Holy Spirit's vision, letting him know that there is no danger in the cave. After making sure it was safe, he walked into the cave. This is a very huge cave. The most important thing is that this cave has no intention of collapsing. Considering the way the sword cultivator fell, he fell in the ancient ruins. The ancient ruins isolated the connection between the sword cultivator and the cave sky. Even if the sword cultivator died, it was not known to Dantian. So Dantian was preserved. And when Li Shiming left the ancient ruins with the body of the great sword cultivator, because the great sword cultivator had fallen long ago and did not send a death message to Dantian. Dantian had existed without an owner for a long time. So there was no any changes. The sword cultivator is a free power, which prevents him from considering the overall development of Dantian. A free and powerful cave is rarely fully developed. The cave in front of you is filled with metal energy, and even the trees here are formed by the condensed sword intention. If the sword cultivator is still alive, any enemy who enters the cave will have a thought from the sword cultivator. And all the trees in the cave will turn into flying swords with sword intent to attack the enemy. When fighting externally, you can also call upon the sword intention in the cave's sky and condense the sword intention into flying swords to attack the enemy. In other words, this cave is like a weapons arsenal. 
The great sword cultivator can use the sword intent of the cave to turn it into a flying sword. With the endless forest of sword intent in the cave in front of him. This great sword cultivator doesn't have to worry about not having enough sword intent when he is in the outside world. It's a pity that the great sword cultivator entered the ancient ruins and was unable to contact the cave sky. So his strength was completely reduced. Li Shiming sighed in his heart for this powerful sword cultivator and secretly warned himself not to be proud of his own strength. This kind of cave, which is purely used for fighting, is not very valuable. Li Shiming came to the core of Dong Tian. He tried to identify the owner and easily recognize the owner of Dong Tian. Of course, this kind of recognition of the master of Dong Tian is only recognized by the core of Dong Tian and does not really turn Dong Tian into his own Dong Tian. Your own cave is integrated with yourself just like an organ in your body. The cave where the master is recognized is like a super large storage space. To Li Shiming's helplessness, he found no spiritual objects in the huge cave. He couldn't help but marvel at the sword cultivator. The sword cultivator didn't regard Don Tian as his own world at all, but regarded Don Tian as a weapon, who would put spiritual things in weapons and arrange their homes. However, this cave is not completely useless. As the master of the cave, he can control the sword trees in the cave through the core of the cave. When he needs it, he can completely mobilize these sword intended trees to the outside world to attack the enemy. Even if he used thousands of swords every time he fought, it would only be a drop in the bucket for the sword intending trees in the cave. Li Shiming took out the soul crystal ring of the sword cultivator again. Since there is no sword cultivator in the cave, the sword cultivator's net worth is in this soul crystal ring. He put his mind into the soul crystal ring and it was very clearly planned inside. The Jade Slip area stores the entire Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju and related classics from the Mahayana period. After Li Shiming saw the contents of these Jade Slips, there was a smile on his lips. Before Li Yuanba was promoted to a great power, he would not be able to see these Mahayana-related classics. It is estimated that these classics will only be circulated among the great masters of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion and will not be known to sword cultivators in other realms. With these classics, it was of great help to him to improve the rules of the sword. And it also greatly improved his use of sword cultivation methods in combat. He finally truly knows how a sword cultivator fights. What a sword cultivator needs to pay attention to. Some precautions for a sword cultivator. Etc. In addition, among them were all the 5th grade elixir prescriptions of Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion. Among them, he saw the 5th grade elixir prescription given to him by Jian Lao. These fifth grade elixir prescriptions are the result of countless experiments and research on ancient knowledge. These fifth grade elixir recipes are of great help to his research on fifth grade alchemy. He does not know many fifth grade elixirs. The more knowledge about fifth grade alchemy, the more he can enrich Z15's database. Chapter 1028 Visit Li Shiming took stock of what he had gained this time. The fish shaped treasure that could hide his body was called Jing Hua Shui Yu, coupled with the powerful cave of sword cultivation as well as Mahayana classics and 5th grade elixir prescriptions. It was considered the most useful harvest. Of course, the body of the great sword cultivator is also the top material for making corpse refining. He has checked and found that even after many years, the body of the great sword cultivator still has no corruption. The energy contained in this body is more powerful than Lang Luo's powerful body. This is not much of a surprise. This is the physical body of a powerful sword cultivator. It is washed by the sword's intention every day, and the sword's intention has the effect of strengthening the physical body. The sword cultivator's physical body is the strongest one, except the body refining cultivator. Li Shiming took out the mirror flower, water moon. After this treasure recognizes its owner, it can be stored in energy in the body and activated when needed. When flower in the mirror, water and moon is activated, he is wrapped in a thin film. He certainly knows how powerful the concealment effect of Mirror Flower Water Moon is. If Mirror Flower Water Moon had not lost its master in the ancient ruins, its concealment effect would be flawed. In addition, his spirit is extremely powerful, and he can sense things that other powerful powers cannot perceive things. Perhaps the body of the great sword cultivator is still preserved in the ancient ruins and will not be discovered. Now he is the master of Jingwa Shuiyu. With this control, the effect of Jingwe Shuiyu can definitely deceive the powerful's perception at close range. In his view, flowers in the mirror, moon in the water, is both a life-saving method and a means of assassination. Needless to say, it saves lives. The activated membrane of 
Flower in the mirror. Water and moon. Prevents the monks inside from being discovered. Achieving the effect of hiding oneself. For assassination. Jing Hua Shui Yu. Hides itself. Once the enemy approaches a certain distance, it can launch a surprise attack from within. Jing Hua Shui Yu. Between monks of the same level, if one party is not prepared and the other party launches a sneak attack, the probability of a successful assassination is extremely high. Li Shiming put away this harvest. He came out of the temporary cave, put away the formation, and returned to the back of the Golden Winged Rock. The Golden Winged Rock heads towards the 10,000 Beast Sect. At the speed of the Golden Winged Rock, it will return to the 10,000 Beast Sect in just a few days. The world of immortal cultivators, or more accurately, the powerful class, went crazy because Li Shiming refined the 5th grade elixir for Jin Lao and Ming Jun. Li Shiming's refining of the 5th grade elixir was known to many powerful people and was watching. After learning from Jian Lao and Meng Jun that Li Shiming had refined a full elixir and a high-quality fifth-grade elixir, the experts were inquiring about Li Shiming and wanted to meet Li Shiming because Li Shiming went out and did not return. The matter was delayed. But in the inheritance cave of Jian Chong Shao Pavilion, Jian Lao slapped his thigh in annoyance. Since Li Shiming's request was for half-step fifth-grade corpse refining materials, he gave Li Shiming the news about the ancient ruins. But as Li Shiming went to explore ancient ruins, he began to worry about gains and losses again. He knew how dangerous the ancient ruins were. If Li Shiming died in the ancient ruins, how great the impact would be on him. In addition to being Li Yuanba's best friend, Li Shiming is also the only alchemy master who can refine fifth grade high level elixirs. As a powerful inheritor, Jian Lao almost lost the idea of going further. But Li Shiming's alchemy ability gave him new hope. But this hope was complicated by himself. He really regretted telling Li Shiming about the ancient ruins. But it was already too late. He only hoped that Li Shiming could return safely. At this moment, Jian Lao received a visit message. He couldn't help but shook his head. This was the first visitor he had received in the past few days. In the past few days, he has had more guests than in the past thousand years combined. The only purpose of the visitors was to borrow the fifth grade high level elixir refined by Li Shiming to watch. These powerful experts needed to confirm Li Shiming's elixir refining ability so as to make up their minds and offer Li Shiming the reward he needed. Li Shiming is not the great monk he was back then. Just showing off something casually is enough to satisfy Li Shiming. Now Li Shiming is also a powerful person. So it is impossible for a powerful alchemy master to take action without paying a huge price. Jian Lao waved his hand, and Jian Lao's powerful clone appeared, then used space movement to disappear, and went to receive the guests. The visitors cannot be the original body of the powerful one. They are all clones of the powerful one. A few days later, when Li Shiming approached the Dongchi continent, Z-15 received an alert from the drone satellite system after connecting to it. He checked the surveillance screen of the drone satellite system through the Z-15, and he saw five huge blurred areas. Judging from the size of the fuzzy area, they were five powerful clones. The powerful clone appeared in Dongchi continent, making him think that Dongchi continent had been invaded for the first time. A sharp look flashed in Li Shiming's eyes. He was not a weakling who had to escape to the Cloud Island Sea when being chased by a powerful man. He now has the strength to kill a powerful man. Not to mention the five powerful clones. He still dared to challenge one or two of the five powerful beings. Just as he was preparing to fight. His identity. Jade Disc. Received a message from Brother Hu. After checking the information on the identity Jade Disc. He finally understood what had happened. There was no trouble in the Eastern Qi continent. The 10,000 B sect only had five more visiting guests. However, these five visiting guests had a somewhat high status and were five powerful clones. After the five powerful clones came to visit, brother who personally received them, brother who didn't know that Li Shiming was refining elixirs for Jian Lao and Meng Jun, the level of this matter was too high for him to participate. Therefore, he did not inform Li Shiming's phantom clone. But he was testing the purpose of the five powerful clones. Li Shiming's phantom clone is currently cultivating. And the phantom clone that can cultivate is probably the only one among all powerful clones. The phantom clone possesses Yuanying. A peak monk Yuanying. The nascent soul. A peak monk. Has almost no enhancement effect on the phantom clone. The phantom clone is composed of high level energy and soul energy. But the nascent soul is only at the peak monk level. But he was reluctant to give up the nascent soul of the peak monk. Because after a long period of cultivation, the nascent soul of the peak monk had become part of the phantom clone. Just like the nascent soul of an ordinary monk. 
It is precisely because of this peak monk nascent soul that the phantom clone has the ability to practice. Li Shiming had an idea. If the peak monk Yuanying of the phantom clone could be promoted to a half step of power and built into a cave, then his phantom clone would become an existence with independent strength like Li Yuanba. It is this idea that makes the phantom clone work hard to practice whenever he has time. So he does not pay attention to external matters. Of course, Li Shiming did not think that any powerful person would come to Dong Chi Continent to cause trouble for him. The combat power he had shown many times was enough to deter any powerful person with small thoughts. Brother who tried hard to keep a smile. Facing the five powerful clones put him under great pressure. Fortunately, the five powerful clones restrained their auras. So that brother, who would not make a fool of himself. In fact, the five powerful clones were quite polite to brother who. After all, brother who was Li Shiming's master a powerful master, and probably the only powerful month-level master in the world of immortality. Except for Li Shiming. The most recently promoted great master has already exhausted his lifespan. Brother who tried to test the intention of the five powerful clones. But how could the five powerful clones tell him what happened between the powerful men? So the two sides had been chatting without any actual content. Suddenly, the five powerful clones retreated together, and a figure appeared in front of Brother who. It was Li Shiming. Li Shiming used spatial movement. And multiple spatial movements appeared directly in the living room. Master! I'm back! Li Shiming didn't know the purpose of the five powerful clones. He was worried that they would be harmful to Brother Hu. So he stood in front of Brother Hu as soon as they appeared. Shurjin! You came back just in time! These five seniors have something to do with you! Seeing Li Shiming come back, Brother Hu reminded him slightly worriedly. He was worried that Li Shiming didn't know how powerful he was and offended the five powerful clones. Master, you go and rest first. I will receive the five fellow Taoists, Li Shiming said with a slight smile. With a wave of his hand, the phantom clone that was practicing appeared and took brother who out of the reception hall. Fellow Taoist Li, I have long admired your name. Please forgive me for coming here. A powerful clone had the highest status among the five powerful clones. He stood up and bowed slightly. Li Shurjin has met five fellow Taoists. What's the reason for coming here? Li Shiming asked very directly. The five powerful clones heard his question and looked at each other. I came here this time to ask fellow Daoist Li to help me refine the elixir. It was the powerful clone who revealed the purpose of his visit. I'm very sorry. I agreed to the Jian Lao of Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion and Ming Danang of Luanfeng Palace to refine elixirs for them. I'm afraid I have no time to refine elixirs for others in recent years. Li Shiming thought about it for a while. He shook his head and said, he didn't want to make his alchemy cheap. You must know that it takes three years to refine a batch of fifth grade elixir, not to mention other difficulties. The effort and delayed practice of the three-year alchemy process alone are not so easy to compensate for. Fellow Daoist Li, we can rank behind Jian Lao and Fairy Ming. We will settle the payment with fifth grade elixir. For every furnace of elixir refined, we will pay one fifth grade elixir as reward. The clone put forward his own conditions. There was no other way. When they came, they used their respective sex intelligence network to investigate Li Shiming's situation. When Li Shiming was a great monk, he was the number one alchemy master in the world of immortality. It can be said that everything Li Shiming wanted to get has already been obtained. Even the most powerful treasures. Li Shiming also obtained a lot. Li Shiming even took action to refine two fifth grade spiritual treasures. The weapon calamity of the fifth grade spiritual treasures cannot be concealed from the superpower intelligence network. For a wealthy alchemy master like Li Shiming, the reward for commissioning alchemy is an extremely difficult choice. The five powerful men knew very well that if they did not negotiate with Li Shiming first, perhaps the next time they came, many powerful men would be in front. And a new powerful person like Li Shiming will definitely practice in seclusion. It takes who knows how many years to get out of the closed practice. In addition, Li Shiming is still free and powerful. And one day, he will leave the world of immortality and go out for adventure. This gives Li Shiming an extremely limited time to refine the fifth grade elixir in the world of immortality. This also excludes Li Shiming's other time. And there is even less time that can actually be used to refine the fifth grade elixir. The five powerful men finally decided to offer the most irresistible offer to Li Shiming, which was a fifth grade elixir as reward. Li Shiming couldn't help being shocked after hearing the words of the powerful clone. It was a fifth grade elixir that only a powerful cave genius could cultivate and it would take 300 years to successfully cultivate it. Not all powerful caves can cultivate 5th grade elixirs. For example, 
the sword cultivating powerful cave that Li Shiming obtained. The free sword cultivating powerful cave is a pure sword intention cave. There is no one that can cultivate fifth grade elixirs. Environment. On the contrary, it is the power of inheritance. The environment in the inheritance cave is designed for the inheritance of the sect. There is a complete system of rules inside, suitable for cultivating elixirs. If you are willing to wait, please leave your contact information. I will contact you when Jian Lao and Ming Dan finish refining the elixir. Li Shiming thought for a while and decided. He was very satisfied with the rewards paid by the five powerful clones. So he naturally agreed. He also has another idea. Since these five powerful clones have given a benchmark, then any powerful clone who comes to ask for pills will naturally be rewarded according to this standard. Fellow Daoistly, you are newly promoted to a powerful person. I have an extra set of powerful contact formations here, which I will give to you. We can use this contact formation to communicate in the future. The leader of the powerful clones took out a he handed over the mustard ring and said. Li Shiming took the mustard seed ring, entered it mentally, and found that the mustard seed ring contained a set of formation bases and a jade slip. The jade slip contained a method for setting up a formation. He knew the principle of this formation just by looking at it. He greatly appreciated the ingenuity of this formation. He himself was a very strong formation master, and he learned a lot of knowledge from it. The most ingenious thing about this formation is that it can directly connect with the same type of contact formation in the cave. You must know that all the inheritance powers will live in the inheritance cave. If you use the traditional contact formation, you need to pass the transfer target and let the monks of the sect where the inheritance power is located notify the inheritance power. But with this contact formation, powerful people can communicate directly with each other. This formation base is brand new. And even Li Shiming can feel the newly refined atmosphere from the formation base. This set of formation base was not redundant at all, but was specially refined for him by the powerful man in front of him, and was given to him through this excuse. Even though Li Shiming understood that the powerful man in front of him did this because of alchemy, he still had a good impression of this powerful man in his heart. Chapter 1029 Phantom Li Shiming sent away the five powerful clones and found his master. Brother Hu. Master, if any powerful people come here in the future, let them contact me through the contact formation. I need to retreat in the near future. Li Shiming said to Brother Hu. I will take care of it. Brother Hu agreed with a smile. At this time, Brother Hu was extremely excited. He saw the glory of the 10,000 beast sect. Yes, brilliant. When a powerful person from the 10,000 beasts sect came to visit, the powerful clone did come before. And it was to seek revenge. Look at now. Five powerful clones came over. Even if they saw him, a great monk. They were polite. This is all because of Li Shiming. Because the 10,000 beasts sect is now a superpower with the powerful ancestor Li Shiming. After Li Shiming explained the matter, he returned to the cave. He now has two important things to do. One is to refine the fifth grade corpse. And the other is to promote the phantom clone. Of the two things, he should not be in a hurry when refining the fifth grade corpse. He needed to ask Z15 to do more calculations to ensure that the process of refining the fifth grade corpse would not go wrong. There were really too few powerful corpses in his hands. And any failure would make him heartbroken. But the promotion of the phantom clone can be put on the agenda. There is no need to look for promotion opportunities for the phantom clone. Z15 can share the promotion opportunities of Li Shiming with the phantom clone at any time. As for the energy problem, Li Shiming can also solve it easily. A large amount of spiritual veins plus Bai Chao pill are completely enough for the phantom clone to build a cave. Ten days later, Li Shiming began to promote the phantom clone. This promotion process is full of uncertainties. He even wants the phantom clone to try to obtain the illusion of promotion by comprehending the God Sensing Monument, virtualized by Z15, thus making promotion easier. But obviously, even the virtual God Sensing Monument cannot make a powerful clone advance half a step to great power. Because the powerful clone is already in the realm of powerful people. Why does it need to be promoted to a half step to powerful state? In addition, the powerful clone is really not a real monk. If he is not a real monk, how can he be promoted to a half step to become a powerful person and build a cave? The phantom clone sat cross-legged in the center of the training room. It not only attracted the main spiritual veins of the 10,000 B sect, but also arranged 108 great monk spiritual veins to form a spirit gathering formation. Li Shiming needs to choose a direction for the phantom clone. It is impossible for the phantom clone to use heavenly man art as its main practice method. 
Although the energy in the Phantom Clone's body is the chaos spiritual power of Heavenly Man Art. However, the Phantom Clone's nascent soul does not possess the five elements qualifications. Li Shiming copied his lightning talent into the nascent soul, which was the ultimate he could achieve. This nascent soul cultivated the Jade Pure Thunder Code and used the high level chaos spiritual power in its body to feed the nascent soul, allowing the nascent soul to practice the Jade Pure Thunder Code extremely quickly. All the chaos spiritual power in the Phantom Clone's body was transformed into the thunder spiritual power of the Jade Pure Thunder Code, and it was all high level thunder spiritual power. The practice of Jade Pure Thunder Code changed the composition of the Yuanying, turning it into a pure Lei Xiao Yuanying, and reached the peak of the Great Monk level Lei Xiao Yuanying. This did not end. The Phantom Clone began to absorb the surrounding spiritual energy, and a large amount of spiritual energy flowed into the body. The reason why it is said to be in flow, rather than influx, is because this spiritual energy is indeed not much for the phantom clone of the high energy level, but it is very much for the nascent soul in the body. The body of Yuanying has already reached its extreme level, with a continuous injection of energy. The energy in Yuanying's body is continuously compressed. Finally, when the nascent soul could no longer withstand the internal energy, the phantom clone used the method of Jade Clear Thunder Code to construct the cave sky, using the nascent soul as a container to build the cave sky. When operating this step, Li Shiming was extremely focused. For no other reason than that, what he is doing now is an unprecedented method of cultivation that has never been seen in the world of immortality. He is creating a new method of clone cultivation. Of course, even if he creates it and summarizes this method of clone cultivation into a classic, other monks will not be able to copy it, because there is a key condition. That is, the help of the ghost is needed. Otherwise, how can a nascent soul be put into the phantom clone? Li Shiming didn't care about this. The process of constructing the cave sky with a phantom clone was very successful. The phantom clone disappeared from the outside world and entered his own cave. The thunder type secret treasure that Li Shiming gave to the phantom clone was made into the core of the cave by the phantom clone. Li Shiming left the lightning rules and space rules in the phantom clone's body. And now these two rules have been recorded in the core of the cave. After a while, when the cave expanded to a certain extent, Li Shiming stuffed more than 200 half-step 5th grade spiritual pets into the cave. One of Li Shiming's brains controls the Phantom Clone and controls the energy stability in the cave through the Phantom Clone. Several more years have passed and the Phantom Clone's cave is getting bigger and bigger and it's getting more and more stable. In the end, the Phantom Clone's cave was fixed at a radius of 10,000 meters after 5 years and the energy output of this cave was higher than Li Shiming's own cave when he was half-step powerful. Who said that the Phantom Clone is a high energy level? Under normal circumstances, the presence of a high level power in the cave of half step power will cause the cave to collapse directly. However, the Phantom Clone and the cave are one. The appearance of the Phantom Clone in the cave did not cause the cave to collapse. Instead, the energy output of the cave created a high level energy demand due to the Phantom Clone. As for the energy output that the other 200 half step fifth grade spiritual pets add to Dantian, it is secondary. Because of this, the growth rate of the Phantom Clone's cave is faster than that of Li Shiming at that time. Of course, the most important thing among them is the high energy level. Chaos spiritual power in the Phantom Clone's body. After the radius of the cave's sky reached 10,000 meters and the internal space reached the limit of half a step of power, the energy in the cave's sky also became more and more powerful, approaching the high energy level. When the high energy level, chaos spiritual power in the Phantom's body is allowed to practice. Jade Pure Thunder Code. The thunder spiritual power generated is infinitely close to the high energy level. And the energy inside the cave is infinitely close to great energy level. The reason why there is no great energy level is because there is no breakthrough in Dantian. Li Shiming once again drove away all the Lei Xiao from the thunder prison. The Lei Xiao had already experienced this kind of thing and welcomed it very much. Because as long as Li Shiming, the ancestor, occupies the thunder prison, the thunder prison will be improved which is extremely beneficial to them thunder cultivators. Li Shiming brought the phantom clone to the thunder prison, and he shared with the phantom clone his insights into becoming a powerful person. Feeling the opportunity for advancement, the phantom clone stepped out of the cave while running the Jade Pure Thunder Code, while the cave remained open. Almost as soon as the phantom clone appeared in the outside world, there was a strong rejection from heaven and earth. 
As soon as Li Shiming sensed it, he realized that the power of this disaster was astonishing. He quickly took out the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and used the Chishou Thunder Bead to enhance the lightning resistance secret method to enhance the lightning resistance of the Phantom Clone. At the same time, a Bai Chao pill was sent into the mouth by the Phantom Clone. The Phantom Clone is not a real monk. So for it, ordinary monks' healing secrets and elixirs are ineffective. Just like the magical power of Inatimu. It has no effect on Phantom Clones. On the contrary, it is also the Bai Chao pill, a spiritual elixir that contains a large amount of high-grade energy, which is a life-saving medicine for the Phantom Clone. The Phantom Clone that was attacked lost energy, and the Bai Chao Dan replenished the energy. The effect of the Thunder Resistance secret method applied by Li Shiming is far superior to that before. The quality of Sky Strike Thunder Hammer has almost reached the peak level of Ling Bao. With the blessing of Chishou Thunder Bead, the effect of the Thunder Resistance secret method is almost it is the pinnacle of the powerful level. The thunder clouds were dense and thunder fell from the sky. Heavenly thunder struck the Phantom Clone one after another. The Phantom Clone practiced the Jade Clear Thunder Code. The Jade Clear Thunder Code was born with extremely strong resistance to thunder and lightning. The Phantom Clone also has Li Shiming's secret method of resisting thunder. In addition, it has not taken out any magic weapons and spiritual treasures to fight against the Sky Thunder. Although the power of the Sky Thunder is very strong, it is not too powerful. Until the Eighth Thunder, the Phantom Clone persisted. The Ninth Thunderbolt fell, and the Bai Chao pill in the mouth of the Phantom Clone was swallowed. And the Bai Chao pill turned into a small amount of energy and entered the body of the Phantom Clone. The body of the Phantom Clone keeps getting bigger, which is a change caused by too much energy. At this time, the ninth thunder fell, and the thunder struck the body of the phantom clone. The secret method of lightning resistance could no longer persist at this time, and the enhanced lightning resistance disappeared. The body of the phantom clone began to collapse in the thunder and lightning, and energy continued to separate from the body of the phantom clone, turning into energy fragments and dissipating in the air. However, the energy generated by the Bai Chao pill continuously replenishes the damage caused by the thunder. Between the advancement and retreat, the size of the Phantom Clone slows down. The power of the thunder shrank the Phantom Clone's body to the size of one foot. If it were a normal monk, the one-foot body would have fallen countless times. But the Phantom Clone is an energy body. As long as the soul is not completely destroyed, the Phantom Clone can continue to exist. Finally, the ninth thunder disappeared, and the entire thunder prison returned to the previous scene. As Li Shiming's mind moved slightly, the Phantom Clone took out another herb pill. He was not worried about wasting it and used her pill to restore the phantom clone's body. The Bai Chao pill poured out a massive amount of energy, allowing the phantom clone's body to repair quickly. When the body of the phantom clone recovered and even exceeded its original size, the reward from heaven and earth also arrived. The heaven and earth rewards are divided into two parts. One part is for the phantom clone body, and the other part is for the cave sky, without accepting the reward energy from heaven and earth. The cave can only be limited by a radius of 10,000 meters, which can be regarded as an incomplete half-step powerful cave. Only by withstanding the reward energy of heaven and earth can Dong Tian connect with the outside world, allowing more rules to enter Dong Tian, making Dong Tian more perfect, and at the same time allowing Dong Tian to break through its shackles. As for the phantom clone, when the reward energy from heaven and earth enters the body, its body undergoes wonderful changes. The originally energized body began to transform into a physical body under the influence of the reward energy from heaven and earth. The reason why the powerful avatar is weak is because the powerful avatar cannot generate energy in its body and cannot use the energy of the cave. Moreover, due to its energized body, its own defense is extremely weak. Now the changes in the phantom clone are eliminating all the weaknesses of the powerful clone. The powerful clone cannot generate energy. But with the cave sky, the Phantom Clone can continuously accumulate energy in the cave sky and extract energy from the cave sky when needed. It does not need the masterly shimming to provide energy. And when its body is transformed into a physical body, it has the same defensive power as a normal powerful physical body, making the shortcomings in defensive power disappear. When the reward energy from heaven and earth disappears, the Phantom Clone in Li Shimming's perception is a truly powerful thunder cultivator. No matter how you sense it, from the inside to the surface, from the outside world to the cave. Everything shows that this is a powerful thunder cultivator. 
Even the soul separated by Li Shiming has been greatly enhanced by the reward energy of heaven and earth, and is no different from the real power of Li Xiao. The phantom clone held the fifth grade, heavenly strike thunder hammer, in his hand, and Li Shiming asked him to refine it into his natal magic weapon. Although this fifth grade, sky strike thunder hammer, is the natal magic weapon of Lung Luo, and is not as good as the sky strike thunder hammer, refined by Li Shiming himself. It is a fifth grade spiritual treasure that is truly refined using fifth grade materials. A truly powerful configuration. As for the future, after Li Shiming's cave has bred fifth grade thunder materials and refined a new sky strike hammer, he can use the sky strike hammer that Li Shiming is using for the phantom clone. It is for this reason that Li Shiming does not consider replacing the spiritual treasure for the phantom clone. The phantom clone here has survived the powerful tribulation. And all the forces in the world of immortality outside are going crazy. How could the intelligence personnel sent to the Eastern Qi continent not be able to distinguish between the fifth grade weapon tribulation and the powerful heavenly tribulation? After they discovered that the powerful heavenly tribulation appeared in the Thunder Prison, they immediately sent this information back to their respective sections. The news that another free great master appeared in the 10,000 B sect of the Eastern Qi continent shocked every great master. A top genius likely shimming appeared in the 10,000 B sect. Could it be that the same genius appeared again? The reason why the Phantom Clone is considered to be a free power depends on the place where the Phantom Clone transcends tribulation. If it is an inherited power, then the place of tribulation is found in the Mountain Gate, not the Thunder Prison, far away from the Mountain Gate. The Cave Heaven of the Inheritance Power is the Inheritance Cave Heaven. The Inheritance Cave Heaven is bound to the Mountain Gate, which makes it impossible for the Inheritance Power to stay away from the Mountain Gate. Another free power appeared and the whole world of immortal cultivation did not know the details of the free power. This caused the intelligence departments of the superpowers to be scolded by the power. This great free-spirited man who survived the tribulation in the 10,000 B sex, Thunder Prison, couldn't just pop out of the cracks in the rocks. The superpowers are all guessing who this free power is, and what kind of relationship he has with Li Shiming. Chapter 1030 Tai Bai Li Shiming returned to the 10,000 beasts, sect with the phantom clone. He did not explain the identity of the phantom clone to any monks in the sect. In the 10,000 Bees sect, no one would ask about things he didn't want to say, not even his master, the great monk who, who wouldn't ask too many questions. In the cave, he looked at the phantom clone in front of him. The soul connection between him and the phantom clone has not changed at all. The soul of the phantom clone was cut out from his soul, which makes the connection between him and the phantom clone extremely close. But the phantom clone also has its own intelligence. It can deal with various things independently without the involvement of Li Shiming's body. Because the phantom clone shared Li Shiming's memory. The handling of various matters also followed Li Shiming's handling methods. The phantom clone at this time is almost exactly the same as Li Shiming. Of course, this is just the appearance. As Li Shiming's clone, it is normal for the appearance to be the same even after having a physical body. However, the aura of the phantom clone is completely different from that of Li Shiming. The aura of the phantom clone is the aura of Lei Xiao's power. In the world of cultivating immortals, the aura among monks is more important than the appearance. Because the appearance of a monk can change. But the aura is the unique aura that belongs to a certain monk. Li Shiming's mind moves slightly. And the appearance of the phantom clone changed and turned into another appearance. In this way, the phantom clone can be regarded as a real powerful person. And the other monks will no longer have any close relationship with him as the phantom clone. The Phantom Clone possesses the fifth grade spiritual treasure. Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer. And because the Phantom Clone has received the baptism of high level reward energy from heaven and earth, the Phantom Clone's body and soul have been transformed by heaven and earth. And it also allows the Phantom Clone to refine the fifth grade the spiritual treasure. Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer is the natal magic weapon. Li Shiming also discovered that the Phantom Clone's natal magic weapon also had the power of the natal magic weapon here. He could use the Phantom Clone's natal magic weapon, Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, as his own natal magic weapon. Of course, the fifth grade spiritual treasure, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, is far inferior to the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer he is currently using, and he will not sacrifice the near for the far. The Phantom Clone has just been promoted and needs some time to stabilize its state. So the Phantom Clone entered his own cave and started practicing. After arranging the Phantom Clone, Li Shiming considered giving the Phantom Clone a name. Let's call it Li Taibai. Since the Phantom Clone is his clone, it also has the surname Li. 
As for the name, he will choose one from famous people in his past life. Li Shiming felt a hint of repulsive force from heaven and earth. And he understood that he had been in the outside world for a long time. His figure flashed back to his cave. As soon as he returned to the cave, the repulsive power of heaven and earth disappeared. He also understood that he would not be able to leave the cave for a while. It was just a good time to experiment with some ideas. He wanted to recondensate a phantom clone. Unfortunately, when he was using the secret technique of phantom clone, he found that this secret technique could no longer be used. The powerful clone is unique. He has known this for a long time. Otherwise, how could the powerful ones take hundreds of years to recover because a powerful clone was destroyed? He found helplessly that he would no longer have a powerful clone to use. It's just that if other powerful people knew his thoughts, they would definitely be envious of his situation. There are two clones of Li Shiming. One clone is Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba was originally an accidental product when making the corpse. It was a living corpse. So it became Li Shiming's clone. Strictly speaking, Li Yuanba's clone is not a real clone, but a clone like product created by accident. The other clone is the Phantom clone, which is Li Tai Bai. Now Li Yuanba is half powerful, and Li Tai Bai is even more powerful. So he cannot claim to the outside world that he is his clone. Fortunately, he is a free power. Free power is different from inheritance power. Free power can move at will because of its body and is not restricted by geography. This means that free power does not need to create a powerful clone. At this time, energy fluctuations occurred in the powerful contact formation. This was because a powerful person was contacting him. Moreover, the power that can contact him is the power that he knows. He connected to the contact formation and found that the mighty Ming Jun was contacting him. Senior Sister Ming, I was just looking for you. Now that I have time, you can send me the elixir, Li Shiming said with a smile. Junior Brother Li, this is good news. Ming Jun was able to hear the news, and her voice showed happiness. Then she said, This time, I contacted Junior Brother not for the purpose of alchemy, but to inquire, which fellow Taoist has been promoted to great power. Ming Jun Donning didn't want to ask at first, but the impact of this matter was too great. A powerful man appeared inexplicably, and had an unknown connection with Li Shiming. This will bring unknown changes to the world of immortality, even for the benefit of Wanfeng Palace. Ming Jun needs to know the truth as soon as possible. Only by understanding the truth can we make the most appropriate response. Sister, you are talking about Li Tai Bai. Right. Li Tai Bai is a good friend of mine. He has recently been promoted to a powerful person and is currently in retreat. Li Shiming replied with a smile. Li Tai Bai, how come you haven't heard of it before? Ming Jun said the name several times and found that there was no information about this name in her memory. She couldn't help but ask. As the powerful person of Wanfeng Palace, although she does not interfere much in the affairs of Wanfeng Palace, any important information discovered by Wanfeng Palace's intelligence network will be reported to her. As long as Li Tai Bai is a monk in the world of cultivating immortals, it will not go unheard if it concerns a powerful monk. Li Tai Bai is a friend I met in a place of cultivation far away from the world of immortality. Due to some reasons, he returned to the eastern Qi continent with me. He had been in seclusion before, but he had a breakthrough recently. Li Shiming continued to explain. Ming Juanda was able to hear his answer and did not think that he was lying. Mighty Ming Ju knew some information about Li Shiming. Li Shiming was far away from the world of immortality when he was chased by the powerful clone of Yuching sect. At that time, no superpower intelligence network found any information about Li Shiming. According to some speculations, Li Shiming fled into the deep sea away from the world of immortality. Even though there are many powerful monks in the world of immortality, the world is so big that the monks have not been able to explore all the areas so far. It is not surprising that there is another place to cultivate immortality somewhere in the world. In fact, the great power knows better. Among the news sent back by the free power, there is news about other places where immortals are cultivated. However, because the distance between the two parties is too far, even if they know each other's existence, can't get in touch either. When fellow Taoist Li Tai Bai comes out of seclusion, please ask your junior brother to introduce you to him. Ming Jun said mightily. That's no problem. Li Tai Bai and I are close friends. If anything happens to Luanfeng Palace in the future, if you need help from me and Li Tai Bai, just ask. Li Shiming said with a smile. I will send the 5th grade elixir as soon as possible. And I will also inform Mr. Jin. Mighty Meng Jun finally said. After disconnecting the contact, Meng Jun was relieved. Regardless of Li Tai Bai's strength, 
since he and Li Shiming are close friends. They are on his side. The addition of one more free and powerful ally is definitely excellent news. In the following time, Li Shiming began to study the matter of refining the fifth great corpse. Some problems were solved through the joint efforts of him and Z15. And the time for him to refine the fifth grade corpse was getting closer and closer. Twenty days later, the powerful clone of Lord Ming arrived at the 10,000 B sect on a flying boat. The powerful clone of Ming Jun was discovered by the drone satellite system as soon as it approached the offshore waters of the East Chi continent. It's just that Li Shiming is so powerful now that he doesn't care about the arrival of a powerful clone. After the powerful clone of Meng Jun came to the eastern Qi continent, he took the initiative to get in touch with Li Shiming. Li Shiming was so proud that he personally led the great monks from the 10,000 beasts sect out of the sect to greet Meng Jun's powerful clone. The relationship between Luanfeng Palace and the 10,000 beasts sect has lasted for a long time. Although Luanfeng Palace was the backer of the 10,000 beasts sect before, this close relationship is real. The welcome ceremony is very simple. But Li Shiming personally greets him which is better than any welcome ceremony. In fact, Li Shiming was helpless. He didn't have a clone, and he couldn't send out a half-step fifth-grade spiritual pet to meet him. So he had to do it himself. Li Shiming brought the powerful clone of Meng Jun to his suspended mountain cave, and the host and guest took their seats. He prepared fourth-grade Taoist tea and some rare fourth-grade spiritual fruits for Monarch Ming. In the world of immortality, when it comes to spiritual fruits, there are probably no more than what he is here. He even dug back many fourth-grade fruit trees in the temple. The variety of spiritual trees in the temple far exceeds that of the outside world. Senior Sister Ming, the reception was not good enough, Li Shiming said with a gesture of invitation. Your hospitality is different. If Mr. Jian knew that your hospitality was so generous, I'm afraid he would regret not coming with you, Ming Jun said with a smile, pointing to the Lingxiao lingua in front of him. This time she brought the remaining three elixirs and another ten elixirs. In fact, if she had known that Li Shiming's alchemy ability was so high, she would have given all the elixirs to Li Shiming when she first asked Li Shiming to make alchemy. These are three elixirs. They are the remaining elixirs from the last time. There are ten elixirs here, five of which are rewards, and the other five are for your help in making elixirs. Ming Jun Mighty took out the elixirs. The mustard ring was pushed in front of Li Shiming and said, Li Shiming's alchemy reward was spread after he received five powerful clones. This is also what the five great powers did intentionally. The five great powers spent a lot of money to ask Li Shiming to refine the elixir. So they cannot allow other great powers to take advantage of it. After receiving this news, even if Meng Jun and Jian La wanted to make it cheaper, considering Li Shiming's alchemy ability, it would be extremely advantageous for Meng Jun and Jian Lao to be able to refine elixirs in advance. I don't want to affect my relationship with Li Shiming because of remuneration. I'm free recently and will make alchemy as soon as possible. Li Shiming had no intention of declining or reducing the reward. He took the mustard ring and said. He had learned about the situation of refining fifth grade elixirs in the past. And it could be said that it was terrible. If you can succeed in one of three furnaces, the quality cannot be guaranteed. Calculated this way. His reward is definitely a conscience price. Of course. His alchemy refining will not affect other things. Anyway, he is refining elixir in the computer room space. At most, he can separate two brains. It takes three years to refine a fifth grade elixir for one batch. And more than ten years for eight elixirs even if they are made in two batches at the same time. When you reach the realm of great power, time consumption is measured in years. Junior brother, is Li Tai Bai free? Ming Jun thought of another thing and asked aloud. I'll get in touch and take a look. Li Shiming nodded and said. He pretended. And on the other side, Li Taibai came out of the cave and came to the suspended cave in a flash. When Ming Jun saw Li Taibai for the first time, he was extremely frightened. She could tell from Li Taibai's aura that he was a powerful thunder cultivator. In the world of cultivating immortals, Lei Xiao is a monk who is as powerful as sword cultivator. Lei Xiao is also a powerful being among the great powers. Even if the Li Taibai in front of her was promoted to the powerful realm for the first time, she would not underestimate him at all. Loose cultivator Li Taibai has seen the great power of Ming Jun. Li Taibai smiled slightly and took the initiative to say, Okay. Ming Jun of Wanfeng Palace has met Li Taibai. Mighty Lord Ming stood up and solemnly returned the salute and said, She was shocked by Li Taibai's identity as a casual cultivator. When will a powerful person be able to be a casual cultivator? In the world of cultivating immortals. 
the highest level of cultivation among casual cultivators can reach that of a great monk, which is the highest level among casual cultivators. Even if you reach the realm of a great monk, it is still an early stage among great monks and cannot go any further unless they join a force above a large sect. It will be difficult for a casual cultivator to improve in his lifetime. And Li Taibai said that he was a casual cultivator, which broke the record of casual cultivators in the world of immortality. Li Taibai sat down below Li Shiming, nodded casually to Li Shiming, picked up the teapot on the table and poured himself a cup. Ming Jun was able to see Li Taibai's movements and became more and more certain that the relationship between Li Taibai and Li Shiming was extremely close. When powerful people get along, even if they are allies, they will respect each other. Only those who are truly close friends will not need to deal with the details of getting along and can do whatever they want. Ming Jundaning wanted to ask Li Taibai about his birthplace. But Li Taibai answered vaguely and did not explain clearly about Yun Dao Hai. But even so, Mighty Ming Jun also judged that Li Taibai's origin was indeed another place of cultivation. This was also the first time that Li Taibai appeared in the world of immortality, making the world of immortality aware of Li Taibai's name. Ming Jun was able to spread the news about Li Taibai. First, Mr. Jin took the initiative to send a message, inviting Li Taibai to visit when he was free, and also sent a congratulatory gift. Later, various superpowers also sent great monks to deliver congratulatory gifts. They did not want to meet Li Taibai, but just expressed the attitude of their respective sects. A little gift in exchange for the friendship of a free and powerful person. Even if you cannot get the friendship of a free and powerful person, at least you will not become an enemy. Chapter 1031 Yiksha After Li Taibai was introduced to the great monk Ming Jun, Li Shiming also introduced Li Taibai to the great monk who had other great monks in the sect. When brother who learned that there was a powerful person in his sect, he was almost shocked. When did the mighty ones become so worthless? They appear one after another. Especially when Li Shiming explained that Li Taibai would live in the 10,000 beasts sect for a long time because he did not have a sect. Brother who was even more excited. This is equivalent to Li Taibai being a powerful person from the 10,000 beasts sect. He lives in the 10,000 beasts sect. Is enshrined by the 10,000 beasts sect. And is Li Shiming's best friend. How is this different from the powerful person from the 10,000 beasts sect? The most important thing is that Li Taibai is a powerful thunder cultivator. This gave a boost to all the Lei Xiao of the 10,000 Beast sect. In the past, Lei Xiao of the 10,000 Beast sect belonged to a small minority. Even though the 10,000 Beast sect has absorbed the Tai Chu sect, Lianhua Temple, and the Hidden Sun sect, leaving the 10,000 Beast sect with three inheritances, Buddha, Demon and Taoism. The mainstream monks of the 10,000 Beast sect still follow the path of cultivating spiritual pets. The strength of the traditional monks of the 10,000 Beast sect is not weak with the addition of a spiritual pet. When fighting a monk of the same level, it is equivalent to two against one. Not to mention that the Myriad Beast Sect's spiritual pet secret method can increase the coordination between the spirit dragon and itself, exerting stronger power. There are relatively few monks who practice other inheritances, and their strength will be somewhat suppressed. Even for Lei Xiu, due to the small number of Lei Xiu and the short training time, Lei Xiu's position in the 10,000 Beast Sect is embarrassing. But the appearance of Li Taibai made Lei Xiao feel proud again. Lei Xiao has his own ancestor. Just like Li Shiming is the ancestor of the traditional monks of the 10,000 Beast sect. The ancestors mentioned here refer to the ancestors who cultivate their own lineage. Li Shiming has a powerful spiritual pet and has always been considered by the 10,000 Beasts sect as the authentic inheritance of the 10,000 Beasts sect. At least this is what the great monks such as Brother who and others have promoted. Now that the lay cultivators have their own ancestors, their cohesion and centripetal force towards the 10,000 beasts sect has been greatly increased, which is a good thing for the 10,000 beasts sect. Li Taibai's appearance not only has these benefits, but also for the monks from other traditions of the 10,000 beasts sect. Because the 10,000 beasts sect has a second powerful person, they also have a stronger centripetal force towards the 10,000 beasts sect. Today, Li Taibai and Li Shiming came to the Thunder Prison together. Although the 10,000 Beast sect announced in advance that Lei Xiao needed to leave the Thunder Prison, the two powerful men had to occupy the Thunder Prison for a period of time. But the Thunder Cultivators did not leave. It was not that they were unwilling to recognize the Thunder Prison. They wanted to meet Li Taibai, the great Thunder Cultivator, their ancestor, when Li Taibai appeared. Even if his aura of powerful Thunder Cultivators was restrained, he could still make all the Thunder Cultivators feel extremely friendly. Disciples kneel down to worship the two ancestors. 
The lay cultivators rarely got down on their knees and saluted Li Shiming and Li Tai Bai. Everyone, get up. It will take a long time to occupy the Thunder Prison. This time, I have prepared a temporary training place for you, Li Tai Bai said with a smile. Li Shiming deliberately let Li Tai Bai speak, but he learned about Li Tai Bai's influence on Lei Xiao. Li Tai Bai waved his hand, and hundreds of formation flags fell on the ground a hundred miles apart in the Thunder Prison. He injected a lightning energy into each formation flag. This is a modified version of the Spirit Gathering Formation, which will convert all the collected spiritual energy into Thunder spiritual energy. Because it is the lightning energy injected by the great power of Thunder Repair, the quality of the transformed Thunder spiritual power is infinitely close to the high energy level. Of course, this revised version of the Spirit Gathering Formation also differentiates its power in different layers. The closer to the core of the formation, the higher the quality of the Thunder spiritual power. And the farther to the periphery, the lower the quality of the Thunder spiritual power. This makes the revised Spirit Gathering Formation adaptable to various levels of late cultivator training. As long as you find the level that suits you, you can get the most appropriate enhancement effect. Li Tai Bai also practices the Jade Pure Thunder Code, which makes the effect of this revised Spirit Gathering Formation even more effective for this group of Thunder cultivators who also practice the Jade Pure Thunder Code. Li Shiming ignored Li Tai Bai. He had already entered the Thunder Prison and began to make preparations. This time he is preparing to refine the Flying Yiksha, which is already the strongest corpse refiner in the legend. It's a pity that in today's world of immortality, we can only hear its name but never see the real Flying Yiksha. Before he explored the ancient ruins, he still had doubts about the existence of Flying Yiksha. But after seeing most of the half-step fifth-level corpse refining, he believed that there had been a fifth-level Flying Yiksha in the world of immortality before. There may even be fifth grade, flying yiksha, in some ancient ruins. To set up the corpse refining formation. This time he used 36 half-step fifth grade corpse refining materials to set up the corpse refining formation. The value of the materials here alone is inestimable. After the corpse refining array is set up, it will take time for the corpse refining array to convert a sufficient amount of cold energy. Li Shiming took Lung Luo's body into the computer room. He combined the previously extracted blood of Lung Luo with some precious materials and added his own spirit to refine it into a rune. Then use rune ink to draw the corpse refining rune. The corpse refining rune is an important basis for transforming the corpse into a refined corpse. Since Lang Luo's powerful body is a high-level body, it can withstand a larger number of corpse refining runes. Based on the strength of Lang Luo's powerful body, Z15 gave an analysis conclusion that this body can withstand up to 600 billion corpse refining runes but to draw 600 billion corpse refining runes, even if Li Shiming had 191 brains, the time and energy required would be extremely staggering. Therefore, he needed a more effective method of drawing the corpse refining rune to greatly shorten the time for drawing the runes. Li Shiming asked C15 to find the most suitable skills from a large number of classics. He has been in the world of immortal cultivation for so many years and has obtained countless skills. His collection of classics exceeds that of any superpower and covers multiple places of cultivation. Z15, I found a spiritual cultivation technique called Avalokitesvara Avalokitesvara. Thousand Hand Guanin Avalokitesvara is a Buddhist visualization method. Its effect is rather strange. It turns oneself into a thousand spiritual clones. In the world of immortality, there are many ways to differentiate the spirit, but the differentiated spirit will be much weaker. It is not a problem to do some ordinary things. But it is not, okay, when it is necessary to control energy for detailed manipulation. For example, the thousands of swords in Sword Intent to the Sky can even control the attack of every flying sword among the 10,000 swords. Because it can be done without being too precise. But it is impossible to divide the spirit into multiple parts and then draw or inscribe runes on each spirit. This is talking about other monks. But after Li Shiming was promoted to Almighty, his 191 spirits have reached the extremely high level of Almighty Realm. Although it is impossible to achieve fine control of energy with 1,000 spiritual points, it is possible to achieve fine control with 1,000 spiritual points. Thousand Hand Avalokitesvara Guanin is a spiritual cultivation technique that divides the spirit into a thousand, and it is among the best of its kind. Li Shiming used 100 brains to divide them through the Thousand Hand Avalokitesvara Guanin record, which was equivalent to drawing 100,000 corpse refining runes at the same time. 
Of course, this cannot be accomplished by himself, even with the thousand armed Avalokitesvara, and requires the cooperation of Z15. With the help of Z15, the corpse refining rune was drawn on Lun Luo's powerful body in the computer room space according to the design plan. Even if 100,000 corpse refining runes were drawn at the same time, it took 40 days to complete the drawing of 600 billion corpse refining runes. Lun Luo's body was completely covered with dense corpse refining runes because these corpse refining runes were too small. The body looked light red. Li Shiming carefully set Lung Luo's powerful body out of the computer room and placed it in the corpse refining formation. He activated the corpse refining formation. After such a long period of gathering, the corpse refining formation was filled with cold energy. These cold and cold energies are affected by the half-step fifth-level corpse refining materials and possess the quality of half-step fifth-level corpse refining. As for the corpse refining rune on the skin of Lung Luo's powerful body, the rune used in it is mainly made of the blood in Lung Luo's corpse. And its quality is fifth grade. This kind of talisman is Li Shiming's original creation. And it is also unique in the world of immortality. Through the blood of the powerful, combined with some other materials, it was refined into talisman ink. Instead of the talisman ink refined with the fifth grade corpse refining blood, the energy conversion took Z15 a lot of time to study. Of, as the cold energy was absorbed by Lung Luo's powerful body, the 600 billion corpse refining runes on the surface of Lung Luo's powerful body emitted light, which marked that the corpse refining runes were activated. As time passed, Lung Luo's body was also undergoing qualitative changes, transforming from a corpse into a refined corpse, a kind of undead life. The original rules in Lung Luo's powerful body were also reactivated one by one by the corpse refining runes, becoming the source of power for corpse refining. The first thing that appeared in the refining corpse was the rule root of power. This was not the rule mark of power, but the complete rule rune that only appeared in the body of the powerful. The power rule rune is followed by the defense rule rune, and finally the speed rule rune, which consumes 10 million of the energy of the corpse refining rune. Then came the thunder and lightning rule rune, and the space rule rune. The thunder and lightning rule rune consumed 40 million of the corpse refining rune energy and the space rule rune consumed 10 million the energy of the corpse refining rune but Ling Luo's powerful body was not the same as when he was refining it before mutations occurred in the corpse after completing the final transformation this powerful body still maintained its human form without any changes even the fangs and sharp nails that should appear normally in the corpse refinement did not grow this made the refined corpse look no different from a normal human being. But Li Shiming could sense that there was energy gathering behind the refined corpse. A pair of black wings appeared behind the corpse. The pure black color made the wings look very strange. The black wings are a fusion of space energy, thunder and lightning energy, and cold energy. In Li Shiming's perception, these black wings are not entities, but energy manifestations. This should be the real flying Iksha. After seeing the black winged corpse, Li Shiming had an enlightened thought in his mind. At this time, all the 600 billion corpse refining runes on the surface of Flying Yiksha disappeared. And the Power Rule runes, Defense Rule runes, Speed Rule runes, and Thunder Rule runes were bred. And Space Rule runes are all in the soul fire in his body. The soul fire of Flying Yiksha is also somewhat special. The soul fire is golden. Just when Li Shiming was observing the Flying Yiksha, a power of heaven and earth was gathering in the sky. Li Shiming couldn't help but patted his head. He almost delayed something important. There was a sky strike thunder hammer in his hand, and the thunder resistant secret method blessed with the power of Chisha Thunder Bead was applied to Flying Yiksha. Flying Yiksha screamed at the sky, and it seemed extremely angry at the intolerance of heaven and earth. Li Shiming hurriedly comforted him. If he really angered the world, the power of the heavenly tribulation would not be easy to bear. Thunderclouds appeared in the sky, and thunder and lightning rolled in the thunderclouds. Thunder fell from the sky and hit the body of Flying Yiksha. Due to the attribute restraint, the damage received by Flying Yiksha from the sky thunder attack is double the normal life. The thunder resistant secret method issued by Li Shiming weakened the power of the sky thunder. But the Flying Yiksha was still very uncomfortable. 
thunder struck down one after another, and even if he wanted to help, there was nothing he could do at this time. This was a powerful sky thunder. Even if he used all the defensive methods, he could not resist the blast of the sky thunder. At first, Flying Yiksha only used its body to block the first few thunder bombardments. Its body defense was extremely amazing, even though its attributes were naturally incompatible. Flying Yiksha did not suffer much damage. Each of the next few Sky Thunders will cause damage to Flying Yiksha, and the damage caused by the latter Sky Thunder will be more serious than the previous one. When the eighth Thunder struck, the whole body of Flying Yiksha was charred black. Its recovery power was extremely amazing, and the damage it suffered was recovering rapidly. The only thing on its body that was not affected was the pair of black wings on its back. Just when the ninth Thunder was about to fall, Flying Yiksha felt the crisis of death. Flying Yiksha roared. Its muscles contracted. Its skin tightened. And its whole body was no longer a normal color, but turned into a bronze color. The eyelids of its eyes disappeared, forming round red eyes. Teeth and nails grew out, forming fangs and claws. Its hair became thicker, twisting like venomous snakes. The black wings on the back have enlarged several times, making the body appear thinner after the muscles have contracted. This form of Flying Yiksha completely transformed into another inhuman form, and it howled again at the thunderclouds in the sky. Chapter 1032 Test Li Shiming realized clearly that this form of Flying Yiksha was the complete fighting form of Flying Yiksha. The ninth thunderbolt fell, so powerful that Li Shiming felt his scalp numb. The figure of Flying Yiksha flashed, and the spatial movement caused it to appear in the sky. He actively stood in front of the sky thunder, and pulled out ten cutting marks in front of him with both hands. This is caused by the sharp claws on its ten fingers. The sharp claws cut open the void. This is also the application of space ability. Part of the power of the sky thunder was swallowed up by the cut void. But the cut void only existed for a moment before it was blown into pieces by the sky thunder. The body of Flying Yiksha keeps retreating. And every time it retreats a little distance, ten marks of cutting space will be formed in front of it. As the sky thunder falls, it is constantly being swallowed up and consumes energy to destroy the cut void. Flying Yiksha possesses the Speed Rule Rune, and combined with the Space Rule Rune, it can produce such an effect. The bombardment speed of Tian Lei is the fastest among all energy attacks. If it were not for the cooperation of Space Rules and Speed Rules, it would be impossible to retreat and defend like this. However, Flying Yiksha cannot really completely consume the power of the Sky Thunder, mainly because there is too little space and time for it to operate. In the end, the Sky Thunder bombarded the body of Flying Yiksha. Flying Yiksha protected its whole body with its wings, and at the same time, a space barrier appeared on the outermost periphery. The Sky Thunder easily blasted away the space barrier, and then hit the black wings. The huge black wings continue to have black energy rising under the attack of the Sky Thunder. Since the black wings are actually made of energy, the black wings under attack did not break, but continued to shrink. When the black wings shrank to the point where they could no longer cover the body, thunder struck the body of Flying Yiksha. The contracted muscles and outer skin became the strongest defense of Flying Yiksha. But the skin was still broken and the muscles were burned black under the attack of the sky thunder. The body of Flying Yiksha fell heavily from the air. And at this time the ninth thunder also ended. Li Shiming was not impatient. He could sense that Flying Yiksha had not fallen. The damage suffered by Flying Yiksha was very serious, but it survived the catastrophe. Sure enough, within a moment, the flying Yiksha flew up from the ground and into the sky. It has recovered from the fighting state, and its whole body looks extremely miserable. Only the roots of the wings on the back were left, and there were cracks crisscrossing the body, and the internal bones could be faintly seen. These wounds occupied most of its body, and at this time, the wounds everywhere were squirming and trying hard to recover. It's just that the residual power of the sky thunder in the wound made the recovery not smooth. After three breaths, the thunder and lightning energy and cold energy in the body of Flying Yiksha were fired together, driving away all the remaining thunder in the body. After another ten breaths, the wounds on Flying Yiksha were almost healed. Li Shiming originally thought that the injury of Flying Yiksha would have to wait for treatment with the energy rewarded by heaven and earth. But he did not expect that the recovery power of Flying Yiksha was so amazing. Of course, if there were a powerful person who saw the performance of Flying Yiksha, he would probably be more surprised than him. Even Flying Yiksha 
shouldn't have such resilience. It was at this time that the energy rewarded by heaven and earth appeared inexplicably in the body of Flying Yipshaw, comprehensively strengthening his body, soul fire, and energy in his body. Li Shiming smiled. With Flying Yipshaw, it is even more suitable for fighting than Li Tai Bai. Of course, he also has some experience in refining the fifth grade corpse. And this success is still a lot of luck. If he hadn't chosen Lung Luo's powerful body as the material for refining the corpse, so that the refined corpse would have thunder attributes. Perhaps, Flying Yikshaw would not have been able to survive the catastrophe so easily. The heaven and earth reward energy on Flying Yikshaw disappeared, and the figure flashed to Li Shiming's side. Li Shiming nodded to Flying Yikshaw, and the wings behind Flying Yikshaw disappeared, almost no different from ordinary monks. But he knows how terrifying Flying Yikshaw is. Flying Yikshaw is a fifth-level corpse refiner. It has the power defense and speed of a normal corpse refiner, as well as lightning and space capabilities. This allows Flying Yikshaw to attack from a distance, engage in close combat, and defend. Its spatial ability allows it to ignore distance. The most critical thing is that Flying Yikshaw has the strongest grasp of the rules of space, including his own. This is related to the special nature of corpse refining. Lun Luo has mastered the rules of space. Although he is not very powerful, Li Shiming used 100 billion corpse refining runes to transform the space rules. So many corpse refining runes. One, forcibly added space rules. And the final effect was to enhance the space ability of Flying Yikshaw to an unimaginable level. Li Shiming took the Flying Yikshaw back. But what happened in the Thunder Prison has been spread. He refined the Flying Yikshaw. And there are still traces of the heavenly tribulations of the fifth level corpse refining especially since there are a lot of heavenly tribulations on his side. The intelligence personnel sent by the superpowers have studied the corresponding knowledge. This news made everyone even more frightened. And they completely extinguished any thoughts of going against him. Li Shiming has two free powerful men and a flying yiksha, which is equivalent to three powerful men. In addition, there are only some descriptions in the classics about the strength of flying yiksha. And there are almost no powerful people who have actually seen it. Therefore, the combat power of Flying Yikshaw cannot be guessed, and can only be estimated based on the highest. And Li Shiming has the ability to refine 5th grade high level elixirs, which means that if the powerful ones want to improve themselves, they need to ask for his help. Therefore, even if there are powerful people who want to organize other powerful people to attack Li Shiming, not many powerful people will respond. It is impossible for a group of powerful clones to surround Lung Luo and kill him again. Lung Luo only had one strength at that time, and he repeatedly broke the rules of the world of immortality and angered all the powerful people. Only then did he suffer a group of powerful clones. Of Siege Li Shiming was about to return to the 10,000 Beasts sect when he suddenly turned his head and looked at a place where the formation that Li Tai Bai had previously established for the late cultivators was located. He spent nearly two months this time, and the time he spent in the Thunder Prison was much shorter than he expected. In other words, the Thunder Cultivators of the 10,000 Beasts sect had been in that formation for nearly two months. He found that one of the late cultivators had a trace of thunder and lightning rule aura rising from his body. This breath of thunder and lightning rules is very weak. The realm of this Thunder Cultivator is the middle stage of Yuanying. He can feel a hint of the breath of thunder and lightning rules in the middle stage of Yuanying. His talent of thunder and lightning cultivation is top-notch. As he was thinking about it, his mind moved slightly and Li Tai Bai appeared in the formation in a flash, standing in front of Lei Xiu. Lei Xiu, who was practicing, felt something in his heart. He looked up and saw Li Tai Bai's figure. Tangja has met the ancestor, Lei Xiu said with a look of admiration in his eyes. Okay, to Li Tai Bai with a big salute. Your name is Tangja. Do you have a master? Li Tai Bai asked lightly. Tangja was overjoyed when he heard this. He was not an idiot. The meaning of Li Tai Bai's question was self-evident. Ancestor, Tangja doesn't have a master. He is currently practicing on his own through the inheritance of the Jade Pure Thunder Code. Tangja replied honestly. This is not surprising. The 10,000 Bees sect has only accepted Lei Xiu disciples for more than a hundred years. Tangja is already in the middle stage of nascent soul. And there is a high chance that he will join the 10,000 Bees sect halfway. Since the Yuching sect became a sect, many Lei Xiu who originally belonged to the Yuching sect have lost their sect and become casual cultivators. The 10,000 Beasts sect has a complete inheritance of the Jade Pure Thunder Code. 
This alone can attract most of the thunder cultivators in the world of immortality. As for the loyalty of these Latio, the oath of joining the sect, and the training of the sect, it is still very easy to win Latio's heart. For sects that are more than 10,000 years old, there is a complete system. Li Shiming had already checked Tangja's situation at this time. With his authority, he quickly obtained Tangja's information. Tangja, originally a descendant of Lei Xio, a member of the Yuching sect, did not officially join the Yuching sect. He also wanted to join the Yuching sect at the beginning. But at that time, the Yuching sect had been tossed into disarray by Li Shiming. He followed the basic part of the Jade Pure Thunder Code left by his family predecessors to practice. After reaching the Golden Elixir stage, he met the 10,000 Beasts sect recruiting Lei Xio disciples. So he joined the 10,000 Beasts sect. After arriving at the 10,000 Beasts sect, his talent and his own hard work continued to complete the sect's tasks and obtained a large amount of resources, allowing him to be promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul in just over a hundred years. This is actually thanks to Li Shiming. Li Shiming brought a huge amount of resources to the 10,000 Beasts sect. Some of them were directly invested in the 10,000 Beasts sect and some were obtained because of Li Shiming's influence, which allowed the 10,000 Beasts sect to trade around. The 10,000 Beasts sect is in a period of rapid development, so some talented young people will naturally receive special attention. Li Shiming saw that the sect's intelligence department had a very good opinion of Tangxia, which made him want to accept a disciple. Of course, it was impossible for him to accept the disciple. But Li Tai Bai. Li Tai Bai is the great master of Lei Xio, and as the great master of Lei Xio, he accepts Tangja as his disciple. Tangja kept bowing, waiting anxiously for Li Tai Bai's reply. He knew very well that this was an opportunity for a carp to leap over the dragon's gate, and he didn't want to let it go. But whether Li Tai Bai accepts him as his disciple is not something he can control. The only thing he can do is to show his best side. Tangja, are you willing to join my family? Li Tai Bai asked lightly. Disciple is willing. Tangja immediately knelt down in front of Li Tai Bai and said excitedly, there are conditions for joining my sect. If you can be promoted to a great monk within 10 years, I will accept you as a disciple. Li Taibai waved his hand and said. Then he placed a jade bottle in front of Tangja and said, These are some mid-stage nascent soul cultivation resources. Remember them for 10 years. This is a test. As a powerful Li Taibai, he cannot be too casual about accepting disciples. If he really accepts disciples at will, it will be too easy for Tangja. Tangja held on to the jade bottle tightly. He was about to speak, but found that Li Taibai in front of him had disappeared at some point. He carefully opened the jade bottle, sensed it with his spiritual consciousness, and found that it was full of fourth grade high level elixirs for cultivation in the middle stage of nascent soul. Looking at the quality of these fourth grade high level elixirs, you can tell that they were refined by ancestor Li Shiming himself. In the world of immortality, only Li Shiming has such elixir making abilities. And since Li Shiming was promoted to a great monk, he rarely refined elixirs for non-great monks. After Li Shiming was promoted to a powerful person, even the great monk's elixir would not be used, which made the elixir refined by Li Shiming even more precious. On the one hand, it is of high value. The high-level elixir refined by Li Shiming has an even more obvious effect on improving cultivation. I can definitely do it, Tangja said to himself forcefully. Li Taibai returned to Li Shiming and the two looked at each other and smiled. Because of the existence of Z-15, Li Shiming could almost feel the subtle difference in the monk's talent. In his eyes, Tangja's talent is top-notch among the Lei Xiao he has seen. As long as Tangja is given some conditions, Tangja can grow up quickly. Li Shiming is planning to leave a powerful successor to the 10,000 Beasts sect, and Tangja is one of the alternatives and the only one at the moment. He was not only preparing Tangja, but also wanted to select several more monks within the 10,000 Beasts sect for training. Of course, he will only choose monks who are worthy of training. He will not help those monks who require him to spend a lot of resources to push them forward. One Yin Shiruan is enough. No matter how many resources you have, it will not be wasted like that. Li Shiming conducted a pass test on Flying Yiksha. With Flying Yiksha at full combat power, even he had to deal with it carefully. Flying Yiksha surpasses the currently shimming in both thunder and space. This is also beneficial. By studying the lightning rule runes and space rule runes of Flying Yiksha, Li Shiming has grown his own thunder and lightning rules and space rules again. It's been a long learning process, but he can feel his progress every day. After refining the first Flying Yiksha, Li Shiming did not continue refining it. There is another powerful human body in his hand, 
and that is the body of the powerful sword cultivator. As for the physical body brought back from ancient ruins, it is still an empty and living body. Li Shiming was not planning to use the empty body brought back from the ancient ruins. He had recently been nourishing the body with his own spirit, trying to cultivate that body into his own spare body. Through Z15 simulation, he found a way to use the spare body. He placed his spare body in the cave sky, and the cave sky nourished his body every day. Once his physical body is destroyed outside, Dantian will be transferred to the spare physical body. Since the spare physical body is of high energy level, his strength will not even weaken. He would not make this choice unless he had to. Without his own body, he was almost cut off from taking any further steps. This was unacceptable to him. So even with a variety of life-saving means, he still maintained a sense of awe. Chapter 1033 Yuanba Li Yuanba, who had already been sent back to Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion, has improved faster than imagined. First of all, like Li Shiming's cave, its energy output is more than 200 times that of the ordinary powerful cave. In addition, and most importantly, since Li Shiming was promoted to powerful, Li Shiming's understanding of the rules has also been shared with Li Yuanba. This allowed Li Yuanba to master the three rules of Sword Intention Rules space rules, and gold system rules, and share Li Shiming's understanding of these three rules. All three rules were upgraded to a powerful level. The only thing he has to wait for is for Dong Tian to reach the ultimate level of half-step power. In the 50th year after Li Shiming was promoted to powerful, Li Yuanba's cave sky also reached a state of full energy. Within the cave with a radius of 10,000 meters, metallic energy fills every space. He vaguely sensed that the opportunity for a breakthrough was right in front of him and he only needed to push it away with his hands. He did not break through immediately, but summoned Lei Gong and asked Lei Gong to send his message out. When Jian Lao received the news from Li Yuanba, he still couldn't believe it. Although Li Shiming's pearls were in front of him, Li Yuanba stayed in the half-step power stage for much longer than Li Shiming. But things don't compare like this. Li Shiming's promotion speed is not normal at all. It would take at least a thousand years for a half-step master to raise his understanding of the rules to a very high level, and accumulate enough energy for the cave. This is still a half-step almighty talent that is extremely good, without encountering any bottlenecks along the way. Most of the half-step powers will be stuck in the bottleneck of the small realm of half-step powers. One card will last a lifetime until their lifespan is exhausted. Li Yuanba had only been in seclusion for a long time, and he was about to be promoted to a powerful person. How could Elder Jian not be surprised? I was just surprised, but also happy. Another free powerful man is about to appear in Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, which makes Mr. Jian feel that he is the ancestor of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. While he was guarding the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion, he was able to cultivate a free and powerful man who could match the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. Of course, now is not the time to be happy. Since Li Yuanba is going to be promoted, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion must prepare in advance. Sword intent issued a warning to the mountain gate formation of Xiaoga Pavilion. Many sword cultivators who heard this sound were startled, and some could not believe the warning they heard. This warning is an order for Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion to be raised to the highest alert. All sword cultivators in Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion must return to the mountain gate immediately, as long as they are within the scope of Zhongzhou Continent. Fortunately, there is a space receiving formation. The sword cultivators who received the news from Sword Intention Chongshao Pavilion, no matter where they were or what they were doing, all activated the space receiving function in the Identity Jade Disc and teleported back to Sword Intention Chongshao Pavilion. Shao Pavilion. The unusual behavior of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion naturally attracted the attention of other superpowers, especially the remaining superpowers in Zhongzhou Continent. The formation of the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion is activated to the extreme, and at the same time, a terrifying Sword Intent is hidden. This is one of the foundations of the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion, and it is the Sword Intent left behind by the great sword cultivators of the past. As long as there is an enemy who dares to attack, the remaining sword intent can be sent out at once. Enough to kill any powerful body. This is the aura deliberately leaked by Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, warning any monks who have the idea of peeping into Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. The sword cultivators station themselves in the mountain gate formation and strengthen the mountain gate formation to the extreme. Even Jian Lao himself stood in the sky above Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, with his clone standing aside. All these operations are for one thing which is to protect Li Yuanba from the tribulation. We can't blame Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion for being so nervous. In the past few thousand years, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion will be the first free power to be born. 
and we can't attach too much importance to it. Not only sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion, but also any superpower that has the birth of freedom and power will fully mobilize the defense of the mountain gate to prevent the outside world from affecting the tribulation. Only Li Shiming, who didn't know anything, went through the disaster on his own without any precautions. You must know that the process of overcoming the tribulation is extremely dangerous. If you are not careful, you will be harassed and affected by the outside world, which will lead to death. Li Shiming is ignorant and fearless. In addition, Dong Chi Continent is far away from other superpowers. So he can successfully overcome the disaster without causing much trouble. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion is located in Zhongzhou Continent, where there are many superpower neighbors. In addition, I don't know how many superpowers have always coveted the Zhongzhou Continent. They take every opportunity to target the superpowers of the Zhongzhou Continent. If we really give them a chance, it will definitely destroy the enhancement of the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. A huge gap appeared in the formation of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion, where Li Yuanba overcame the tribulation. Lei Gong took Li Yuanba's cave sky bearing space stone to the designated place, which was also built specifically for the heavenly tribulation. The cave sky bearing space stone was placed on the ground, and the thunder god retreated to the distance. It was guarded by another thunder god, the red devil, the golden body bodhisattva protector, and the thunder beast. If there is really any danger, these half-step fifth grade spiritual pets can still provide a certain degree of protection. Jian Lao looked at a bunch of half-step fifth grade spiritual pets and couldn't help but shook his head. The relationship between Li Shiming and Li Yuanba was really good. He also went to Beishu Continent through the intelligence network to investigate the affairs between Li Yuanba and Li Shiming and found that Li Yuanba and Li Shiming had been friends as early as low-level monks. Of course, Mr. Jian also knew that Li Shirjin was a pseudonym and Li Shiming was the real name. But when it comes to Li Shiming's level, it doesn't matter what name he has. He can be called whatever he wants. And it doesn't matter whether he has a fake name or a real name. What Jian Lao can be sure of is that Li Shiming has sent so many half-step fifth grade spiritual pets to Li Yuanba. And the friendship between the two cannot be faked. When Li Yuanba is promoted to a powerful person, then Li Yuanba will have a close friend who can help him in the powerful realm. Perhaps there is more than one close confidant. Considering that Li Shiming also has Li Taibai, the great master of freedom, and the fifth grade, flying Yiksha, that Li Shiming has recently refined. One can almost imagine that Li Yuanba and Li Shiming alone have a lot of potential. The strength can influence the entire circle of powerful people in the world of immortality. The higher your level, the harder it is to have truly trustworthy friends. Li Shiming lent his half-step fifth grade spiritual pet to Li Yuanba, which showed that the relationship between them was closer than that of normal friends. Regarding this matter, Mr. Jian was a little envious of Li Yuanba. Friends are easy to find. But close friends you can truly trust are rare. Only monks like Li Yuanba and Li Shiming who have known each other since they were low-level monks can maintain the most sincere friendship. After Li Yuanba adjusted his condition, he took out the Bai Chao pill and put it into his mouth without swallowing it. He stepped out of the cave and came to the outside world. Feeling the rules of the outside world. Compared with his own cave, the rules of the outside world are too rich making it difficult for him to adapt. Within a moment, the repulsive force of heaven and earth arose on him, and he felt as if he was suddenly against the entire world. In the sky, thunderclouds began to gather. Li Yuanba observed the thunderclouds in the sky and used the remote Z-15 to analyze the situation of the thunderclouds. After seeing the energy gathering of thundercloud, he breathed a sigh of relief. At least for now. It seems that the power of this tribulation is still within an acceptable range. He mobilized the magical power of innate emu and blessed the effect through innate jianmu tree heart, superimposing several innate emu magical effects on himself. He took out another jade talisman, which was the thunder resistant secret magic talisman made by Li Shiming. It is a pity that among the blank talismans that Li Shiming brought back from Yundahai, even the best quality ones could not withstand the secret technique of thunder resistance cast by the great powers. Fortunately, Li Shiming killed several powerful people and obtained some high-level jade talisman materials from them so that he could make a high-level thunder-resistant secret magic talisman. This is to overcome the tribulation. The thunder and lightning secret technique in the talisman must be in a complete state. If a fourth-grade top-grade jade talisman is used to carry it, only part of the power of the thunder-resistant secret technique can be obtained. Li Yuanba did not give up even half a step and activated the Thunder-resistant secret magic talisman. 
to enhance his status. He inspired the Shingi Sword, which contained the astonishingly powerful Chaos Sword Intent. Yuan Ba's Sword Intent has become stronger again. Jian Lao felt the Chaos Sword Intent in Shing Yi's sword and said to himself with emotion, it is extremely difficult for a normal monk to improve after reaching the half-step high level. But look at Li Yuanba. The Chaos Sword Intent contained in his sword has almost reached the ultimate level of half-step power. Even if it weren't for the limitations of Li Yuanba's own realm, the power of this Chaos Sword Intention would be even stronger. Even though Mr. Jian knew that Li Yuanba was a genius, he never thought that Li Yuanba's talent would be so high. Not only the Sword Master is paying attention to Li Yuanba, but all the powerful sword cultivators in the Sword Intention Cheng Shao Pavilion are observing Li Yuanba's actions. This is a rare opportunity to experience the promotion process of a powerful person through the formation of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. Maybe there is a swordsman who can gain insights from it and greatly improve his own strength. With a boom sound, the first thunder fell from above Jioshio. The sky thunder turned into a silver dragon in the air, and the dragon's head was facing Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba waved his hand and drew a sword light one foot in front of him. After the sword light was cut out, a spatial crack was cut out in front of him. When Jian Lao saw this sword, he couldn't help but twitch his mouth. Perhaps other sword cultivators thought that Li Yuanba cut through the void with his powerful sword intent. But in his eyes, he discovered that Li Yuanba had used his spatial ability to create a spatial crack in front of him. And Li Yuanba's sword was more to stabilize the space crack. When the sky thunder fell, it first came into contact with the space crack. At least half of the power of this sky thunder fell into the space crack. Li Yuanba showed a proud smile. He learned this trick from Flying Yiksha. The process of Flying Yiksha overcoming the tribulation is that he uses his fighting instinct to fight. And his fighting method is more about stimulating all the power of rules through instinct. Whether it is Li Shiming or Li Yuanba. The previous application of spatial rules focused on using spatial rules for movement. Now using space cracks for defense. The effect is still excellent. The power of space forms a defensive shield, which is far less practical than the space cracks. Of course, if you are fighting an intelligent enemy, the defensive shield built by the power of space is better, because it takes a lot of effort to create a space crack. And the intelligent enemy only needs to deliberately bypass the space crack. The remaining power of the sky thunder was once again weakened by Li Yuanba's chaos sword intent, and finally hit him. Li Yuanba's physique is not as good as Li Shiming's. But after all, he has cultivated the sword body of Sword Intention Cheng Shaoju and is nourished in the cave every day by more than 200 times the energy of the ordinary powerful cave. His physique is better than normal. Mighty power is a bit stronger. The final power of this first thunderbolt only made his hair stand up and did not cause him any harm. After a while, the second thunder fell. Li Yuanba used the same response method. Half of the power of the sky thunder was swallowed up by the space crack and the remaining part was easy to deal with. He dealt with the thunder falling time and time again. Jian Lao, who was watching from a distance, had a strange look on his face. It's not that Li Yuanba's method of dealing with the sky thunder is amazing, but that Li Yuanba's method of dealing with the sky thunder is too specific, and he can always handle the power of the sky thunder just right. Just like Li Yuanba had predicted the thunder in advance and could judge the power of the thunder, so he could deal with it calmly. Jian Lao didn't know that his judgment was true. Li Yuanba had predicted the power of the thunder and dealt with it calmly. Among the monks in the world who have researched on heavenly thunder, it is definitely Li Shiming. Li Shiming's cultivation days were not long, and many monks in the world of immortality far surpassed him. But the number of sky thunders he has faced in his life is definitely the most among all monks. Every birth of a spiritual pet needs to face a catastrophe. These experiences, combined with the computing power of Z15, can predict the power of natural disasters with considerable accuracy. When the seventh thunderbolt started, Li Yuanba was seriously injured. The sky thunder caused a large area of lightning damage on his body. But with the magical power of innate emu blessed by innate jianmu tree heart, his injuries were quickly restored. The innate emu, energy stored in the body in advance, will be used to treat wounds whenever there are wounds on the body. After the eighth thunderbolt fell, he was seriously injured. Before the ninth thunderbolt fell, the magical energy of Sientian Emu repaired his body. The last thunderbolt is also the most powerful. You and Ba, use the talisman I gave you when necessary. Don't save. Mr. Jian couldn't help but become nervous. And he shouted towards Li Yuanba. It was impossible for Li Yuanba to directly overcome the calamity 
with sword in Tianxin Cheng Shao Pavilion. What Jian La took out was a high-level talisman, which could form a high-level defensive shield after being used. This is to enhance the chance of overcoming the tribulation. But once this powerful talisman is used, the power of the next thunder will be doubled. Therefore, it can only be used on the last sky thunder. So even if high-level talismans can be used, the number of monks who have actually passed the heavenly tribulation is still very small. Chapter 1034 Powerful Thick sky thunder fell from the thunder clouds. And the old swordsman couldn't help but change his expression slightly. Li Yuanba also looked solemn. He activated the sword body and added Chaos Sword Intention to the sword body, turning his body into a sharp sword. At the same time, the sword base appeared on his skin, forming a metallic film. Break it! He roared. The body turned into sword light and slashed towards the sky thunder. The previous space crack was too weak for the current sky thunder and could not consume much of the power of the sky thunder. Instead, he could only passively withstand the Sky Thunder attack. Now he slashed at the Sky Thunder with all his strength, and all the energy he could mobilize in his body was concentrated in this attack. In front of him, the Chaos Sword Intent broke through the void and collided with the falling thunder. With a click sound, his outer sword-based metal film only lasted less than a breath before breaking. Fortunately, the sword base is a special energy body. Even if it breaks, it can be converted into energy and returned to his body. Li Yuanba felt his body being attacked by thunder. He was not afraid, but instead showed a smile. Just now, he used his body as a sword and fired a sword with all his strength, allowing his body to directly cut away part of the sky thunder. When his body was struck by the thunder, his body was in the middle of the thunder. At least half of the power of the thunder had passed through both sides of his body and landed behind him. Due to the characteristics of Tian Lei, Tian Lei cannot turn around and attack. His single hand reduced the power of the Sky Thunder by half, and the rest depended on whether his body could support it. The lightning resistant secret method on his body made the thunder destroy his body a little slowly. The magical energy of Xian Tian Imu in his body began to work. The moment his body was injured, the magical energy of Xian Tian Imu healed his body. Until now, Li Yuanba has not used any other means. Like the treasure. Eye of the Storm. He has not even used it. He knew very well that if he really used the high-level treasure during the Heavenly Tribulation, the power of the Sky Thunder would definitely be strengthened. This was not what he wanted to happen. Although it is the last Sky Thunder, as long as the tail of the Sky Thunder does not leave the Thunder Cloud, the foreign objects mobilized by him are too powerful, which will allow the Sky Thunder to extract stronger Thunder energy from the Thunder Cloud. Kill again! Li Yuanba shouted again. This time, he drew out the energy from the cave sky, causing his originally suppressed body to burst out with terrifying sword light. The sword light slashed towards the thunder clouds above. When the sword light stopped in the sky thunder, he was already three quarters of the way into the sky thunder, very close to the thunder clouds above. This is risking one's life to survive, and not all monks can do this. It is not an easy task to cut through the sky thunder. It requires a strong enough sword intention. The Chaos Sword Intention is a powerful sword with such power, allowing him to reduce the thunder attacks he receives in this way. In fact, he reached three quarters of the height of the thunder, and the power of the thunder there was no longer enough for him to bear. The recovery speed of the magical energy of Sientian Imu is slightly faster than the damage speed of the sky thunder. The damage suffered by this sky thunder is strangely restored in the sky thunder. Finally, the final power of the ninth thunder disappeared and Li Yuanba only felt a lightness all over his body. He breathed a long sigh of relief. Even with Z-15's calculations, he analyzed that with his strength. He could completely survive the catastrophe. But in reality, facing the thunder was still extremely thrilling. The vitality in the Tian Jianmu tree heart was transformed by the magical power of Xian Imu and flowed into his injured body. All his injuries were recovering quickly and if it weren't for the scorch mark still remaining on his body a moment later, it would have looked like he was not injured. When Jian Lao saw that Li Yuanba successfully survived the catastrophe, the excitement on his face could no longer be suppressed. However, he also knew that he could not disturb Li Yuanba at this time. The next reward of energy from heaven and earth would be very important to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba stood in the sky, and the dark clouds above his head had dissipated. He could feel that the eyes of the entire 10,000 B sect were focused on him and he had no time to care. He was healing his body while waiting for the rewards from heaven and earth to arrive. 
The reward energy of heaven and earth is divided into two parts. One part appears in his body and strengthens him in all aspects. The other part entered his cave. This part of the energy triggered the connection between the outside world and the cave. And the rules of the outside world enter the cave. The reward energy of heaven and earth flowed in Li Yuanba's body. And his body and soul were pushed to a high energy level. From today on, he is truly a powerful person. Possessing a long and powerful life. Junior Brother Li. Congratulations. Jian Lao changed his title. After seeing the heaven and earth reward energy disappearing from Li Yuanba's body, he stepped forward with a smile and said, Thank you, Elder Sword Protector. Li Yuanba bowed and said, Okay, I knew you would be promoted to a powerful one one day, but I didn't expect that the day would come so early. If it weren't for a monster like Li Shurjin in front of you, your talent would be ranked first in the history of the world of immortality. Jian Lao sighed and said, It was only a few years ago. But he still remembered that when he first met Li Yuanba, he regarded Li Yuanba as a younger generation who could be cultivated. But it only took this junior a few hundred years to reach the same level as him. In a sense, Li Yuanba's achievements surpass Jian Lao's. Jian Lao has the power of inheritance. But Li Yuanba is the power of freedom. Master! Li Yuanba came to Jian Wu Wei and shouted with a solemn, Okay, salute. Yuanba! I'm honored for you! Jian Wu Wei helped Li Yuanba up and said with a smile. He didn't feel much about the fact that Li Yuanba's strength far exceeded his own. And he was just happy. Li Yuanba had already shown great talent in the northern Shu continent. Otherwise, how could Jian Wu Wei accept Li Yuanba in the northern Shu continent and pass on the sword intent to the sky technique? Dang! A bell rang from the sect. This bell was a rare object used to notify the other superpowers in Zhongzhou continent that a great power was born in sword intent Chengxiao Pavilion. There is no way to hide this kind of thing. The news of being promoted to a powerful person is really too big. In addition, the previous changes in Sword Intent Chengxiao Pavilion have long been paid attention to by various superpowers. Okay, I won't disturb Junior Brother anymore. Junior Brother, you still need to stabilize your realm and study the cave. Jian Lao waved his hand. Li Yuanba nodded, and his figure flashed back to the cave. The Thunder God who stayed outside put the Space Stone, a heritage of the cave into his body. The rest of the half-step fifth-level spiritual pets gathered around and protected the middle. Location of Thunder God. A group of half-step fifth-level spiritual pets returned the space stone. A Dantian inheritance. To Li Yuanba's cave. It would take at least several years. And Li Yuanba would not have time to show up. Li Yuanba's sword intent Chengxiao Pavilion was promoted to the great power of freedom. This incident did not cause panic in the world of immortality and was far less than the turmoil caused by Li Shiming's sudden promotion to the great power. In fact, this is related to Li Yuanba's identity. Li Yuanba is a disciple of Jianning Chengxiao Pavilion. In any case, he is one of the superpowers. Li Shiming is different. Li Shiming is not from a superpower. This kind of power rules the world of immortality. This makes Li Shiming's promotion arouse the vigilance of many powerful people. If Li Shiming hadn't had his own way, and solved the trouble through several battles, and his own alchemy ability. Perhaps Li Shiming would have been surrounded and killed by the powerful men. Li Yuanba was in seclusion. But Jian Lao had no time to rest. Although the bell had previously conveyed the news that a powerful figure had emerged from Jian Chongxiao Pavilion, the specific news that followed required Jian Lao to notify them one by one. Yuanba is so young. Should he still hold a sermon ceremony according to the rules? Jian Lao was hesitant in his heart. He informed the powerful officials and was also considering this matter. This matter is not something that should be discussed with the other sword cultivators in Jianyi Chengxiao Pavilion. This is a matter that belongs to the powerful. The rules of each superpower are that as long as a free power appears, the superpower is required to hold a sermon ceremony, and the newly promoted power will preach to all the monks. This symbolizes inheritance. And at the same time, it will also allow the newly promoted magnates to have a clearer understanding of themselves. Preaching is a great benefit to the audience and it can also be used to organize the magnates themselves. Own feelings. When will fellow Daoistly hold a sermon ceremony? Will I send a clone to go there? Almost every time I informed a powerful person. The powerful person had similar questions. Mr. Jian replied in unison and waited until Li Yuanba went into retreat before mentioning it. He needed to discuss it with Li Yuanba. Although Li Yuanba's strength has not caught up with Jian Lao now, it is only a matter of time. Now in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, Jian Lao and Li Yuanba have the same status. After waiting for a few years, 
Li Yuanbao will be stronger than Jian Lao, which is recognized by Jian Lao. The potential of the free power is huge, far beyond that of the inherited power. Li Yuanbao was promoted. And Li Shiming also received news about Jian Lao, and was the first to notify Li Shiming. Li Shiming didn't need Jian Lao's notification. After Li Yuanbao was successfully promoted, he poured himself a glass of spiritual wine to celebrate Li Yuanbao's promotion. Three years later, Li Yuanbao came out of seclusion. His cave did not have the same rules and completeness as the cave that inherited the great power. His cave is still full of metal energy, and only in the area near the core of the cave. There are rules from the outside world. These external rules, together with the gold rule runes, space rule runes and sword intention rule runes in the core, form a more stable Dongtian core system. The stability of the core of the cave sky also makes the cave sky more stable. His requirements for Dongtian are different. What he needs is a Dongtian that can improve his sword cultivation strength. So Dongtian still maintains the absolute purity of the metal energy. But even so, he just did the same operation as the sword cultivators of sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion before. He has another plan. But this one is a bit risky. If he were an independent individual, he might still be hesitant. He is just a clone. As long as he has a certain degree of certainty, he can take risks. He took out 10,000 swords peak and looked at 10,000 swords peak with a little reluctance. But he immediately made up his mind. And Wang Jianfeng flew into the cave sky and landed on the ground of the cave sky. 10,000 swords peak is sinking towards the ground. Perhaps this is not accurate. It should be said that 10,000 swords body is integrating with the cave sky and the ground. The reason why 10,000 swords peak is able to nurture flying swords into energy-based flying swords is due to some special mutations of 10,000 swords peak. 10,000 swords peak is one of Li Shiming's natal magic weapons. Z15 has conducted extremely in-depth research on 10,000 swords peak. But even so, Z15 cannot replicate the mutation of 10,000 swords peak since it cannot be copied. Z15 designed to use 10,000 swords peak to strengthen the energy that breathes the energized flying sword through the expansion of the cave. Since 10,000 swords peak was integrated into Li Yuanba's cave, Li Shiming's brain hurt inexplicably in the 10,000 B sect. That is to say, he has 191 brains. So the backlash brought by 10,000 swords peak is not that big. Sharp. Li Shiming felt that the connection between his natal magic weapon Wan Jianfeng, and himself was interrupted. And the spiritual mark he had implanted was being stripped away. Fortunately, even if the spiritual imprint left 10,000 swords peak, it was absorbed by Li Yuanba's cave. All these spiritual energy are in the hands of his family. The peak of 10,000 swords peak disappeared. And on the ground of the cave sky, a flying sword inserted into the ground appeared. There are 10,000 flying swords here. But the area where the energy flying swords are born covers the entire cave and ground. In the future, as long as Li Yuan buys time, he can either send the flying sword into the cave's sky and use the special abilities on the ground to transform the flying sword into an energy flying sword. Or he can use the combination of sword intent rules and gold system rules to generate individual flying swords. The flying sword is transformed into energy and then nourished by the special abilities on the ground. It is not that simple to integrate Wang Jianfeng with the cave sky and the ground. It requires detailed control of the cave sky and the ground. Li Yuanba completed this work under the guidance of Z15. At this time, the 10,000 energy flying swords inserted on the ground are absorbing the energy of the cave. With the strengthening of the cave energy, the 10,000 half-step high energy flying swords are evolving towards the high energy level. And the chaos sword intent bred within them is also increasing. The reason for this plan is that Dong Tian, who has obtained the power of sword cultivation, came up with this plan after studying the Dong Tian with the power of sword cultivation in Z15. The sword cultivator's Dong Tian is indeed extremely powerful. As long as a small part of the sword intent forest inside is mobilized, a large amount of sword light containing sword intent can be formed to attack the enemy. But the effect of the sword light attacking the enemy is not as good as that of a real flying sword. The reason why 10,000 swords peak could crush the same level and even kill enemies across levels in the past was precisely because the thousands of energy conforming flying swords in 10,000 swords peak were real flying swords, not made of flying swords. The sword light differentiated by the flying sword. The flying sword is blessed with sword intent. 
and the sword intent that is equivalent to the sword light blessing is many times different in power. Losing one. 10,000 swords peak would allow Dantian Infinity to cultivate more and stronger energy-based flying swords, which in his opinion was very cost-effective. In fact, after his strength reached the peak of the Great Monk, he rarely used 10,000 swords peak. The main reason is that his own combat power is not weaker than 10,000 swords peak, and ordinary enemies can be defeated with his own flying sword. Lose. Chapter 1035 Tai Chi. Li Yuanba came out of seclusion, and the aura on his body was extremely solid. After receiving the reward energy from heaven and earth, his sword body jumped to a great realm, reaching a high energy level sword body. The cave he lives in is not the cave of inheritance, but his cave inside the mountain gate of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. This is the cave where he first joined Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. It's not that he doesn't trust Jian Lao, but when he first becomes a powerful person, he needs to stay at his own cave. And those who protect the space stone that carries the cave are a few half-step fifth level spiritual pets. Let several half-step fifth grade spiritual pets enter the inheritance cave. Especially if these half-step fifth grade spiritual pets belong to an outsider likely shimming. Jian Lao will not feel comfortable. Hey! He let out a long sigh. Junior brother, why are you sighing? Jian Lao's figure suddenly appeared beside him and asked with a smile. Li Yuanba was not surprised. In fact, he knew that Jian Lao would appear through space movement the moment before he appeared. His mastery of space rules shares Li Shiming's space rules. And Li Shiming has been studying more profound space rules and making continuous progress in space rules. Li Yuanba's grasp of space rules is much better than Jian Lao's. Jian Lao only passively mastered the rules of space because he inherited the cave sky and used space movement for a long time in the cave sky so that he had the experience of using space movement and applied it to the outside world. Li Yuanba's cave core contains the space rules rune which makes his understanding of the space rules rise to a higher level than other great powers. Therefore, he was able to sense subtle changes in the surrounding space. Before Jian Lao appeared, the space beside him had abnormal fluctuations, which he captured. The difference between being in the cave for a long time and coming to the outside world on the first day of the new year is really uncomfortable. Li Yuanba shook his head and explained. Jian Lao understood what he meant. Only a powerful person would know what it feels like to be in control, like a god in a cave. Although it is impossible to create everything, it can still be done with preliminary words. Just like Li Shiming. Because of his profound knowledge in physics, he can use the knowledge of physics in the cave to use the energy of the cave to create many objects out of thin air. The great power is in the cave. It can control the rules and do whatever it wants. The whole cave is revolving around the great power. But when you come to the outside world, the only rules you can control are the rules you understand yourself. And your control is still within the limitations of heaven and earth. Which is far from the effect in the cave. Not to mention the kind of doing whatever you want. Even if you do whatever you want. He can feel the slight rejection of him from the outside world. Once this rejection reaches a certain critical point. The rejection will make the world no longer able to tolerate his existence. And the sky thunder will kill him. The contrast between the two feelings is too strong especially for a new powerful person like Li Yuanba. You come to the outside world every once in a while. Once you get used to it, you won't feel this way anymore. Jian Lao shared his experience. I hope I can get used to it soon, Li Yuanba said helplessly. Junior brother, I have something to discuss with you. Jian Lao took the initiative to bring the topic to business. Li Yuanba looked at Mr. Jian, waiting for Mr. Jian's next words. According to the unspoken rules of the superpower, Every promoted free power needs to hold a sermon ceremony. I am just asking you if you are willing to hold a sermon ceremony. Jian Lao explained the situation and asked. I still need some time to adjust myself. Please help Jian Lao contact me. And I will put it on the day of my birth after the new year. Li Yuanba thought for a moment and gave a result. This will also be a grand event. The glory of Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion. You don't need to interfere with the preparations for this grand ceremony. You just need to wait for the sermon. Jian Lao said with a smile, separating from Jian Lao. Li Yuanba used space movement to leave Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion. What he is going to do next cannot be known to Jian Lao. He came to the sea far away from Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion, and then used space movement again to appear on the seabed. The water at the bottom of the sea didn't get close to him, but was blocked by the energy in his body. With the isolation of sea water, he could experiment. His mind moved slightly, and he let out an inhuman roar. He transformed from the human state into the corpse-refining state. The 
Tai Chi Tao Body A special Tao body that has never appeared in the world of immortality allows him to automatically balance the energy between the human state and the corpse refining state. In other words, he can transform into another state whether he is in the human state or the corpse refining state. Now Li Yuanba is using the Tai Chi Tao body to share the Mahayana realm of the human state into the state of corpse refining. When he transformed into the corpse refining state, his entire body, including bones, muscles, and skin, as well as pores and cells, were all affected by the ink cold energy and quickly transformed into a fifth grade flying yiksha. Of course, flying yiksha doesn't have many special changes. The only change is the extra pair of black wings on his back. The function of these black wings is to accelerate. As long as he flaps the black wings, his flying speed will be greatly improved. In addition, the black wings are also the source of energy for the corpse refining state. The black wings don't seem to belong to this world. They can absorb cold energy from unknown voids and continuously replenish the cold energy into the body of the corpse. He felt it. After transforming into Flying Yiksha, his strength and defense were at least doubled, and his speed was tripled. However, in the corpse refining state, many of his methods could not be used. Even his natal flying sword. The power is also greatly reduced. The attack of the natal flying sword requires the supply of energy. But in his corpse refining state, his body contains cold energy, which cannot meet the needs of the natal flying sword. Of course, in the flying yiksha state, his space rules are not weakened, but strengthened. He can use space abilities such as space movement and space cutting, which allows him to maintain extremely strong combat power in the flying yiksha state. The most important thing is that in the flying yiksha state, his breath has undergone a qualitative change. If anyone were to track him, even if Flying Yiksha walked in front of that person, they would not know that Flying Yiksha was him. The entire balancing process took a total of 10 days. The seabed where the Yuan boss stood formed a dead zone. The erosion of life by the cold energy caused the death of all life within a kilometer radius of the Yuan boss body. He shook his head and turned his body from the Flying Yiksha state back to the human state. With the experience of switching to the Flying Yiksha state this time, Z15 also has corresponding analysis data. Not long after, Z15 gave him a report. In his human state, Li Yuanba had the advantage of spiritual treasures. And with a combination of chaos sword intent, his attack power was the strongest. In the flying Yiksha state, his speed and reaction have been greatly improved due to the influence of the black wings. The spatial rules have also been enhanced, allowing him to display his spatial abilities in more harsh environments. In addition, in the flying yiksha state, he obtained a set of practical and effective fighting methods using space rules from the flying yiksha, refined by Li Shiming. This makes it easier for him to survive in the flying yiksha state than in the human state. When it comes to killing people, the swordsman in the human state is more powerful. After a period of time, he stayed at the bottom of the sea, constantly getting used to the flying yiksha state. At his level, even if there are any secrets, there is no need to explain them to other monks. Even if a monk saw him transforming from a human state into a flying yiksha state, they would only think that this was a secret method. While Li Yuanba was practicing under the sea, Li Shiming released the real flying yiksha and asked the flying yiksha to find Li Yuanba. Li Shiming has thought about it, and he is going to refine multiple flying yiksha. Based on his current good situation, the first flying yiksha should be left to Li Yuanba, who needs to pay more attention to safety. This flying yiksha which was refined from Lung Luo's powerful body, possesses the fifth grade spiritual treasure, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, that originally belonged to Lung Luo's powerful body. Its arrival will greatly enhance Li Yuanba's combat power. Li Yuanba has just been promoted to the great power. He is considered a very weak existence among the powerful. When combined with the Flying Yiksha, his strength is doubled at once. Ever since the arrival of the Lei Xiao Flying Yiksha, Li Yuanba had new ideas. Li Yuanba transformed into the Flying Yiksha state and often fought with Lei Xiao's Flying Yiksha. The defensive power of Flying Yiksha is extremely strong. So as long as the two sides do not use the most powerful attacks, the most that each other's attacks can do is leave a mark on the body. Li Yuanba stayed outside for several months. And he returned to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion with Lei Xiao's Flying Yiksha. When he arrived at Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, Jian Lao appeared next to him almost as soon as his figure appeared. Jian Lao's eyes were not on Li Yuanba, but on Lei Xiao's flying Yiksha. This is this? 
Jian Lao asked with some speculation, but not sure. This is the corpse that Li Shurjin lent me. Li Yuanbar replied without any intention of hiding anything. Jian Lao certainly knows that Li Shiming has a fifth grade, flying Yiksha. And there has been a corpse refining thunder disaster in the thunder prison, outside the 10,000 beasts sect. But he never expected that Li Shiming would lend the flying Yiksha to Li Yuanba. When Jian Lao saw the flying Yiksha, he felt a faint threat from the flying Yiksha. This shows that Li Xiao's flying Yiksha can at least cause damage to Jian Lao. As for whether flying Yiksha or Jian Lao is stronger, it depends on the methods used by each other. I really envy your friendship. Jian Lao shook his head and sighed. He then thought of the most important thing and said, The time for your sermon has been set, and the invitations have been sent out. All other entertainments are easy to say, and it is confirmed now. There will be many powerful clones coming over. Even though they are powerful clones, the reception should not be shabby. The avatar's gift for entertaining. I still have some fourth grade top notch Taoist tea here. Just use it for entertaining. Li Yuanba took out a jade box from the soul crystal ring and handed it over without the slightest bit of reluctance. Past, Jian Lao didn't even need to open the jade box. He could scan the spiritual objects in the jade box with his perception. That was a full hundred servings of the fourth grade top grade woman tea. He had asked about the output of the fourth grade top grade woman tea before. It usually takes a year to harvest one of these for top quality teas. And it also needs to be fried by Li Shiming, who is now a powerful person. The fourth grade top notch woman tea is one of the best spiritual teas in the world of immortality. And is extremely sought after by the world of immortality. The extremely low output makes it impossible to mass produce the fourth grade top notch tea. And you can only obtain a little through connections. The jade box in old Jian's hand contained a hundred years worth of fourth grade top notch tea. This is too wasteful, Jian Lao said, reluctantly tightening the jade box in his arms. How did he know that the current output of the fourth grade top quality when Dao tea has long been different from before? Li Shiming transplanted a lot of top grade fourth grade spiritual tea from the temple. Now the output of top grade fourth grade when Dao tea alone far exceeds Jian Lao's guess. There was a reason for Jian Lao's reluctance to give up. Most of his own fourth grade top notch tea was reserved for those geniuses. I only kept a very small part, which was not enough for my own taste. As the day for Li Yuanba's sermon got closer and closer, the cave space barrier of Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion blocked most of the monks. Many monks repeatedly requested to participate in the sermon, but he refused. In fact, there were quite a few monks who came this time. Originally, according to Jian Lao's idea, only the powerful clones would be admitted while the other monks would wait aside. But with the abundance of hospitality, many monks came uninvited, just to find an opportunity of their own. In the following days, unless a powerful clone comes, neither Jian Lao nor Li Yuanba will take the initiative to contact the other monks unless they meet the harsh conditions. Li Shurjin. By the way, his name should be Li Shiming. He's here. Jian Lao said thoughtfully. Li Yuanba knew better than he did. He used his authority to activate Li Shiming's spatial movement and directly enter the Jenny Chong Shao Pavilion formation. This is a new authority that Li Yuanba has obtained. His identity, Jade Disc, has the ability to connect to the Mountain Gate formation. And the Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion will issue offerings at regular intervals. He and Jian Lao greeted him out together. When Jian Lao saw Li Shiming, he couldn't help but speed up his steps. Fellow Daoist Li, I wonder why fellow Taoist Li Tai Bai didn't come. Jian Lao found out that only Li Shiming was there. So he added a question. Li Taibai is guarding the 10,000 Beast sect and has no free time to go out. Li Shiming explained casually. This is a gift from me. For Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. He took out the 5th grade flying sword and handed it to Jian Lao and said. This is the natal flying sword of Master Yanji's uncle. Which ancient ruins did Li Dao you enter? Jian Lao recognized the origin of the natal flying sword at a glance and exclaimed. Chapter 1036 Preaching Li Shiming's gift to Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion the powerful natal flying sword, greatly deepened his friendship with Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. Although it was Elder Jian who gave him the location of the ancient ruins, it was also his reward for alchemy. In the final analysis, it was a transaction. No matter what he gains from the ancient ruins, it is his own and has nothing to do with Jian Lao or Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. There are very few fifth grade flying swords even in the treasure house of sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. The sword master solemnly put away the fifth grade flying sword. This fifth grade flying sword will be sent to the core treasure house of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion, waiting for the destined sword cultivator to collect it. He never asked about Yanji Master's uncle from the beginning to the end. Since the flying swords of his destiny are here, 
There is no need to say more about Yunji Master's uncle's ending. Li Shiming was placed in the temporary cave of Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion. He was probably the only great master who came in his true form. In the next few days, powerful clones came to Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion one after another. They had long heard that Li Shiming had arrived early. After dealing with Mr. Jin's welcome, the second thing to do was to visit Li Shiming. Nowadays, no powerful man dares to ask what he wants to do to Li Shiming. Li Shiming's strength and value make all the powerful men do nothing but make friends and show their goodwill. Li Shiming didn't show any airs. He received these powerful clones one by one. Behind these powerful clones are superpowers. Even Li Shiming himself has made the 10,000 Beasts sect one of the superpowers because of him. It's just that the foundation of the 10,000 Beasts sect is too shallow. And it will take at least a thousand years of accumulation to truly reach the level of other superpowers. On this day, the peak of Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion's Dao Peak was surrounded by more than ten figures. There is no primary or secondary location on the top of the mountain. They all sit around a rock as high as one person. This rock is just an ordinary rock. But it is the rock where the earliest founder of Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion sat and discussed the Tao. So it has special significance. Of course, since this ordinary rock has been talked about by many powerful people in its history of more than 10,000 years, this rock also has some special effects. The great powers were all waiting quietly. And no one was in a hurry. Looking down from the top of the Sermon Peak are the great monks brought by the superpowers. Their location is relatively close to the top of the mountain. So they can better feel the influence of the Sermon. Further down are the core sword cultivators of the sword and tent Chongshao Pavilion arranged. These are all carefully selected. Powerful preaching may be an opportunity for these low-level sword cultivators. Or it may affect the Taoist mind. Sword cultivators with insufficient talent will not be brought in, as that will harm these sword cultivators. Here we come! Jian Lao said calmly. Li Yuanba's figure suddenly appeared on the rock. Although the powerful experts present came as clones, their knowledge was not affected much. From the spatial fluctuations they felt, they could roughly judge the level of spatial movement of Li Yuanba's hand. Needless to say, Li Yuanba was able to use space to move outside the cave just a short time after he was promoted to a powerful person which surprised them. Normal great powers need to study the rules of space in the cave before they can move in space in the outside world. This time will take more than a hundred years at the minimum. During the half-step power period, Dong Tian did not integrate the rules of the outside world. Unless the space rules runes were engraved on the core of Dong Tian, it would be impossible to study the space rules at the half-step power state. Li Yuanba's grasp of the rules of space, as can be judged from the space movement just now, is stronger than that of the powerful clones here. This made the powerful men discover that although they did not know how strong Li Yuanba's actual combat power was, Li Yuanba's mobility exceeded them. Some great masters began to envy Jian Lao. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion not only produced a free master, but also an extremely talented free master. Perhaps there might be another ascended master in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. A monk. Li Yuanba did not pay attention to the powerful people below. Sermons are not ordinary speeches. For this sermon, his mind was completely immersed in his own understanding of the rules. In the past three days, he has maintained this state. That is, in order to be able to get into preaching mode as soon as I get here. He spoke slowly, as if every word was laborious. What he is talking about is the Tao of the Golden Rules, which is one of the five elements Tao. And it is also a Tao with a very large scope. The gold monks present were excited. The other monks could also use the sermon to draw parallels, and gain more or less benefits. Li Yuanba started from the foundation of the rules of the gold system. And he added many viewpoints from Z15 research into it. These views were understood by Li Shiming and shared with Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba realized it again based on his own understanding. And finally became the gold system rules that best fit Li Yuanba. Since he was talking about the basics at the beginning of his sermon. This made the low-level sword cultivators in Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion excited. And they all shook their heads along with the sermon. They were influenced by Li Yuanba's Tao. Fortunately, Li Yuanba's Tao evolved from the same skill as what they practiced. Sword intent climbing to the sky. Even if these extremely talented swordsmen only listen to it in full, there will be great gains in the future. The great monks from various superpowers were also attracted by the sermon. Li Yuanba's voice is full of deep understanding of the rules. And he brings them into it through language. As for the powerful ones, the harvest should be the greatest. Among them, Jian Lao would have flashes of inspiration from time to time when he heard Li Yuanba's unique understanding of the rules of the gold system. As Li Yuanba's sermon progressed, 
he began to talk about the in-depth part of the rules of the gold system. At this time, the monks who had been waiting aside took all the low-level sword cultivators away. Later, some low-level monks listened to it to no avail. Instead, they would be unable to withstand the knowledge in the Tao and suffer backlash. During this period, the great monks who cultivated the alchemy system among the great monks started dancing one by one. But they didn't know it yet. Of course, at this time, no other great monks would pay attention to their actions. Even non-gold monks are immersed in Li Yuanba's Tao and cannot extricate themselves. Li Shiming is the most sober among all the monks. This has nothing to do with him being Li Yuanba's true body. In this state of preaching, Li Yuanba would constantly have flashes of inspiration. And Li Yuanba would say unexpected words from time to time. As for Li Shiming, he has practiced the sword intention climbing into the sky technique and also has gold rules among the core rules. Li Yuanba's preaching is still useful to him. The reason why he can be awake is that he has a lot of brains. In addition to the brain for listening to sermons, the free brain can also do other things. He was surprised to find that when Li Yuanba was preaching, the rock under him was emitting a faint light. These rays of light were disordered at first. But as Li Yuanba's sermons continued to deepen, the rays of light extended outward, revealing the true form of the rays of light. Without Li Yuanba knowing it, his body was lifted up. Under him, holding up his body, was a Tao lotus made of golden light. Holding up his body, there are also some small flower buds on the rocks. And these flower buds are slowly opening. Li Shiming didn't know what was going on. But he could sense that the lotus transformed from the rock was not harmful to Li Yuanba. This is of course. This is Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. And Li Yuanba is the free power of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. How could the Taoist stone left behind by the master of sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion harm the younger disciples? Except for Li Shiming. None of the monks who heard the sermon noticed anything unusual. They are all immersed in Taoism. And their ears, eyes, and hearts are all filled with the sound of Taoism. They will not wake up unless there is real danger to them. Li Yuanba was in a very strange state at this time. He was still thinking and speaking at the beginning of his sermon. This was the content of the sermon prepared by Z15 for him. But after he preached for a while, he no longer had control over the content of his sermons. It was as if his soul was infinitely close to the rules of the golden system. He was not preaching, but reciting the Taoist sounds. Time has no meaning at this time. And the rest of the Tao lotuses are also in full bloom. After these Tao lotuses bloom, they all surround the Yuanba. From these chains, golden threads flew out and connected with the Yuanba. Li Shiming used the Shinmu power and discovered the Tao Yun from the golden threads. These golden threads are the manifestation of the golden rule Tao Yun. He was now certain that Li Yuanba had benefited greatly this time. Li Yuanba didn't know what the reason was, but he triggered the golden law of rules left in the rock by the master of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion and activated it when he was preaching. Li Shiming connected a brain to Li Yuanba and sensed Li Yuanba's current state. Li Yuanba is in the ocean of Tao. And the Tao he talks about is just a drop in the ocean. More Tao has entered his body and his soul. At this time, a great monk suddenly shook his body. He withdrew from enlightenment and spit out a mouthful of blood. He did not hesitate and left the preaching peak in a flash. But when he left, a look of helplessness and annoyance flashed in his eyes. This kind of opportunity is too rare. If you have less time to realize the Tao than other great monks, you will be one step behind other great monks in the future. A few breaths after he quit, another great monk quit. In a hundred breaths, all the great monks exited the preaching peak. Several of the great monks wanted to stay by force. But their souls were harmed and were taken away by the sword cultivators from sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion. The process of enlightenment is a continuous process. And once you quit, you cannot pick up. If you cannot immerse yourself in the content of the sermon, then if you actively feel it, the content of the sermon will be a weapon to hurt you. Now only the powerful ones at the top of the sermon peak were left. It didn't take long for a powerful clone to wake up from the enlightenment. He looked around and took the initiative to leave the top of Lideo Peak without trying to gain enlightenment. He knew very well that the content of Li Yuanba's sermon was beyond what his clone could bear. The soul in the powerful clone is not complete. It is just a small part separated from the main soul. Even if it is nourished and makes the soul strong again, the foundation is far inferior to the main soul. This powerful clone never expected that Li Yuanba's sermon would be so powerful. He was not in a hurry. Even if the souls of the other powerful clones were stronger than his, they were still very limited. Sure enough, it didn't take long for the powerful clones to leave the top of the mountain. The powerful clones stood far away. 
looking at Li Yuanba's figure at the top of the mountain. With surprise flashing in their eyes, they saw Li Yuanba surrounded by Dalian. This strange sight was incomprehensible to them, who were extremely knowledgeable. It is not uncommon for visions to appear during the preaching process. There are things like flowers falling from the sky and golden lotuses spitting out of the mouth. These are illusions produced by the harmony between one's own Tao and heaven and earth. But Dalian appeared, and Li Yuanba's body was held up by Dalian. This cannot be explained by simple illusions. After a while, Jian Lao also left the top of the mountain. Why didn't I let the main body come over? Jian Lao murmured as he left the top of the mountain. He regretted it. As the master, he could have allowed his true form to come and listen to the sermon. However, since the people who came this time were all powerful clones, as the master, if he wanted to blend in, it was best to use the powerful clones to get along. He was listening with great enthusiasm just now, but he felt that his soul could not bear it, and he was kicked out of the state of enlightenment. He wanted to bang his head against the wall. The content of Li Yuanba's sermon, this time was at best a small gain for other powerful men. But for him, it was like a guiding light. But this bright light disappeared halfway, making him feel like he was hanging in the air. Although Jian Lao regretted it, there was nothing he could do about it. He saw Li Yuanba's state and understood why Li Yuanba's sermon today was so exciting. Li Yuanba inspired the Taoist charm left by the ancestor. The reason why the ancestor's Taoist stone has remained here for countless years is that there is a legend circulating among the upper echelons of Jenny Chengshao Pavilion. The patriarch's Taoism stone contains the patriarch's Tao charm. Only sword cultivators who meet the conditions can activate the patriarch's Tao charm. It's a pity that no matter how amazing the talented swordsman is, he has not been able to activate the ancestor's Tao Yun in more than 10,000 years. So this legend remains just a legend. At this time, there were only two monks left on the top of Lideo Peak. One was Li Yuanba, who was surrounded by lotus on the lemon stone. And the other was Li Shiming. Li Shiming came in his true form. And no matter how profound Li Yuanba's sermons were, they could not be unbearable for his soul. What the other monks didn't know was that he was not only listening to Li Yuanba's sermons, but also using his connection with Li Yuanba to connect his brain to Li Yuanba and share Li Yuanba's feelings. A deeper understanding of the rules of the gold system was transmitted from the Dao Lotus into Li Yuanba's body through thin golden threads. It was also perceived by Li Shiming. And Z15 recorded these insights. At this moment, a Dao Lotus somehow extended in front of Li Shiming. Because of his relationship with Li Yuanba, Li Shiming sat closer to Li Yuanba. The Lotus only extended a little to touch Li Shiming. Chapter 1037 Harvest As if it were an illusion, Dalian penetrated deep into Li Shiming's body. Then he felt a lightness in his body, and his body was held up by Dalian. Just like Li Yuanba was in the same state at this time. At this moment, Li Shiming had more feelings than Li Yuanba. His 191 brains give him 191 souls, and each soul can perceive the rules and insights transmitted from Dalian. Even though he is accepting Dalian's enlightenment alone, he is equivalent to 191 people accepting Dalian's enlightenment. The powerful people outside the sermon peak all stared wide-eyed. Some people with dirty thoughts are thinking of interrupting Li Shiming's enlightenment process. But this is Jianyi Chengshao Pavilion, the territory of Jian Lao. In addition, Li Shiming is not that easy to provoke. If you don't have the means to completely crush Li Shiming to death, don't provoke Li Shiming. This was a painful lesson learned from Yuqing sect and Dalian Temple. The two superpowers told the powerful people with bloody facts. So that the powerful people were sufficiently afraid of Li Shiming. Li Shiming no longer cared about Li Yuanba at this time. For the first time, he used all his mind to comprehend the Taoist rhyme coming from the Dalian. The magical thing is that the Taoian knowledge from Dalian is imparted according to his ability to accept it. The faster he accepts it, the faster the knowledge is transmitted. With the assistance of Z15, the knowledge of Taoyuan from Dalian was transmitted to his soul through 191 channels. Like a spring. I don't know how long it took, but he felt that the golden rules transmitted by Dalian were slowing down. This was a sign that the transmission of the Golden Rules Dalyun was about to end. Just when he thought everything was going to end, a new Taoist rhyme came. He was surprised to find that this was the terrifying sword intent on the Sword Intent Monument. It's just that the sword intention on the Sword Intention Monument is perceived through spiritual touch. This method of perception is equivalent to self-study. However, the sword intention knowledge received through Dalyun was like a step-by-step -step teaching, which had a completely different meaning. An unknown amount of time passed. And Li Shiming's entire mind was focused on receiving knowledge. He was not distracted to do other things. 
so he had no idea how much time had passed. However, the transmission of sword intention knowledge slowed down, and he had a clear understanding that this time the enlightenment was about to end. While he was thinking about it, the Dalian under him separated from the Dawa stone and merged into his body. On the other side, Dalian under Li Yuanba also separated from the Dawa stone and integrated into his body. The remaining Dolian shrank back to the Ando stone, and the top of the Doman peak returned to its original state. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba opened their eyes together, looked at each other, and both smiled. Li Shiming sensed from Li Yuanba that Li Yuanba actually didn't have much knowledge of the rules of the gold system. In fact, if he didn't have 191 brains, 191 knowledge transmission channels, and the assistance of Z15, he wouldn't be able to fully accept this knowledge. Li Yuanba was just like a normal sword cultivator. No matter how long he preached, he could not exceed nine days. The knowledge he could receive during this period was too short compared to the vast knowledge contained in the Taoist stone. Without Li Shiming's comparison, Li Yuanba would have benefited greatly. The most important thing is that the Dao Lotus was integrated into Li Yuanba's body, which meant that he got much more than what he saw on the surface. Of course, the one who gained the most was Li Shiming. As an outsider, he not only received the Dao Yun inheritance from the founder of Jinni Chongshao Pavilion, but also received a Dao Lotus. In fact, the condition for activating the Daoist Stone is that you need to master the sword intention of the sword intention monument to a certain extent. The chaos sword intention mastered by Li Shiming and Li Yuanba is very close to the sword intention contained in the sword intent monument. It was precisely because of the chaos sword intention that the Lundo Stone accepted Li Yuanba. At the same time, when the Dao Yun in the Lundo Stone was activated, Dao Yun also discovered Li Shiming not far away who also had the Chaos Sword Intent. Only then did Dao Yun take the initiative to find Li Shiming. And Dao Shu regarded Li Shiming as a disciple of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. This cannot be blamed on Lundo Shu. Even if the Patriarch came in person and saw Li Shiming, he would regard him as a disciple of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. Li Shiming's core rules include gold rules. At the same time, he has mastered chaos sword intent, especially chaos sword intent. This must be done after practicing sword intent Chong Shao Ju and comprehending sword intent monument. The sword intent that can be obtained. The sword intent monument of sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion will only be open to the most talented swordsmen among its core swordsmen. Li Shiming checked the time of Z15 and found that the time he spent on the sermon peak was exactly the nine day sermon limit. He stood up and looked up to see the eyes all around him looking at him. Most of these eyes were filled with envy, and there was a kind of helplessness in Jian Lao's eyes. Jian Lao now understands that Li Yuanba must have passed on the sword intention Chongshao Pavilion to Li Shiming, which allowed Li Shiming to be recognized by the Luan Dao stone and benefit from the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. But don't say that Li Yuanba is a powerful person. Even a great monk is qualified to decide to pass on the sword intent to the sky technique. To a certain monk. As for the leakage of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, there is no need to say more. After more than 10,000 years, the sword intent Chong Shao Ju has been leaked out to an unknown extent. The superpowers inherited skills. The skills themselves are only part of the inheritance. What is really important is the inheritance experience and the inherited skills. Without the experience and experience of these inherited skills, if you practice the inherited skills rashly and accidentally go in the wrong direction, what is waiting for the monk is to go crazy. Therefore, in the world of cultivating immortals, the more advanced skills need to be passed down before they can be practiced. Even if you are a casual cultivator, you need the guidance of a master to practice a certain technique. Without anyone's guidance, he would end up just like Li Shiming, who got five golden elixirs, five nascent souls, and finally five caves in his body. Not all monks are as lucky as Li Shiming to be able to find solutions and find their own cultivation direction. Jian Lao thought that with this relationship, his relationship with Li Shiming would be closer. Congratulations to fellow Daoist Li. It seems that fellow Daoist Li has gained the most from this sermon. Jian Lao stepped forward and said with a smile. I would also like to thank Mr. Jian for the invitation. Li Shiming replied with a smile without saying clearly what he had gained. Everyone can see what he has gained. And this harvest is extremely rich. Whether it is the enlightenment of the Tao or the Tao Lotus. They are extremely precious gains in the realm of almighty power. Fellow Taoists, it's a rare occasion for us to get together. Junior Brother Li has prepared spiritual tea, Elder Jian said to the powerful experts around him. 
He glanced at Li Shiming beside him, and then continued. This spiritual tea is made by fellow Daoist Li refined it himself. The eyes of all the powerful people present were brightened. Perhaps some of them had never tasted Li Shiming's spiritual tea. But none of them had heard of it. The fourth grade Wudao tea made by Li Shiming himself is known as the best spiritual tea in the world. Unfortunately, the output of these four grade Wudao tea is too small. And most of them have only heard of its name and have no chance to taste it. I'm here this time. Not only did I participate in a wonderful sermon, I was also able to taste the best spiritual tea in the world. A powerful man said with a smile. At the top of the sermon peak, the powerful clones didn't use any tables at all. It was Jian Lao who set each fourth grade top quality cup to each of the powerful clones. His energy wrapped around the cup, preventing the breath of the spiritual tea inside from leaking out. The powerful clone took the cup and drank the spiritual tea in one sip, while the powerful clone tasted it slowly. In fact, no matter which method is used, the result is the same. The powerful clone is a combination of energy and soul. It can taste the taste of spiritual tea. Even if it swallows the spiritual tea in one gulp, it will be slowly experienced in the body. After tasting the spiritual tea, the powerful clones took advantage of this rare gathering opportunity to start trading. The quality of the spiritual objects in the hands of the powerful is naturally the best. And the top quality of the fourth grade is just average here. I want to buy a fifth grade elixir. And I am willing to trade it with a fifth grade spiritual spring. A powerful clone said after seeing that several powerful people had reached a deal. As soon as he opened his mouth, the other powerful men looked at him as if they were a fool. With the existence of Li Shiming, an alchemy master who can refine fifth grade high level elixirs, the most precious resource in the circle of donning is now the fifth grade elixir. In the past, fifth grade elixirs could be used as trading materials. But now every great expert feels that fifth grade elixirs are not enough. You must know that Li Shiming's reward for alchemy is the fifth grade elixir, which means that the great masters need two fifth grade elixirs to refine a furnace of fifth grade elixir. In this case, any powerful person who is willing to give up the fifth grade elixir in his hand is really out of his mind. What is the fifth grade spiritual spring? Li Shiming interjected and asked. Fellow Daoist Li is interested. This bottle of fifth grade spiritual spring is given to you. The powerful clone heard that it was Li Shiming who asked the question and quickly took out a jade bottle and sent it to Li Shiming and said. Li Shiming sent the jade bottle and found that the spiritual spring inside was indeed a fifth grade spiritual spring. This made him extremely surprised. Fifth grade quality was not so easy to achieve. The fifth grade quality spiritual objects he could see so far were either bred in ancient ruins or in the powerful cave. And this kind of fifth grade spiritual spring is obviously bred in the cave sky whose core rules are water rules. He is very interested in the best spiritual springs. He has planted many high quality spiritual tea trees there. The better the quality of the water, the greater the impact on the final brewed spiritual tea. In addition, the fifth grade spiritual spring has the effect of replenishing energy. It can be regarded as an energy replenishing resource. And it is the kind of energy replenishing resource without any side effects. This is my contact information. You can contact me if you have anything in the future. Li Shiming accepted the benefit and gave the number of his powerful contact formation to the other party. So that the other party could add him as a friend for easy contact at any time. My name is Mi Bin. I will definitely bother you in the future. Mi Bin's powerful clone was afraid that Li Shiming didn't know his name. So he set it out. He was in a good mood and made friends with Li Shiming. After having his contact information, he could ask Li Shiming to make elixirs. Li Shiming can give out contact information. Isn't that what he means? When other powerful clones saw that Mi Bin's powerful clone had obtained Li Shiming's contact information, they all became eager and wanted to have friendship with Li Shiming. But although the spiritual objects they took out were all precious, Li Shiming didn't speak again. Although it was a small trade fair, in terms of the level of things being traded, it was definitely the highest trade fair in the world of immortality. All the powerful clones dispersed. Li Shiming was about to leave. But he found that Mi Bin's powerful clone did not leave and looked towards him frequently. Fellow Taoist Mi, do you have a problem with me? Li Shiming asked aloud. Mi Bin's powerful clone looked around. Almost all the other powerful clones had left. And he came to Li Shiming. Fellow Daoist Li, I would like to exchange a treasure for you for the opportunity to make alchemy. Mi Bin's powerful clone said. Originally, this kind of thing was not considered a shameful thing. But the problem was that this was refining a fifth grade elixir. And he had no intention of using the fifth grade elixir as reward. If he succeeds, 
he will get great benefits. But he will not be able to affect Li Shiming. If other powerful people really know that you can refine fifth grade elixirs here with Li Shiming and pay with other spiritual objects, then it will bring trouble to Li Shiming. He was begging Li Shiming to make elixirs, and there was no possibility of offending Li Shiming. What kind of treasure is it? Li Shiming was slightly startled. He did not expect Mi Bin's powerful clone to say this. So he asked casually. Mi Bin's powerful clone didn't say anything. He just took out a jade box and handed it over. Li Shiming took the jade box and opened it and found a shrunken mountain peak inside. This mountain peak was not even refined into a magic weapon. But some talismans were used to forcibly shrink the mountain peak. He was about to ask. But he sensed the aura in the mountain peak, which made him understand for a moment. He sensed the breath of the fifth grade spiritual spring from the mountain peak. When he investigated, he found that there was a fifth grade spiritual spring inside the mountain. Although the fifth grade spiritual spring water spit out by the fifth grade spiritual spring eye is very small. It is a fifth grade spiritual spring eye and can continuously produce a fifth grade spiritual spring. Is this the fifth grade spiritual spring eye? Li Shiming couldn't help but ask again, even if he saw it with his own eyes. Exactly. I found this from an ancient ruins. I originally planned to use the fifth grade spiritual spring water to exchange for some fifth grade elixir. But? Mi Bin's powerful clone couldn't help but shook his head when he said this. He thought of how a group of powerful clones looked at him just now. As if they were looking at a fool. I would like to use this fifth grade spiritual spring I in exchange for you ten opportunities to open the furnace. What do you think? When he said this, he looked at Li Shiming with eyes full of expectation. If Li Shiming hadn't revealed the ability to refine 5th grade high level elixirs, the value of these 5th grade spiritual spring eyes would definitely be far greater than 5 5th grade elixirs. But the situation is different now. The 5th grade spiritual spring is indeed good. But for the powerful, it is not as useful as expected. It is just a kind of adjustment in life. Who would really use the 5th grade spiritual spring to restore energy? Chapter 1038 Recruiting a Disciple When Li Shiming left Jin Yi Chou Shao Pavilion, he took away the mountain peak with the fifth grade spiritual spring inside, and also complied with Mi Bin's request. In fact, the price he spent was not small. If he hadn't made alchemy in the computer room space, and could open two furnaces at the same time each time, which would not affect his daily practice in life, he would not have agreed to this transaction. Tin furnace fifth grade elixir, normally powerful enough to refine, would take at least 30 years. Even he would need 15 years to refine it. But every time he saw the mountain peaks placed in Tion and Cave, he felt very good. The reason why the mountain was not placed in his cave was because his cave was in the process of growing and was not suitable for housing foreign spiritual objects. Returning to the 10,000 Bees sect, he specially brewed a pot of spiritual tea. Using 5th grade spiritual spring water, he asked a holy spirit to deliver a cup of spiritual tea to Yin Shirlan. Ever since Yin Shirlan was promoted to half-step to great power and had his own cave, after he himself was promoted to great power, he could only meet Yin Shirlan through the Holy Spirit. Communication was not bad. He could talk to Yin Shirlan directly through the space door. But to meet him, his Mahayana realm cannot directly enter Yin Shirlan cave heaven. At least not currently. Yin Shirlan's cave energy is still in an unstable stage. And she is not a genius like Li Shiming and Li Yuanba. She was just forced up by Li Shiming. Of course, even if she was promoted to a powerful person, Li Shiming's help would still continue. Li Shiming himself could not enter Yin Shirlan's cave, but he separated a brain to control a holy spirit to stay in Yin Shirlan's cave and help Yin Shirlan handle the affairs of the cave. Of course, Yin Shirlan still has to slowly take over the affairs of the cave. His help is just to prevent Yin Shirlan from having any accidents at the half-step level of almighty power. Li Shiming sat cross-legged next to the Daoyan Golden Lotus. At this time, a space door opened within the petals of the Daoyan Golden Lotus. Through the space door, he could faintly see Yin Shirlan's figure. Lord, how do you like this spiritual tea? Li Shiming raised the cup and asked. What kind of spiritual tea is this? Just one sip is equivalent to a day of cultivation for me. Yin Shirlan has long been accustomed to this kind of meeting. She said in surprise after tasting the spiritual tea. There is no difference from the previous spiritual tea except that the water used has been replaced by 5th grade spiritual spring water. Li Shiming replied with a hint of pride. In fact, the effect Yin Shirlan mentioned is still speaking in a small way. You must know that although her cave energy output is not as good as Li Shiming and Li Yuanba, it is still hundreds of times higher than the normal half-step power. 
That's why it's said that a sip of spiritual tea is equivalent to a day's practice. If it is placed on an ordinary half-step master, the effect will be increased dozens of times. Mi Bin was able to take out these fifth-grade spiritual spring eyes, but he did not use them on the younger generations of the sect because he had his own considerations. He expected to go further, but compared to this matter, the promotion of the sect's juniors had little to do with him, evenly shimming. After obtaining the fifth-grade spiritual spring eye, did not consider giving it to the many great monks of the 10,000 Bs sect, probably in the entire 10,000 Bs sect, the only one worthy of him taking out the fifth-grade spiritual spring water to brew spiritual tea is his master, great monk who, and brother who has no possibility to improve his own strength. Even if he uses the spiritual tea made from the fifth-grade spiritual spring water, it will only be more energy in his body. Lord, you are not increasing your energy quickly now. What you need is to control your cave as much as possible. Li Shiming then reminded. He didn't care about the fifth-grade spiritual spring water and fourth-grade asking tea. If these things were only supplied to a few people, they could be squandered at will. Yin Sherlon's current situation is that the growth of Dong Tian's energy has exceeded her own ability. And she can only continue to learn from Li Shiming. According to Li Shiming's estimate, it would take Yin Sherlon almost 400 years to try to be promoted to a powerful person. Of course, this time cannot be compared with Li Shiming and Li Yuanba. But compared with other powerful people, her time is already extremely short. While Li Shiming was communicating with Yin Sherlon, he suddenly felt something in his heart and took out a cup of spiritual tea from the table. The spiritual tea in his hand disappeared with a wave of his hand. This cup of spiritual tea was sent to another cave in the 10,000 Bs sect through his space ability. That cave was Li Taibai's cave. Li Taibai smiled slightly and took the spirit tea that appeared out of thin air in front of him. He drank the spirit tea and felt slightly tipsy on his face. Disciple Tangja, please see me. At this time, a voice came from outside the cave. Li Taibai tapped his fingers. The cave's restrictions gave way, and the door opened. Come in, he said calmly, counting the time. Eight years have passed since the last time I met Tangja. It seems that Tangja's qualifications are still very good. He could sense Tangja outside the cave, and his realm had reached the realm of a great monk. Although the realm of a great monk has just been broken through and his aura is still unstable, with sufficient resources, he was promoted to a great monk in only eight years. This shows that Tangja's previous accumulation is very strong and his talent is even more excellent. Of course, when Li Taibai first saw Tangja, he was very aware of his cultivation. Z15 based on Tangja's physical condition. The conclusion is that as long as he is promoted to a great monk within 10 years, Tangja will be worthy of being promoted. It took Tangja 8 years to prove that his talent was better than Li Taibai had previously judged. Tangja walked into the cave respectfully. When he saw Li Taibai, his eyes were full of admiration. As soon as he met, he knelt on the ground and kneeled down. My disciple has lived up to his master's wishes and successfully promoted himself to the realm of a great monk. He was still a little smart and recognized his master as soon as he opened his mouth. Li Taibai smiled but didn't say anything. What he agreed to do. And since Tangja fulfilled the agreement, he was his disciple. I have changed the information on the jade plate of your identity. From now on, you will be my first disciple. I will not give you too many resources in the realm of the great monk. You need to complete the sect mission to get resources. Li Taibai said in a deep voice. Under his perception, Tangja's emotion was only joy. And he had no complaints because he did not intend to give Tangja training resources. He was still very satisfied with this. His expectations for Tangja are still very high. He hopes that Tangja's achievements will be at least half a step ahead. And if Alatio wants to make continuous progress, he must not only be satisfied with resources. Look at how many life and death battles Li Shiming and Li Yuanba have experienced along the way. Without the accumulation of these battles, there would be no achievements today. Since I accept you as my disciple, I still have to give you gifts. Li Taibai said in a sudden change. He took out a top grade fourth grade. Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer, which Li Shiming had obtained by killing the Yuching Sek monks at some unknown time. It was a natal magic weapon before. So Tian Gue cleaned it up and restored the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer to its original state. Then he took out two more life-saving talismans and placed a total of three spiritual objects in front of Tangja. Disciple must practice hard to repay the teacher's kindness, Tangja said as he took the three spiritual objects with both hands. Having practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code, he himself also used the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, but his 
Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer was only of the initial quality of the fourth grade. This is actually very normal. The materials for refining the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer have been monopolized by the Yuching sect for a long time. Even if the Jay Ching sect has declined, only how many fourth grade materials have been discovered for refining the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer in the past few hundred years. He was able to have the fourth grade early stage Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer and he exchanged it from the 10,000 Beasts sex warehouse. As for the top level fourth grade, Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer, not to mention for a great monk like him. It is the top choice even when he reaches the peak of the great monk. Of course, if he really reaches the peak monk level and is the first among the lay cultivators of the 10,000 Beasts sect to reach it, he will have better choices. Li Shiming placed the spiritual treasure. Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, refined from fourth grade materials in the treasure house of the 10,000 Beasts sect, and set the condition that the first disciple to become a peak thunder cultivator can obtain it. I have five days. You can ask questions first. And then I'll explain the jade pure thunder code to you. Li Taibai waved his hand and said, although he did not give Tangja many resources, he definitely spared no effort in cultivating Tangja. It is extremely rare in the world of immortality for a great master to spend five days to guide an early stage monk. Tangja also understood how rare this was. So he first asked all the questions he had about the Jade Pure Thunder Code. Li Tai Bai answered his questions one by one and made him understand thoroughly from the shallower to the deeper. Later, Li Tai Bai gave Tang Zhe a complete explanation of the Jade Pure Thunder Code with Lei Xiao's powerful realm. He was almost at the pinnacle of Lei Xiao. Every sentence he said may still be reflected by Tang Zhe. I don't know, but in the future I will always find that Li Tai Ming's words are absolutely accurate. Li Taibai was teaching his disciples. And Li Shiming started a formal retreat after finishing his exchange with Yin Shiruan. Li Shiming Xinqing is considered to be excellent. After gaining so much knowledge, he was not in a hurry, but decided to retreat after making arrangements for Yin Shiruan. The main purpose of this retreat was to sort out the Taoist knowledge obtained from the Taoism stone. The knowledge he received was too much and too profound. Of course, being in seclusion will not affect his alchemy which is done in the computer room anyway. He sat in his own cave and chose one of the two caves that produce fifth grade gold type materials. In front of him was the cave heaven core. He looked at his cave heaven core with his eyes, focusing on the gold system rule runes and sword intention rule runes. He found that the two rule runes that he was very proud of before were so ugly when he looked at them again. This is because he received the Dalian inheritance from the founder of sword intent Chongshao Pavilion, which made his horizons many times higher looking at his previous gold rule runes and sword intent rule runes naturally can't stand it but if he wants to update these two rule runes he must first organize his own understanding of the two rule runes and let the Taoian inheritance of the founder of Jenny Chongshao Pavilion be transformed into his own understanding this time he used 150 brains and began to comprehend the Taoian inheritance as he comprehended the energy of the golden rules and the cave he was in increased rapidly and soon filled the entire cave space. One after another sword intent appears inexplicably in the void and disappears inexplicably. These are all chaos sword intent. Every time a new chaos sword intent appears, it is stronger than the previous chaos sword intent. It is important to know that it is not an easy task for a sword cultivator to improve his sword intent. Even a great sword cultivator who has been able to improve his sword intent for decades or hundreds of years is considered extremely talented. In Li Shiming's case, the time between the appearance and disappearance of one sword intention and the appearance and disappearance of the next sword intention is only a few dozen breaths. In just a few dozen breaths of time, his sword intent had improved. At some point, Li Shiming's body was held up by the Dalian that appeared in his body. The 150 brains he used became clearer, and the overall thinking effect was greatly improved. Even though he is now wholeheartedly comprehending the Dalian inheritance of the founder of sword intent Chongshao Pavilion, he still knows his situation from the rest of his brain. The inexplicable appearance of Dalian made him a little panicked at first. This was his cave. And the Dalian still appeared from his body. By the Mahayana stage, the control over the body and soul has reached an extremely high level. But he didn't know why the lotus appeared. Of course, he recognized this lotus as the lotus that grew out of the Daoluan stone passed down by the founder of Jinni Chongshao Pavilion. Among the Daolians at that time, one was integrated into Li Yuanba's body, and the other was integrated into his body. However, after sensing Dalian, 
he determined that this Dalian was not harmful to him. Dalian's current effect surprised him extremely. When Dalian held him, his brain's thinking ability was twice as high as normal. This is unimaginable. His thinking ability is connected with Z15. In other words, this Dalian not only increases his brain's thinking, but also enhances Z15's computing power. This ability alone is more useful to him than obtaining a treasure. Everything he has comes from Z15, and the role of Z15 has not diminished as his strength has improved, but has become more and more important. A normal monk's natal magic weapon will be replaced several times in his life. When the chain chi stage reaches the foundation building stage, the natal magic weapon will be replaced by a spiritual weapon. When the foundation building stage reaches the golden elixir stage, the natal magic weapon will be replaced by a magic weapon. From the golden elixir stage to the nascent soul stage, the quality of the magic weapon will be improved a lot. Naturally, it needs to be replaced with a higher quality natal magic weapon. After reaching the realm of great power, the natal magic weapon will be replaced by a spiritual treasure. And Z15 has been regarded as his natal magic weapon since the beginning of his cultivation. But it has never been out of date. Being able to enhance Z15 is the most useful and helpful thing for Li Shiming. But now, he is still comprehending the Dalian inheritance and has not yet figured out how to control Dalian. He needs to wait until the inheritance is over before he has time to slowly study Dalian. His mind returned to his thoughts. And the Golden Rule Runes and Sword Intention Rule Runes in the core of the cave were flickering slightly. Chapter 1039 Enlightenment Time seems to have shortened for Daneng. Li Shiming's retreat lasted for 30 years in the blink of an eye. The Sword Intent Rule Rune in the core of the cave in front of him shone brightly. But the Gold Rule Rune was far less bright than the Sword Intent Rule Rune. It's not that his understanding of the Gold Rule Rune is not as good as the Sword Rule Rune, but because of the Five Elements Chi Receiving Formation. His five elements are in a state of automatic balance. After the Gold Rule Rune is enhanced, it will automatically balance to the other four rule runes in the five elements. But his understanding of the other four rule runes has not really improved. So the Gold Rule Runes have been weakened. This made him feel helpless. And he did not expect that individually improving one of the five elements rule runes would have such an effect. He shook his head helplessly. If he wanted to truly improve his strength, what he needed was to advance the five elements simultaneously. This is probably the consequence of his greed for too much. If he had specialized in one rule, perhaps his realm would have greatly improved. But he has no regrets. He has seen those powerful people who specialize in one rule. It's not that those powerful people don't want to master more rules. But their talents prevent them from mastering more rules. Each of the regular runes in Li Shiming's Dantian core is extremely useful and can greatly enhance his strength. The Five Elements Rule Rune is the foundation and his foundation. Thunder Rule Rune and Sword Intention Rule Rune are the strongest attack methods. Sword Cultivator and Lei Xiao are the two strongest offensive professions in the world of immortality. He has the opportunity to obtain these two inheritances. So he will not let them go. Pass. The Space Rules Rune complements his strength. The Space Rules Rune can enhance his mobility, attack and defense, making his combat methods more comprehensive. Li Shiming waved his hand, and the Juechen Sword flew out. The Chaos Sword Intention blessed on the Juechen Sword was almost the same as the Sword Intention on the Sword Intent Monument. He felt that his Sword Cultivator's strength had at least doubled. In addition, although the Gold Rule Rune seems to have been weakened. Its real power is not bad. He is confident that he can kill ordinary inherited powers in an instant just by relying on the Juechen Sword in his hand. Thirty years of seclusion also allowed him to complete the alchemy commissions of Jin Lao, Meng Ju, Mi Bin, and the other five powerful men who came to visit. These powerful alchemy commissions brought him rich elixirs, even if it was Mi Bin Deneng's alchemy entrustment. Without the reward of fifth grade elixirs, the number of 5th grade high grade elixirs he could harvest would exceed that of Mi Bin Danung. 100 points pill Ju. A seemingly ordinary pill formula was like a stroke of genius in his hands. Under Z15's precise calculations, it produced miraculous effects. Li Shiming came to the powerful contact formation and sent messages to these powerful people respectively. The next step is to wait for these powerful men to come and take away the 5th grade high level elixir. For this extremely precious 5th grade high level elixir, there is a high probability that the powerful man will send a clone to come over in person. 
Li Shiming came out of seclusion here. And Li Yuanba in Sword and Tension Chong Shao Pavilion also came out of seclusion on the other side. This is not surprising at all. Li Yuanba and Li Shiming both accepted the Tao Yun inheritance from the founder of Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. Although Li Yuanba only accepted part of it, the knowledge mastered by Li Shiming will naturally be shared with Li Yuanba. If a powerful person entered Li Yuanba's current cave, he would probably be frightened. The Gold Rule Runes and Sword Intent Rule Runes at the core of the cave sky both emit bright light, making the core of the cave sky clearly marked. The core of the cave is not scary. What is scary is the 10,000 energy flying swords. After 30 years of nourishment, the 10,000 energy flying swords have been nourished by the energy of the rules of the cave having gold system. They have long been reborn and are no longer what they were before. The energy of the golden rules in the cave was updated after he accepted the inheritance from Dao Yun, the founder of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion. It was greatly improved compared to his original energy. This kind of metal rule energy, combined with a Sword Intent Rule Rune, has caused earth-shaking changes in the energy flying sword from the sword body to the sword intent contained within. The quality of the energetic flying sword sword body has reached the fifth level. This is thanks to Z15's research on matter and his absolute control over the cave to transform the energetic flying sword's body into a fifth level quality sword body. If broken down, the quality of the energetic flying sword should be at the fifth grade level, which is considered the lowest among the fifth grade. This was only possible after he obtained the inheritance of Dalian the founder of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, from which he gained a deeper understanding of the rules of the metal system, and combined with the computing power of Z15, was able to achieve this. 10,000 5th grade energy flying swords. This number alone is enough to make any great master feel his scalp numb. But that's not all. Every 5th grade energy flying sword contains Chaos Sword Intention that is infinitely close to the Sword Intention in the Sword Intent Monument. Li Yuanba was certain that it was difficult to say whether an ordinary inherited power could withstand the attack of a fifth grade energy flying sword. This is because his training time is too short and he cannot create more fifth grade energy flying swords. Transforming an energy flying sword is different from creating an energy flying sword. Creating an energy flying sword takes longer and is more troublesome. At present, 10,000 fifth grade energy transforming flying swords are enough. Unless it is a long term retreat lasting hundreds of years. He will not be able to create more 5th grade energy transforming flying swords. He ducked out of the cave. And Jian Lao, who had been paying attention to the situation on his side, spotted him immediately. Jian Lao's clone used space movement and appeared next to Li Yuanba. Hiss! When Jian Lao's clone sensed Li Yuanba's aura, he involuntarily took in a breath of cold air. He sensed the aura of the sword that made the powerful clone feel the threat of death. Although the powerful clone was not as strong as the main body, this sense of death threat showed that Li Yuanba's strength exceeded his main body. Junior brother, it seems that the gains from preaching have greatly increased your strength. Jian Lao shook his head and sighed. This kind of great opportunity is extremely enviable for any sword cultivator. In the past 30 years, many sword cultivators have come to the Luan Dao stone and want to try to activate the Luan Dao stone. That day, many sword cultivators saw that there were more than two Dao lotuses born from the Dao Luan stone and there were many Dao lotuses hidden in the Luan Dao stone. As long as they can activate the Luan Dao stone, they can obtain the inheritance of the ancestors in the Luan Dao stone, just like Li Yuanba. It's a pity that these sword cultivators achieved nothing and were busy in vain. Jian Lao is not surprised by this. If it is really so easy to obtain the ancestors' inheritance in the Luan Dao stone, why wait until this day? How many talented sword cultivators throughout the ages have failed to activate the discussion stone? How can these sword cultivators with relatively ordinary talents activate the discussion stone? My cultivation is too shallow. I only rely on the power of my sword. I am like a rootless duckweed. I am not as strong as my senior brother. Li Yuanba shook his head and said, He has a reputation for self-awareness. Although he has a strong understanding of the rules of gold and rules of sword intent, the time he was promoted to great power was too short. And the construction of Dong Tian was far inferior to that of Jin Lao. The cave heaven is the foundation of great power. And he has seen the cave heaven where his master's uncles gather. Master Yunji's uncle created a forest composed of sword intent and sword light in the cave sky. The number of sword intent and sword light there is immeasurable. And there are only 10,000 energy flying swords in his cave. If he faced off against Master Yunji's uncle, it was most likely that he would be suppressed by Master Yunji's uncle due to the gap accumulated in Dantian. When he faced off against such a powerful person, 
his only hope of victory was to resolve the battle quickly and kill his opponent instantly with the strongest power. Junior brother is so humble, Jian Lao's clone said with a smile. He found that Li Yuanba was not arrogant because of the sudden increase in strength, but had a clear understanding of himself, which gave him strong expectations for Li Yuanba's future. By the way, Junior brother, can you tell me how to trigger the Taoist stone? The Taoist stone left by the founder has been abandoned for thousands of years, and it may continue to be abandoned in the future. Jian Lao's clone thought of something important and hurriedly spoke out. Asked? Originally, he shouldn't have asked about such a chance matter. A monk's chance is an extremely personal matter. His own secret. But Li Yuanba's opportunity this time was different. He had received the Taoian inheritance from his ancestor. And the Taoist stone had always been placed in the Jianli Chou pavilion. Li Yuanba left behind the method of triggering the Taoism stone. Which at least gave future sword cultivators a hope. It is not to say that in the next tens of millions of years, the Luan Dao stone will still be a legend. Brother, I have some guesses about the Dao stone. After comparing my own situation, I think the first condition for activating the Dao stone is sword intent. Li Yuanba didn't have anything to hide. He spoke out his judge. Sword intent. Jian Lao's clone lowered his head and thought. After a moment, his eyes lit up. And he suddenly waved his arms and said excitedly, Yes, it is sword intent. Li Yuanba's sword intention was obtained by studying the sword intent monument. But the sword cultivator who also studied the sword intent monument gained the strongest sword intention. The sword intent named Chaos Sword Intent. By Li Yuanba suppressed all the sword intent in the sword intention Chengxiao Pavilion in terms of power. Except for the sword intent contained in the sword intent monument. In the past, Jian Lao could rely on his own realm to suppress Li Yuanba with his sword power. But after Li Yuanba was promoted to powerful and was at the same level as Jian Lao, it was hard to say whether Jian Lao's sword intention could still suppress Li Yuanba's sword intention. Not to mention that today's Li Yuanba's sword intent has been greatly improved. And Jian Lao's sword intent is no match. This condition is too harsh. But with the direction, there will definitely be swordsmen with the same talent as you among the younger generations. The old sword clone woke up from the excitement and understood how difficult this condition was. And he said with emotion, he believed that since Li Yuanba could comprehend the chaos sword intent, there would be swordsmen as talented as Li Yuanba in the future who could also perceive the chaos sword intent. If he knew that the most important thing to understand the chaos sword intent was to have Z15 as his natal magic weapon, he wouldn't think this way. The sword intention originally felt needs to be in line with one's own realm. With the help of Z15, Li Yuanba was able to master the sword intent at a low level that was only possible at a high level. There will be, Li Yuanba said without breaking Jian Lao's fantasy. One more thing. Now that you have no disciples, I think you should accept more disciples and leave a legacy to Jian Cho Shao Pavilion. Jian Lao then made a request. He has a purpose. After being promoted to a powerful person, Li Yuanba's lifespan will be extremely long. In this long period of time, instead of wasting time, it would be better to train disciples for sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. The current factions in Jian Cho Shao Pavilion are all factions formed by the disciples who stayed behind from the previous great powers. Just like their sword clan, they are descended from the ancestors. This kind of thing still depends on fate. I will consider it. Li Yuanba replied noncommittally. The death of his only disciple Lu Wu left him with little intention to accept disciples. But it still depends on the opportunity. If there is a sword cultivator that you like, it might as well accept it. In the 10,000 Bees sect, Li Shiming was sipping spiritual tea and waiting for the arrival of the powerful men. His mind entered his body. And Z15, which was originally in the cave, is now back in his body. Inside his body, a Dao lotus was swaying between his eyebrows. The center of the lotus is exactly Z15. The volume of Z15 is not small. There should be another space inside the lotus. And Z15 is not crowded in it. This was the result of his research on Dalian. After he fully accepted the Dalian inheritance of the founder of Jinni Chong Shao Pavilion, Dalian was completely controlled by him. Dorian's improvement in the performance of the Z15 made him want to keep the Z15 in an improved state. When he learned the sword intention Chong Shao Pavilion's founder Dalian's inheritance, he lost Dalian's blessing, which made him feel extremely lost. 150 brains are overclocked. And the feeling is so comfortable. No matter how profound the knowledge, you can easily accept it. In order to retain the effect of Dalian's blessing, after he was able to control Dalian, 
He tried to let Dalian bless Z-15. It's just that Z-15 was embodied in the cave's sky at the beginning. After Dalian was also embodied, he couldn't leave the physical body very far. Once blessed like this, he himself will be greatly restricted. After some attempts, he unexpectedly discovered that Z-15 could be stored inside Dalian after being energized. In fact, this Dao Lotus was not deliberately created by the founder of Jinni Chongshao Pavilion, but was accidentally born from the Dao Luan Stone. Monks are constantly preaching on the stone. The process of preaching is the study of rules, and will also integrate one's own spiritual energy into the stone. The spiritual energy of a sword cultivator in a preaching state is the purest, without any impurities. These impurity-free spiritual energy underwent wonderful changes after meeting the founder Dalian, and gave birth to Dalian. The reason why there are many Dao lotuses is the product of the combination of massive spiritual energy and the patriarch's Dao Yun. The Dao Yun obtained by Li Shiming can be said to be a spiritual body derived from pure Taoism, containing the magic of Taoism. The computing speed of the Z15 inside Dao Yun has been doubled, which is equivalent to one more Z15. Chapter 1040 Refining Corpse The Thunder Prison was requisitioned again, and all lay cultivators moved to another training place. Li Taibai was standing guard. Wally Shimming set up a corpse refining formation in the Thunder Prison. The material for the corpse he refined was the body of a powerful sword cultivator. 36 half step 5th grade corpse refining materials were arranged in a corpse refining array. During the process of absorbing energy in the corpse refining array, Li Shimming began to engrave corpse refining runes on the body of the sword cultivator. The inscription of 600 billion corpse refining runes was inscribed in the computer room space under the influence of Thousand Hand Avalokitesvara Guanin Record Using 180 brains to inscribe together The whole process took a month This great sword cultivator is named Yunji But during the process of refining the corpse He will deliberately change the face of the corpse So that it will not be recognized by sword intent Chongshao Pavilion If Jinni Chongshao Pavilion knew that he used Yunji Master's uncle of Jinni Chongshao Pavilion to refine the corpse No matter how good the friendship was It would turn into hatred there are many differences between Yanji De Neng's body and Lung Luo De Neng's body. One is a sword cultivator and the other is a thunder cultivator. So the drawing scheme of the 600 billion corpse refining runes alone was redesigned. The Z15 enhanced by Dalian supports Li Shiming even faster. Such an extremely complex design can only be designed in the time of a stick of incense. In the subsequent engraving process, Z15 was of great help. After the 600 billion corpse refining runes, were engraved. He moved the powerful body out of the computer room and placed it into the energy-filled corpse refining formation. Then comes the transformation process of the refined corpse. In addition to the power rule rune, speed rule rune, space rule rune, and defense rule rune that were previously refined into the corpse. This refined corpse lacks thunder and lightning rule rune and sword intent rule rune are added. This extra sword intent rule rune contains the Breaking Void Sword Intent. Li Shiming was not satisfied with the Breaking Void Sword Intent, so he tried to inject his Chaos Sword Intent into the Sword Intent Rule Rune. At this time, the corpse refining was still in the process of transformation. After he injected the Chaos Sword Intent, the Chaos Sword Intent swallowed up the Breaking Void Sword Intent and remained in the Sword Intent Rule Rune. He didn't know if he could retain the Chaos Sword Intent. By doing this, but Lian Ji's original void breaking sword intent is really not strong in his opinion. Not to mention his current chaos sword intent. Even his previous chaos sword intent is far beyond the void breaking sword intent. The power of will. If he wants the corpse refining to be helpful to him, he must have stronger combat power. Otherwise, the refined flying yiksha will only be reduced to the role of running errands, which is not in line with his ideas. He did not want to waste the 36 half-step 5th grade corpse refining materials that were considered top resources in the world of immortal cultivation. Besides, the bodies of sword cultivators gathered together were even more precious. At least, he currently had no corpses of human experts in his hands. Perhaps his mastery of the rules of sword intent and chaos sword intent surpassed that of Yunji Mighty Master. Perhaps the inheritance of the sword intent he received from the founder of Chongshao Pavilion played a role. In the subsequent transformation, the rule of sword intent, the chaos sword intent, in the room, completely replaced the breaking void sword intent. There was no trouble in the process of overcoming the tribulation after that. 
Z15 the power of thunder calamity can be judged from the thunder clouds, and corresponding countermeasures can be taken, coupled with Li Shiming's support at all costs. Flying Yuxia can be successfully promoted. The monks who were watching the thunder prison situation from a distance once again saw the Flying Yuxia thunder disaster. The intelligence personnel of each superpower quickly sent the news back to their respective powers. The thunder cultivators of the 10,000 B sect were preparing to return to the thunder prison, but found that Li Taibai was still guarding the thunder prison. They also received the news that the thunder prison is still blocked. After receiving the news that Li Shiming had refined another flying Yuxia, the reactions from all parties were similar. All the powerful men have a black streak, and they all know that Li Shiming is good at refining corpses. But when will it be possible to refine multiple fifth grade flying Yuxias? Is it that easy to refine flying Yuxias? The only one who had any unusual thoughts was the Jian Lao from Jian Chongshao Pavilion. Jian Lao has been silent since he received the news. He thought about the ancient ruins. The fifth grade natal flying sword of Master Yunji's uncle that Li Shiming sent back. And whether the flying Yuxia was made from the corpse of Master Yunji's uncle. He wanted to contact Li Shiming to ask. But he knew very well that once he turned against Li Shiming over this matter, the consequences would be unfavorable to Jin Chongshao Pavilion. Especially the relationship between Li Yuanba and Li Shiming made him hesitate even more. He learned from Jian Wuwei how deep the friendship between Li Shiming and Li Yuanba was. It was a friendship that started from the Qi Chain period. They almost grew up and supported each other together. This relationship can even affect Li Yuanba's attitude. It is possible for him to betray Jian Chongshao Pavilion for Li Shiming. Jian Lao is not an alarmist. He knows how many cultivation resources Jian Chongshao Pavilion has given Li Yuanba. Most of Li Yuanba's cultivation resources are Li Yuanba's own and were given by his good friend Li Shiming. In fact, Li Shiming's help to Li Yuanba went far beyond Jian Chongshao Pavilion. Jian Lao's mood suddenly went up and down. And he couldn't make a decision for a moment. In the Thunder Prison, Li Shiming once again set up a corpse refining formation. But this time, he used 72 half-step 5th grade corpse refining materials. He planned to refine the corpses of two 5th grade foreign god warriors. At the same time, relatively speaking, the physical bodies of the 5th grade foreign god warriors were easier to survive the catastrophe. Taking the half-step 5th grade Holy Spirit as an example, the Holy Spirit does not have the slightest aura that a corpse should have, but is instead filled with divine aura, without worrying about catastrophe. Refining two fifth grade, boring god warrior, corpses at the same time is not that troublesome. The process of inscribing the corpse refining rune and transforming the corpse refining array are all monitored by Z15, so there is no possibility of any problems. It took two months to inscribe the corpse refining rune. This time, when two fifth grade, boring god warriors were put into the corpse refining formation, the corpses of the two fifth grade, boring god warriors began to transform. The cold energy in the corpse refining formation was transforming the whole body of the fifth grade. For a divine warrior, everything was normal. When the whole body was almost completely transformed, when it came into contact with a pair of wings behind it, the previous refining was half a step away. What happened during the fifth grade? Boring god warrior happened again. The wings behind the two fifth grade boring god warriors burst out with yang energy, impacting the yin cold energy and completely clearing away the yang energy in a moment. And in this process, the corpse refining transformation process of the corpse refining formation also ended inexplicably. There is only one rule rune in the fifth grade. For and divine warrior. And that is the Holy Spirit rule rune. A uh, Holy Spirit rule rune. Transformed from 600 billion. Corpse refining runes. Powerful. Extremely powerful. This was Li Shiming's first feeling after sensing the resurrected fifth grade. Boring God Warrior. The Holy Spirit Rule Rune itself is too mysterious. In his opinion, it should be some kind of combat combination rune. What he knew alone was that the Holy Spirit Rule Rune could allow the fifth grade Boring Divine Warrior to move through space, form a variety of defenses, and also be able to attack from a distance. Knowing that he didn't have much time, he quickly took out two sets of special armors and long swords for the Boring God Warriors and gave them to two fifth grade boring god warriors when the armor and long sword were worn on his body the energy of the holy spirit rule rune poured into the armor and long sword li shiming clearly felt that the quality of the armor and long sword was improving at this time 
thunderclouds were about to appear in the sky. And Li Shiming issued an order to two fifth grade. Boran Divine Warriors. The two Boran Divine Warriors stood on both sides of the thunder prison and did not survive the catastrophe together. When we go through the sky together, the power of the sky thunder is not calculated as one plus one, but will increase geometrically. Li Shiming didn't care at all if it meant a half-step powerful catastrophe. If that didn't work, he would let 108 immortal tardigrades form an armor to help him survive the catastrophe. But he didn't dare to do this with the powerful tribulation. In fact, even his strongest defense did not dare to fight against the strongest powerful tribulation. Li Shiming blessed two fifth grade. Boran Divine Warriors with an innate emu magical power. Before, he had not blessed any half-step fifth grade or above corpses with an innate emu magical power. Although the magical power of innate emu uses with energy to heal, it also has some effect on refining corpses. But at the level of half-step to the fifth level and above, the therapeutic effect of innate emu on refining corpses is greatly suppressed. But the fifth grade, boring god warrior, is different. And it is a bit far-fetched to say that it is a corpse refinement. Although the two fifth grade, boring god warriors, were refined through the method of refining corpses, in the eyes of any monk, they are living beings, not corpses of undead creatures. The healing effect of the magical power of Sientian Emu on the fifth grade, Boran Divine Warrior, is no different from that of normal life. In addition, Li Shiming also blessed him with the secret method of thunder resistance. The secret method of thunder resistance strengthened by Jishao Thunder Bead can offset the power of thunder to the greatest extent unless there is a major change in the disaster. This time, the thunder tribulation was even louder, and some superpower intelligence officers wanted to get closer to observe. Unfortunately, Li Taibai stood in the void, and the terrifying aura of power enveloped the thunder prison and a large area around it, making it impossible for intelligence personnel to approach. As expected, the natural disaster did not have a fatal impact on the two fifth grade. Boran Divine Warriors after the two fifth grade, boring god warriors received the reward energy from heaven and earth. Everything returned to calm. Li Shiming left the thunder prison, and Li Taibai was responsible for the finishing work. Li Taibai is now regarded as the ancestor of the Ten Thousand Beasts sect, and his status in the minds of the late cultivators has surpassed that of Li Shiming. The aura on Li Shiming's body was not as obvious as that of a powerful thunder cultivator like Li Taibai, which made it easier for Li Taibai to be accepted by the thunder cultivators. If other powerful people could win people's hearts like this, Li Shiming might still have some scruples. But who is Li Tai Bai? It is his phantom clone, which is equivalent to being himself. Li Shiming returned to the cave, and he summoned the flying Yiksha and two fifth grade holy spirits. This time he made a deliberate change, and the flying Yiksha had no resemblance to the powerful Yunji. As for the aura of the powerful Yunji, after being transformed by the corpse refining formation, the original aura has already undergone huge changes. The sword intention that was more likely to expose his identity was also transformed into Chaos Sword Intent by Li Shiming. Two fifth grade holy spirits cannot change their appearance because no matter how they change, the sacred aura on their bodies can be recognized by monks who have dealt with the Boran Divine Warriors at a glance. Therefore, once the two fifth grade holy spirits are used, they need to be silenced. Li Shiming handed over his previous Traceless Fantasy Sword to Fei Tian Yiksha. With a Lingbao Flying Sword, Fei Tian Yiksha has greatly improved its strength. I'll call you swordsman. And Li Yuanba's 5th grade Flying Yiksha will be called Lei Shi. Li Shiming thought about it and gave the name to Flying Yiksha. In the past, there were too many half-step 5th level corpse refining methods. So he was too lazy to name them. But there are only two 5th grade Flying Yiksha in total so they need special treatment. The two fifth grade holy spirits do not have individual names. Anyway, even if they were given names, he would not introduce them to outsiders. The sword attendant could follow behind him. While the two fifth grade holy spirits were taken into the cave, Li Shiming refined two more fifth grade, flying Yiksha here, and the intelligence personnel once again sent the news back to their respective superpowers. The powerful men who had no intention of dealing with Li Shiming originally hoped most now that the monks of their respective superpowers would not offend Li Shiming. The powerful ones even ordered their own forces to strengthen their business activities with the 10,000 Beast sect and not to easily provoke the monks of the 10,000 Beast sect in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. After receiving the latest information, Jian Lao had a look of astonishment on his face. 
he was almost certain that the flying Yiksha, refined by Li Shiming, used the body of Yunji Master's uncle. But then Li Shiming refined two more, flying Yiksha, which made him no longer sure. It seems that my judgment was wrong, Jianlan muttered to himself. He shook his head, feeling that he had gone too far. Li Shiming sent back the fifth grade flying sword of Master Yunji's uncle, which was a big favor. In the world of immortal cultivation, any great master would not hand it over after obtaining a fifth grade spiritual treasure, regardless of whether he could use it or not. Fifth grade spiritual treasures, even if they are powerful, are extremely precious. Even if they cannot be used, they can still be traded to get other fifth grade spiritual objects for yourself. He breathed a long sigh of relief. He no longer had to worry about his enmity with Li Shiming, or whether Li Yuanba would betray the clan for Li Shiming. He just felt relaxed all over. But he immediately thought of one thing. Li Yuanba had a fifth grade, flying Yiksha. Li Shiming had four, flying Yiksha. So where did these powerful corpses come from? He vaguely guessed that Li Yuanba's fifth grade, flying Yiksha, with the aura of thunder cultivator must have been refined from the corpse of Jai Qingzong, Lung Luo.